Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hello, hi, teachers. How you doing? Yo, what up? How's everyone doing today on this beautiful Saturday? Yeah, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for season three uh, of the Advanced Wars. Uh, oops. Grandmaster live tournament, ladies and gentlemen. We got some absolutely fantastic games lined up for you guys today. Some incredibly strong players as well. They're all going to be live. They're going to be lightning pastes. And uh, no doubt, DJs, we're going to have some bangers tonight. What do you think? Oh, for sure. Even in the first round, we're going to start off with a banger straight away. There's no waiting for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're starting off with two incredibly strong contestants. Let's just bring out. You can see my screen, right, DJs? Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So let's bring up the bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, show some of the matches that we got tonight. I, I, I promise you guys some of these are going to be absolutely wild. So we're going to start off with Tor Dread versus Nightmare. Uh, then in the second round, it's going to be Deadass versus Toulouse. Two other titans mm -hmm. going uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Then the third one, I know you guys have been waiting for that one. I know you guys are going to love that one. It's Poland versus Grim Guy in a grudge match. Uh, and then we're gonna end with the first. We're gonna end off round one with Star Flash versus Profeta. So um, let me ask you, DJs, do you have any like favorites to win this tournament? Who do you think is gonna perform well? Do you have a? Do you, do you, you got some predictions for us? Yeah. So let me just start off with a couple things. I think this is the most entertaining of the three tournaments in terms of matchups in the first round. Like every single one of these is gonna be a good game. Yeah. Like there is no clear favorites in my opinion. Star Flash is a bit rusty, so don't even sleep on Profeta. But uh, so here's the thing. When we're talking about live, a lot of people think people are good at live. The thing is, no one is good at live. It just matters how much of a drop off from their normal play to their live play. Yeah, exactly. And people like Tordred and Star Flash, you know, Toulouse and ZFS are usually better than them as standard. But when it comes to live play, they have like no drop off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking, oof. And Dead FS is damn good too. If I had to pick to go in far, I'd say the thing is Dead FS and Toulouse, whoever wins that match, I think is going to the finals. Yeah, me too. Toulouse is like he came so close in both the tournaments he was in. He just barely lost to uh, to Star Flash. And then he barely lost, I think, to Sif. And it was like two incredibly yeah. strong opponents. Like like it's unfortunate he, luck. Yeah, so and then I'm gonna say Star Flash is the favorite though. I, I will say he is rusty. He, so he yes, needs to, yes. I don't know how hard he's been. I, I don't know how hard Star Flash has practiced for this match, but I do know that when Star Flash practices, he's nigh unbeatable in live. Oh, he does practice for this. Trust me, he practiced the last tournament. He wanted those three hundred bucks or however much money it was. He practiced. Yeah. So people are asking, is there a money price? Yes, you can see it down in the bottom of the stream. Every old donations. We got a very generous donation, by the way, right before stream. Two hundred fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, so any donations that gets donated, it goes to the prize pool, goes to, goes to the winner. 75% goes to first place, 25% goes to second place. The second place get, get a little bit of a, uh, a prize as well, just for reaching the finals. So, uh, yeah. But as I said, yeah, I have, uh, I, I have my money's on Star Flash too. Uh, but I also think Tordred is a good runner-up. Uh, I've seen Tordred play in... Tordred's a Fog player, pr uh, primarily, yeah. which means that standard... I mean, but being a Fog player doesn't mean you're bad in standard. It just means your niche is... is uh, it's actually kind of funny. The first round, we got two of the strongest, two strongest Fog players of all time. Yeah, I know. Which is really, really interesting. Tordred and Nightmare, they're like insane in Fog games. So but so I guess you could say they're both out of their element. But I think I think Tordred is... is uh, he, he plays incredibly quickly. He hates the move planner. Yeah. Uh, he's a fellow move planner hater, so I think he's gonna enjoy this uh, this live match right here. And he's got a lot more live practice and in the standard play than Nightmare does. To be perfectly honest, he's won live tournaments or placed in them before. I played him in live myself. Uh, very little drop off between live play and his normal play. He's hyper aggressive. Expect hyper aggressive plays, hyper aggressive CO picks. Yes. Um, uh, speaking of which, I say we jump. We uh, we. Let's talk a little bit about the matchup and the map that we'll be going to be playing on. So uh, all, all contestants have locked in their COs before the tournament. So DJ and I, we know all the matchups. And this is good because this means that we can actually talk about them before going into the match. So uh, for the very first matchup right here, let me just uh, find them real quick here. So let me just close off the bracket and uh, open up the, uh, the maps. So we have uh, Lash, Tordred playing as Lash. Versus Nightmare playing as Drake on Archive Planets. 
Uh, what do you think about this matchup in a live format? I do this. Uh, which of the players do you favor more here? So I typically, it, barring COs, I take Tordred here. However, so this is a four base map, and this kind of mimics a tournament game I have. I was last for straight four base. Each of them has their own pluses and minuses. Lash, early game, more strong power uh, day to day. Where Drake wants to make the game go on longer, uses Typhoon to Tsunami, uh, Squall, uh, you know, Squall. do the most damage later on. <laughs> Squall. <laughs> the thing is, notable about this tournament, less stalling. There is a 20 day limit. Yeah. So earlier fights and capturing properties matter a lot more than normal. So people who are watching this, this is a little bit different than Global League since there's 20 days. You can be losing and have more properties and win when it hits day 20. Whoever has the most properties wins. Yes. So early fights are going to matter more. So I'm going to take the Lash pick in this instance because of his 20 days. Yes. And Lash has also historically been pretty good in mixed base because it's so, in, oh, in, yeah. like in mixed oh, base, yeah. the day-to-day -day powers come in incredibly quickly. And look at look at how many forest tiles this map has. They're everywhere. Also, and next to cities too. Yeah. And like also notable, uh, whenever Lash pops her superpower, I don't know if you said this, but when she pops her superpower, she ignores rain. So, oh, yeah. so that can come in pretty big. Uh, of course, the rain slows you down by quite a bit. If she pops her prime tech, hell, I, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a tournament like this, I wouldn't be surprised if we see her normal popped just to get like an extra mobility oh, advantage. Sure. Never count Lash's normal power rod. It's normally almost never used, but in a live game, it's so hard to count squares. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, oh, one, oh, two, yeah. three, four, five. No, you're just gonna go on gut feeling. So extra movement and mobility powers, they can really mess you up in a live format. So. One last thing about Lash, why she's better in this matchup. Yep. No calm towers. You yes. put a tank, a Lash tank on the city, you're not going to fight first strike that is Drake. No matter where you strike from, Lash's tank is going to do more damage than yours. It's going to have a 30% firepower bonus, and you're not going to do shit to it on the city. So yep. I'm just saying, you can camp out on cities as Lash. Yeah, and one thing that's also notable about uh, about about lashes or no com towers, that's normally a good thing for Drake because he wants stalling matches. But here it actually yeah. benefits Lash. It's a very weird matchup, but a really cool matchup. Um, we did ban Kindle for this. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, like, you yeah. know, like I said, city stick. You just sit on cities all day and you win. Yeah, like. pretty pretty much pretty much the most exciting uh, strategy. Let us see what you guys have voted for. So let's see. Right now, oh, it's pretty even actually. 57% Tordred, 43% um, for uh, for Nightmare. So Tordred, the slight crowd favorite right here. Let me just go through the... Oh, I lost the just heard for a moment. Let me just very quickly go through donations before we start here. So Alessandro donated 10 bucks. May the best one win. Thank you. Professional Lash fanboy donated 14.29. Also rooting for Grim Guy. Yeah, Grim Guy, I know you guys are going to love Grim Guy. He's going to we'll be the crowd. That. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Phantom Thief donated 5 bucks. D just, can I get a banger for the chat? Oh, it'll be a banger for sure. <laughs> this first match itself is worth of its own video. I can already tell ahead of time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. For sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to jump over to the map itself. Let me bring it up real quick. Boosh and Baboosh. And we even have sound effects and stuff for you this uh, this uh, tournament because I have installed an amazing plugin. So oh, we got the sound effects. We, nice. get, we get the sound. Look. <laughs> it's amazing. Um... So, I think, Deegis, you may ask them to start. All right. I will coordinate with them. Let me open up the music. And let me just know in the chat if the music is too loud or too low, or if you want the sound effects to be uh, higher or whatnot. Yes, the glorious slash music is playing. And I think they're right, I they're about to, to them. I think that I think they've started. All right, Deegis, I will give you uh, my mouse so you can help uh, commentate the matches. There we go. All right, so all right, just make sure everything works properly. Uh, sound effects a little lower. Okay, there we go. A little bit lower. Always, uh, sound mixing always tricky to do on the fly. Nightmare, yeah, doo -doo 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 -doo. more music, just leave it on. All right, okay. Yeah, I think the music's a little uh, quiet and the sound effects are a little high from what I understand. There we go. How is it now, ladies and gentlemen? Better? Let's see. There we go. All right, so. Both players, they have 15 minutes on the clock. 
Uh, it's uh, can you control my cursor? Do you just just move it around? Make sure. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you can yeah. you can click if 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 need be. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. So yeah. Um, yeah. So let's see. If, early let's see. thoughts. Yep. I think the play is you take this two base and you attack the one base and you want to cut off the other person from getting it. So I'm blue on it. Fight this one base over here. Or fight this one base over there and cut off the other two base from resupplying. Yeah. Let me turn off the uh, sound the cursor effects that were kind of annoying. Okay. Keep keep going. Okay. <laughs> No, you're good. Yeah. I think it's all about map control here, uh, cutting off main forces. Artillery probably pretty decent, but it is live play. We're gonna see a lot more tanks than usual. Okay. I'm um, expect maybe even early recons with all these roads. Yep. You just, it's all about controlling the middle and making sure you can't cut off the supply lines. That's kind of what this map is. And we already see an early recon from Cordred, as expected from a Lash player. Yeah. Music is a little loud. Let me turn that down real quick. Okay, better now, uh, better now, players. There we go. Should be a little bit better now. Okay, so uh, yeah, recons very strong, better perfect. Okay, that's that's nice. Good, 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 good to know. Yeah, recon strong. Uh, this missile silo, by the way, it's a troll. <laughs> Same with the cities on this. Oh no, you can with the airport. That's true. Later on, but very later on. Yep. So let's see if he's seen artillery here or a base skip for a tank, because he doesn't have enough to supply out of four bases. Maybe, maybe he will base skip actually. No, I think he's going to go... Oh, he went recon. Okay. Okay. I'm yeah, at a base skip there, to be perfectly honest, in the center. Yeah, so uh, one thing that can happen on this map is a rocket lock. I don't think either player will have the economy no, for it. But, but it on is... On a four base map, hell yeah. no. But, uh, but in theory, could put a rocket here, and you could lock down the base. I, it's not going to happen. Not not These players will pressure each other so much, either the other won't have time for, 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 for a rocket. Yeah, but way too much momentum from that. So I'm assuming... Tordred sends this recon up here because there is no airport down here. You have to be able to anti-air to fight into this. Yeah. I'm expecting him to go northward, stop this property, slowly push over here, take over this, and yep. probably a ditto over here, although Tordred has already built Tordred a tank. Tordred just built a tank, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, let me just fix something real quick. Uh, yeah, Tord Tordred just deployed a tank, so we'll see. Sorry about that, DJs. He can't see the match right now. I just gotta, fix, it. I just gotta fix something real quick. Uh, there we go. Technical difficult. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And now we're back at. Now we can see the match again. All right. So yeah. So uh, Tordred deploys his first tank. Let's see if Nightmare uh, Nightmare should probably follow it up with a tank of his own. Um, both player has an airport though, cover. so so Battlecopter might come in. But both early lead for Tordred, by the way. He cannot interrupt this without this tank fighting into it over there. Whereas he's plopping his tank or his recon in the city over there, so he's going to have an early income advantage. I'm not sure how sustainable it will be. He'll, he might lose this later on, but just yeah. something of note. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and this is the thing though. Um, like, how good are battlecopters on this map? Because of course, Nightmare is Drake, so his battlecopters are not going to be as good. He's not up against the fantastic battlecopter commander in Lash though, but Lash will definitely have the advantage. But do you think either player will go battlecopter early, or will it just be tanks and recons? I expect maybe one or two battlecopters. They're kind of the, pushed off in the corner, and then you can kind of contain them because, for that reason. Yeah. Uh, if you build a copter, you can build an anti here, and then put the anti air here, and then it's kind of trapped in the corner. Once the anti air is here, like, you can't right. go that way, you can't go this way. I think we'll still probably see one, maybe, maybe two, uh, mm -hmm. but they're not overpowered by any means. Usually, in mixed base, copters are super good, but yeah. in this one, not so much. So I, I see the appeal of the Drake pick, but I still think Lash is stronger here. Right, right, right. Yeah, sorry guys, I got D just, I got D just back. It's just, uh, we're just, uh, it's just technical I've stuff. Been, I've been dropping. No, 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 it's, it's, it's the Discord being weird. No, 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 your, your connection is fine. Oh, okay. All right, so Nightmare now opens up with a uh, tank here, on the side. So uh, He's bringing his recon northward. Yeah. Wants to try and interrupt I mean, the city over here, I guess. To one, two, one, two, three. Four. Yeah. Actually, I don't need to count. I got control of your mouse now. You can control the mouse, so you don't need to. You don't need to count. <laughs> so if we can show it does it does reach that city. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, and Nightmare building a mech up in the north center. Interesting decision to ward. I guess he doesn't. He needs to ward away the recon, who, and looks like Tordor is, is plunking his recon down on the city here. Yeah. So uh, so I guess I guess he has no choice. Like he he can't afford. He needs to build a tank to ward off Tordor's tank, which is coming in here. And Tordred is now attacking Nightmare's capping city here. He's not gonna. He can. He can join cap, but uh, in a mixed space like unit count, mix mix in mixed space maps, unit counts are so important. You really don't want to join cap unless you have to. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to join cap here. 
Um, especially because you could attack from the city with the tank next turn. The tank can't attack this turn, but he can put it on the silo. And he can build another tank, start a tank chain. Yeah. Actually, he can build two tanks next turn if he wants the base skip. Yeah, Chad is asking, can they get the missile silo with the T-Copter? Nope, it's an yeah. ornamental missile silo. There's no shoals there, so you can't get it. It's literally there just to look funny. So, sorry guys, no missiles, no missile silos on this map. So, uh, but yeah, so Tordred is piling on the pressure down in the, in the, uh, uh, southeast here. He has two tanks coming in. Uh, of course, Nightmare does have two bases to ward this away, so he can defend pretty easily. Uh, but we'll see yeah. what happens here. Um, Tordred will be overcome eventually. It's a question of how long that will take. Eventually, it'll be two tanks versus one tank, two tanks, so we'll probably have to tech up to a medium tank or an artillery at some point. Yeah. Um, so I think this is some early just pushing uh, Nightmare back, getting some free hits like he did already, getting that property. Yeah. Um, but it's not sustainable. So I'm assuming Tordred is soon going to start building tanks from his strong side over here and pushing into that map. <laughs> Both players have actually been base skipping <laughs> quite a lot this match, but... Uh, so, uh, all oh, right. And we're seeing a mech from uh, Tordred. I am... Probably put it on the mountain over there later on, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We have two tanks down here. Tordred has his recon to work to prevent Nightmare from capping the city over here. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Nightmare has his, uh, has his recon to prevent Tordred from taking the city. So Tordred has to bring the mech down to ward that recon away. But uh, Nightmare also has this infantry who can potentially ward away the mech. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, both players are uh, sort of equal in the income department. 16k to 15k. Uh, Nightmare is might get the southern southern city down here. We'll see about that. He will definitely get that. Uh, it's slightly delayed. Yeah. Um, and now it seems like Nightmare is kind of backtracking with the recon. So he's bring he's letting yeah he's letting Tordred have this upper city right here, and he's bringing the recon. Gonna this is the thing about the, the this this map Arcap Planet is you can very easily apply a lot of pressure to the corners here. Um, oh yeah. But it's it's uh, but if you apply that pressure, of course, that means that your opponent can apply a pressure to another corner. So that necessarily going to win you the game. But but it looks like he's going hard down here now, actually, really hard, in fact. Oh, I expect two tanks to be built from the uh, two base over there. All right. Oh, he does get a first strike. Oh, I thought yeah. he thought it was out of range. That was kind of curious. I think Tordred <laughs> might have thought it was out of range. Nightmare building uh, artillery in a live match. That takes some bolts. I think you can pull it off pretty easily. One base, two base. You're gonna have to look at how many infantry he has. Look how many units Tordred has down there. He has five units. Yeah. So this Compared is already this looking is looking around nine, ten. This is already tricky for Tordred actually, because uh, if he if he strikes this, if he moves up his tank to strike Nightmare's tank here. Oh, he's not gonna strike that. No, that would be incredibly bad. He'll lose the tank. This Zero chance he strikes that. Yeah. Also uh, worth mentioning is there are like these island properties here. I don't think either player are going to capture them because it requires them to build a T-copter, which they just don't have the they don't have the money for oh, in this no. matchup. But it would be, and they also have to like bring the T-copter all the way down here, so it's just not worth it, I think. But yeah, Tordred coming under some insane pressure here uh, on this bottom side. So the question is, will he just like cut his losses here and apply pressure elsewhere, or will he try to defend? You can potentially, like, if he's crazy, can build, like, a medium tank and base skip everywhere else. But that will put him behind the thing is, on. Nightmare anticipated the medium tank tech up, and he built the artillery for that very reason. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to build a medium tank into an artillery. You build a medium tank enforcing an artillery. So, my name is a, a, a chess uh, turn ahead. Yeah. He's, he's playing really well, actually. It's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, Tordred now placing his tank out of range. Ooh, actually, mm. he does strike! Okay. Uh, he is Lash, so he does have the firepower bonus. Yeah, only the 10%, though. So it's... Uh... So he's definitely... Yeah, he's building a tank, as usual, and he's probably going to build a tank from his two base as well. Doesn't have to base skip this time. Yeah. So, uh, but because because Nightmare is putting on so much pressure in this area of the map, that does probably mean that Chordred will be able to hold on to the city, I think. And now Chordred is building oh, an yeah. artillery. Okay, he's he decides to go for the same strategy. Yeah, makes sense. You build artillery to fight into medium tanks, neo tanks, and mechs for the most part. And he has a mech, easy to zone out with an artillery. That is very impressive, actually. So, uh, and he will, of course, he will be now. Nightmare has completely seceded the city, so Tordor will be able to probably get this property and this property over here. And now he's even interrupting down here too, which is kind of cute. <laughs> Yeah, that. he doesn't have very many reinforcements, so I'm not sure about the interrupt there. He's going to lose that infantry. A little, uh, is it a monk's infantry? Can we call it a monk's infantry, dude? 
Uh, no, we cannot because he's attacking. He's not on a city right there. Ah, so okay. that blue one, it's a, a Dang's infantry or something, if you will. <laughs> Dang's infantry, let's go. Yeah, Dang's <laughs> infantry, let's go. <laughs> All right, Nightmare's turn rolls in. We are on day six. Nightmare is piling on the pressure here in the southeast, but Tordred is creeping up on the northeast as well with a lot of infantry. No tanks, though, but an artillery and some recon and a recon to back it up. So Nightmare does have that lo solitary mech up in the corner, which will ward away the recon. But the question is, how will Nightmare push his attack in here? It's going to be tough. It's not easy to attack Lash on a city, but he's going for it. Mm -hmm. He's going for it. This, ooh, and yeah, here comes the here comes the pain. He's wiping out a lot of Tordred's units now. This is going to be really tough, really quickly. But he he can first strike Tordred's tanks, but he's going to get struck in back by Tordred. Tordred has three tanks down here now, so this is. But he can afford to get struck back because he's right in range of the one of the two base. Yeah, uh, I like Nightmare's positioning down there much better than Tordred's. This is he got too feisty that first. I think he might have thought that tank was out of range of getting hit. Because this is going to be a good engagement from hitting from a force onto a plane and ten into a nine. That's, yeah, four. Yeah, nine. that's like really good. That, that is really good. And keep in mind, Lash is supposed to be ahead. She's not a global damage CO. So, like statistically, Lash is supposed to be the one leading in the early game, and then yes. the tsunami comes in to equalize. Or sorry, Squall. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You, you, you offended me. Just, just <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, dude. Just chat wondering if you can commentate in Arabic. <laughs> 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 I didn't know you spoke uh, Arabic, man. I was I was really surprised, but I, I guess I shouldn't uh, be surprised. I, uh, yeah, I kind of snuck it in there and wanted to keep it a surprise. You get it for 10 years. So. Yeah. So uh, Nightmare now is boxing up his units pretty well in uh, over here. So the artillery is positioned really well. There's no way Tordred can break this. He only has four units. So yeah. he's got to change his mind right now. I would concede the corner. I would just give it up. You need to go all out as Tordred. Get some counterplay over here. Yeah. Force and beat this mech. You're not going to... It's, it's all is lost down there. Any hope? He's got four units versus, I don't know, 11 or some shit. Like, you're screwed. Cut your losses. That's a sunk lo uh, sunk cost fallacy. Don't put a medium tank over here. It's too late. There's an artillery. There's going to be a second artillery. Yeah. Go all out at the top. You need some counterplay. Yeah. No, this is a terrifying attack from Nightmare right here. He's, he's playing incredibly well. And uh, I, I think Tordred's going to be in a, in a world of hurt if he keeps this up. Yeah. So uh, they're still very tight. Oh. Yeah. I mean, he, he has to attack, obviously. But this is smart. Target firing the infantry. This is what I like to dub the Scorched Earth strategy, where you just you target fire the opponent's infantry to limit their capture potential. You know they're going to win, but if you take out their infantry, um, he, your opponent's not going to be able to capitalize on it. So I like what Tordred is doing here, just target firing this infantry. Yeah, maybe I'm expecting maybe, a mech at the bottom from Tordred. Yeah, just just you know a little bit of a screw you mech, you know. Small little delay. Yeah, no, he's uh, boxing mech himself. Build. He's mech. You mech. don't want to invest in a medium tank. No, no, I would not do that either. And but I will say though, like his attack up here is not that great. He needs a, he needs some tanks or something like. See, that's the difference right here. Look at uh, Nightmare. He's kind of cocooning a bit. You want to cocoon on your weak side. Torjad went out swinging on his weak side. Doesn't matter if you build the first tank. It's two bases or it's one base. You're going to lose in the long run. Uh, so Nightmare's got the better idea. You want to be a little cocoon. And just hold on as long as possible while your strong side sieges the other one. Yeah, and but he could also potentially like pop that squall, uh, you know, <laughs> just just to kind of like that will sometimes allow you to like break true units on cities. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to do that. Tordred now pulling. He realizes he can't really get much done over here. Nice he does, going. On. Just get a nice little interrupt there. Cute little interrupt. That's nice. Unit count is so much more important than income, though. He's going to lose those two infantry. Yep, and Nightmare's going to be up, like, five units. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough one for Tordred. He pulls back his it's recon. It's going to be hard to come back from this position, to be perfectly honest. I think he really blundered when he attacked the first tank there. If it was out of range of this first tank attack over here, there's some viability, but, you know, that first strike just kind of set, set the whole, like, scene right there. Yeah. Um, the one so he's got to go all out at the top now. Yeah, this this will this will probably turn into a base trade. I think the problem is Nightmare has a big initiative advantage, and he'll wipe out most of Tortured's tanks over here as well. Yeah, and we're already at day seven too. Remember, there's a day twenty limit. Yep. So. Yep. Looks like Tordred is he? Does, he did what you predicted. A yeah. mech is coming out. 
He's building a tank artillery on his strong side. He's gonna try and uh, go in for it. I'm curious as to how much Nightmare will invest in keeping his top base alive. If he will actually, like, try to build a tank or a medium tank, or if he's gonna do, like, charger and just build mechs. I, think, I mean, last mechs? Or, sorry, yeah, um... Well, yeah, Lash Mechs are, pretty, are stronger than Drake Mechs for sure, but I don't think it's going to matter that much. But, yeah. Uh, um, if I were Nightmare at the top, you already see two artillery coming your way, so I probably wouldn't invest in anything heavy. I would expect maybe a mech, maybe an artillery. Weak side artilleries don't usually have viability, but you have so many infantry at this point, you have a pretty strong infantry wall. Yeah. Uh, um, chat, chat is wondering what happens when Day comes to 20. Yeah, we should probably account for the fact that there are some beginners here who don't know much about Advanced Wars. Once uh, the day goes to 20, whoever has the most properties will win. Uh, so it's it's income-based properties, by the way. So uh, so uh, right now, if Tordred has 21,000, Nightmare has 19,000 income. That means that if, theoretically, it was Day 20 right now, Tordred would win the match. So it's about capturing the most properties, basically. Yes. I don't think we have decided what we'll do if we get a draw. I, I actually don't know what we'll do if we get a draw. <laughs> Kill the death ratio, I don't know. You know we'll figure something probably, out. Probably, probably. We'll just let the audience vote, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, can, we can let democracy decide, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, so one thing I'm so also The thing very... about Nightmare, he can't... That tank right there, it cannot be dislodged unless there's an artillery. Like I said earlier, no freight, even this full tank HP is not going to take a first strike on that from a road. Are you kidding me? It's yeah. going to just like make that down to seven and you're just going to be down to five. Like that's not going to be a good trade at all. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what also surprises me here? Do you just, Nightmare is playing really quickly. He actually has more time than Tordred. Yeah, I, I, um, always, so... I, always, I always saw Nightmare as like a very slow player. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I just, I had this image in my head that he'd struggle with time, but he's actually playing really quickly. I think he's practiced this. I think he's practiced this. That's like exactly what I was about to say. Both of these players have practiced this map. They have contingency plans. Um, yeah. You know, the days of just kind of YOLOing it for this tournament are over. Mm. Uh, Starflash showed, he practiced every single round last time, and it showed. Yeah. And I think people picked up on that memo. Yes. Um, yeah. So you I'm expecting it. an artillery or a mech at the, t yeah, we got a mech. Here we go, yeah. Okay. And then maybe build an anti-air if I'm Nightmare at the middle, because you're going to start shifting up to the oops, up to the top over here next. Because yes. he's going to win down here. Next stop is up here. You can probably expect at least one V-Copter. I don't know, maybe a little too early for the anti-air, but you're going to start shifting your, your idea to move to the top at a certain point. Yes, for sure, for sure. And uh, yeah, I, li I like Nightmare's positioning here with the mechs. It's going to be so hard for Torda to break through here. Come to think of it, he doesn't really need tanks in this attack at the moment. But if Nightmare does decide to build a tank, then he does need them. All right, day eight rolls in. Tordred is under immense pressure by Nightmare right here. He is uh, he's going to start struggling really soon. Question is, how is he, like, it, it's impossible to defend this. Now this artillery right here is zoning out. Exactly. So he has to move the tank away, maybe move it onto this uh, empty missile silo. In case, in case there's some beginners here and you don't know, this empty missile silo is just a, it's the, it's a city that can't be captured, basically. It doesn't re resupply. But Tordred is going in hard now. Using that 30% firepower bonus from the city, this is where Lash really shines. Like, he has both of these tiles right here, which is good. He's gonna move right, in he's his... He's gonna nestle in the artillery in that road, and yep, he yep. did it already. There we go. Another artillery coming in as well. So, Tordred, he, he's a little bit behind in initiative, but he's not that much behind. I mean, keep in mind, he is Lash, so he does have a very big advantage in cramped corners like this. So, uh, it could very well be that he'll... Uh, He'll make something happen here. He's also moving all of his infantry over here, over to the side as well. Whereas here, Nightmare doesn't really have the, his infantry are mostly spent just warding away these little mosquitoes here in the corner and just trying, trying, trying. I think I like Nightmare's position though with those infantry. He got the, he just delayed this property over here and he like lost two infantry in the process. So and he's gonna lose this two HP infantry. He's gonna try to heal or some shit. Yeah. So Nightmare's gonna gather that and he's gonna start putting pressure on this side. So Torch is gonna have to start putting some vehicles down here rather than going all up there. So, yeah, I definitely like Nightmare's positioning at this point. He is, yeah, he's the, he's ahead, but he's not so ahead that Tordrick can't make a comeback. Oh, for sure. One thing is for sure, though. If, once the superpower comes in from Nightmare, that's, if Tordrick is not in a good position, I I don't know if Nightmare's gonna pop his normal power to try and, like, get an early edge in, where he's gonna save up for his superpower. Uh, but Tordred needs to make sure he's in a good position when that comes in, because that's the great equalizer. Uh, I, I, oh, sure. Considering he is playing Drake, I think his positioning is extremely strong. So, But Tordred now building a third artillery here. 
He really wants that base. And building another mm. mech. Putting the mech in the mountain. That's Lash's dream right there. Mountain mechs. And, uh... But, uh, that, those artillery are gonna creep in. I think Nightmare's gonna hit toward it pretty hard next turn. He did a yeah, joint so capsis chat. Did, did, did he do a joint Where? Oh, did he do a joint cap? Okay. Chad is saying joint cap. Oh, oh, Chad is saying he can joint cap. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Okay. I, I thought he did a joint cap. I didn't see. So I'd uh, expect Torchred's uh, artillery and tank to move down this turn. I don't think they're going to be going up. I think it'd be, be a little. It'd be a little. Yeah, it'd be a little overkill. I just think. Just overkill. Like this is enough to beat all this, unless he builds, I don't know, tank, uh, medium tank or something. But I don't see that happening. Um, so it's it's all about when you don't want to overcommit. Like if you have all these units down here, when you could be putting pressure over here, this is like an inevitability. You're gonna win this down here at this point. Yeah. So you don't want to overcommit. So that's the way Tordred could claw back into this is if Nightmare Nightmare overcommits to a corner and kind of wastes his early game momentum. Yeah, and one thing to also keep in mind here is um, whoever can play quicker. I mean, inevitably this is going to be a base trade, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have like a. Um, Kind of like a north versus south or east versus west and whoever has wasted the most time will really struggle in the mid game because right now timer's about to take below 10 minutes uh turns will only get more advanced from here so whoever can rack up the most time are going to be in a huge position at some point they will start playing on increment and at that point it just comes down to gut feeling instinct here we go Nightmare is defending himself. Ooh, no oh. comm tower. Will that kill? It did. Okay, he's gonna go kill the recon. It did. Oh, it gets a nice. Oh, that. He built it. That Thank is you. that is bad for Tordred. That attack just became that that slowed down the attack quite a bit. Oh, sorry, chat. Um, Lost Deidus again. There we go. He's back. I don't know though, because he can kill the mech with his artillery, then kill the other mech with his tank on the city with the firepower bonus. So, honestly, I think. I don't know if I go for that attack right there. I would have just cocooned it a little longer. Because, mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, artillery kills this, then you finish it off with an infantry, then another tank goes on there, kills that mech, or you can attack with an uh, infantry, attack the mech, weaken it, kill off this infantry, kill off this infantry. There's a lot of counterattacks. You push this within base range next turn. I think he blundered, actually, by attacking right there. I don't know what he's going to build. You think, but he just you think, the think, you think Nightmare blundered? Yeah, he got too aggressive. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah well, I think Torja's going to sniff that out. Uh, you don't want to be aggressive on your one bis. Even if there's cost-effective engagements, you want at least like a two-to-one cost-effective engagement. That maybe was like, I don't know. Yeah, because, point, because you, three to one, like, because you need your one. units more than your opponent need theirs. Exactly. You literally do. So, uh, if, so I think he just allowed Torchard. He opened the door for Torchard back into this game, to be perfectly honest. I don't, I don't, it was a huge blunder, but it was definitely an inac inaccuracy. Right. Yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens here. Nightmare has taken a lot of time here thinking out his potential plan. Um, he's really, I think he's re he's is um, probably weighing whether he should go in on the space or not. And how um. that attack would look like, because Torchard has these two mechs, which are really scary. He doesn't want to send his tanks in, per se. He doesn't have any mechs either to do this. Nah, he's going to send those tanks in. He's going to attack that 7 HP tank, put an artillery yep, behind it. Yep, there we go, there, there we goes. go. Like I said, and he's going to put in the yeah, corner. Yeah, there, there we go. go. The artillery locked. in the corner. Now it's base locked. Like I said, bad engagements don't matter as long as you don't give him a 2 to 1 bad engagement uh, ratio there. So I would expect Nightmare to just go all in. Attack infantry, attack, maybe full HP infantry, attacks the full HP infantry on a road. Uh, probably wouldn't see the tank attack the other tank on a silo yet. Probably the turn after. Yeah, probably wait a bit because, because again, oh yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, moves in and with probably the, uh, the uh, artillery right behind the tank right there, I'd assume, on this road. Maybe this other full HP tank down here or this nine HP. Oh, he uses uh, his yeah, infantry. This, this artillery has to go right behind this tank. Yeah, so he gets a double base lock essentially. So that, that's uh, essentially yeah, and there a silo we go. lock because that other tank is basically trapped there. There's just limited real estate that. Yeah. I, a little blunder by um, Tordred. At that, see, that tank can get a first strike on that mech over there. I don't know. This tank is probably just going to go upward and hit that. Yeah, yeah. That mech is wide open, actually. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not even. He's overcommitting. I said that's one way you let him back in the game. He's putting way too many forces. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't these these two much. tanks right here, he can send them north. He doesn't. Exactly. He doesn't. He he, done they, that. They, they won't be able to do anything. It's like it's like the Helm's Deep, you know. Like everything gets like funneled into one little. Oh, that's right. You don't watch Lord of the Rings, DJs. I forgot. I about don't. That. 
The recon should at least go up. He, he should realize that the recon should go up at least. Like, what is that recon gonna do? Just like watch as they get pillaged <laughs> and burned or whatever? He's, like, he's the on. watcher recon. It's just there to spectate. Nah, there we go. He's he moves. Yeah, he moves. Okay, now nah, he. Creeper recon. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, no. yeah, he's got a. Attack the mech. I don't know why that mech is so weirdly out of position, because that's the next target, is the one base airport is the next target. After this dies, he's going up there. So you probably want to start your little cocoon going on. Put that mech in the mountain. We need to get an artillery in this forest. Uh, for chat, it's day nine right now. So uh, it is oh, day they can't see the days. Yeah, I cropped it out. I, I wanted to get as much ma map on the screen as possible. I'm sorry about that, Chad. Gotcha. Well, I'll, I'll, make sure, well, I'll make sure to commentate what day it is at the start so you guys know. But you can't see it when when it's both players' turn. Anyway, Tordred's turn rolls in day nine. He's continuing his attack. It's not as he scary. He should be thrilled. He should yeah. be thrilled about how these last couple turns have gone. Now he can get the nine HP infantry and attack the mech yes. on the base. Yes, and he can, get that, he can get that base lock. Look at that. How Amy. quickly the tide has turned. I think, I'm telling you, Nightmare blundered by attacking with those mechs the other turn, and he blundered by putting too many forces over this. Early lead is already evaporated. Tordred is right back into it. Yep. I'd say it's about 50-50 now. And not only that, Tordred's time is better than Nightmare's too. Nightmare spent so long thinking out this attack. He spent two minutes, almost three minutes, thinking out this attack. That is a lot of time uh, wasted. So uh, Tordred is now in a timer lead. And uh, he also has a slight income lead, actually. But though Nightmare is going to get this property down here in the corner. Yeah, yeah, in comes yeah, the artillery. Now, it, now the now we have the base lock. That's good. Very good. Yeah. Well, all the lead is gone now, so we're back 50-50. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This could go either way. Although, way. although I will say, Nightmare's global damage is gonna come in soon, and that's gonna that's gonna really put a wrench. It's gonna slow down Torture's attack, and it's going to amplify his attack. Yeah, I wouldn't expect a power. I would expect him to hold on to a superpower. Even though Lash can use her superpower to sludge through or trudge through the sludge uh, of a typhoon, uh, I would expect a superpower. Yeah, people are saying only that smaller move cost him the match. Well, I'm not saying it cost him a match, but this is these are grandmasters, so small mistakes can lead to huge changes. Like the high. That has a shit ton of money. He does. Twenty six thousand saved up. I think he's gonna build a neo. Um, Nah, he's, gonna, he's not going to build a Neo on his weak side, that would be crazy. Not on the weak base, but he could definitely build a Neo in the middle base. Yeah, and in a live match, Neo destroy... tanks are very good. Yeah. Neos are really good for Torch, you know why? Neo answer is usually a bomber, right? Yes. There's no... This is a Drake without a comm tower. That bomber is going to suck. <laughs> it's like going to be a... Very, it's going to be a squall so and bomber. He Let's... can build a Neo tank in this space right here. Mm -hmm. He can put a shit ton of pressure going on over here. So if I'm Tordred, I'm building a Neotank, infantry, maybe next turn build an APC to get that infantry to capture the ship quickly because it's already day nine. Just saying. Yep. APCs have viability when there's only 20 days, you need the capture. Oh, he's built a B copter instead of a Neo. Eh, oh, whatever. interesting. Yeah, B copter. But, but I like that. I like that. So Yeah, uh, so it forces Nightmare to at least build a um, an anti-air at the top. Stel uh, stealth fighters oh, are banned, yeah. chat. Yes, stealth fighters and black bombs are banned in all rounds. We actually did humor the possibility of allowing stealths in the final match, but the the players were against it, so we, we decided uh, not to. Stealth are, stealth are dumb in most but They are very, very dumb. Yeah, they are absolutely very dumb. Not to mention, me and D just can't see where they are when we commented. So it's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where, where, when's going to show up? Like... Uh, yeah. All right. So here, Sword is going to lose his base this turn. He is. Um, I uh, expect maybe a full sweep. Okay, Nightmare pulling back his time. Yeah, full nice. sweep. But I mean, he's going to lose his other base. He's going to have so many instances waiting around. There's just not enough room for them all to get really involved. Like, look at all these units. One of the tanks isn't going to even do shit. Nope. Uh, so. There we go. Too bad he doesn't have an infantry to move in and capture this base immediately. Yeah, he's going to have to put the tank on there. Or actually, don't even block that. Yeah, you don't know, even just let him. Oh, he did. He blocked just it. Just let him build because he got two artillery staring down anyway. You know. Like. Yeah, but maybe he didn't want to attack the mech on a road. I can kind of see that lash mech in a mountain, forty percent extra firepower. I can see. I would have killed the three HP tank though. Yeah, yeah, fair, absolutely fair. Move the four HP in front of your back, take some shots at the mech, get rid of it. But yeah, I mean, Tordor is dead next turn in this area. But Tordor has a fantastic attack. As you as you said, we're back to 50-50. I don't know who's taking this right now. The question is, it's not who wins the base trade earlier. It's who switches fronts and gets maybe this property or this property quicker? Who shifts over to attacking the airport base? This is an inevitability. This is an inevitability. But where do you go next? And by default, it's going to be this base over here attacking for blue. It's going to be this base over here for black. 
That's why I would have sent that damn tank up here, start attacking. Torger got the memo. He's like, oh shit, why was my mech over here? Like, I'm gonna put it back over here. I you agree. You need to start yeah. cocooning. Get your cocoon going. Mm hmm. Get, yeah. C -c cocoon it up. Be, be cocoon. Do the, do the cocoon. Cocoon and Matata, man. You gotta go. <laughs> cocoon and Matata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, again, yeah, it really comes down to where they choose to focus after this. We both know exactly. both players are going to lose their base now. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, yeah, Nightmare Nightmare didn't really pick up on that uh, long term. You got pretty myopic just throwing some book at it. He was, you know, short-sighted. He was over-focused on this force over here, and he didn't really have a contingency plan afterward. Where it seems as Tortred starting yeah. to have i wouldn't say he had a really good backup plan but it's you know more put together than he definitely before. has yeah i sent some of his units down here already uh let me just refresh real quick chat to get rid of the capture bugs on the map so let me just uh refresh so far the site has been cooperating which is very nice um go, go jinx it <laughs> there we go all right there we go just uh some capture some capture bug infantry right here which i wanted to get rid of there we go all right so uh yeah um yeah nightmare's gonna lose this he now has a battle cop drown interesting um 80 fire pillar battle copter uh you know whatever there we go sorry so we got some we're just gonna sit through some errors sorry about that chat probably shouldn't have refreshed but the ca the capture the capture bugged infantry were we're, we're triggering my ocd so there we go all right uh should all be right. so Man, these little stupid pop-ups. I remember when I was hosting the uh, yeah, when you, when you, the yeah, when you did the fog goblet uh, uh, tournament. Yeah. those pop-ups, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to refresh a certain amount of times in this. You got to refresh until you get it right, basically. It's, exactly. It's very annoying. I, I just should. I shouldn't. I should. I'm, I'm not gonna touch it from now on. I'm just gonna. Yeah, exactly. Capture bugs. You know, if it's scrolling. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna let them. So actually, I like this play. Oh, Oop. hopefully that shit goes. Oh my god. <laughs> It'll go away. It'll go away. It'll go away. Yeah, I think it will. I like this artillery build over here because there's a nice little nestling. See this mountain over here? You can put an artillery right there. Somewhere in this vicinity, it's hard to reach. Yeah. So I like, he's going to probably put that artillery behind the mountain down there. I usually don't like artillery on weak sides, but mm -hmm. in this case, I do. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't do this to me, Paige. Uh, all right. So uh, I, think, I think I just got to refresh until it fixes itself. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think it works now. Yeah, I can see the viewer count. When the viewer count is at zero, that's when it bugs out. Exactly, yeah. So you just gotta refresh until you get the proper... It's like the site kicks you out and doesn't let you in until you, like, get in front of the queue or something. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, no, finally, no. we can see what Tordred is doing now. And now Tordred has He's begun... He's actually... So Tordred is doing an interesting maneuver. I don't quite agree. He's, instead of fighting into this side over here, I guess because of the artillery, he's instead choosing to reinforce this side over here. Yeah. So he's being more defensive, which is, as Lash, you know, I don't know about that. Oh, but isn't but... she a defensive CO because she gets defense? <laughs> oh, dude. She gets the superpower and your stars double. She's yeah. like Kambe. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's better than Kambe than she is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh... So, yeah. so okay, I, I get the reinforcements. I, 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 I sort of get it, but medium tank got a torture though. It's a nice uh, buy, I'd say. I thought he was gonna go for the neo, but I guess he wanted to didn't want to put all of his eggs in one basket. Yeah, he saw the copter. I guess the I mean that uh the Drake copter did something after all. To be honest though, just build a neo tank. A Drake copter attacking a neo tank, dude, it's gonna be <laughs> Doesn't one damage. Doesn't do anything. Like yeah, and neo tanks two are or three back. And neo yeah. tanks are great in life too because uh, oh. Tordred now attacking the tanks a little bit. Yeah, just doing what damage he can. So I like that. Just, exactly. just, just chipping away yeah. at Nightmare's tanks so they're weaker later on. I like that. Those makes are going to die anyway. All right. Day so, 10 curious. rolls in, ladies and gentlemen. Nightmare. Tordred is actually going to capture Nightmare's base before him. That's, uh, I didn't That's what I, I said. When he went earlier, he had the good cocoon earlier, got cocky. He paid the ultimate price. Yeah, over Now the question is, where is the next city that's going to be captured? Where is the play to break this tiebreaker? Is it going to be this city here? Is it going to be this city over here? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be some random city like over here? I don't know. Uh, but there's got something's got to. Honestly, if it locks up, I'd build a T copter. I'd capture this base in the corner and you win. Honestly, that's good, a thought. Good, good. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty. If pretty it's good. day 16 and things are no day 15. 
and things are locking up and there looks like there's nothing's gonna change, you build a tea copter. You get your ass over to that island. What do you think? Do you think pumping normal power to interrupt these caps would be a good idea? No, no, no. You want to no? save that later on. Pro pro probably, yeah. Probably. A lot of people, when they see the Drake Super, are like, <laughs> yeah, they press that button. They don't know better. Yep. Um, but, you, you know, it has a, it has viability when you use it. Maybe you even want Lash to use her superpower first. That's a possibility as well. Um, yeah, so that, so that she actually gets so she actually gets slowed down during the typhoon. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly. Fine. But yeah, recons so are coming. So it's all going to come down to these properties because it's start. I it can tell right now it's starting to shift towards more static because Chordred instead of base trading, he chose to reinforce this time instead, which yep. is curious. I I don't agree with the move. I think as Lash, you need to be on the offensive most of the time. Absolutely, Drake wants a defensive stall match. Lash does not. Exactly. So. so We'll see what happens. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I think it might come down to a T-Copter. Who sees it first? <laughs> yeah, because they're both tied right now. and They're tied, and I don't know what's going to fall. You yeah. put an artillery on your weak side with the airport, you can't capture that property very easily at all. Yeah. I will say, though, Nightmare almost down to five minutes on the clock, so he needs to be careful. It's going yeah. to it's gonna come down to some painstaking minutes. Um, and he's got the... one increment. Yeah, it's one minute increment. It's one not minute, five, one minute. Yeah, it's fifteen. One, one minute it's increments. Deal. So, completing your turn in one minute—that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. Um, yeah. So it's it's all about just move as quickly. This is this is where like a player like twenty three viewers on this mic, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's lagging. Get yeah, your ass off. Get here. your look ass on YouTube. Yeah, try, yeah. Look on YouTube instead, guys. I beg of you, please. <laughs> I mean, the site is stable for now, hopefully. So. Anyway, ooh, doesn't get that, uh, doesn't get that kill. No com towers. All right, Tordred, now capping that base. It's gonna get a Neo tank in the corner near the airport. Yeah. Will the Neo tank build a bomber? Oh, I thought he built one. Yeah. No, but yeah. I'm expecting a Neo tank this turn. It's I would... time. Yeah, it's nice, time. nice positioning for the artillery there. I like that. Easy to defend. Has the mountain to prevent. Yeah, it's trying to cut him off. Yeah. Just, uh, it's such an awkward position for Torture to reinforce because he's going to get cut off by the two base. Yep. And uh, Nightmare has battle copters. I mean, these dead Drake battle copters, they're shit, but they they can still yeah, be a little garbage. bit. They can still be a little bit annoying. Yeah, Torture moving in right now. And I believe anti-air does not one shot an infantry on a plane without a comm tower. So that that anti-air, I mean, that artillery is completely safe. It is. Yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, Drake Empire versus Infantry on Planes. That's like a 90%, I think. I think on Rhodes... 92 to 99. 92 to 99, so you cannot, not without a power. But that superpower exactly. is coming in, though. It's probably going to be pop next turn, I think. We'll see, we'll see. I'm... You, think yeah, we'll he's see. Gonna you think he's going to hold on to it? This is Nightmare we're talking about. He's very calculated. He takes his time, he likes indirects. It wouldn't surprise me to hold on to that power a little bit longer rather than immediately mashing it. Yeah, try to um, try to uh, coordinate it with some kind of push where you can actually break through some walls. Yeah, this we're about to have like a big choke here, right here. I, I don't, I don't like if I'm nightmare. I don't think I want to attack into this. I think I just go elsewhere. I mean, you can keep just going upwards like here because Tortoise takes longer to reinforce from the two base. He can he can just plow on ahead, build neo tanks, build medium tanks, what have you. Mm -hmm. And then Torture would have to come to him, and it'll be within base for punishing range. That's why I don't like this reinforce over here. You have to go in front of the two base to stop them, and it's right in front of the two base. Yes. Oh, Should have Neo, Neo the tank offensive. from Torture up in the top left base right it. now. That's I smart. Knew it. Yeah, Neo tank coming out. So uh, has a nice little infantry wall here too. Drake struggles to break through walls with no comm towers. So uh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough. And, uh, both yeah, he needs those artillery, and those artillery are about four turns away. Yes. Um, at the bottom, like I said, over-invested a little bit. Uh, so that Neo tank is going to have a free reign for a little bit. A little uh, bit, He's going to yeah. have to build its own Neo tank or medium and tank. And he doesn't have, have the money for the Neo tank right now. He's got 20k in the bank. Yeah, Torture got the captures first, even though he was losing it. He the did, bottom so first. he has that 24, momentarily at least, he has that 24k income, which will allow him to build a Neo and some infantry, which does exactly. give him a, does give him a big advantage. Does give him a big advantage. Really Nightmares cranking up the speed now, that's good to see. He's reaching five minutes, he realizes he, he has to play quickly now. 
So this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. Do you think do you think he'll attack north or do you think he'll pull out? Because like these it's hard for him to attack into here, and Tordred has this middle right on lockdown right here. So really don't know where he goes from here. He moves his artillery up in the mm, bottom so right. Starting to get a little feisty at the bottom there. Yeah. Uh, which, hey, you know. Both players have, have a unit to... count of 30 plus in a live match. That's usually not a good thing. <laughs> this takes too I'm long. I'm expecting to get a your... T-copter soon. I'm expecting a T-copter very soon now. Yeah. The thing is, both of them can Explosive. just build it. Both of them can build a T-copter, though. So that, that's, that's yeah, a possibility. Yeah, it depends when they build it, because they're going to need what? Let's, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. So it's gonna need three turns to get over there. Yep. Drop it off. One capture, one capture, five turns. So you if you build it any later than day 15, it's useless. So Nightmare is pushing forward here despite the Neo Tank. Both players have their superpowers ready right now. So this is uh Tordred oh, can pop that prime. Thing. Yeah. You go for the T-copter thing. Let's say you go for the T-copter thing on day 15. Use a Drake power, Drake superpower. You yeah. stop the interrupt. You stop the cap. You stop the cap. Yeah, that's that's a big deal, actually. Not like Lash can. If you watch the uh, Fog Goblin Goblet, Tordred versus Go. I saw that Tordred one. Go, you go. go yeah, go use the uh, Urban Blight. Yeah, to interrupt the cap. That was a fantastic man. Then he they deleted. The he deleted his. The limit. And he deleted his units. Yeah. That was really. That was an amazing match. I was so impressed. So Drake has the advantage. He can throw down a power, a superpower, yeah. and interrupt caps. So, we are on day 11, ladies and gentlemen. So nine days left, but uh, <laughs> Nightmare now dipping almost below three minutes. So I don't, I don't know if we're gonna see the day 20. We might see a timeout here if, uh, if, uh, nah. if both players. So you really want to be careful. You really want to be careful. He's, he's, do he's doing good. He'll be fine. He's doing all right. So uh, we'll see. Another. Oh, more artillery. Oh, damn! And another untire coming out of Nightmare right now. T-copter alert, T-copter alert. Yep, T-copter, here we go, here it is, here it is. So the question oh. is now, will Tordred build a T-copter too? Thing is, I wouldn't have built the T-copter yet. I would have waited a couple turns, hoping that Tordred didn't realize it. Then you build it, then he builds it, and then he win by using the power. Yes, absolutely. So, Tordred will have ample time. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Sometimes you want to fake like you don't know about the T-Copter. One thing though, uh, looking at the capture right here, once Nightmare captures these two properties, won't he be ahead? He'll have 23 to 20, 22. Uh, yeah, but that's only because that Tordred hasn't got Oh, Tordred has, I didn't see that. Yeah, okay, yeah, he hasn't. Probably even at, yeah, yeah, he hasn't taken this yet. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Probably even at 22. He's T-posing um, with the T-Copter, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. you could build a fighter. Forget all this shit. Build a, build a fighter <laughs> next. Fighter to stop Intercept the T-copter. <laughs> Dude, that's an actual... It's a Drake fighter. I know. Uh, but I think it might still want KKO. I don't know. Uh, no, actually it won't. Uh, fighters against transport. Maybe if he's a power, it does. I think uh, fighters are 100% base damage against transport. So with Drake, it would right, be 80%. Have a, so you, you need to use a Typhoon. <laughs> No, if you use a power, you reduce it to 9 HP and then you get a 10%. I think that might just barely be enough. Yeah, I think that would barely be enough. Um, and so. then there's luck. Yeah. So, I, and I'm telling you, it's all about those islands. It is. It, it might is. come down to the audience vote or kill to death, but I think we can avoid that if he builds a fighter. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, so should we agree right now? Like, um, should we, should we, if, if both players, if it's a draw, we'll decide by kill to death. Okay, and yeah. then the tiebreak after that is unit count. Audience, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. tiebreaker audience, yeah, audience vote. Kill the death would be by value, not number of units. Value, okay, I agree, I agree. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Hopefully, it doesn't and come now to that. Now, is shifting downward. He sees the teacup and he's like, "Hey, you missed a spot there. Like, you missed a step. Yeah. He's gonna take advantage of." Uh... Okay. Yeah, could 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 be. I mean, uh, is, do you think he do you think he can intercept the the teacopter with the with the umpire? Is that a possibility? Or I mean, Nightmare can just switch his nah, forces down he, here. He, he, yeah, exactly. He won't intercept. He just kind of realized, like I said earlier, he should have fought down here earlier. But yeah. He went over here, and now Nightmare, he can go to town over here. With this three artillery that'll stop the Neo tank. Day twelve, though. 
Day 12. Day 12 and four minutes left. <laughs> we got, we got, we got seven days left on the clock now, so yeah. But yeah, Torger's gonna capture this property right here. Uh, Nightmare's gonna get these two. They're gonna be down to 22. Very even. These players are very evenly matched. Very, yeah, very impressed. Like, but of course... Bog players. That's why I knew it would be a banger. All right. So, question is, though. Does he pop Typhoon or does he keep it? Could pop it. But uh, would he get that much out of it? He doesn't have a push to follow it up with, so... I'm curious about what he's gonna do here. Very curious. He might wait till that medium tank and strike the Neo tank before using it. That could be a thing, yeah, absolutely. Timer freeze? Uh, I don't think so. I don't see the timer freezing, so... No? Timer? Timer's working? Oh, no, actually, you're oh, right. The, frozen, the timer yeah. actually did freeze. That's uh, interesting. Well, um, it'll... I could refresh, but I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. It's terrifying. Yeah, I th honestly, I think the timer's struggling a little bit because we got 33 spectators. Exactly. I'd, I'd appreciate, if, I'd appreciate if, if some of you guys who are in chat now, if you could not spectate the game live because the site is struggling a little bit because of it. Uh, so I'd appreciate if you could just watch the stream and not not be in the not be spectator. Yeah, because now we're getting error messages. So would appreciate that, guys, a lot. So I'm gonna refresh now. Uh, see if I can get myself back into this game. Cause yeah, the timers uh, the timers are definitely freaking out a little bit now. And now we just gotta refresh. Yeah, you gotta do it until you see the amount of viewers, and that's basically how you know when it's like you're yeah, good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're at 28 now, which is good. Oop, yeah, some of them left, which is good. Oop. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> and again. Uh, there we go. Now I'm back in. Okay. And now we see and the I timers. Now we see the timers again. So, yeah. yeah, there we go. Super, yeah, both players have their superpower. Ooh, all this artillery coming in now. We would appreciate yep. if you left. I know, I'm being very... <laughs> I, I didn't mean stream, guys. I meant leave the game. Oh, my God, we got almost a thousand <laughs> people watching. Nice. So, um, nice. Ooh, all right. Yeah, he's moving hard in. Those that neo tank has to back off now, surely. Yeah, it definitely does. He's gonna have to cocoon it up uh, with his artillery. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are indecisive. Like I said, Torjard came over here. He's like, uh, never mind. Yeah, they're going. They're like Nightmare's back. Recon went over here. He's like, uh, never mind. Like, there's maybe they didn't practice as much as they thought. <laughs> Do you just throw shade at the players here? <laughs> no, they're great, you know. But yeah. He's got all of contingency plans. But yeah, but they are they're indecisive. They're they, they seem very indecisive about where they want to attack. Which is, you know, it's that's a the worst thing you can have during live. During normal play, perfectly fine to be indecisive. You take the best engagement. Yes, live because play, in a league match, in a league match you have in, in a live match you have uh, a league match you have infinite turn. So you can you can you can afford to like spend 20 turns moving your units around. It's all about finding that one yeah. engagement. In live, no. Ah, oh, thank you. Only 14 people spectating the match now. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. The site is much more stable now. Thank you. Rockets! Ooh! <laughs> oh, let's go. go! His favorite hey, unit. Hey, Rockets need artillery, so... His favorite unit. He deployed his favorite unit. Rocket time. Chat is hype. Chat is hype. They see rockets. That's cool. All right. Transport copter now moving in. No, both so players... now it's a question of... Two turns, one there, one there, capture. But then there's artillery there. He knows this. We're at day 13. Who's gonna get these little properties over here first? And can you hold them as the weak side? Mm. I think it'll be easier for Nightmare because he's gonna have the rain to slow things down. And he's gonna have, it's gonna do damage and it's gonna slog through the units going through plains and forests. So Nightmare has the advantage in that sense. And I think he does have a lot first mover advantage over here because Tordred is like, uh, uh, went <laughs> down over here. Nightmares is like, I'm going straight up there. I'm not playing no games. Like, yeah. So he's got more similar to earlier on. He has the early lead in initiative. But will he blow it by making some weird-ass turns on his weak side? Remains to be seen. Yep, absolutely. Loving Tordred pulling off a little boost there in live. Always cool. Um, <laughs> if I was Tordred now, I think I, I would really just move quickly and hold on to my time advantage right now. Because Nightmares going to have to make yeah, his next turn in two minutes. Yeah, it's just move. Just make moves, man. Just uh, don't... This is the part of the match where you just can't sit and calculate. Don't open up the move planner now. Just <laughs> oh my god, and Nightmare only has 55 seconds. Oh, yeah, shit, he's really gonna hard. have one, one minute 55 He needs turn. to be planning his Rock turn right now. Rockets. Torture is making his turn. Yeah, he, need, yeah, he needs to plan out, pre-plan it. Torture building a rocket, ladies and gentlemen. 
pre-plan, move immediately, don't even do any calculations, you just... Full, full hard. baboon monkey mode right now. You gotta go full baboon monkey mode, you got 55 seconds and it's only one minute increment, which yep. is terrible. And you got seven more turns to go. <laughs> You're not gonna get time to move uh, all your units at that not point. Not an enviable position to be in for nope. a nightmare. I didn't. I didn't expect yeah. that match to turn out like this. This is a really. So if I'm nightmare, I'm like, okay. Artillery here. Build artillery. Build top or something. Build, build, build. Move these up slightly. Attack. Like you just. Um, you have a general idea what you're gonna do, and you just go through it. You don't fight the best engagements. You fight for. You're not good trying to get an A plus here. You're trying to get Bs. You know. Yep. The, you know. Good engagements. Uh, with the amount of time you're given. You're not going to have time for A-plus engagements. I do think we're going to see a Typhoon either this turn or the next turn. Um, Nightmare wants to push through here. He has... Does he have the... Yeah, he has the ability to strike the Neo Tank oh, right now. Oh, he does have the strike. Yeah. He will definitely use it then. I he think he... And, and Tortured also left this city open, which I think is a little bit of a blunder, maybe? I mean, he does He has have... no time. I think he realizes that and, like... Yeah. I don't know. I, I Medium think... tank... Attacking... Use the power. Yep. Medium tank attacks, then tank attacks. Might be able to break through, attack that artillery. Oh, he's going for the rocket. Oh, there you oh, go. oh, go, 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 go. Oh, go, 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 go. go. Oh, oh, this is a devastating typhoon. This is a devastating. No more thinking, dude. Move your damn monkey. <laughs> move <laughs> <you miss. laughs> Move this infantry. The most important thing. Move these two infantry. Capture that damn thing. Absolutely. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah. Keep ooh. on moving. Like, go, 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 go. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Is that... One minute twenty-three. Okay, yes. yeah. Move back. Better. Get our get artillery at the bottom. That's all I got to do. Or rockets. I don't care which one. One of the two. Indirects. Go, go, go. Yep. Guess rockets that. probably. W did Tordred's? No. Okay. Tord. Oh, Tordred should have kept an infantry inside the T-copter. Nah, he's got one healed up. Oh yeah, he's gonna get that. healed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely They'll both right. be fine. Okay. So yeah, rockets. Go, go, go. I honestly just end your turn here. It doesn't even matter. You don't need any more units at the bottom. They're not going to make yeah. any differences. To yeah, at and at this point, I would only build high tech units. Wouldn't build infantry. I just build neo tanks. Don't even build anything. Yeah. Like these are going to be too late to yeah. get up there. Absolutely. Let's go. I agree. Go and turn. <laughs> There's no point. This is 15 seconds lost. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Day 14. Tor dread. It's got you three need to minutes. realize when the units Ooh. get to the front lines, it's not going to have an impact. Prime, Prime tactics, tactics, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if Tordor is able. He ignores the rain penalty right now. He ignores the rain penalty. Double defense from properties. This could be good. Blazes through the forests like it's nothing, but all of his units are damaged, though. So I, I know. don't see him breaking through this rocket right here from Nightmare. It's going to be He's tough. He's not. In the in Nightmare has the 10% defense from popping the uh, superpower in the first place. Yeah. Decent defense I don't here, expect that rocket to move at all. I think it's going to sit on the base, both of them. Either, either move or either, either attack. Yeah, no, he's attacking with it. You're absolutely right. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, he's going to send this. Is this T-Copter? Yeah, T-Copter's not going to crash. Put some That's shit gonna... in it. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what you put in it. But he needs to get over there. You got two minutes. Yeah. Um... Tordred does have a nice little time advantage. It's a little bit more time. But really, if he's Tordred right now, just you want to capitalize on that time. Just move. So, okay, now he is actually moving his infantry into the T-Copter, interestingly enough. Doesn't matter. I mean, the other infantry is going to get in there. He's wasting time putting that other one in there. I agree. Just put I the agree. one in the base of it. It doesn't matter. Boosting or not boosting. Does the lower HP reduce the attack boost from our day-to-day -day scop? Uh, it, it, not specifically. Like, it, Lash doesn't get a bigger penalty to attack than any other CO gets from be, having reduced HP, no. Um... He's wasting time moving these units. He needs to attack <laughs> here and his turn. That's all you need to do. Don't even worry about this base over here. Maybe build a medium tank quickly. Just attack into that shit. You need to capture that. That's the end of the game. You need to get yep. this full HP infantry over there, or these eight ones and sevens combined for the cap. Just go in. Yep, go in. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, that attack, rocket, that rocket, if he wants to shoot with that rocket, he base locks himself, so it's probably not a bad idea. Very good. He's he going to sit there anyway. I think he's happily will take the base lock. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right, so he's, he's wondering what he should have moved the uh, full HP tank down there to attack off the silo. Yeah, I maybe don't think that's not a one, that's not a one shot. Yeah, I'm wondering if the medium tank actually it, it, from yeah, a, maybe from there, I think it's one shot. It one is. Shot. There you go. It is. Now he gets the uh, hit there are our artillery oh, over there from, from a uh, four forty percent extra firepower because it's in the forest doubled and the prime tactics. Beautiful so attack. George looking fine. He's looking very he's good. Actually. Cognizant. Forty five seconds. Forty five seconds. Let's go. Oh. Build a medium tank and turn. 
Ruben, That's... sure you, that, who gives a shit about those little shits? It's yeah, just, just leave them, leave them, leave them. <laughs> just build a medium tech and get out of here. Medium tech end. <laughs> there you go. Okay, add the extra energy. It's not going to do shit. But, <laughs> sure. What are these little shits doing? Go home. <laughs> No infantry left uh, behind. That's, re- that, that's yeah. Tordred's it, motto. All his time advantage, he had three minutes to, yep. to Rhymer's, what, 45 seconds? And now it's all evaporated. Yep. But let's see if uh, let's see, uh, see if Nightmare can go in here. Uh, he will. He, yeah, he can, he can mop up that. He needs quickly. to get that 4HP artillery off the base so we can start capping them. Absolutely. And he needs to pray he can get a power to interrupt Tordred from yes, capping. Yes, if he can cap, yeah, property. if he can interrupt that, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. That might actually, because we're there on day 14 right now. There's six days left, and they're they're tied. So I think I think Nightbird's gonna get this property. Oh, he kept he kept it on there. Oh, he did. Damn, yeah, dude. he did. Ah, uh, I don't like that. Ooh, okay, interesting. Maybe he's so confident. Oh, he can he's... cap the other one. He yeah, can he can, cap, the, he other can cap the other one. Yeah, there are. Eh, can he wipe out all the? It will be interrupted. Let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, he does have that nice Battlecopter here, though, which we'll be able to... He can destroy the... Uh, ah, no, actually, it's a Drake Battlecopter. Oh, it's Never a mind. Drake, but yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 20% rest firepower. That sucks. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that artillery defense, DJ. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Flash power, superpower. Six defense stars. That's actually pretty good. Wow. Look oh, at that. Okay. He's got 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. He's, he got, he's, he's got move. He's got move. Get tanks up there. Combine the five and the sevens. Yep. Build a Neo tank and turn. That, that's what I would do, yeah, absolutely. Move them up, combine, Neo tank, and turn done. Yeah. Oh, and you attack down there, of course. Yeah, yeah, Just no, obviously. You need, you need to he's going to build a copter this turn because he's weaking off the artillery. Could be, could be, absolutely. Bomber. Bo Drake a bomber. bomber. <laughs> that would he's going to do it. That I would can actually tell be a good move. All right, he's going to go down on borrowed time. Now, if he's not careful. He's going to do it. He he's on 20, 20 seconds borrowed time Dude. right now. 20 seconds borrowed time. End the turn. Who gives a shit? Go! 18 seconds. Those infantry don't matter. 15 seconds borrowed time. I'm counting it down because you guys can't see it. He's probably lost track. There we go. So in case you guys don't know, you get around 30 seconds of borrowed time when you hit zero. So uh, it, it's a little bit random, sadly. Uh, but I, I will make sure to keep you guys updated on the borrowed time since you can't see it on screen. Okay. But I like that bomber. That's a great buy. Even if it's a Drake bomber. 5 HP Antire probably can't do much to it, I think. It's not. I think he's going to put a tank in front of it. Oh, okay. He's going to... Because what Tordred wants to do, he doesn't care about killing the bomb. He cares about the infantry capturing that property more than anything else. Yeah, we have just passed a thousand the viewers. There. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just passed a thousand viewers. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. It's amazing. This is hype. It's hype. I think Nightmare, if he plays his cards right, he wins this. Yep, we have five turns he has left. the rocket in range here. We'll interrupt that. He doesn't give half a shit about any of that stuff. Yep. This rocket, on the other hand, is near death. There's a copter. There's artillery locking. You can capture this next turn. God forbid, maybe even this property over here. So I'm looking. I'm looking at Rhymer right now. I'm thinking, just don't Ooh. f this up. Got low time. Yeah, this is uh, turn just down to ten seconds. Oh, there we go. So do you? Oh, he can interrupt it though. He can interrupt it. He can interrupt it, but it doesn't matter because he I, he gave it away too early. It's day fifteen. Yeah, exactly. He needed to build this T copter. Yep. Couple days later, imagine this day eighteen or some shit. You're you're screwed. Yep. All right, here we um, go. I'm expecting a power this turn and then the finishing blow. There you go. You think he's uh, gonna? You think he's gonna? You think he's gonna? Oh no, he pops it. He, he pops should have waited for the power because then he would have one shot this infantry over there. Now he can combine. He's already got an eight. Look! Look at George's. You know I mean? Look at George's fuel. <laughs> he's gonna run out of fuel. Oh shit. <laughs> Up to 11, 9 fuel. <laughs> oh yeah, Rhymer's got this. He's gonna attack with 4 HP, 7 HP tank. Kill off the rocket. Ooh. Oh, here with we go. With the medium go. tank on the base. Here we go. With the medium tank on the base. Yeah. Oh, that's a good attack. This is a good attack. Brutal. Perdred does have his normal. Oh yeah, this is bad. I, oh, is Sniper gonna take this? I think he's gonna take this at this point. Tordress, Barring yeah. a huge throw at the bottom. Yeah. Honestly, don't even worry about this. This is all locked up. Get move this one infantry over there to capture that where the that four HP oh. artillery is. Forty seconds of borrowed time. Bottom. Forty seconds of borrowed. He's forty seconds of borrowed time. Thirty nine seconds. Enter. Enter. Yeah. yeah. Gotta be very Smart. careful. Very careful. You don't want to gamble. You don't know how much time he has left. Somewhere yeah, it's like somewhere between seconds. it's somewhere between zero and sixty seconds depending on the servers. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's I a little bit. That one time. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. Suddenly it like, can be like five seconds. You gotta be very, very careful. 
All right. Oh, random Tordred. Oh, there you go. At the bottom over there. Oh! Hidden, hidden counterplay. Ooh. Maybe forgotten about. There oh. is a chance. Tordred is not done yet. Tord yeah, if, if, done yet. if Nightmare is not able to interrupt this... He has to like move. He can move his bomber over, I guess. Yeah, he can. He can. He can strike it with the bomber. Yeah. Yeah, he could do the. Actually, I would do that. This is already lost. You're gonna lose. Like, the, or, I don't know. You gotta stop that Tordred offensive. That that last heaving attempt. Yeah. Just, I, I know Tordred's timer is not moving right now, guys. But I really don't want to refresh because it's too exciting. So just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the side the side is just struggling a little bit because of all the traffic. Um, all right, Torch is coming in with this entire. I think it'll update itself when he ends his turn, so should, we should be good on that front. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to refresh now and, and risk like missing this because this, this is these are crucial turns right now. These are crucial turns. Turn. Yeah, just end, end turn. Yeah, you just gotta end the turn. What man. was he doing here? That, what's that seven HP effort gonna do? Nothing. That teacup just gonna that crash. End, end your fuel. damn turn, dude. Nine fuel. What are you doing? <laughs> What are they gonna do? Oh my goodness. Okay. Lots of antires. He's. Oh, is he doing the Manx antire? You that random ass boost, dude! You got no time! <laughs> there we go. Now the timers are working again. That's good to see. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this could be uh... Bomber? Oh, he blocked the bomber with the B copter down there. Notice that. Smart yeah. move. Yeah, did just. Yeah, oh, yeah. He can, get, not... he, can, he can weave through now, though. Yeah, it's there no it's go. no Smart secret move. at this point. Chat is being a, Chat is a little confused. You're calling him Rhymer. Yeah, Nightmare is Rhymer. Yeah, Nightmare Rhymer, same thing. He he rebranded himself. He rebranded. Similar it, to yeah. uh, but if, what you, the, if you hear DJ's calling him Rhymer, the Latter Day Saints now. He's, talk, like, he's talking. He's talking about himself. Nightmare. Just Chat was a little bit confused by that. Um, okay. So uh, get that four HP artillery off there, dude. But what the hell is he doing? <laughs> get that shit out of there. But yeah, Nightmare is now okay. Yeah, so this will be captured though. Torter will be able to capture this property, so they'll be yeah, tied he's fine again. with that. Yeah. There you go. Smart move. Yeah. Rhymer, realizing, not overcommitting this time. Last time I done fucked up. This time I know better. Yep. Two seconds. One second. Okay, he has. Oh, oh, oh! He's on borrowed time. He's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. He's gonna. I think he lost. I think he lost. I think he lost. I, th I think he timed up. I think he timed up. You gotta refresh. I need to refresh to see what happened. I think I think he I think he timed out. You can't you got you. Let's see, oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, he timed out! Oh. He timed out! This is why you gotta be so careful. You cannot go on borrowed time. You cannot go on borrowed time. This oh. is very, very scary. You I cannot. Think he had that. Yeah, he had, he had that, that but he timed out. Yeah, this is why you Damn. gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. But I'm gonna go crazy in the Discord. <laughs> All right, well, but that um, was, ah, despite on, the timing out, that was a really, really exciting match. I liked that one a lot. It was, uh, it was, uh, it, I did not expect it to go that way. Uh, both players playing extremely even and being very like, and and, but they were also kind of indecisive and they shifted their attacks multiple times. So, uh, but yeah. That was uh, was going to win in time. That yeah, this is why you just can't do it. You can't risk it. You have to end your turn before you you can't rely on borrowed time. You have to just like on oh, two seconds. I would just end my turn, regardless of what went on. Like absolutely. So hey, Minx, um, uh, keep your uh, cursor still for a second. I'm trying to get back to my other screen. It keeps shifting for some oh. reason. <laughs> I can kick you off the cursor. Uh, there we go. Okay, I made it out. Yeah, I'll just do this. I'll just remove the cursor while we're be, okay. until we go into the next match. Okay. All cool. right. Yeah. I'm with them. Well, uh, to everyone saying the timer shouldn't work this way, I didn't make the site, so <laughs> sorry. Um, that's just how the site works. Uh, I I don't like it either, but that's just how it works. And um, I'm sorry that I, I, I I'm not happy about it either, chat. But that is just how the mechanics work. So um, anyway, that was a really really cool match. Let's go take a look at the bracket. So yeah, looks like uh, Tori Dread. Uh, so it was it was Nightmare timed out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure I don't put the wrong guy in here. <laughs> so. Toe Dread. Toe the Toe Dread. Yeah. Toe Dread. <laughs> Little known fact: Mangs was making the the bracket, and he yeah. put it through quality control, which is me, and said Toe Dread. Toe Dread. Like, what yeah. The hell is this shit. He almost put it on the live thing without any quality control. <laughs> yeah, Toad Dread. The, the mighty Toad Dread. Alright, so that means that 
toward Dread. Next up, we got uh, Dead FS Toulouse, right? That is what we're having at Dead FS versus Toulouse. So, yeah, let's uh, bring up that bracket right now. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's okay, dude. Just you gotta take a break. Um. Tordred is his only fans thing. See, again, I, I'm sorry about the, the timer, guys. I, I really am. I, I, I wish that it didn't work like that. And I will say, you know, if maybe someone working on an alternate site, it won't be that way. But, um, you know, just maybe be maybe be on the lookout for that. There might be an alternate site coming. Um, so, uh, and, and we won't do it that way then. So, so limitations of the platform. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing we can do about it. It is how it is. Hint, hint. Yeah, someone may be working on another site, guys. I'm not. I'm not saying specifically, but someone might be, and uh, you know, we won't have that limitation there. But all right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not called. No, it's not Max Valsworth's by map. I promise you. I did, I'm not developing it, but we'll talk more about it later. Anyway, it's time to set up the next match, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, do 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 do. Yeah, we need to have quick matches, because if we're going to have seven matches in a day, then that's just how it's going to be. So, anyway, uh, let us bring up the next match, shall we? So, All right, yeah, they got it started. Yeah, so just send me the link whenever you're ready. Uh, there we go, and... Oh, by the way, Mangus, is there a possibility that I can see the chat? Is there is that a technical you can pop possibility? Right? Hmm, that's a good point. Uh, I would have to pop it myself from the. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because I'm using my phone actually to read chat. Oh. Because uh, okay. I, yeah, I, I I should have a second monitor, really. Like it's kind of inexcusable that I don't. Uh, so I just have my phone in front of me. With if you have a phone, you can put it in front of you, open the stream, and just toggle on the chat. Sure. That, that's that, uh, that's how I do it. So that's how I'm able future, to reach out. The future is Cause, cause, Yeah, because due to the way, due to the web browser, I have to have it full screen, sadly, for it to work. Just another limitation of the site, basically. Um, anyway. Not, not manga. Jeez, your thing auto connects. Yeah, auto -connects it, it always thinks you're looking for manga, yeah. I'm not looking for hentai, actually. Alright. <laughs> uh, okay, how about Usually, if you click the stream, you should be able to see the chat on the on the right hand side. At least I think so. Maybe it's because I have a small ass phone. Yeah. All right, just give me a second, yeah. guys. I'm uh, fixing the uh, setting up the player, the sub CEOs. Uh, hmm. Let's see, winner bracket face sub CEOs. Right maps. Uh, where the hell did we put the players? Let's see. Sorry about those guys. I just need to fix some technical shit. Uh, he just is making me some kind of cult. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm what? They're calling you a man of culture. I don't. I don't know why. Oh yes. Sure, I'll take that any day. Ah, found it. Lovely. All right. So up next. Right, I can't view chat. I'm just gonna go yellow it. Right. Uh, my phone so too. I think it's uh, is it Toulouse Rachel or or sorry, is it Toulouse Sasha or is it um? No. Nope. NFS is Sasha Toulouse is our lady luck. Thank you. It's Nell, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So, okay, no, we yeah. have our next uh, we have our next uh, matchup right here on the map. Forced fruition. Uh, let's let's ask chat who they think will win. That's that's always fun. So who who are you rooting for? Uh, Dead Fs or Toulouse? So we have this matchup right here. Very interesting matchup. Oh, let me get D just back on the screen right here. Um, Dead Fs as Sasha, Toulouse as Nell. This is not a matchup we see every day. This is a this is a pretty un un unorthodox matchup. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Like, would you like uh, who, who are you who are you favoring in this matchup right here? I'm gonna take Sasha. Yeah, why? I think unless DFS DFS is a very smart player. I don't think he's gonna be teching up to medium tanks uh, or neo tanks. I think he's all he needs is tanks. Yeah. Um, artillery and he'll be fine. 
the, th the main blunder against Nell is you tech up, and then the infantry gun in range, and you lose your Neo tanks, you lose your copters, etc. Yeah. But DFS is a smart player. He's just going to keep it artillery, keep it tanks. Yeah. Just play in the old fashioned way. Thing is, though, this is a very small map, an extremely small map. Um, so infantry will be everywhere. It's very easy to put your valuable battlecopters and tanks into range of in, uh, uh, into range of Nell's infantry. She can pop that lucky star, roll high, wipe them out. It can be very devastating. It's gonna come down to a little bit of luck here, honestly. It so, will. It will. But I really don't know. I mean, I would I would slightly favor Dedefs over Toulouse, maybe just a tiny bit better than Toulouse. But they're I very would. they're even. They're very evenly matched. They're very even. And uh, go either way. I wouldn't be surprised either way, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. So uh, this this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting for sure. All right. Let me uh, let's. And, uh, uh, artillery are pretty strong here. We'll see if it just has an appearance. You know, I said before it takes longer to set up artillery. To zone them out because it takes a lot more critical thought than tank which is like oh tank the killer is like oh i need to put it here and then it can attack that so yes we'll see i'm still expecting some artillery but, yeah uh, not as much spam as normal i agree yeah for sure um all right let me bring up the game and let's see if everything is working properly here nah, i need a little bit of uh, adjustment Give me a little bit of time, ladies and gentlemen, and I will have this sorted out immediately. So, there we go. While well, you guys are voting, so let's see. Gotta pull this one out a little bit, like so. And, yeah, this is a tiny map. I played this on stream. I was, uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It's, uh, it's very aggressive. Um, you're gonna have, like, you're gonna have, Battlecopters are crazy good on this map. Because like they they're like mosquitoes, they're just bussing everywhere. Yeah, and set of control is also really important here. I remember when I played, I won some early engagements with artillery, but I lost because I lost control of the center. Yes. Um, so don't underestimate center control in small maps like this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Just get just back here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think you can tell uh, the players to right. uh, to, the, uh... to get started. Let's go. All right. Let's start I this. I give them a sign. Give them a sign. Let's get into it. Match two: Dead Apps versus Toulouse, ladies and gentlemen. This one's gonna be uh, this one's gonna be great. Ah, oh, lovely Sasha theme. Let's go. I'm gonna give you back my right. mouse control when you ask for it, and uh, mm -hmm. let us see. Let's go and check the chat. Toulouse, 55 percent. Dead Apps, 47 percent. That's what uh, that's what chat is. Uh, so Toulouse, slight favorite. I think there's some French people in chat here. <laughs> he's also a well-known face. He's been in the past two tournaments. He d yeah, he has a presence for he's sure. I mean, Dedefs was uh, Dedefs was he in the last one. Yeah, Dedefs was in the veterans. These are the veterans. They play each other all the time. Yeah, they're playing each other currently in Discord 11 to face me in the finals, and they're playing currently in Discord 9 in the finals. They always play each other. You know. They have a very strong rivalry. They do, they do. And their matches are always really great. Oh, I sorry, I forgot to read out donations. We got a hundred dollar donation right here. Okay. Thank you so thank you so much from Newellers. Right. Thank you so much for get that price pool up. See the price pool is on it's pretty high now. I can't see it at the moment, but it's it's pretty good I think. Anyway, um, day three rolls in. Both players playing really quickly. That is nice to see. I will read donations after this match, guys, I promise. I promise. We'll read donations after this map. So I'll go through all of them. Both players are playing incredibly quickly. Um, for the time being, we're just on the capture phase with both players building infantry. This central island right here is going to be very. Uh, it's going to be a big part of the conflict. Um, whoever can set up artillery sure. in the center here are actually going to be in a very good position. Or tank plop. You capture one property and then you plop your tank on the opponent's uh, yeah. property and then they can't, can't get it. You put an artillery behind that. Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, let me just update the match real quickly because I wish it still says we're on uh, round two. There we go. So people tuning in can see what's going on. There we go. Alright, so yeah, and also like uh, this black boat right here, <laughs> it protects the HQ, but it can very easily be shot down. Uh, cause here is, uh, like, Toulouse's black boat is right here. That has a base right here, so you can set up an artillery and shoot it down. I don't know how likely it is that this match will end up in an HQ capture. Uh, it could happen, I guess. Possibly, I don't see it, though. 
and also the black boat could just leave. Oh no, we're playing where the bridges can't go in the bridge. Never mind. So it's useless. I was thinking, hey, maybe this black boat could go in the middle and block off, but it can't because poor thing. There's two bridges blocking it. So, yeah, yeah, this is not this is not days here. of ruin where boats can just sail under the bridges for some reason. Here in it's in War's world. world, the bridges are just built of solid concrete. I just doesn't won't allow anything to sail underneath them. Sadly. <laughs> Yeah, so that thing's probably going to go on the silo, if I had to guess. Probably, Maybe, probably uh, is. He can support tank production over and over and over again because he is Sasha, so you're going to see more vehicles than Sasha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the problem when facing Sasha. She's always going to have more tanks than you, so you got to make up that uh, equalizing. Nell's day-to-day, -day, around 10% firepower is the same as Hawk. So it's a small advantage, tiny bit of advantage, not really that noticeable. Um, I think this is another Com Towerless map. Yes, it is. It, I was just about to say that it's Com Towerless map. Yes. Day to day. So no Com Towers. Do you think that more. favors Nell or Sasha? <sighs> Hard to say. I'd probably say Nell. Yeah. But not not huge amounts. Um, it, uh, plopping your, your tanks on a city. It's gonna be hard to remove them. I mean, there's there's some force around, but still not a great engagement. It's in within one turn of base reinforcements for a lot of them. So yeah, absolutely. center control. I've said it once. I'll say it again. He's gonna put the he's gonna put the damn tank like I said in the pregame. He's gonna put that damn tank there. He's gonna have an infinite chain of tanks to Sasha. Yes, yes. And Indeed. that's how the game's gonna go. Look look at his income right now. Seventy thousand six hundred to thirteen thousand. <laughs> it's the power of money oh, yeah, right that's there. Fun. Of, cor of course, Tolu's going to capture. Tolu's going to capture these two properties, of course, on his next turn. Then, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another thing too that is worth talking about in terms of Sasha versus Nels. It's not as easy for Sasha to to, uh, to block Nels' normal power. I think she. I think Dev's going to be able to block it maybe once or twice, but then the third time, or maybe the second time, it's just going to come in depending on how many engagements take place. Three bars are. That's not enough for Sasha to like realistically cock block your power. Yeah. Um, I will say though, a, a mistake that a lot of Sasha players do is they they they're like, oh, I my opponent popped their power, so I'm gonna pop, try pop the super. Don't pop the super, it sucks. It's garbage. Yeah, okay, it's, super is it's garbage. horrible. Never seen a great super. You, Never. You, you you get no money out of it. It's so bad. I've been in late game with 40 units. Super still was not worth it. It's horrible. <laughs> there's there's literally no instance I would pop a Sasha super. No. But yeah, I like I like Deadf's just going into the center here, just taking this island. I think it's gonna be hard for Toulouse to to dislodge him off that. It really is, uh, especially without a comm tower. He's gonna have to wait for battlecopter backup and then artillery backup as well. Yeah, Deadf's is already flexing on. Yeah, center control. I said at the beginning of the game, it's gonna matter the most, and yeah. battle he's got it. Nell battlecopters are terrifying, though. I will say. Um, one thing that can actually, if you pop, if you get your super, your battlecopters can sometimes take out Antair. <laughs> if you're, if you're willing to be a gambling man, that You're not going to get the super for Sasha, though. You're only going to get no, your power. No, that's, that's true. That's, that's a good point, I actually. will say, it's less about Nell's battlecopters being good, and more about Sasha's battlecopters being worse, because yeah. you put a battlecopter attacking an infantry, you're going to take chip damage every single time. True. Like, the luck is high enough for a battlecopter attacking an infantry, infantry doesn't really make much sense. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Dead F's solidly entrenching himself in the center island right here. Both players now have their airports captured. We're going to probably start seeing battlecopters coming out. Uh, Toulouse has, an, the has, artillery. has the artillery out. Strong artillery positioning on this map right here. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, he goes for it. He goes for the attack. He goes for the aggressive. Ooh, I don't know. This could be overextending. Maybe he doesn't have the... Oh, he's setting himself up to, to for a big... For a big shellac in here. Yeah, I don't like fighting him in that close to the base. But he's playing aggressively, which is nice. I mean, if he he can attack this infantry, but then he leaves his artillery open. So uh, that he definitely doesn't want to do that. He's, well, he's, just... he's getting a little desperate because he's already lost the middle. I think that's what he's doing too. He's like, oh shit, I'm losing the middle. I better attack he on the front. He's placed elsewhere, but he's he's forcing it a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Davis, donated to 20 bucks. Good luck to all the Grandmasters. Thank you, Davis. Again, I'm going to read all your donations after this match, I promise. Please please remind me, chat, that i got to read donations, okay? Everyone just, like, read donations. Because i got to thank all the wonderful people who donated to this prize pool right here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I think Toulouse, this attack is probably not going to work. Yeah, Dedefs may have just earned himself a really solid advantage by just taking That's the center. That's what I'm saying. And how are you going to get that back under control? 
just move. Once you get the center, how are you going to recapture that? And his, yeah, if he moved his artillery over here, then maybe, but without artillery support. He's going to get a free kill on that 9 HP infantry using the tank from the road or the city. Yes, absolutely. He's going to lose two units that are valuable in this mixed base map. There's not four bases this time, there's three. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is a tricky one. So let's see what Dedefs uh, will decide to do here with his two tanks. He's probably going to try and capture it. He could put his tanks here and capture the property, but then he does risk getting struck. So he needs to be careful here. I don't know if he has any room to capture the city just yet, but he will get it. Oh, yeah, here he we does. go. Yeah, Dedefs is slaughtering to lose his infantry. Uh, this, this is a bit of a Manx infantry move. Using the black boat to repair. I love that. Yeah, That's clever. He's got viability. Clever, clever. Although that might be dying to the artillery next turn. We'll see where the artillery Probably, goes, probably so. will, yeah. Uh, Lewis has a mech coming out here. Mechs are decent on the flanks. There's lots he wants there's... to put it on that mountain, I suppose. Um, yeah. God, I'm really liking Dead FS position right here. Uh, he has a very commanding control he... of the team right now. Yes, taking the center was definitely the He doesn't the right... need to block the capture with the infantry. I would just capture with the infantry. Anything that attacks that infantry is going to get destroyed. Yes, absolutely. You know I mean? Like, you don't even need to stop him from capturing it. Oh, he's going for the throat. Oh, he is. He's going. Oh, he is capturing. Okay. Feeling a little hey, feisty I here. I agree. He yeah. should be capturing. Yeah. He has to send a tank to interrupt it now. Ooh, okay. Oh, this 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 chain of tanks right here. So here's what I'm wondering if he's he going to. There we go. Battlecopter coming out. Infantry on this in this forest right here. Or else that tank's going to strike from the forest. He needs to yes. put this infantry on the forest. He probably will, I think. And then it has to attack from the shoal, and then this other tank will finish it off. Yes. So he needs to move this infantry right there. Absolutely. But yeah, first Battlecopter coming out right now. Uh, Sasha with, like, that... You know, that, that, that income advantage, it, it matters a lot in this, this early stage of the game. Just, you know, that 2,700 extra. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's not even just from the power or the day to day. It's also from the middle control. So yes, and he's gonna get another one. So do you, do you think Talus is gonna interrupt this? I think he's, he has to, right? But this battlecopter is gonna make it so hard for him to do anything. How here. would he interrupt? He would have to use what this tank, sack this whole tank to interrupt that. He can't interrupt that. He'd have to sack whole tank. He's not gonna interrupt it. No. Man, yeah, Dead FS is rolling right now, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, he's strong. He's in a strong position. Now, we'll see if Toulouse has a counterplay here. He does have the artillery, but that artillery is in a dangerous spot. There's three tanks here. Three tanks. <laughs> Ooh, this, this artillery. He can't bust through, though, so he's, he's, he's fine. It's good for now. He's good for now, yeah, but... Uh, because you can only attack from one angle. He doesn't have any air units, so there's no combat. Yeah, Toulouse interrupts here. This Battlecopter is going to clean away this, though, but I guess he... He's probably building a Nantire, but it won't reach I anyway. I hate so this. I will just say, umpires on this map is so frustrating. Uh, they have to, like, that's go it. around in, like, an eight-squared, like, format. Like, it's... The Battlecopters can eternally dance around the umpire. Oh, here we go. Blue's going in. Gets a strike on the tank. Tedefs has another tank to back up, back it up, though. And a Battlecopter coming oh, in soon. Oh, so. he built a tank, though. So here's the thing. He's going to attack with this copter, kill off the seven, and then it will cover this tank over here. Yep. And he doesn't have an anti-air ready. Tolu's going for a Battlecopter himself down in the bottom... Uh, he can he can he can try and use that battlecopter to maybe dislodge the center, but Dedefs has the, uh, initiative advantage with this battlecopter. There's, so. there's no point in even building an anti-air because he has copters. Pump out copters. If I'm Dead FS, you have magic number. You can afford a copter every single turn with a tank. Copter, tank, infantry. Yes. Infantry. Copter, tank, two infantry because it's three base, one airport. Set 18k. Yeah, and uh, to lose. If I'm Dead FS, I'm feeling damn comfortable. Yeah. So the game is yours to lose at this point. <laughs> to lose. <laughs> to uh, lose. You yeah. better hope he can become to win before this is over. Yeah, he's, he's got an uphill battle. He yes. definitely has an uphill battle. He can't do a tank, tank chain over here because of the copter. So this tank's going to attack this tank. He's going to build a copter here. He's going to build a tank here next turn. He's going to have two copters, two, three tanks. He's going to be overrun over here. Yes. Oh, he's, okay, he has backup. He realizes he was going to get overrun. Smart move by to lose. You need to have reinforcements because he was going to get shellacked over here just by out being outproduced. Mm -hmm. I'm still, I'm still thinking Dead FS is barring some sort of throw. He's got a very commanding position right now. I'll never count Nell on her luck out, but uh, I'm not counting out. I'm just saying. But, but if Dead FS is then able to block the first lucky star, that's him, and which is which he is likely going to do since his power bar is shorter. So, it's possible. 
But he's going to get this city now, which is going to put him up to almost 20k. Exactly. Yeah, 19,020 k to 16k. That's a bad... That's a bad income lead. The mag lose. magic number, if you watch my videos, the magic number is 18k in free base. Yes. Copter, tank, two infantry. Mm -hmm. Nell can't afford that. Nell's going to have one less vehicle every single turn than dead FS is. Yeah, it's, a, not it's gonna a, be able to afford the copter. It's a small disparity, but it, it makes for a big change in the unit value for sure. Gonna, every single turn, top copter, tank, two infantry. Yeah. All you have to do, you'll have vehicle advantage. That's how Basasha rolls. Hell, he doesn't even need a Basasha, I think. And he'd still have enough income. Yeah. Like, um, I will say, I don't, we, did, uh, we, did, we didn't say this before the match, but this is a tier one match with Von Bolt banned, by the way. We banned Von Bolt because no one wanted to see a yeah. Von Bolt mirror. We've, in fact, we've banned Von Bolt from this entire tournament. So <laughs> you're, never, you're not going to see Old Man in wheelchair any, anywhere. Uh, but I will say, for Toulouse to pick. Nell, because Nell is like I, I estimated that she's probably, like a tier two, roughly tier two. Yeah, so for to, for for to lose to pick Nell in this match is is ballsy for sure. It is ballsy. I I don't agree with it. Of course, I mean we, there's not really that many picks. No, there's Sasha, Sasha, Hawk. Javier. There's no comp towers. Yeah, Sasha, Hawk, Sasha, or, Sasha Hawk. and Hawk, <laughs> and Hawk, and Sasha is a Hawk counter, so you're not going to see Hawk. I think that so you're was basically fun. only going to see Sasha. Yeah, it could have been and a Sasha mirror, Toulouse but I'm, I'm glad to lose Picknell. I'm, yeah, I'm glad that we don't have a Sasha mirror, but that was kind of what I was expecting. Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah, Deadfs is taking some time now, thinking out his moves he's right here. Got the prophylactic anti-air too. Yes. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, he's 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 super comfortable. Yeah, he can just sit in the center. This this island is so hard to take once it's once you hold it. Exactly. Like, oh, look yeah, at all the terrain on here; it's incredible. Takes a shot. Yeah, as you said, he's now. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, he's gonna build a tank and he's gonna build a copter from that airport. I swear. Probably, yeah, uh, to, to, co to cover it. So this is a solid position for that ups right here. And then, and then Toulouse is forced to build an anti air next turn, mm -hmm. which is gonna slow down production. Yes. What? Ooh. Oh, he didn't build a copter. Oh. He wanted to instead. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going for he's going for the capture here. <laughs> oh, he's piling all the pressure here. Oh wow. DeadFS is winning on multiple fronts. He is, yeah. <laughs> what is what is Talus? He is winning on multiple fronts. Yeah, look at this. What is what is uh, what is Talus gonna do against this attack range? He's gonna, He's be... gonna have to attack from the mountain, then attack from the plains, finish yeah. it off. Maybe depending on how good the luck is. Hopter is probably gonna go to the. Okay, there you go. Yep. So we got a free tank kill. Is he gonna pop his uh, power? Probably is. I would imagine. His power is ready. Oh. So it is not actually a free tank kill because this yeah. Santara can reach. So he needs to find a way to block this off. Not going to be able to block with that. This will be killed by the tank. So this copter actually just sacked itself. Absolutely. So this is not a free kill. This is questionable. So questionable can Cantalus get Lucky Star this turn, I wonder? Um, it's one bar Let's away. He could do some tank trades, maybe, and pop it. Uh, but I don't know how good uh, it would be. I do not see that happening unless he attacks this copter with this infantry. Maybe that's a stretch. Sacking this to the nine, attacking to the nine. This has to attack. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna burn up most of his. He's gonna burn up most of his good engagements before he even gets the power. So probably he's not. not. Get, he's not gonna get a lucky start this turn. Probably I, not I a good not, idea. He's no. not gonna get it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is how does Talus get back into this? I mean. He has to. He's to interrupt this, obviously. Um, the battlecopters are. This battlecopter is so strong. He has no choice but to build an anti. But there's two tanks here. Three tanks. That has three tanks in this area, forcing that away. Okay, he goes for the attack because of no comb tower. He doesn't kill it. There is. Mm. A, I think Nell has a small chance, maybe, to kill if she rolls he's like. Probably gonna build a mech there this turn. Toulouse is gonna build a mech from that, and he's probably going to build a copter, maybe. No, but he needs the anti at the top, man. He's so screwed. He really. I, I can't hide it. He's screwed. <laughs> He's uh, in a bad position, yeah, for sure. He's in a very bad position. He's in a very, very bad position. He's gonna end his turn, and he will have more unit value, barely. But pretty soon, Deadfs is gonna surpass Toulouse, even when Toulouse ends his turn. Yes. Deadfs is gonna have more uh, unit value. 
yeah, we'll see. I don't, and this this artillery is like completely useless. I mean, what what exactly. it, what is it going to do? Like, it doesn't guard anything. It doesn't allow him to get any properties. He has to pull it. I mean, I guess he just has to pull it back, but he has to go all the way around and get it get it into exactly. the center. Exactly. It's it's just a he, he spent too much money on that. Yeah, I I don't really the know. I don't really know how he built it in the first place. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what he. You, you want to build the artillery from this space over here and put it in the middle in order to force control of the middle. Over on the side here, it's well defended, but you're not getting anything. There's nothing you can capture be due to this. Mm -hmm. You're literally just sitting there waiting for something to come to you. And Tenefes is not going to take that kind of debate. No. I mean, the not going to take that kind of bait. He he's a master baiter, as we said. <laughs> I mean, there's one thing he could do with the artillery. He could shoot on the black boat, but I don't, I don't really know what that would accomplish. I mean, I don't yeah. think he's going to be able to do an HQ cap. So that's going to be zero percent chance HQ cap. Yeah. All right, gets two good shots on the time. Yep, no I do like lucky that. star. Yeah. So no, he's, he's gonna, not going to get. can use his power. Get the ten ten. Yes. Get some nice engagements. Yeah, this is this is a tough matchup for Nell. Actually, a really tough matchup. How's it going? Uh, we are on round two. I don't think I want to spoil <laughs> You've seen the black boat to boost. That's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah, the first the first game went uh, went to timer. It was a very long match. Uh, very, uh, very even for most of the match. And then this one is a uh, bit of a slaughter in the early... We'll see. I'm not going to count to lose out just yet. You might have some time, might might have some counter playing, but uh, it's looking really bad for Toulouse right now. That is in a super strong position. Nah, he's gonna be the shit out of the next turn. I'll tell you why. Okay, he's okay. Oh. That's that's good. That's a good development. Although he's gonna be able to kill. There you go. Okay. Oh. That helps out. That helps out. So it's not as much of a slaughter. He's gonna be able to stop that, and he's gonna be able to kill that, and he's gonna be able. He'll be fine. But he won't get a tank strike. He wanted to get a tank strike. On this tank with a power, he can't do that anymore. Right. Okay. He's gonna kill the, he's gonna kill the B copter regardless. Oh, okay. I do like this attack over here, actually. Yeah. Putting some pressure because there was no pressure could, at all. Could it before. could it be that the artillery is meant to potentially like put pressure on the base and base lock it, and that's probably why he built it to try and get some base lock going on? But uh, how is he chose the wrong base to try to base lock? See this one over here. This one has potential B. Yeah. Well, absolutely. or this one over here. It just. Uh, yeah, uh, when I played this, when I played this on live on stream, um, Reimer almost like he almost got an artillery over here, and like that was really scary. So maybe this infantry should have gone over here instead. That would have been a maybe yes. a better development. The mid base is more vulnerable. Hmm. How does player two ever take control of the center of this map? Yeah, maybe player one actually has a bit of an advantage due to being able to move a tank down first. But I mean, there's nothing stopping Toulouse from also moving a tank down here. Um, yeah, and I think that it's it's measured so that player two actually gets the first tank. Yes, um, I think so too. In this instance, I think Sasha actually did get the first tank because he's Sasha. That might be why Dedef's picked her, actually. Exactly. All right, we are on day nine. Uh, let's see what uh, Dedef's, Dedef's captures another city. Gets a Let good the slaughter begin. Get a get a good mountain. He's not popping his normal power just yet. He's holding it back a little bit. Probably will pop it. He's, soon, he's going to kill the copter first. Then he's going to use the power. Yes, yeah, to get as much power charge as possible. Probably smart. Exactly. He's so. going to use the nine HP infantry. Or wait, the he won't kill. How is he going to kill the copter though? He will. See, and then the tank will attack. Ah, the, right, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. He's we perfectly go. fine. Yep. He, he can't blunder. Yeah. He, Sometimes if you're moving too fast, uh, and then you get boomed. It's a good thing you saw that down there. Yeah, that was now I popped the power. Honestly, I would have popped the power before the tank attacked the infantry. Yeah, just to get a uh, bit. Not a huge just to, just to get a bit more damage. damage. Yeah, probably. Oh, Mang's the shoal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now he's going for the caps over there at the bottom rather than the tank engagement, mm -hmm. which is uh, you know has some viability actually. Gonna heal that up. Yeah, very smart. Copter's probably gonna shift to the center as it should. Yeah, because he gotta doesn't... remember power before spending the funds. Yeah, oh, you think oh, leave that I, there? I would be surprised. We've all if, been there. I would be. I I did that exactly during a live match, and it was so frustrating. It happened. It happens it happens to, the best, to the best. You know, not that I'm the best, but it happens to the best of them. So um, it's it's very easy to underestimate it for sure. There's so, so much time left in this game. My God. Oh damn. It's a smaller map than the last one. Time is never going to be an issue on this map. I think this game will be done. Anna just donated two hundred dollars. Thank you so much, Anna. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Anna, like my little uh, the money merchant in uh, Fire Emblem. It's gonna be a big. 
right? <laughs> she is. I'm surprised you know that. Actually, you, you did play Fire Emblem 7. I do remember that now. Yeah, I played the good ones. Yeah, the good, <laughs> the good ones. I don't play fi or 6 or whatever. No, Fire Emblem 7. Well, I played it, but I didn't like it. Fire Emblem 6 is not. I love it, but it's a bad game. Um, it's kind of like Advance Wars 1. <laughs> you know? It was good at the time. It was good Another at the thing. time. <laughs> Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's a great game. And then you play and you realize freaking Hyrule Field is boring as shit. There's nothing going on. You know? I, I, have a soft, I, have a, I have a soft spot for Advanced Wars 1. No, I love them. I love them, but they're not fun to play. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Just normal power is very boring. Very boring. Yeah. Superpowers is essential to spice things up a little bit for sure. Absolutely. But yeah, thank you so much for the donations. I think we have... Let me see if I can... I need to see on my phone. The price pool is pretty big now, I think. So that's... Uh, that is... Uh, oh, it went down to 144p. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, we're pretty good on the price. Let me all pop up and take a look here. Uh, I think the price pool isn't oh, updating properly. 354? No, I think it's not updating. Because it should be much higher okay. than that. It's, it's okay. going to update at some point, for sure. Okay. There we go. And now, if I'm dead FS, don't get too crazy. Don't tech up. You're facing now. Remember, yeah. you're facing be now. Be careful, be careful. Tank, tank, tank. Maybe two tanks, a copter, base skip. I think uh, two tanks and a copter base skip is, is perfectly viable. Maybe combine an infantry. Mm -hmm. um, I had built a copter here. Mm, I was careful tanking now. Okay. But yeah, I mean, eh, Talu, it didn't block all of uh, Nell's power, but it's a chance Talu's might be able to get Lucky Star in the next turn. Because uh, Sasha's nah, not... Nah, Sasha... we won't get it. You don't think so? You have to keep in mind... Oh, right, he your... still has 18,450. Yeah, right, 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 right. Right, he still has... He's barely off. There's getting... that, and then when you're attacking in plus 10 defense, and then when you're attacking, you're going to do get half as much charge as the aggressor, as the defender. Um, he's... He's not going to get his power for a little bit. Brazilian guy, why are you screaming the map? The map. What are you talking about? The map. The map. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, the map. Still, All right. So, uh, yeah. We'll see if Toulouse can get a uh, get a counterattack going here. Again, it's going to be tough. This attack here is not really... Wait. That artillery is still not on the ball. That artillery is just literally just sitting there. Chad is saying that this map is asymmetrical. Really? Is it? Uh, I don't see it. Map is asymmetrical? Really? Is it? I'm trying to look for the difference. They're saying the shoals. Where, though? Oh. oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. Look, here. Here. Oh. Oh. Damn! Aww. I did not catch Good that. Eye. Does it really matter? <laughs> I mean, this, and then this, the this... shoal over here as well, right? Or hey, no, wait. no, that, okay. that's no, there. No, 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 that's fine. It's just that small shoal. I think. It's uh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> Talus just moved his black boat onto that shoal. Um, okay. Uh, is he just conceding? Is he's allowing? I don't know. Yeah. A little questionable. Well, I'm surprised that because I had all the grandmasters vote on the maps they wanted to play on, so not a single one of them caught it. So, uh, it's a that, small. I don't think it's gonna matter that much, honestly. I so I think it's fine. Oh, Toulouse combining tanks together here. Oh, interesting. Also moved his blackboard uh, off the HQ, which is kind of interesting. Literally yeah, unplayable. Yeah. Um, he's, he's just trying to he's trying to get a copter this turn. That's why he combined tank copter to him. Ah yes. He's, he's oh, a, the a, things. He's a peasant. The things they'll have, have to do K. to fight on par with Sasha, just to com uh, combine yeah. tanks together. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, well, I can only apologize, chat, for the asymmetry. I, we did, none of us caught it. I thought it was, but um, I do apologize. But like a like a wise man once said, deal with it. <laughs> Nothing we can do now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, small deal. Yeah. Now he's gonna get that mech on the mountain. It'll be within attacking range of the base. It'll be protected, but uh, it's also open to fire by the two infantry. Yeah, yes. I don't... Huh? Yeah. We'll see what Toulouse can do. Yeah, as I said, never count him out, but uh, now he's... Yeah, that F's is a solid, almost 4k income ahead of him right now. Um, he has... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough to attack into this, though. We'll see. Day 10 rolls in for dead Fs. Let's see what he can do here. Can he attack into this? Will Toulouse be able to hold the defense? 
Takes out some infantry. Ooh, the infantry are falling here. He's probably gonna get this property right here if uh, Toulouse doesn't stop it. Yeah, he will. So that's another income swing in his favor. Exactly. Why is the Go artillery not firing on the black boat? I don't really. I don't think Toulouse can really take he this. He has HQ. no chance of getting that HQ. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't work. I guess in that sense, mm, no. The the shoal would be here. So I'm trying to think if it actually would matter. I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little it is. Bit. It, it would matter if you wanted to cap the HQ. Yeah, I do actually see it. Yeah, that, that is that is a problem. But okay. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it comes down to an HQ cap anyway. I don't. I don't, I don't think so either. No, I really don't think so. Hmm. Yes, it, it would make it easier for him to cap the HQ. Yeah, I will I will issue Toulouse an apology after this for uh, for making him play on an asymmetrical map, for sure. But stuff like this happens, guys. There's nothing we can do about it now. I'm not going to restart the match. You're <laughs> rigged. Um, <laughs> probably just going to put an infantry down there and not even attack. Yep, I knew it. Um, so he has to attack with the Antar if he wants to break through that wall. Yes. Actually, he won't be able to break through that anyway, because if he pops a power... Uh, if he gets a good now luck roll, he will be able to one-shot it, but with a power... Yeah, he has Market Crash almost ready, but if he doesn't pop it this turn, Toulouse might maybe get it? But it's, it's, it, would be, it would be tricky, for sure. I think he'll fight for a Market Crash this turn. Probably. I think, I think that would be smart. Get that passive boost. Yeah. Let's see. Almost take another. afforded so, the luxury of time, unlike with the last game. This map is so damn small. It is very. It's. It's. A, it's a, I will say, like, like the, the, uh, the two previous uh, nightmare and Tordred. Tordred. They were. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh my God! Attacking the, attacking the tank on the base. He really wants that property. Yeah. He really wants He'll it. He'll get he, it. Can he get it? I guess he can. Oh. He will. He'll get it with the other infantry. He's going for the base lock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to lose the space lock now, practically. That's scary. Yeah. Power than medium tank. Maybe. No, no. So maybe not medium tank. Artillery. Artillery from this corner base over there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah, two turns, you're base locking. Mm -hmm. I'd expect to see an artillery down there. That could very well happen, yeah. Uh, keep in mind, though, there is no blue units defending these bases. So Toulouse could easily ferry this infantry over here, or take to just move it manually and mm -hmm. capture that next turn. Uh, so he has to keep that in mind. But yeah. They're very are they are very exposed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hmm. Interesting. So. Um, okay. Oh, he's moving in. He's still not popping his power. He's, I know. I would have. I would have popped it. He's really. Oh, here we go. Damn. He's going. He's, take, he's taking all the. He really doesn't want to lose to get a lot of luck damage. <laughs> oh wow! Going for the infantry even. Damn! Look at that. Mm. No, he's holding it. He's holding on to it. He's really holding on to it. I, I don't know about this engagement. I mean, keep in mind it is within copter range. He's going to have to build an anti air this turn. Yeah. The anti air will be attacked by this mech. So anti air here. Oh yeah, that mech is. Here. Yeah, that mech is preventing an anti air from coming out of there. That's actually. Pretty I mean, smart. It'll prevent it, but it'll attack it. It'll get a first strike on it. Yeah, and then it'll get, then it'll get repaired up next turn. So maybe not that big a deal. Yeah, but an anti-air is forced basically from because the copter's you know protecting the tanks in the middle, but it's not protecting anything else. But Toulouse has basically lost this because there's a copter here. There's so many tanks. This base is completely toast. Yep. So um, hmm. Yeah, he's, he's just, yeah, again, try to say, he's trying to kind of, like, get as much value out of his power as possible, but he wasn't able to take away all the power bar anyway, so I guess it didn't really, he, did, he could have probably popped his power one turn earlier, for sure. So, um, I, I think, I think, maybe, yeah, I should have popped it one engagement earlier, maybe. Right, yeah, see. I would have done it before attacking that tank, and even, I don't even know if I would have attacked that tank, because one of them's going to get hit by a copter unless he goes We are currently on, we're there. currently on day 10, Chad. We're currently on day 10, so there's 10 days left after this. And, we're not uh, reaching day 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, th I don't think we're getting a day 20 match either, yeah, no, absolutely. 
<laughs> Chat is still caught up on the on the asymmetry. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter that much right now, but again, uh, there's nothing we can do about it right now. I'm sorry. So... Yeah, Dead is thinking quite heavily on this turn. I wonder what he's, he's concocting. Yeah, funny. He, he, did, he did build the umpire in the end. Yeah, he, he attacked first. Um... All right, then day 10 uh, rolls in for Toulouse. He's uh, five units behind in count. Um, slightly below in value. Let's see what he can do here. Second market crash has been popped. Hmm. He's about to lose another property too. Um, he, yeah, he kind of is. All right, okay. <laughs> Using the, trying to use the Nell uh, luck damage here. Restoration. I would attack with the Copter into the 6 first. Mm. So where do you think his Battlecopter's gonna go? That's a big question. I think he's... He just he's gotta attack the 6 HP tank is what I'm thinking. Yeah, he's gonna try and... He got the luck roll, but even if he interrupts... Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Let's see what he decides to do. I, I think attacking the full HP tank is probably the smartest. I think it's the only move, but... Dedefs does have this Battlecopter right here. That's what I'm saying. He needs to he needs to attack this one down here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So even if he needs to build a Copter chain, Copter attacks here, build another Copter. But he's only got 16k in income. He's Ooh, got and uh, I, I, I didn't realize this, but Dedefs also got to strike the mech with this. So that mech is not really able oh, to yeah, hurt. Oh yeah, yeah, that was part of the whole. So yeah. it didn't get to hurt, doesn't get to hurt the entire that much. So. Yeah, looking dicey. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, guys, about the... I'll, I'll see if I can uh, do something about the price pool not updating. Um, I'm going to send a message to my tech guy. And uh, let's see if we can... Uh... It's really strange. All the money's going directly to the main bank account. <laughs> but, uh, it's, you know, it must be a technical issue. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened to the money. Sorry, guys. The money just <laughs> disappeared. It just, it just vanished. I, I don't know. 20, like... 25 Best Buy gift cards. <laughs> Went uh, into yeah. an overseas bank account. Uh, I, I <laughs> Cayman Islands? Yeah. Harvey Weinstein's name's on the <laughs> island. Who knows? Oh, yeah, that's... I, I don't know, guys. Just keep... But I, I'm sure if you just keep donating, I'm sure the problem will be... <laughs> it'll resolve. Either. It'll, it'll resolve. It'll, it'll resolve itself. I promise, guys. Absolutely. What if someone donated, like, a kidney or something? It's like, <laughs> Hubert donated a kidney. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what if that was an option? Hey, you never know. Some people love Advance Wars. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Toulouse is thinking pretty heavily this turn. He's trying to work out a plan of attack. His, uh, his bases have come under massive threat here. So, uh, let's see what he can do. <laughs> YouTube is run by Sturm. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But man, he is he is really thinking on this hard on this turn right here. Okay, Battlecopter comes in. Oh, kills the he one HP tank. the one HP tank. Oh, Ooh. wow. Does he need okay. to? He, he probably wants to dislodge the six HP tank, I imagine. But, uh... I would have attacked the six... Yeah, I guess it was a roll, though. It would have been a roll, yeah. Even as, even as now, there's a chance you could fail. I will donate here to Manx. Please do. Please do. I, as you can see, I'm struggling with the hair at the moment, so... I'll take any tier donations you guys can give me. <laughs> uh, especially pubic hair. That's what I hear men flex the most. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't Just, matter where it's from. It's you know, as... take a glue stick, put it on top. Good as new. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me, like, a very charming mustache, I think. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. More money, less bowl. Let's go. <laughs> Baboon here? Yeah, sure. Doesn't need to be for Baboon humans. hair? Yeah, I know. So a lot, half of our viewers, you know. Oh, look at that. A loose bringing down infant. Oh, <laughs> that's a cute move. He's trying to cut off the tank, but that's 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 hopeless. Yeah, I don't think it really is going to work, but we'll see about He's that. He's gonna lose an infantry. I'll donate here for Grim Guy. Yeah, Grim Guy's up next, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, both guys are thinking really hard here. The timer's ticking they down. They so much time. They do have much time, yeah. So, but this is this is a complicated position for both players, absolutely. So, I mean. So we'll see though, how much power charges that have right now. 10,000 to 25k, so it's a good chance to lose might actually get his lucky star next turn. He will get it. He will get it next and time. That could, be, that could be a real game changer, absolutely. If he rolls very high on all of his rolls. 
That could be Thing good. Is, it could be very good for him. But is it going to be enough? Though? Is going to have twenty three thousand income, basically. Yeah, that's uh, that's twenty three thousand. Twenty two twenty two thousand. Excuse me. Uh, income versus Toulouse sixteen. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. Um, oh, interesting. That's a uh, bit of a weird visual glitch right there. Uh, I think that infantry. I think the site is, is struggling a little bit. You see that, do you just? Yeah, 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 I saw that. I don't, that was, know. I don't know what happened there. Did this, Does that infantry, I'm a, should I take a chance at refreshing? I don't know if I, I think Walker to. spilled some of his coffee on the keyboard or server <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't know what that oh, he's was. helping out to lose. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. But yeah, this is a, this is a tight position right here. Uh, well, it's going to be hard for Dedos to get rid of this without artillery, though, I will say. Ooh, I like It's going to be hard, Ooh, I like but this. It, he doesn't necessarily need to win here. No, he, he can capture this property just capture and pull back. And just win on income, yeah. that's that's like, Literally, he can do that, and he'll be perfectly fine. He doesn't need to shove everything to win this thing. I think he really... Dedos is a very talented, smart player. He realizes he doesn't have to go all in. Ooh. And maybe he Dedef's will, but... Dedef's attacking with infantry. What? What's going on here? Is he, um, is, is he, is, can he, can he dislodge the base with the Battlecopter and tank? I think he can. He can with the Battlecopter. If the Battlecopter attacks from, uh, from, from the left side. And then a tank right, comes in from can. here. He it's gonna be a can. It is a roll. It's a roll, I think, yeah. Oh, oh, and he's going for the tank first. Oh. No, with the infantry, it's not a roll. Oh! Brilliant. Brilliant by Dadavs. Now he can... Will he go for the infantry or will he attack with a battlecopter? I think maybe attacking with a battlecopter with this smart move here. Battlecopter, then capture, forcing him to choose between. Yes. Huh? Oh, that's. Ooh. 22k to 60. The other yeah, look at that. Ooh. And he's. And then... He's going to get his market crush. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that's. There. That's a dagger right there, oh, if I've ever seen one. Oh, wow. No. Attack the tank, the tank, tank attacking tank from the Coop road off the, the road right there, That's a dagger. Coop the That's grace. A oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. that's a that's a hard oh that's rough. It's not even it's pro actually does does Stedefs have the engagement to get he he, he should. Yeah, there we go. He gets it, he gets it, market crash. Oh my god, disgusting. Disgust Sasha is disgusting, man. I mean, can, <laughs> memes can only get you so far with no, you know. Oh boy. Oof. Market economy is crashed. Inflation is about to hit. Stock market is about to go boom. Gonna get a hope you hope, hope you didn't have hope you didn't buy too many stonks, chat. This is uh it's about to get ugly. He's gone. Yeah. Oh, that F's is terrifying, man. Use Use the power now. Like, come on. <laughs> you don't have to wait every single you know, cent spent. Use the power, like. He really wants. It. You want? I think. I think Dev is just really afraid of wandering and, and Literally, like, I think Toulouse resigns this turn anyway. Just I think say, so too. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. I don't see how we can come back from this. No, uh, he can't dislodge the base. Uh, it's impossible. He, he can. can he can attack, attack it. Attack it. Look at look at how many captures that have sister. He yeah. might actually. Let me check the capture limit. Uh, no, it's not stats, it's info. Let me check the capture limit on this map. It's, uh, 25, so he is not gonna get that. probably not, but it, okay, maybe, maybe not that bad, but yeah, oof, this is painful to watch. <laughs> Power, medium tank, good game. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Or maybe not even me. Maybe I'll just build a normal tank. Like Guys, said, the shoal no. didn't come into play here. Is it? Is <laughs> John is so fixated on the shoal. The shoal. <laughs> so fixated on the shoal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say, Chad. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. <laughs> he didn't e Notice how he didn't use the power. He spent all his money. <gasps> I think DFS is flexing. I don't I think that was a mistake. Is he allowing Toulouse to get a lucky star to get back I into this? Is. Oh my goodness. Oh, damn. I think he is. is he's, he, he's been a gentleman. Is he, is he throwing for content? I don't think it's enough, is, is he throwing for content? I think he's... <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, it was so close. It was so close to getting it. Ooh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I mean, he's still burned anyway, but that was, that was a nice little thing by DeadFS, you know? Could have been a choke. It could have been a mistake too. I mean, he's live. 
could have been. It's a... possible. It's possible. It could have been, but I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask in the chat later on. We'll get a full rule. Yeah, absolutely. Counting. But um, I think mean, it's too late now. Ooh, it's gonna go nice to shot. Right? Nice battlecopter shot. Um, mm. does that ups that that is infantry is locked all the way over on the right hand side. So these battlecopters will wreak havoc here. But I mean, ha. Let me. Okay, nice tank shot right there. That's pretty good. I wonder if um, I wonder if Nell tanks. I wonder if Nell tanks can destroy, can one shot infantry if they're all max luck. Um, I'm actually gonna check. I highly doubt it. Ninety nine percent max. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they cannot. With com tower, small chance. Yeah. So. No, there's no chance that infantry is getting one shot. Nice engagements from Toulouse, though, all things considered. Yeah. yeah like, if he, um... if he wasn't getting three properties capped right now, I'd say he could probably get back in this game with this lucky star. But um, unless he manages to interrupt all, every single one of those caps, I think it's going to be very rough for him. He can interrupt the two imminent caps right now. <laughs> Chad is saying Shoalgate. Hashtag <laughs> Shoalgate. <laughs> Maybe Walker programmed it in before the match, just to yeah. sabotage. Ooh. We put a lot of money on this. Yeah. <laughs> Walker gets half Vegas, the money. Vegas Walk is betting on this map. Walker yeah, gets half the money. <laughs> Admins get half the money. They sabotaged the maps before. I'm just a joke. That's a joke, guys. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, it's a strong lucky star. I'm surprised that F's let Toulouse get it. Um... He is, he is successfully interrupted every cap, but will he be able to keep interrupting every cap? That's the that's the big question here. Yeah. Um. But uh, dead ups don't have a single anti iron range, so these battlecopters will. He's got a the... copter though. He's gonna bring the copter to the middle. He does have a he copter. He can build an anti air from the uh, left bottom. The well, copter is kind of out of position though. It's all the way over by the airport, so it's gonna take two turns to arrive here. It will take two turns, but then he'll just build another anti air at the bottom over here. Oh, oh, nice one shot on the Empire. The right is there. in pretty decent position now. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Chad is hyped. They think Deadass is gonna pop war bonds. I would be surprised. Dude, that would be such a flex. That would be a that Maybe would be. that was a, maybe that was a thing. Maybe that was maybe that, that was the plan all along. Alright, day twelve rolls in, Deadass. Deadass turn comes in. He's so he's so far ahead in income, man. 22k to 60. He build a neo tank if he wants right now. That that could very well be something that he wants to do right now. The thing is though, um, Versus Nell. Although, see, Nell's not going to get a power for a long ass time. No, now. I, so I think that could was actually the, build a neo tank. That's probably the tank. only lucky star we'll see in this match. I think, mm -hmm. unless that has flexes and pops war bounce. But we'll see. Oh, base. Yeah, I guess he had no choice. Mm. But oh, that's bad. No, I would have. I would have deleted that. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know why he didn't delete. Is he is he is he flexing or is he drawing? I mean that could be Oh it's, oh, it's oh, almost oh, oh okay. Alright. Pops the market crash. Yeah, I don't know There's some leftover on. power there that it got eliminated, so that's good I guess. But um How did the mech not kill? Ten percent defense from Lucky Star. And low roll, most likely. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Sasha's power is already ready again. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I think despite a pretty good turn from Toulouse, I don't really see a way I'm, that That's what I'm saying. He's, 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 he's burned. Yeah. He kind of gave him a small opportunity to make a comeback, but he it's... He just wanted to tease him. Could like be, it could be. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's... It's a cat him. playing with a mouse. He, like, <laughs> broke off its legs and just... You know, it's messing around with it. Glitching out, chat? You saying glitching out? I don't, the stream looks fine on my end, so... Just refresh, I guess. So uh, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, no, I, I don't see a way. I don't see a way Talus interrupts these two, these three properties right here. This is going to be tough for him. Although he does have, yeah, yeah, both of his tanks All are now. Reinforced with battlecopters and yeah. Edifice. If he's not trying to purposely be a dingbat, build an anti from the bottom left, and that's yeah. like the, you know, what are you going to do? Absolutely. Doing it for content and bigger donations. That <laughs> could be the case. Maybe. Donating Maybe. for hashtag Shoalgate, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh Shoalgate. If it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that show, DJ, I'm, I'm telling you, Talus would have won. He would have won. That one show ruined everything. Absolutely. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna ask. Do you just after this match go send him a message and ask him if it was a throw or uh, or or if he flexed? I wa uh, chat wants to know. I think chat, it was a throw. Chat has the right. I, chat has the right to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, that F's is. Uh, he's, oh, okay, interesting. Attacking with the umpire. Not killing the units, but bringing them dangerously low. Stop I mean, shot. nothing's going to be able to capture that, because the Antares is going to one-shot whatever. Yep. Yeah, there's... Delos is not getting that base. I don't think that... There was a small chance if he, if he rolled, like, maximum on Lucky Star, he might have been able to get it. But uh, aside from that, I, I... It just wouldn't have worked out. It doesn't have... It doesn't have enough forces left in the area. Oh, join caps on the base. That's smart. Yeah, he's not going to be able to stop that. Yeah. Unless he just two copters. Two copters um, could do it, but I think actually two, two copters, copters could do it, but that's two copters with ten percent defense from Sasha's power is not gonna. I think it's gonna be a high roll from now. Um, yeah, but even like if it was a kill, I th you need to attack those tanks and stuff. Mhm. Mm I don't know. It's uh, he's boned. <laughs> I probably just been saying that since day like five or six. <laughs> well, he's, he's tried hard. But to yeah, get he called spade a spade. I saw it early on. He got my the middle, that's the biggest <laughs> thing you gotta do. Well, you got there, you got there. Like, the you know, spring spec like... traumatic memories of when I went walking on the shoal once, but then slipped and fell into the ocean. Almost drowned, how could you race? Hashtag Shoalgate. <laughs> Shoalgate. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. How do you drown on a shoal? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I mean, don't don't mm. don't count shot out. They're able to. They're able to do. That's true. They probably could drown in kitty pool if you gave them the chance. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Um, Shoal flew over my house. Okay, Talu's bringing in a second artillery. That's gonna equalize it for sure. I think. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna do great. Oh well, congrats, Talus. You dislodged the base. Now what are you gonna do? Put the four HP mech on it? Well. Okay, he interrupted the cap, actually. Okay, so he got he got the high rolls. Yeah. High um, roll. What's he gonna build the he's he's gonna have to build a tank. He got he got the good rolls, too bad he didn't get the good shoals, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> here's, yeah. here's how Toulouse can still win, yes guys. <laughs> no shoal, no roll. He's about to have fifteen K income, RIP. Oh, yeah, that's uh, and there there is the umpire that you uh, that you predicted too coming in. It's gonna be there next time. And then turn. over at the top, like that's uh, this is gonna be threatened very soon. Yep, I do like how Toulouse is using his black boat though. It's very cute, very cute. Cute, but he's using funds to repair, and that's gonna true sap available funds. Yeah, funds he really does not have. You can build two tanks on an infantry. Two tanks and infantry is what he's going to be able to afford, yeah. He, unless he could maybe build another battlecopter and just infantry? Nah, he know. needs tanks. No, he built a tank up here in the top right corner. He's <laughs> not going to get that to lose. It's not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. Ah, oh, he gets a little cap here, though. That's cute. Is he going to get it? Honestly, if I'm dead FS, do I build an artillery on that base? Maybe. Uh, Toulouse, is actually, Toulouse is actually going to get that base, that property. There's nothing that, that else oh, can do to interrupt yeah. it. Uh, so that's a nice little pickup right there. I mean, it's doesn't, it's not enough, but it, it, every little bit helps, I guess. Yeah, that's true. So, but yeah, I, I think I don't think we're going to see another Lucky Star for quite a while. We're currently on day 12, chat, so eight days left. All right, day 13 rolls in for dead apps. 22,000 to Nell's 15... 23,100 to Nell's 15,000. Uh, Deadoffs can now start building Neo tanks. How smart that is against Nell, one can probably argue a little bit. That's maybe not the smartest thing to do. Unit count, 22. Yeah, Toulouse actually has a massive unit count, but he has so many damaged units. Yeah, really... look, look at one, yeah. two, three, four, one HP units. Doesn't really count. Five, H one HP units, one, two HP, two, two HP. They're all just swap. Yeah. It's not it's not a legitimate unit kind of advantage. They're gonna all drop like flies. Yep. ZFS is gonna have the unit kind of advantage by the end of this turn. Yeah, it's gonna clean up a lot of injured units this turn. And uh, these these two properties right here from Toulouse is also uh, under great threat right now. 
So, uh, but I do like this capture here from Dead Fs. He also has an artillery and a tank coming in here. Could apply some pressure to this base, but what Dead Fs could do... Oh my god, look at Dead Fs money. 30,000? I know. He's got what so much the money. hell? How'd he get so much? He can build a mega. <laughs> he can build a mega. He could I, would, build a mega. I wouldn't do that against Nell, but he could do it. I would it. not do a mega. Also, he literally just put these little shitty infantry blocking it in. Only two spaces for it to escape because of the, the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Mega, yeah. Would, be, mega would be a throw. It would, but it would be a funny throw. Let's just put it that way. Actually, even if you go to Mega, I don't think he can lose at this point. But, you know, it would be weird. I wouldn't do it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So he builds... Uh, what is he getting? Uh, he is getting... Hasn't built anything yet. Thinking about what he's going to get. Should definitely bring this. Yeah, okay. Tank goes in. Finishes off one of Toulouse's uh, weakened tanks. That's an entire he's going to bring that. He's going to probably attack the 6 HP kill the infantry. This one's going to go in the city over here to reinforce what's going on over here. <laughs> just just give just up. pipe runner. That, that, that will be fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the Blue Moon Soldier capping his own city. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a capture bug. <laughs> it's just a sight. Two, two Blue Moon infantry stuck in eternal capture mode right here. Dead is below a minute now, so he's got to be careful. Dude, Dead FS. Can you imagine? Ooh. Can you imagine if he lost on time i that's i i can't imagine it he's being very <laughs> yeah do i'm i'm players need to be careful do not do not just don't mess with the borrowed time it's not smart he's trying yeah. his best to throw man this yeah. game was like a lock a couple turns ago yeah i would be uh <sighs> i mean he played it very fantastic but i think he's his foot's off of the uh the gas and now it's just yeah, because now suddenly this base is actually looking uh, a lot more secure from uh, from Toulouse right now. He doesn't. He has to pull his tanks back now. So, but he's so far ahead in income, he can just kind of sit back. Fifteen seconds, that us. Be careful. Day thirteen. Man. I don't know if he's looking at the timer. He thought he had plenty of time. He might just oh, lose this turn. Oh no, that us. Be careful. F five, four, three. Oh no, don't do it, that us. Don't do it. Two, one. He's oh on borrow time! He's on borrow time! 40 seconds borrow time! Oh no, what is he doing? Dead Fs, this is scary. Wait, is he, is he, does he lose, in, did he lose internet connection or something? Like, did he, did he like drop out? Oh no, 30, 37, I think. I think. I think he may have like disconnected. No, no, he's still moving. No, he's good, good, what are you doing? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds. Does he not realize? 30, 28 seconds? I think he's not, I think he's not watching his timer. He's no, he is. He's gonna enter. He sees it now. End. Oh my goodness. That has to give yeah, me. Give so me, lucky you got 48 seconds. Give if you got five seconds, you lost. Give me a heart attack here, buddy. You can't do it. You can't, you can't play around with borrowed time when you're so far ahead. You're gonna lose this. You can lose. Man, he is. It's for the content. Throw for the content. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the MO. I guess so. Toulouse gets a uh, camp back. That's smart. No, he's gonna get a, he's gonna try he's gonna get a minute full minute of increment back next turn but uh at this at this point he can't really sit around and think so we saw how Reimer had the game on lock and uh yep then he played around with borrowed time he fucked around he found out so yeah, that's uh yeah, oh sure. nice nice bottlecopter engagements by Toulouse right here yeah. is there is there a chance now. is there a chance can he come back into this is it there possible? is definitely a chance now now that Dedos has to play on increment yeah absolutely there's definitely a chance. And uh, he has, I think, maybe just... Oh, he has 8k, though. 8k in the bank. That's so little. But I like these battlecopters, these central battlecopters. Pretty nice. Moving in a tank as well. He could, if if, if Dedefs is not careful, he could get a base lock here, so... We're getting near the late game, where it's the point where I'm found dead FS. I'm only attacking infantry. Win yep. by cap. Yes. Scorched Earth. Just... Kill infantry. <laughs> yeah, in 20 turns. In 20 turns, Toulouse, you're gonna get this property. On day 33, yeah. on day 33, you're gonna get this property to lose. Just go for it. Oh, timer froze again. Sorry about that, guys. It'll it'll refresh uh, when it's Toulouse's turn again. Don't worry about it. All right, that F's one minute. Go 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 go. Don't sit around. Play quickly. Play quickly, my man. Yeah, he's he's moving fast now. He's moving fast now. He realizes he's got to hurry. Yeah, yeah. Now he's nah, Now he's really getting a speed up right now. I think I think Dedef just noticed the time. I think he did too. He was like, oh he shit, would, he oh didn't shit. Until it was his turn. <laughs> I guess it can be kind of easy to forget about it if you're really engrossed in the match. You can, you can get really, you can kind of get sucked up in it. So now Toulouse actually has a small advantage, and then he has that two minute lead. Tank, tank in the middle. Tank in the middle. 
Yeah, oh, I get okay. that tanker in the middle. There we go. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. Gets a little luck roll on the tank there. Pretty nice. Now he actually has a unit lead. Tank up. Maybe he goes tank upward. He yeah, he gives does. Up that infantry in the middle. Text the gives black up that infantry down there. Who that's gives cute. a shit? Just, uh... All right, build something in turn. Tank in turn. Copter in turn. Six. Five. Oh, God. Is he four, going this way? Three. Two. Dude, one. Not again. Zero. Borrow time. Borrow time. 40 seconds. End your damn turn. <laughs> End your damn turn. <laughs> this guy is so lucky. Oh, he is. He is. He is. Absolutely. All right. Toulouse, what are you going to do here? Ooh. Oh, my God. He's going for <gasps> He's going for the HQ. It's actually possible now. Oh, no. If the show was... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shoal gates! Shoal gates! Oh wait, can oh he maybe God, can please. he maybe pop his power? Is there a way he can get Lucky Star? And then attack the Oh my goodness, and then start cap there's he just there's a chance. He can't do it this turn. Oh oh wait, there is a copter in the middle. Okay. There's a copter in the middle. He can he can Capping with a seven HP infantry? He could have won if it was full HP infantry. Could have. Oh my and god, Shoalgate, Shoalgate, no oh no, Shoalgate is actually happening, I'm so, I'm so upset, I'm so upset, no, you can't do this to me, chat, okay, his timer is frozen, I'm sorry about this, I'm not refreshing, not, okay, he has another artillery in range now, he can move his full HP in, but he's gotta keep it on full health, though, this is really scary, oh, Tolus, you gotta play fast now, you cannot allow yourself, oh, okay, he goes for, oh, uh, okay, he's, going, he's going, all he's going all out, he's going all out, he's going all in HQ cap, he's going oh, all in my HQ goodness. I can't blame him. Oh my he God. needs to protect that full HP infantry, though. Yeah, put the tank down. Pull the tank down. Yeah, yeah exactly. Smart. Got the tank there. Very smart. Oh, can he uh, still... I'm dead not... though. I'm still going to plow through that. And yeah. Get him. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Like gotta... I said, only focus on the infantry. You win this. If yeah. You only focus on it. He did see... Toulouse didn't even build over here. Notice, he's all out. Yeah. Yeah, dead FS is going to reach the infantry and he's going to kill it. Absolutely. Not kill it, sorry. He's going to weaken it. Oh, oh, oh. Market crash comes in. Market crash comes Wait, what's in. What's he doing? Oh, oh, wait. Okay, thank God. If he didn't get that roll there, he'd lost. He would have, actually. So... 5 HP five infantry. HP. Oh, that yeah, kind of... Yeah, lost. That kind of, yeah, that, 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 that shuts it down. That shuts it down. Well, good game. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> Shoalgates. That was almost one of the most epic throws I've ever seen. If Toulouse was able to capture that, that, that HQ, then it would have actually been pretty insane. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. The chat is the timer is frozen again. I'm not refreshing. I, I, I don't take I don't I don't take that chance. Oh, and the base lock. Yeah, there was base lock. It's good. Yeah, be careful though. That turn now. Don't even build anything. It's it's good game. Yeah, don't go on borrowed time, please. That I beg of you, do not <laughs> do not go on borrowed time. Just and turn. Who gives it? The artillery literally <laughs> has no use. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good. There you go. Okay, timer is moving again. Thank God. Yeah, to lose. Yeah, this, I don't. This is a resign right here. There's. <sighs> What do you even do? Oh, he, he wants to go for it. Two battlecopters though in the vicinity. There's no chance. Five no. HP infantry. Yeah, no, no, you're not. You're not getting through no. here. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Lack of shoal would have helped to lose. What are you talking about, Hanko? I guess it would. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it harder for for dead Fs to actually interrupt. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad it didn't come to that. I'd never hear the end of it. Okay, he's going for the attack, but Deadass has two Battlecopters coming in, though. What is, what is Toulouse? He has no chance. He's, yeah. he's boned. Boned. Yeah, no. Toulouse is fighting valiantly, trying hard to... Got, got some opportunities to have a comeback, but at the end of the day, Deadass' initial yeah. position was just so damn strong. This just got insurmountable. Five seconds left. Is he just gonna let yeah, the clock? Yeah, he's just he's memeing around. He is, lost. Is, is, is letting the clock tick out. Three seconds of borrowed like, time. Build uh... And he's gone. Yeah, he, he Talus just let the timer. Uh, he, he let the timer uh, tick down. I think. Yeah. I think that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Talus just uh, quietly let himself oh, be counted out of the match right here. So, uh, Shoalgates, indeed. <laughs> It's GG, ladies and gentlemen. I think Tolu's definitely timed out here. Yes, he did. He just let himself. He let himself time out slowly. But uh, yeah, that was that was a that was a slaughter. <laughs> but yeah, there was some was, there were it. some opportunities. Apparently. There were some opportunities there for Tolu's to maybe make uh, a small comeback. But man, that's a that's a rough matchup. That is I a, did like how there was a little a death throw at the end. Like oh, I could still go. You know, it was, it was good to have that there. Other than just beat down. You know. Yeah. 
Let me just uh, say commanding, to lose. Commanding, uh, commanding uh, victory by uh, Denethus, though. Uh, Tordra, yeah. Yeah. A little scared. A little bit, yeah. There we go. Anyway, I apologize for the show, guys. I'm never going to live this down. This is going to ruin my Advanced Wars career. This, is, this will haunt me for the rest of my days. I realize that Shoalgate will always be a blemish on uh, an otherwise. Uh, yeah. Well, hope you guys can forgive me in time. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do you need to take a break, DJ? Because I need to go get something for the next match. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 30 second break or however long, whatever. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now you, you go take a break, and then I'll entertain chat. You come back, and then and I'll have to go for Switch like two off. minutes. All right. Okay. Sounds good. All, all right. right. Ladies and gentlemen, we can, look, we can do meme review. Let's, uh, oh, donations, donations, absolutely. Let me read some donations for you guys. Let me read some donations for you guys, absolutely. I agree. Let's see. Yes, Grim Guy is coming up next, guys. It's Grim Guy's match next, guys, absolutely. I'm excited. I like how D just throws like a cloth over the chat when he's gone. That's kind of cute, honestly. Shoalgate, yeah, again, I really wish we had seen this, but uh, oh well. Anyway, let's see if we have any memes, shall we? Yes, Grim Guy match is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. I hope you guys are as well. Will the timer be the toll for Grim Guy? I have a feeling it won't be. I'm hoping it won't be, at least. We'll see about that. Anyway, let's take a look at the Maymays. Are there any Maymays? Yes, there are Maymays. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, look at that. I think we should wait for D just to get back before we look at this meme though. Absolutely. Man is on Discord. He can just turn off his camera. I don't know why he does that. <laughs> I really don't. I hope you guys are having fun with the tournament so far, guys. Welcome back, DJs. Oh, wow. 5 FPS webcam. Let's go. Right. <laughs> I just wiped the, uh, the webcam. <laughs> All right, DJs, you're ready to... Uh, I'm going I'm to take away your mouse control so you can move your mouse around without worrying about fucking up my stream. Sweet. All right. Let's take a look at some memes, shall we? <laughs> I think it's a Lang Sin from j truck, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I didn't, there isn't been any meme. There's only a Dang Zephyr so far. Okay. <laughs> never God get squalled. Squall. Don't, don't never get squalled, ladies and gentlemen. Never. <laughs> Very offensive. Very offensive. I'm, I'm so offended right now. Okay. All right. Well, um, you can tell the players to get ready. Um, I'm, I'm going to bring up the brackets, update the bracket, and then uh, I'll need to fetch. I, have, I, have, I need to fetch something for the next match. So, uh... Let's see. So let's bring up the bracket and let's take a look here. So, um, Dead Fs beats Toulouse. It was kind of what we predicted that Dead Fs will probably take this one. So, um, looks like we have, uh, I'm gonna gray out Toulouse in this bracket right now. Like so. Is the next game gonna be rigged as well? I hope not. I hope not. That would be, uh,. That would be bad. Let's, let's hoping for no rig game, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Dead Evs will face Tordred in, uh, in the semifinals. That's gonna be a great one. So, let's oh, see. Yeah. Let's see. That's okay. gonna be Dead. Dead. Dead Evs. There we go, yeah. So that's going to be Tordred versus Deadevs in the semifinals. Coming up, we're going to have Poland versus Grim Guy. That's going to be a absolute a banger. Um, these two have a bit of a grudge match. Uh, these, these have a bit of a grudge against each other. Because uh, Grim Guy always comes up on top. Though, yeah, so thing. Poland has something I to prove her. here. Not in live. And if Grim Guy is who I think he is, he's not as good as live as he is in normal play. Ooh, so. interesting, interesting. Keep that in mind. I will keep that uh, in mind. I talked to Dead FS. Forgetting the power was an accident. 
was, it was an accident. Okay, so he didn't he didn't throw on purpose. It was an honest accident. I think he lost track of time. He was, you know, people stress out. It's a high stress environment. Yes. Uh, people don't understand that. There's money at play. Thousand viewers watching. Uh, it's high stakes. It's easy to forget that in the audience. Like, how did you not do that? He <laughs> like, You know, there's a lot of shit going on. There is, yeah, playing live is extremely even stressful. Live. Even more so in a tournament, for sure. So. so these players are extremely strong. The grandmasters, for a reason, they're better than pretty much everyone watching. So uh, you know. But are you are you are you, say, are you saying chant can't give advice to grandmasters, Tejas? Are you saying that that is? Like... You're right. Maybe if they're a psychologist, they may, they may be qualified to give some advice. <laughs> or a gas station attendant, maybe. I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> or or it's psychologist. Keep that in mind. Yeah, you know. So yeah, it, it, they're good players. Just give them some time. Um, but uh, what was it? Oh yeah. The posture check, chat. Just get, 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 the, get those, those, those. Yeah. Shit, All right, uh, DJ, if you could just back. if you could hold the fort for two minutes, talk about the matchup, yeah, take sure. questions from chat. I will I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I promise it will. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the chat. And yeah, I talk just gotta pick up something and go fetch something to drink real quick. Oh, just, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, cool. So what's going on, chat? Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't do a poll, unfortunately. I would be pulling out a poll for polling on this, but uh. Make sure we get your posture going. Make sure you drink some water. I'm thinking that, uh, honestly, that Adder definitely has the advantage here, but Poland often loses the Grim guy. Uh, and it's a, it's a high stakes map. There's a lot of roads and a lot of cities. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm going to give the edge to Poland personally. Uh, but, hey, I am Baboon man. Yeah, Baboon chat. Sorry, the everyone sophisticated. Get on it. Can I fix the fix streamer asymmetry button on a bald cap? Yeah, I know. I wish I could. I was thinking I would just maybe have some male man some pubes so you can paste it on top of his head. We call it a day. Um, but alas, but uh, yeah, that was a good everyone. By the way, don't tell me. I have a video coming out tomorrow. It's a, it's a banger. It's not Grim Guy. It's Discap Grim Guy. You'll know what I mean later on. So it's, it's pretty funny. Anyway, don't tell me. But, uh, yeah, Grim Guy, I know he's the favorite. Y'all love him, the Grim. I understand he's got balls of, of, of steel. I think it's, uh, what's his name? Zoronix. I think he, I think that's who it actually is. But, uh, you know, I don't know. The thing is, he's got an easy path. We gave him a tier 4 matchup, Grim versus Adder. So Grim Guy has a viable way to actually get to the finals. I believe the next matchup is either tier 4 or tier 3. So Grim Kai, Guy is very feasible to actually get to the finals. This is not a very hard way to get to the finals. Uh, so, don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, so, I, I expect him to put up a good fight. Um, but then he has to play Star Flash or Perfetta. Gonna be, that's gonna be some hard shit. So, anyway. Hope you guys are doing well so far, though. We, we're already, what? Two hours and a half in? Two games? Yeah, we, we're on a roll. Got my dinner right here. That's right, I gotta, I gotta shake this time. But we're surviving. We're in for the long run. My favorite to win? I would've seen. Dead FS has the potential. He squandered at the end. I, he was my favorite. Red Effect was my favorite. I know Star Flash is rusty. I'll have a better idea when Star Flash plays his first game. We'll know after the first game Star Flash has the first Perfetta whether Star Flash is going to win it all. Um, I think it's going to be Dead FS for Star Flash. But I don't know what kind of Star Flash we're going to get. So I'm going to... We need to see. I've, Star Flash has looked vulnerable recently. Ooh, uh, you know what? I'll take Star Flash anyway. I'll take Star Flash anyway, even though he's, he's rusty. Even though he's in a snowstorm or some shit in Canada. And he said he could barely even make the tournament. Props to him for, you know, pulling through. Uh, but despite all that... But then there's Grim Guy. Uh, Never know Grim Guy can pull through. Star Stall? We're not seeing any Stall. These are two 20-day limit games. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here's big old Mangsy boy back. 
I mean, it is a special occasion. We oh, got... there we go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need the time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we got uh, out of the way, guys. We got crushing to do. I mean, it's a special occasion. It's a grim guy. Let's, uh, have they created their match yet? Yep, they have. All right. Uh, I linked it to you in your little thingy. We'll link it to me. I'm just going to open up a window here. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Poland did win one for good guy. Okay. Whew. Ooh. So, let's see. Bring up the match. There it is. Oh. Mm. Alright, here we go. Right. So, Poland versus Grim Guy. I'm assuming you already talked a little bit about the matchup. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I got something wrong. I thought Grim Guy always won against Poland. Poland actually did win versus Grim Guy. One. So, two to one. Uh, record. Yeah. The Grim Guy, you know, normally comes out ahead. Normally, yeah. Yeah. And it's also when Poland is playing Adder, which is statistically a very good matchup for him. And it's going to be harder for Grim Guy. I was saying, I haven't seen Grim Guy play live. And live is a whole different beast. You know, we saw what happened to Incogar. We saw what happened to Rocco. We saw what happened to Operation Next Door. Exactly. Phenomenal players. Yeah. But you can crumble. I see, I've played Poland in live. He's a competent live player. So I can already vouch for him being good live. Yes. So Grim guy I haven't seen. We don't know. He could be great. He could be great, he but could, he's but he could crack under pressure. He could crack like an egg. He know? could he could crack like an egg. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough matchup for Grim Guy for sure, I think. Just adder in general is just almost a hard counter. Um, now Grim Guy has been able to pull out some absolutely insane wins uh, against COC shouldn't win against. Yeah. And that's kinda he his really that's kinda people. He's a strong player, there's no doubt, but in standard, when he gets to take his time, he is almost unrivaled. Uh, but uh, again, man, live, it's going to be tough. Yeah, right. we'll see. I was telling chat who the favorite was, and I said, you need to, first we need to see Grim guy perform in the first round. We need to see Star Flash, see how much rest there is yeah. before we decide. Absolutely, I agree. So uh, this is anyone's tournament right now. There's no clear favorite. We need, we need a larger sample size, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me see. Let me just uh, adjust this one ever so slightly here. And uh, let's bring this one down a little bit. Sorry about these adjustments. I thought I was going to get this done before. Uh, there we go. There we go. This one. Let me check how many people are following me. Go and then I gotta bring that one down a little bit, like so. Ah, perfect. I think this one will do. And then we gotta do this. I gotta remove the uh, monsters. Oh, yeah, I moved the whole base. My bad. <laughs> uh, sorry about this, guys. There we go. That's better. And. Alright. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. I think you can tell them to get started. Uh, do you just. Tell them to get this match on the All way. Right, I said the word. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to. Uh, oh, I forgot to read donations again. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, you read them during the thing. Yeah, I read them during the thing. All right, you may begin, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to do the poll. I guess I should do that. Oh, yeah, do the poll. Yeah. Well, well, Who are you rooting for? Grim guy, Poland. I have a feeling chat's gonna like uh, Grim guy, guys. Well, it's two different questions. Who are you rooting for? And who do you think will win? Are two completely different questions. That's true. That is very true. There we go. Up there. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, and boom. I like the new. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the sound, you just. I but, can. But yeah. it, it's cutting like quicker into Grimm's theme now. It's kind of I, I like it. Although I do miss the I do miss the build up a little bit. I got to be honest. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. So this is a. So pretty... we finally have a comm tower sighting. We do have a comm tower in the Grim in the Grim match. Never. Uh, in the Grim Grim match, which is maybe a bit surprising, I guess. I, I think it benefits the adder more than the Grim. Do you really think it's the comm tower? Yeah, it allows Adder to get some some easy to hit KOs. 
And even some one-hit KOs, yeah. I think, in certain situations. Yeah. Anti-airs, tanks, infantry on roads and planes and stuff like that. So uh, if I'm pulling, I should be happy. Is that a glitch or did he not capture the comp tower? I guess he's... He's, I guess he's, he's, he's not, not capping it. He's, he's going for that. He's, he's going for that. I, I like to feign like I'm capturing it. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, and then just like you don't capture. Yeah, absolutely. exactly. But yeah, it's live. Maybe in, who, who gives a shit? You know, don't even uh, pretend. Do 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 do. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how Grim Guy's gonna perform here in live. I saw him like 30 minutes. Recons are nutty on this map. So, Recons are uh, very good. Recons. And I honestly, I don't think the, any either player has any time to break down the pipe seams. If I'm gonna be completely honest, oh, there's no point in breaking down the pipe seams. Like, what, what does he even get you? <laughs> I mean, Grim guys attacking them with his infantry. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, he's not even playing around with the comp tower, pretending like he's capturing. He might as well attack the pipe seam, I guess. Yeah, we're not doing fog of war this tournament, chat. Nah, too easy to cheat when there's money on the line. Yeah, they can listen to our commentary and. Uh, so it's just, and also like the, the site fucking dies whenever, oh, just, yeah. just go I, look I at, look at DJ's game. fog uh, tournament and just look at That's how that, much man. trouble he had casting That's those matches, that, like an <laughs> error every five seconds is horrendous. Artillery, I do not agree with that. Okay, Ooh. Grim Guy, very strange. Artillery um, from Grim Guy, interesting. Hmm. Artillery are worse for Grim because infantry walls are even worse. They're gonna get one shot by like half of the units. I'm pretty sure, if you wanna do a quick count, a tank attacking an infantry on a road, mm -hmm. an adder tank attacking an infantry on a road, maybe I, oh, I, I have to control them out. What am I talking about? The future is now. Where the hell is the uh, damage calculator? <laughs> yeah, Andy's fine too, doesn't matter. What are you checking? He's doing it. I'm checking, uh, what the hell is the tank? Tank versus what? Infantry on a road. Mm. Do I, oh, I don't have control of the. Uh, you have to tank them. Oh, <laughs> one comp tower? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the. Yeah, assuming there's one comp tower. You're trying to figure out if he one shots Grim Infantry on roads. 99 to 109%. Yeah, he does. It does. Yep, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. That's the pretty big important thing. Um, mm. Keep that in mind. And if you use a power, it's gonna one shot on a plane. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be. It's an uphill battle for Grim Guy. I mean, we already kind of knew that. We knew that, obviously. Player, but yeah, Poland could have memed it up and picked Jugger or something, but I think he wanted to win, so he picked Adder, which he yeah. he knew he was going up against Grim Guy. He knew what he was facing. I can't fault him for picking the best. There's, a, there's rivalry. There's you know, you're not gonna let him slide like that. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll see how that goes. Oh, people are shocked that I am actually not Grim Guy. I'm sorry, guys. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I lied, guys. So, yeah, I'm artillery from Grim Guy. I wonder what he's going to do with this. This is, uh, I mean, there are some positions to put it in, but I'm uh, like. Put it right here. Right here. Yeah. It Stop that cap. Uh, you can put it on this HQ. Stop both of these. Yeah. Uh, artillery's not terrible, but it's Grim. It's terrible. Kind of so, is, yeah. We'll see. Whatever. It. We'll see if we can, we can make use of it. Um, I, I love tanks on this map. There's so many roads. I love recons. I love tanks. This honestly, is honestly, yeah. You shouldn't. You okay. should just. You should spam tanks and recons. Honestly, like I, I really don't agree with the artillery play. But we'll see. Green guy may have some plans for this. We'll see. Yeah. He's a sh um. But um. But I. It's gonna be tough for him. Okay. Now it goes for the comb tower. Um. It's kind of hilarious if he pops his. Uh, <laughs> I played a grim mirror match on this map. Pop my superpower. You see damage volleys that you just never see anywhere else. It's hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, haymaker, do two hundred damage to a tank. Or yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But we'll see what goes on here. So grim guy, he has that artillery out. He now has a tank on his south side, which is smart. Um, the, the artillery is forced to uh, stop this cap over there. It's useless. This thing literally needs to move here, yes. here, here, anywhere where it at least gets some value and stops the cap, or else it's completely wasted its time. Yeah, I agree. And um, this is a this is a very tricky position for Grim Guy too because he can't really move out with this tank because like, exactly he's already choked him off. So this tank can go in the middle. Yeah. Zone out this other tank where it's like. I think even a, even a grim grim tank on like a city, a friendly city, can still be first struck, and uh, it'll it'll be in a really bad position. So with well, the comm tower as well, yeah. that's where the comm tower comes in. It takes so much down to stop the camp. Oh, I guess yeah. I see a. It can move the tank onto the city. I guess that is a possibility. But 
Uh, can he even? Yeah, he's. Blind. I think he's just gonna zone him out. I think he's gonna the tank. He, I think red put, pulling putting this tank on the city is viable. Maybe moving it up even further. I think yeah, the city's fine. Then he can go in the middle. You don't want to just sit around and fight tank to tank in range of uh, reinforcements in one turn. Oh, so, Chad, Chad is looking. Yeah, he's gonna, Chad is looking at the shoals now. They're trying to. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> Sure. Man, I was I was expecting like a meme, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like Colgate, yeah. like so okay. damn I don't think they had time for it. I don't think they had time for it. So, but uh, there you go. Probably next time. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, absolutely. He's placing his artillery right here now. That's good. You need you need it too, but that infantry is one shot by the tank. So if he, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, day seven rolls in. Poland's turn. What is he gonna do? Is the he gonna? Is, uh, sorry. Uh, if no, the go tank ahead. Just moves over here or like right here or something like that, it can attack from the top and the bottom, and it only has one infantry to cover this artillery. That's how bad artillery are here. Yeah, it's a you, rough, you it's a rough. You have to stop a cap in order to block for this artillery. It's it's tough, yeah, it's a rough fight. Ooh, yeah. guy, I'm not liking what I'm seeing so far from them guy. Yeah, this is gonna be, it's gonna be tough. In fact, from the top, from the bottom, there's not another vehicle inside of the top corner. Yeah, it's it's gonna be rough. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, he needs to tank out here and quickly. I think he has to pull the ar uh, artillery back. Rim guy has to pull the artillery back now. Poland's tank positioning is very good on this map right now. Yeah. Um, this is... You, you can't strike Central the infantry just tank. yet, but, like, this is... You can get squeezed into this little corner position here very easily. All right. Just contain him. Infantry moving out. Wonder what he's going to build. He's got 11,000 in the bank. Is he going to focus up on the top area with the tank, or is he going to deploy his tank down in the bottom? Um, I think both actually work out pretty well for him now. Both the tank in the top, both tank in the top and the bottom are, are solid choices for Poland right now. Hi. Uh, yeah. There's viability for both. What am I leaning towards? I'd probably lean towards at the top. Yeah, just to get that, yeah, just to tread that artillery and make it completely. It's closer, to, it's closer to the middle. He's pulling his tank um, over to the HQ. Mm, toward the way I don't Grim. like that. I would have, I would have put this on this, this yeah. city over there. Yeah, pressure, pressure, Grim guys. Tank movement. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Now that now Grim guys tank can just move forward without any worries. It also would have blocked um, the cap. Although Grim guy might not want to cap this anyway. Like that's the problem with flying. He's only got one infantry and tank in range, though, so he can cap that pretty fine. Because then he'll be able to attack from a city. I, I think Poland, not blundered, but not a great turn by him. Mm. And he, why is he building a tank in the worst place to build? Oh tank? wow, tank in the tank in the <laughs> in no man's land. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Oh boy. Interesting. Uh, maybe he wants okay. to. Maybe he wants to pressure these two properties right here. I don't know. He can pressure him with infantry, though. He's got three infantry. He does, yeah. So it's a weird, weird position. Maybe he's feeling so confident in his position here. He just wants... Ah, we'll see. Maybe he has a plan. So, uh... Maybe. We'll see what Grim Guy does. I'm expecting him... He can now move his tank he's forward. He's going for a squeeze over here, which is... I understand the tank down here and the tank up here. The squeeze makes sense. But why? This doesn't make sense in the macro play. This yep. makes sense. And it doesn't matter if you build up here or down here. Do a squeeze, get all these properties, push them back in the corner. He, it looked like he was going to do a squeeze between here and here before and yeah. capture this area, but instead he's doing a squeeze. But then this just doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow up. So that tank was just an anomaly. I don't agree with that part. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how it depends out. And he gets he gets the free cap. He can't interrupt that because whatever interrupts is going to get slaughtered by what, the tank on the city. Yeah, and you don't want to let. Probably going to start a tank chain. Grim guy's going to build a tank chain from the from the bottom right corner, and then he's he's fine. Yeah, and if Grim Guy can get into a position where he just perpetually brawls with you, he's actually in a good spot. Um, he loves yeah. doing tank trades back and forth. In fact, a lot of Grim Guy's standard games end up that way, where he just like tank chains into his opponent, and his opponent has to tank chain into him. He just like brawls him to death. So we'll see how that so goes. So I don't know why he just allowed it. So that really has to back up. <laughs> he he has to, yeah. Uh, I don't know where it's gonna go though. It can defend that infantry though. That's the thing. It can't. <sighs> I guess the infantry. it could be that the reason Poland deployed this tank right here is because he knows the artillery might have to retreat south. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm? What if he puts the artillery down here? In the spare right here. I think it's safe, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, it's nope, not. It's not safe. Uh, no, he yeah. just he just got to pull, pull it back. He has a tank now. He has to pull it back. Yeah, it sucks. But he has a tank to help it out now. I mean, this artillery... It's looks, not in range, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It, it might come into play. A little sloppy. Not gonna lie, a little sloppy. Sloppy boppy. He has to pull it back. 
So we either just lost the free infantry, or that artillery is going to get first struck. Mm. It's one of the two. Pick your poison. He kind of miscalc there. I think I'm starting to see Grim Guy as more of an Operation Next Storm, <laughs> Inkigar kind of player. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, that's what I mean. That's the vibe I'm getting so far. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, he's, he's certainly thinking out now. He's got a tank here. He's probably only. Yeah, he's got a second tank over here as well. So, uh, but this this map can be pretty tricky uh, because again, you're so cut off. Like it's 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 going to be a battle on two fronts until one player, as you said, gets the squeeze in, and then it's going to be up to the other player to pull back and defend. It's very easy to overextend exactly. here. And I, would you say Grim is worse in mixed space? It's a tough question. It really depends on the map. And this, I would say, he's worse. Yeah. Because it's it's, it's so open and roady. Uh, in other mixed space, he's he's fine. But this, I don't like him in this. Yeah, I mean, movement is king in mixed space, so, like, Adder is going to be exactly. in a really good position for sure. Adder's usually the number one pick uh, for tier four when you're doing mixed space. More than Jake, more than Jess, more than any other. So, yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, so. if I remember correctly, I think he's he was banned on Caustic Canal for, for a long time in tier four because he was so good. Was he? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I remember, like, he was... For, for, I think they unbanned him, but for a while he was banned on Caustic Canal. So he allowed his artillery to be struck. Oh, damn. <gasps> but let me see. This tank... Uh, no, the tank is guarding it. Yeah, okay. The tank so if, if, okay. if Poland goes for the for the artillery, he will get shellacked by Grim's tank. Okay. Smart. Uh, I underestimated Grim's I should have had more faith in him. Yeah. So he didn't just... He He's, just, he just yeah. leave his artillery out to bleed there. And... He didn't just leave it out to bleed. Yeah. yeah. But I'll have more faith in Grim's guy. Do you, <laughs> faith in humanity restored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he's he's got pretty decent positioning. Man, that, I hate that Poland tank in the corner, though. Yeah, it was not great. It was not great. But we'll see what he can do with it, you know. All right. Put it on the city where the infantry is, I guess. Yeah, Poland is... I like his positioning here, though, with the tank on the HQ. Um, he might, a little passive. He might, he might be able to, but Grim Guy is also creeping up on his flank here. Now, this tank, which, was, which could have been squeezed into the corner, has not come out to play, and... So if Paul is not careful, well, notice that this guy is probably going to get this. Probably going to get this unless he sacks an infantry. So he's going to have the income advantage. He will actually. I mean, he needs the income advantage as Grim in an Adder fight. So Adder's got to think of some counterplay to that. I, he should have the tank on here early. He kind of blundered allowing that. Yeah. Um. Mm. But yeah, he's moving in. Uh, should probably interrupt this, I'd say. But if he, if he, sends, the thing is, if he's, if Poland sends his infantry over here to interrupt this, then he's also giving up his ability to interrupt here. Um, or as well, okay. The Poland tank is coming in now. It's not a terrible position for the tank, honestly. It's about as good as it can get. I, I didn't like it in the corner, but that's the best place it could be right now, to be honest. Yeah. And, uh, it's, he's centralizing it. I don't think it he's going to he... take the artillery bait. It's tempting to do it, but I think the tank is more valuable yeah, than I the artillery. The play, oh, maybe. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? oh. oh he did take okay, it. He did take it. He okay. did take it. Uh, okay. He's, he's going all in. Um, I don't blame him. That's fine. I mean, it's live. you got to play aggressively, man. And he gets the interrupt, uh, too, which is nice. I was just about to suggest his counterplay is controlling the middle. See, he has this capture here, whereas Grim Guy does not. He could try to get these... This yeah. counterplay is the middle, whereas Grim Guy is going to get these side properties, or, well, it seems that way. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but that tank is not going to be able to reinforce the other tank, so that tank is going to get shlacked yeah. by Grim Guy. And, and first strike. on a road. Oof. On a road with the comp tower. 40%. Bad for one, that's like. I, I think it's. It's not. I think it's going to have one HP left. Uh, or Yeah, I think one HP. I think it's a. It's a I don't know the, the calcs with Grim. I never play Grim. <laughs> so I don't know the calcs. Let's do a little spoiler, shall we? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Grim tank versus Adder tank. That's actually a little lower than I thought. 77 to 80. So it's a little lower. So it's either 3 or 2 HP left that the tank has. Damn, why is it so low? I thought it would be higher. Mm. Uh, does he have the comptar yet? Yes, he, he does. does. He does, he does. Okay. Yeah, I guess I guess yeah, it's 30%, 40% extra firepower. Tank, 55%. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Mm. But uh, it's still going to hurt, though. And uh, Poland is not going to be able to strike him back. So That's what I'm saying, yeah. So it's a good... Um, it was a pretty good bait, honestly, with, with Grimm. And he can put that artillery back on the city. It'll be repaired up in a few turns where it can, you know, help. Uh, so we'll see. I think it's one of those uh, fights where there's not a clear winner and loser. Yeah, no, no. Both of them are going to have significantly injured units. Yeah, for sure. Um, All right, here we go. Grim guy. 
Bang! Okay, we'll the fight Ooh, we rolled max. He got, he, got the, he got the high roll. He got the high roll. And he could kill her with the infantry if he wanted to, but I wouldn't do that because then the infantry can attack from the Yeah, no, just strike the, strike the infantry on the... Just get, try to kill Adder's infantry before they get a power up. That's that's what I would yeah. do to reduce the unit count as much as possible. But yeah, he can pull his artillery back for repairs, which I think, yeah, that's exactly what he's doing too on the HQ. And I mean, it's kind of. Well, he like, did do it. I I was just ooh. about to say not to do that. Okay, now now that he's committed, he, now that he's committed, now that he's committed mountain. one infantry to it, he probably should maybe commit the other. Uh, uh, infantry is going to go on the mountain, have a field day here. Uh, yeah, yeah that's gonna, tricky. Yeah. I love how he keeps attacking the pipe seams. <laughs> He's supposed to smash hey, it. It's, it's Mimi. It does, I mean, it's not there. It has to go up there anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Did my webcam freeze? Um, oh, I guess it did. Well, that's weird. Mine or yours? No, mine. My, my froze. Let me, let me. Oh, yeah, you look. Yeah. <laughs> in, in a very unflattering position. Let me, uh, let me, uh, oh. let me, let me refresh my webcam. That's weird. My camera doesn't usually freeze. So that's like, kind of funny. Let me. Yeah. Superior <laughs> Aegis webcam. There you go. Right there we there. go. Ha ha! Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, back in black. Here we go. All right, so yeah, no, I, I'm actually not. I actually think Grim Guy is in a pretty good position there. If I'm like, I don't, I don't like the mountain position from uh, from Poland, but I do think if he can, I would just probably just keep tank chaining on the. Too bad he doesn't quite have enough for two tanks. I think he would have really liked to uh, produce two tanks this turn. Poland would be happy about oh. getting this and no, no Grim Guy. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, fixed it. Grim guy's a little, he's a little skittish over here. He doesn't want this. Like, ah, don't mind me. I, you know, maybe want to take it. Uh, it's it's questionable. I don't think. Oh, he did go for it. He's mm -hmm. gonna block with the uh, infantry on the woods. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. I mean, this I think is about to get nasty quickly. I mean. Problem is though, of course, yeah. once that outer power comes in, he's gonna. If Grim Guy's not careful that's about his positioning, changer. that's a real game yeah, changer right there. Forward. I like that he has his tank on a city. I do think, I don't, I don't think Poland wants to go road city uh, with a tank. Um, it depends if he builds a tank from that base. Yeah, he has another tank coming up from the south, so that's good. Exactly. If he does, if Grim Guy doesn't build a tank from the base, I would attack from the road to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Because you're going to get a power next turn. You're going to have another tank back up. You can start a tank chain now. Um, he decides to go for the infantry. And he also... Yeah, I like that. that that's the best thing he could have done with these two infantry, honestly. Shouldn't have attacked here. He should have... But I think he was hoping for the high roll and kill the tank. I, I get why he would do that. Um, but at least he got, two, like he got two decent. <laughs> Poland's side slip is creeping up, though. He's, might get it very soon, so and then once that happens, all of his infantry are gonna be able to first strike Grim Guy, and that's gonna suck. Grim Guy, yeah. only hope Grim Guy has is that he gets that he gets that he somehow gets uh, that he somehow gets this power and that he can shellack him back with the knuckle duster. So we'll see how that goes. But so far they're very even. Um, I wouldn't say either player has fumbled massively. Um, but yeah, I'd say pretty pretty equal so far. I would judge that Poland is slightly ahead right now. A little bit. He also he's also ahead on time, which is we all know that's a big big deal. Yeah. So um, we'll see how that goes. Bang, so what day are we on? We are on day eight, ladies and gentlemen. We're on day eight. So um, how how far did the Tortured and Nightmare game go up? Do you remember? Was it day eighteen? I think sixteen. I don't think I don't think 16, we're gonna I don't think we're gonna see day twenty. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so either. No. I think we might see one or two powers tops. Yeah. This is a very volatile magic. Very sharp. Adder side slip, grim knuckle duster. These aren't powers you play around with. No. These are these are game ending powers. Yep, absolutely. And a game with roads like this, yeah, it's uh It's not this is no Sasha Market Crash. Come on, this is some aggressive fights. Yeah, fanboy, I'm gonna make sure I link my plugins in the video description after the stream so people can check them out. The reason we're having music and sound effects is because of a really cool uh, plugin from uh, Twiggy. Uh, he made these plugins. Really talented guy and uh, really cool plugins for like entertainment purposes and stuff like that. So, shout out to the Twigster. Twiggy, the Twigster. All right. Grim guy building another tank from his top, uh, from his bottom uh, right base. Okay, so he didn't build. He didn't build a tank on the top left, so if I'm pulling, I'm attacking that tank on the city. I think that's a good engagement with a... Probably a I don't know idea. the calcs. Like I said, I very rarely play against Grim. Well, we we can, can check it. We can check it. So he has... He will I do... attack into that and start a tank. He can do, okay, he can do sex HP. 
So, Give me if he has his power, it's very likely he'll take 6 HP up the tank, so. Because he has a tank reinforcement that can attack right afterward. Yes. So that is very... Oh, he does do yeah, it. There he he does do it. Uh, he gets he gets the low roll. Uh, that's, he I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I think that's perfectly fine. Now he's going to bring his other tank up and build a tank from the bottom. Yes, and even if Grim Guy does now. get the Knuckle Duster, he's going to lose the tank next turn. So that's really bad for him. Yeah. Um, and then once he kills the tank, he can cut it off with capping with an infantry. Yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, um, Grim's running out of time. Yeah, he is. Poland has a four-minute lead, which is pretty big. But I think he's really thinking on his attack right now. What is he going to do? Is he going to... Um, he can't attack here. He could here. get his power this turn, but I don't think it would be worth it. He could get his power and strike Grim Guy's tank here. That is uh, that is a possibility, but he would need to he would need to take a lot of infantry engagements. Wait a yes. minute. Actually, it might be worth it. Hang on. He, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. He, he can reach Sack it. Sack the tank. Yeah. Uh, what are we What are we dealing with over here? He's doing it. That's exactly what yeah, his guys. Yeah, he's going, for, he's going it. for it. He can do it. I think he can attack infantry here. Attack infantry yeah, there. Yeah. He needs. Uh, he needs uh, two. Tank one. Kills one tank. artillery. Yeah. Ooh, this could be brutal. This could be really brutal. Yeah. This is. This is. This could be bad for. And Mr. then this infantry over here also interrupts the cap. For Mister. For Mister Grimmy Grimmy he here. Thought he got it. Ooh. This can be bad. This can be very bad. Let's, we'll see what he decides to do. He's thinking. I think that's exactly. I think he's planning out that turn right now. He's, he's calculating what if he'll have enough charge. I believe he'll have enough charge. Mm -hmm. Dame, what's that outfit? I'm cosplaying Grim guy. <laughs> yep, he's going for it. He's going for it now. Okay, he's attacking over there. Couple. I would have attacked northward, but whatever. Pull and busting out the player. Oh, nice. City. Just lodges the city. Not a bad move. He also wants to take a little bit of damage because of the power charge. So. He does. He does. It's, Attack it's from, hard uh, to get power anything. charge from infantry engagements. Man. You get so little. But, uh, yeah. Oh, a couple He'll more. Get it. Couple, he, yeah. He's, he's one, one, oh, one. there we there go. He's go. going Tank for it. First strike. Ooh. Grim yeah. guy. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And now the 2 HP infantry retreats. Heals. This full HP infantry on the comp tower. Kills off this 5 HP. This one over here attacks from the mountain. Don't even go for a cap. Just murder all of these units. Yep. Uh... This unit up. Wait, did he move? Oh, he moved this unit to attack. He should have attacked with a different unit. Yes, now he, he could have. He, he could have. He could have busted through there. That's. Uh... And he could have interrupted again, but he must. Well, he can't attack with this one. Oh no! Nope. nope. What are he's you... allowing that cat. Is 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 is. That might have been a mini blunder, right? He's blundering. He's blundering but... a little bit. It's. It, he's nervous. He's it's on... it's live. You know, like we were talking about earlier. It's live. Yeah. I understand. Nice picking uh, off that artillery. Oh, he can put the tank on the HQ. HQ yeah. attack. Yep. Kill that uh, infantry. Put, put that tank shot. on the is HQ. Uh, and uh, Grim. If it isn't 100 percent dead. Yeah, Grim got. Yeah, well, no, that's the. That's... Capture this for free if he kills that. Yeah. Kill this. But, I mean, he could kill. He could. He could do that, or he can kill a free infantry. Honestly, I'd kill the free infantry, capture this, and then threaten HQ cap next turn. It's possible, yeah. No, it's it's yeah. This is rough. This is oh. Oh, he could. He interrupted. His yeah, he got thing. the he got oh, the extra movement. That. Yeah, that he puts the tank on the HQ just as we predicted, and now yeah. Poland's in a HQ really, threat. Really, yeah, he's oh my really god, scary. Grim guy's HQ is in danger. Yeah, I didn't even think about That's that. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you need to I didn't connect it. I didn't connect it. I didn't connect the two. I was like, I was like, okay, cool. We can use the HQ tank for defense. Does not reach is here in one turn. Oh he yeah, he's one space short. So. Oh yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think about how exposed the HQs were in this map. It's not something I thought about, but yeah. Hey, that tank yes, that you uh, lambasted him for building—it's uh, coming in, <laughs> coming in useful now. Do you yeah, just... it's, uh, it's it's coming in handy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, day nine rolls in, grim guy. Can a knuckle duster yeah. get you out of this conundrum? Can you can you knuckle dust your way to victory here, grim guy? <laughs> Ooh. He's so, gonna have two HP infantry attack into that. Try to lower it down to nine. Yeah. Somehow. Try to interrupt the gap. Weaken yeah. that. Uh, he needs to keep his infantry healthy too because he needs it to interrupt. This is a really scary situation yeah. for Grim Guy right here. Pulling this three, three full HP. He can join here. cap. This is scary as hell. Ooh. If I'm Grim Guy. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you go buy a Best Buy gift card. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what else can you do? Yep. That's extremely scary. It's a it's a it's a rough matchup. Yeah, he's thinking. He's thinking hard. How can he uh, how can he get out of this one? 
It was a tricky one for Grim Guy. Um, he does maybe bring his tank up, but like the tank cannot hardly. I mean, the tank can actually strike this tank, but there's another tank guarding it. So no, that he's, one, he's, he's got to centralize his tank, but it's this damn thing is in the way. He has to move this knuckle duster, kill that. Yeah, and then move his tank as far up as possible. Yeah, try to get it in range. Right. Oh, behind. that's exactly. Oh, he's actually sucking the infantry. Okay. okay, smart. That works. That works Whatever, too. Whatever. You have to get that tank centralized as much as possible. He needs that tank. Yep. So let's see what he can do with this tank, if he can move it up. We'll see. It's a, it's a double-edged sword, because he needs to put it within tank range of the HQ. He needs to be within range of the HQ, and if he's in range of the HQ, he's going to get struck by this tank. Uh, not quite. Oh, yeah, actually, oh, no. We can move through here, yeah. <laughs> Chat says he should counter-rush the HQ. That's not a rush he's going to win, I think, but uh, yeah, it's possible. It's a little, but... uh, little late there. little late. Well, he gets that, that strike at least, which is nice. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, interesting. Poland actually won't... Poland won't get to strike this tank now. So... Oh, is he... oh, I didn't get the luck roll. That's a 3 HP infantry, though. That's very unlikely to happen, if you ask me. Yeah, um... Okay, yeah, he's moving his tanks up. He realizes he has to guard he his needs HQ. To move his tank up there. He needs to forget all that other BS. Yep, he's placing it in the city and attacking the pipe seam once again. Um, okay, saving his knuckle duster. He needs to move he that. Needs he needs to, to move that one HP tank, tank back and repair it for sure. He needs to be super careful. <laughs> Grim guy always attacks the pipe seams. It's such, it's such a nice little detail. He does it. So, yeah, builds, has to build a tank. He can build a second tank, probably from the south base, uh, I would say. Oh, yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah, he weakens the infantry, of course. Poland can still it. Poland still, can still interrupt his own cap and go for it's the HQ. It's full HP infantry. So, um... It's... He needs to withdraw this infantry probably to this base here. And he needs to put this tank over here, I would say. And just pray for the best. And hopefully has enough from the sandwich from the bottom. Yeah. And from the top to interrupt not, at least to like get a, by him one more turn. It's definitely not a free cap for, for Poland. He will need to he will need to be careful with yeah. his positioning, but it is it, Grim Guy's HQ is in massive danger for sure. And it's, it really is. And Poland has two tanks in the vicinity which are really well positioned. Uh, I think Grim Guy over here, he sh Yeah. I think it was a sorry, a blunder with this tank over here. He can't wall break. It's pretty much useless. He can't he needs yeah. to bring it like here. Yes. One, two, yes. three, four, five, six. And then it could like stop this or if there's a tank or something there. Yep. Um Yeah, we'll see. He's he's gonna have to work his magic. It's gonna be tough, yeah, for sure. So, um hmm. Alright, so uh, yeah, okay, so you get some infantry, another tank. He builds the tank on his left base, interestingly enough. Um, I guess he wants to try and apply a little... He does have a lot of forces here in this area, I will say. Like, eventually... Yeah. Poland does have two tanks to defend, but... Could... Nah, I don't, I don't see a Grim Guy. He's, whole, he's sitting on his Knuckle Duster, which I think is smart. Um, yeah, day 10 rolls in, Poland's up. He's not gonna have his side slip for a little while. In case you guys don't know, there's a fatigue on CO powers. They get 20% more expensive every time you pop them. So Poland's side slip is now worth 21,000 instead of um, 19,000 or yeah, 18,000. So it's a little bit more expensive. Um, we'll see. I use the uh, move planner this turn just to make sure you don't f it up. <laughs> move planner in live, yeah, the Giga Chat move. We've got 14 minutes. The game could be won on this turn, I believe. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Chad is still blaming the soul. <laughs> soul from the previous. <laughs> Phil, it wasn't for the show. God damn it! <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is looking grim. No pun intended. So let's see what Poland decides to do. Can he? If he can he, he can he just like win by HQ cap if he like moves his tank around the HQ? But here's the deal. Yeah. One tank kills this. One tank kills this. Infantry finishes off that tank. This caps right there. Good game. Oh my goodness. There you, you go. You just did the next one, and two, And then you have this tank over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't reach. Yeah, I think that's the that's the big brain move Although, right one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it might be a little more complicated than that. It's a puzzle, and it's a puzzle he doesn't have time to work out, I think. Well, he, he does have time, actually. It's ten whole minutes. Yeah, plenty of time. That's why I recommend the move planner. Probably a good um, idea to bust out the move planner here, yeah. But yeah, it's looking like so it might be an this, HQ. This camp. tank is keeping him alive. 
Because yeah. this 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 is pesky. For sure. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's what I'm saying. Chad also say you can just surround. Honestly, you can surround. With tanks. yeah, he can surround it. Well, he doesn't even need to do the other. Uh, he, he, there's plenty of possibilities right here. Yep. Um. As long as he moves the the rightmost infantry. Okay, in mean, comes the tank. Okay, I guess he's he's still focused on other parts of the map, which is smart yeah, in case the the puzzle doesn't doesn't, doesn't work out. That's true. Yeah, you know, contingency plan in case it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he should win here, though. Oh yeah, for sure. I think he's I think he's got many game winning moves right here. We'll see what it would be, but he he's yeah he just has to he just has to figure out the puzzle on, on the clock, which you know. I wouldn't be stressed out if I was him right now. Ten minutes is a long time to work out any puzzle, and he's also got the increments. So he's got more than ten minutes. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't tank stress. Tank here. Tank here. Does a tank paymaker one shot a tank on a road? That's yeah, a question. Yeah, DJ, you you've used the move planner in live games before, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> it works usually. So I, one time I lost lost through the time because I was bad. It's but, definitely uh, worth doing it to check Rachel missiles and stuff like that. Okay, so he's doing my original plan. These two tanks yeah, attacking. Yeah, he's doing. That's one of the solutions but it's one but then you oh okay i don't think oh no i think he blundered he should have killed off the one hp tank there yeah because that's going to become a tree hp tank next turn honestly i think he could have won uh, oh. a different way because now this tank is he has to put this nine hp down yeah and then the tree hp tank, tank can interrupt but i mean he's he, the he thing might... was the two tanks here kill off this tank with that it's yeah, HP it would have been it would have been uncappable. One. It would have been uncappable for sure. But uh, he can still probably win though, unless Grim Guy gets. I some. think so. I think he should feel comfortable because the tank is going to have to. Well, I don't know because he's going to attack with a three HP tank. Mm -hmm. Unless this nine HP moves over here. Honestly, uh, I don't like that either. He's making a lot of weird moves. <laughs> I would have moved this over here so he has to put a full HP tank. Then you get yep. a first strike tank in, uh, HQ attack on a road. All right, day ten rolls in. I think we're gonna see the knuckle I think, duster. I think we're gonna see the knuckle geez, duster. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he could have won that turn. Probably could have. I'm yeah. pretty sure he could have won that turn. All right, grim guy, you gonna knuckle the dust? You gonna dust off the knuckles? I think he has to dust. He has to dust off those knuckles. He can kill one of Polo's times. I don't think it's forced. I honestly don't think it's forced at all. No. Um, no. He's gonna get to the HQ fine. But if he wants to, he can. Uh, this, if he uses a knuckle duster, that's not a one shot, I don't believe, anyway. No. But it'll do a shit ton of damage, and he can't attack back. Build another tank over here. If I'm Grim Guy, I'm happy I'm alive. <laughs> I, I just happy. So just happy time. to he be alive. Just yeah, just happy to be alive. Let me, let me, let me, let me cock something real quick. Oh. Let's Oh, shit. Right, <laughs> he just did it. He just did it. I'll let it roll out. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to interrupt this with calcs. Ooh, interesting. Oh, oh. Almost got the tank. Almost. So, I guess, yeah, it's because he's going to bring these two tanks up there. I think he might actually be able to completely interrupt the cap from Bowen here. Oh, he will. He's going to get That's this one thing. as well. I, he... Ooh, yeah, nice yeah. one. Nice one. Yeah, this... this itch. He had the game. Bowen had the game. I know. He had it. It's a damn. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Let me let me just make sure a hundred percent if he had the game. Let me. How do I? You just select. You select yeah. the units you wanna. That's much quicker. No, just yeah. yeah, just you can click on select and then click on the unit you wanna do move planner on. It's much quicker. Yeah, he, he had the game one. He had oh. The game one. Oh. What do you? What, game what? with one. I can confirm a hundred percent. Poland had the game one if he used the move planner. One, I would, yeah, I yeah, no, make no, no, sure. No. If I wanted to make sure if a tank one shot another tank on a road with the power, yeah. he won. All right, we officially have our first throw. <laughs> <laughs> throw him. Oh, did have asked <laughs> Throw him. <laughs> throw him. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Like I said, I don't want to sound like a smartass. No, it's easy. It's pressure. easy for us to sit I'm, in our. You know, it's easy for us to sit in our commentator seats and, and look at all the mistakes. It is. It's back it is. I would do the same exact thing. I make yeah. some a back stupid seat, ass plays during life. Back seat. When you're a ba back seat gamer, your IQ goes up by eighty points. It's true. Oh, for sure. It's, it's so it's easy true. to sit and commentate on other people's blunders, but when you're in the driver's seat and the timer is ticking out and you got a thousand people watching you play, the nerves are coming, man, and it's easy to make mistakes. But Chad is happy because this means Grim Guy comeback, and this is this is what they want, right? So because Grim Guy is the clear favorite. <laughs> 
In fact, let me just Damn. very quickly go and check the poll. 78% rooting for Grim Guy in this in this matchup. So. Oh well, yeah, you said rooting for everyone's rooting for Grim Guy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, just wanted to, just wanted to see, just wanted to see. So will Poland be able to get a power this turn? Unclear. Um, one bar away. Depends if Grim Guy attacks with this eight HP tank into this full HP tank down oh, there. I'm sorry, sorry about that. I'm just gonna. No, you good. Let me just uh, fix the cam, the Deej cam right here. Come on, stop, stop, stop messing around. Am I frozen in the unflattering position too? Like, no, nah, no, nah, you just, you just blocks you. I don't know. Oh, 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 nice. It's a shot on Poland's tank. Oh, I'm. Suddenly not hating Grim Guy's positioning right here. I mean, I didn't hate it because he lost. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see if he gets a power. If Poland gets a power, he can salvage a, a few moves. Maybe he's definitely getting it. Yeah, it's creeping. He's definitely getting it. It's creeping up a lot quicker than I thought. Actually, Let me see this one, over, this tank over here, just eyeballing it. Nope, does not quite reach for this other tank. He could have. Yeah, I thought Grim he might be able to do a two hit on this tank over there, and that would be really yeah, good. Yeah, decent, but, um, decent positioning from Grim Guy actually anticipating the side slip. He has, he has to abandon the HQ cap now because he's within one day reinforcement range of this, and he's got three yep. tanks. Grim one Guy's tank. gonna, Grim Guy's gonna. He has to pull back. He has to realize that this is over. I, I effed up. Own up to your mistake. Run the hell away. Yep. You got to do it. He has the income lead. Don't be trolling. Uh, be for, be for rolling. Now. Yeah, For just, now, he's got the income lead. He does, actually. Um, 17k to 13k. A little bit behind in unit count, but a lot of Grim Guy's units are damaged, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah. I would try to evacuate some of those damaged infantry, though, if I were Grim Guy. Don't throw them away. Uh, I don't think he will. Um, man. Yep, well... We'll see, we'll see. So, uh, I'm but, liking Grim Guy's positioning now. I am, actually. I think Grim Guy might... I think he's favored positioning-wise, but you have the CO powers. Yeah, the side slip is just so damn here. strong in, in mixed space. It's disgusting. But uh, we'll see. So if you're if you're pulling here, I think you, you, pull, you, pull, you pull away from the HQ. You pull back. You try to regroup in the center, maybe. You try to just yeah. take caps at this point. You just want to capture. Exactly. Um, mop up it. damaging units just like that. That's good. Mop up any low HP unit that you see around your corner. Kill the H three HP unit there. He, he needs yeah. to build infantry, I think, from the bottom left base to try and capture some of these properties. He needs to, uh, yeah, to capture something. He needs to keep he his needs, infantry alive. And this is uh, one thing I'm actually noticing about Paul. And look how many infantry he has. He has one, two, three infantry on the map. Four. Yeah. For infantry. It's very, very weak infantry. He's yeah, not been keeping he's his he's not minutes. been he's not been keeping his infantry alive. Uh this is a problem actually. Uh and this is something Grim Guy can capitalize on. Yeah. He will Grim uh, Poland still will have the income advantage even if Grim Guy captures that center property. Yes. He will. Um, that's that's a big income advantage too. Seventeen K to thirteen K, that's that means Poland can be, build two tanks on an infantry every turn. Whereas Grim Guy has to build a tank and two infantry. That's a uh, that's a that's that's gonna spiral out of control really quickly. Power is ready. There's no reason he, don't use the power, dude. Don't use the power. <laughs> <laughs> don't use the power. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe he will. He's he's going to. I I ha watched him play Star Flash on my live. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw that match. Yeah, he did he was... all these late powers that didn't make any sense. I hope he, maybe me chastising him last time, he won't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't use a three turn, tur three fourths of the turn is over. That's not the time to use the power. Power is, you what should. What does that make? Oh! <laughs> Didn't learn his damn lesson either. <laughs> I'm rooting for the dude. I'm, I'm honestly hoping for him. But, uh, Green Guy's gonna beat the shit out of him this next turn. Oh, dude, this is disappointment. This is immeasurable. <laughs> He's going all in for the uh, wow. HQ cap, play, but it's not going to work out. Like, he needs two, but like, this is grim. You gotta, Hello? you gotta understand, chat. Deejus is not angry. He's just very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the dad. Yeah, he's the just very, like he's just very shit. disappointed in you. <laughs> the hell is this shit? We learned the times tables ten times, you know. Like, <laughs> got it C plus in math. What the hell is this shit? Oh boy, day eleven. You think rolls. he's gonna? You think he's gonna get that cap? Come on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this. Okay. okay. He does. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the infantry engagement. Back yeah. there, full HP. Oh, he gets that. Oh, he gets that. I'm pretty sure that's going to knock it down to one. Oh, yeah. If not 
to, and then this thing kills itself. I mean, it, 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 it. I don't see that happening. He, he's got extra defense because of the power. Yeah, and four stars from I don't the know HQ. Green Cow, but... so maybe I'm a little off. Who knows? But like, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's not. It's not over. It is tempting to click the button for sure. It, I, I know the, the the temptation of clicking the button for sure. It, it's easy. It's very easy to do. When the button is gleaming, you want to click it. That's just uh, mon uh, monkey yes. mode. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Yeah, it's monkey mode immediately. All right. We'll Full see. HP tank. All right. Attack infantry on this in the HQ, followed up by an infantry attack. God forbid that somehow doesn't get that down to one, this thing. Oh, it goes. What? Ooh. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter. You got it yeah, down to five. Yeah, 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 yeah. The infantry will finish it off now. He should pull the... Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. I don't know if I like that, but uh, okay. Is he going to put the remaining tank on the HQ, I wonder? He, need, he should block the HQ. He doesn't want to pull and to put a tank there. So oh, yeah, he probably will. I think I he's would, gonna plot getting, letting Poland get that HQ would be would be bad. I Wait, think. well, even I don't even think this reaches though. That's the thing. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, Unless he can, can he kill the two HP infantry? No, he can't. Nah, oh, he's, uh... ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I mean, he can still put his one HP infantry on the HQ, but it won't hold up now. I mean, isn't it, there's no HQ threat anymore. No, no, yeah. I'm just saying it's good to deny him the position of the HQ. You know, true, Poland, true, Poland true. would love to put a tank on there. You know, it's that's true. He gets a nice little road strike on Grimm's tank right there, and he's got he's got two tank two tanks coming in from the left flank here as well. So this is uh, so rough. I mean, Poland will not have his side slip for at least like two more turns. So Grim guy doesn't Why have to worry about that. that. Damn side slip. <laughs> I'm telling you. Chat telling Chat you. is still disappointed over Shoal. Dejus is still disappointed over his side slip. Let's see. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is a yeah low a few units. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you get when you get like a grim live match. That's units just die. But grim guy yeah. still has a pretty solid unit lead. Of course, granted, he has two HP, one HP infantry, which yeah. pulls that up quite a bit. But uh, one one HP tank and a two HP tank. So it's a bit of a deceptive unit lead. Let's just put it that way. But okay, oh, what? Why is he attacking the pipe scene? Hey, he's gonna put it on the city anyway. Ah, okay, fine, 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 fine. So do you think uh, do you think Poland will continue to attack the HQ now or? I uh, no. No. You gotta pull back. Yeah. You gotta pull back. Like, what what is this reinforcement? Three turns to get over here. This is two turns. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough, that's a rough position to uh, die. He built he built another uh, tank on this side though, so looks like he might be interested in keeping up the aggression. Day twelve rolls in. Poland comes in, takes out that. Okay. He's, oh, he's gonna get that property now too. He's got the income. He's got. It's day twelve. Let's not yep. forget. Not yep. many infantry going on. Nope. Every capture matters. Grim can here. win the the actual vehicle fights, but he can lose the game. He can lose the game, yeah, just because of because how many? If you're like on day seventeen, there's like five properties you got to capture that you just don't have time for that. Let's see here. Tank okay. is coming in I as well. This might be able to attack from there, and that might be attack from there, but it won't. One, two, three, four, five. So it won't be able to strike back that tank. He's fine. He should be. He sh I think he should be all right. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but looks like Poland still wants to go for the HQ though. He's, yeah, he's moving. He's got to pull back. <laughs> he yeah, wants. He yeah. wants to go on the. He's still angry about that league loss, man. <laughs> he's like, I'm coming for you, groom guy. <laughs> uh. But yeah, Grim Guy's still slugging in it. Could have been knocked out, but he's still slugging. Could have been knocked out, but he's still in the... I'm telling you, the income matters a lot. It does, Day it does. 20, it's closer than he thinks. We're more than halfway there. No, yeah, we're in day 12, by the way, chat. And uh, I mean, Grim Guy, this property's hanging. Grim Guy can get that, but Poland's gonna get this one. Or, uh, eh. Grim Guy can get it. There are some properties that Grim Guy can definitely try and take, but Poland's got four tanks in the center. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He's not giving up. I do like this attack, though, actually. Okay. Okay. That's not bad, actually. I and this, this, and right. this tank, four, four defense stars right now. Tough for Grim to brawl that out of. He needs two tanks to strike it. So and he's trying to force pressure, I guess, so Grim guy can't recapture this property right here. I think so, too, yeah. I think that's what's going on. He's been eyeing that for a while now. 
Yeah. That's the most reasonable thing, and then you get it down to 16k to 14k, just one more property, and you're even. And look at that, look at how many tanks are coming in here from, from Boland. He's converging, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he can make two tanks a, a turn, and Grim Guy can only make one tank a yeah, turn. Yeah, that's the look income the lead. Now. That's the income lead coming into play here. What what happened? What did he kill? I, I was paying attention. He killed a two HP tank. Oh, okay. Two HP tank. No okay, kill the two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Moves his tank back. That's smart. He's also got a time lead, which is a pretty big deal. Cleaning up those three HP infantry. Pretty smart. Get rid of those low HP units. Don't let Grim Guy use them to block. All right, day twelve oh, for Grim Guy. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna be able to uh, fight? Is this is looking grim? Excuse me, the pun. But it is looking grim. It's looking very grim for the Grim Guy. I'm not, I'm not loving his position. He should be happy he's still alive, but at the same time, it's like... Yeah. He got a he got a slow death instead of a... Oh! There you Grim go. guy resigns. R.I.P. Congratulations, Poland. You did it. You beat your rival. Your eternal rival. The HQ cap didn't matter in the end. Too bad he didn't see the HQ cap, but you won anyway, so... Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm gonna take these fucking sunglasses off right now, because I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll keep the shirt on. It's pretty festive. There we go. <laughs> ah. Cost me ten whole bucks on Amazon. Expensive, oh, <laughs> expensive. Grim shirt. Grim shirt. Yeah. Grim the whole cosplay was fifty. The whole cosplay was fifteen bucks in total. And now you can be a warrior for uh, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Let's bring up the brackets. Um, so. Congratulations to Mr. Poland for uh, for winning your uh, first match in the tournament. And uh, Grim Guy, well fought. Not easy to play Grim live against Adder. That's a tough one. You're not even a live player, but still, thank you for coming to the tournament. It was it was a uh, was fun. And uh, let us see. Poland advances to round uh, here, I believe. Let's see. No, no. There we go. Poland. Poland. There we go. And... There we go. So, Poland will go on to fight the winner of the next round, which is Starflash versus Profeta. Now I'm going to read donations. Now I'm going to read donations. Sorry, oh. about, sorry about putting it off for so long. Uh, you got a lot of money in the prize pool, though, right? Oh, yeah, almost 600 bucks. Nice. It's going to be a lot of money on the line here. Not bad, not bad. All right. So. Let's see. There we go. All right, let me uh, let me read out some donations right here. Uh, put on some good Days of Ruin music. That was a little bit too... It's a little bit too uh, too ominous for me, I think. All right, so uh, Andro SP donated 55 of something. I don't know what kind of currency this is. <laughs> is this Rip Grim guy? Yeah, Rip Grim guy. Wing of Shoe donated two bucks. Looking a little grim for our guy. Yeah. Nolers donated 100 Canadian bucks through Super Chat. Here's some change for the Shoalgate Foundation. <laughs> yeah, we need to look into Shoalgate, guys. I'm a fireman, don't know two bucks. Good turn, you loved your April Fool video. Yeah, that was a great match against Int Inkogark. Monster Chef, don't know 50 bucks. Already gave 250, but Grim Guy hype. Well, I'm sorry, Grim Guy didn't win. Man Arch, subscribe, thank you. Al Baker, don't know five bucks. How crazy am I for organizing, arranging the entire class data list in my Fire Emblem hack? Oh, Jesus, yeah, that is crazy. My goodness. TX donated 20 bucks. I suck at Advanced Force by Web, but goddamn, it is fun. Good luck to all the players today and great commentary, you two. Thank you. Cosmic donated 5 bucks. Do you think Nintendo won't build a robust online competitor for the reboot because they know Advanced Force by Web is better than what they put up? No, they're not doing it because they're out of touch and they don't care about, about online play. Connor Everything donated 10 bucks. Thank you for the commentary on your video. Thanks for hosting the Egg Cup. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And then we have a $200 donation from Anna. I'm excited for the new Advanced Wars reboot. My old PC had the GBA emulator versions, but the emulator broke. Ooh, well, I'm going to make an emulator guide, I think, soon, so that people can play the older games if they want to. 
Circle Bow donated 10 bucks. Thank you so much. Davis G donated 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Username Noel donated 5 bucks. No message. And those are all the donations that I missed, I think. All right. So, uh, are the players getting ready? Did you just. Yes. Hang on. Let me, let me share the link in a bit. All right. Let me uh, bring up the map. This is the fourth round of the uh, the fourth game of the first round. After this, we're going into the semifinals. Let me ask the chat who they're rooting for, even though I, I think I kind of know the answer. Um, for Let's see. Let's see. All right. Uh, there's the link. Thank you. Thank you Last thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you. This this next one, I'm actually kind of excited about. I uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Let me bring up the map and uh, the. So this map is called Confound Delivery. Let's see, close the bracket right here. Uh, where's that bracket? There we go. There it is. The, there's the bracket. Uh, what the actual hell just happened here? Uh, let's I think see. you need to close the uh, the 14 Pornhub tabs. I think it's <laughs> down. Oh yeah, no. There we go. There we go. All right, so. Ladies and gentlemen, so we have a very interesting matchup right here. We have uh, Profeta as Nell versus Star... No, wait, no, actually, it's the other way around, sorry. It's Star Flash playing as Nell versus Profeta as Max. This is an interesting matchup. A very interesting matchup. Um, do you got any thoughts on it? Who has the advantage here of the two COs? Uh, do you just... Yeah, Max for sure. Yeah? Max for sure. You think Max? Uh, like we said, artillery less viable in live play. You're going to see more tanks, you're going to see more copters. The movement bonus for power, superpower, is huge. Yeah. Uh, so, and Nell's a little bit of a mean pick. And we saw what happened earlier. Toulouse took Nell. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Uh, uh, Star Flash, you know, he's a favorite. He is and a favorite, and Star Flash. Star Flash. It's a, it's, strong as shit. It's, Let's not forget that. He almost beat Toulouse in the first Grand Masters. All right? Yeah, so yeah, so you think Star Flash is dabbing a little he's maybe maybe underestimating Profeta a little bit here? Yeah, I think maybe a little bit. But he did beat Dead FS. Nell versus Olaf. Remember that game? Yeah, I remember. I remember. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. And uh, again, this is uh I mean, this is this is a very interesting map. Again, like the first one, I think we might there's a good chance that we might see a base train here because the base yeah. is very exposed and it's threatened on both sides. There's landers for some pretty crazy movement, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I will say I, I agree with you. Max is much better than Nell in mixed base, but it's Star Flash man. You never know what kind of crazy stuff he, he can pull out strong. of this. Uh, uh, he apparently is working without power. He's got like a generator or some shit. I don't know, a gerbil setup. I don't know what he's got set up, <laughs> but he's yeah. He's, he's rusty. He's, he's working through a snowstorm. You yeah. know, a lot of hate, random handicaps coming into play. Yeah. And the Nell. This game is wide open. I don't know what the hell this guy. Yeah, uh, Olaf popped Winter Fury in Canada uh, yesterday and uh, kind of knocked out a lot of the power grid yeah. there. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. This is gonna be. But like we be... said, Star Flash is super fast. He's gonna have like he's a so five fast. Minute he's so fast. Time advantage by turn ten. Like he's he's, he's nuts. Yeah, absolutely. Assuming his power doesn't like drop. <laughs> that's like that's another threat. That could so happen. You know, it could happen. It could very easily happen for sure. Alright, let's uh, jump into the game, shall we? Let's see what we have here. I need to do a little bit of an adjustment, as always. So let me just uh, fix that real quick. So, let's see. But yeah, Star... Now, it's a bit, bit of a mean pick, but uh, she can be pretty good in life if, if Casino Bot decides to favor you. But um, I would say she's better in higher income because you're going to see more tech ups. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she well, loves. Income, you're Neo not going to see as many. She loves Neo tanks. Up. She loves mega tanks. 
She loves any anything her infantry can chew up, basically. Is perfect. Copters are really good on this map, too. Max Copters. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, Max Copters and there's, are... There's a Comp Towers. There's Comp Towers, too. Oh, absolutely. Um, this is the potential to get ugly quick. Yeah. We'll see, 69% see rooting for Star Flash. So, uh... Ooh. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Thirty-two percent for Profeta. So this is gonna be this. I legitimately have no idea, like which way this 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 match will go. Like I, I don't know I, which Star Flash we're gonna see today. I don't know which one. Yeah, are we, are we, are we gonna see? Enough. If are he we, plays well here and he wins, I'll, I'll take him on the, in the finals. Yeah, are we, are we getting good could, flash? Get good plan. flash or yeah. bad flash? We'll see. Exactly. So you may uh, tell the players to All right. begin. I'll give them a heads up. Give him a heads up. Let's get started! Alright, I gave the warning. Oop. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Adjust the... Alright, both players are playing. They're playing fast. They're playing well. Gotta. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Sorry, I'll bring DJ just back on cam. I'll bring him back. Don't worry, chat. Ooh. There you go. He's back. All right. So both players have a lander, and this lander is actually pretty important. You can use the lander okay. to bl the, to block the capture. You can also use it to bring infantry from this corner base right here. Oh, he just managed again. There we go. Should be back in there. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> no worry. We'll get him in. There we go. Uh, let's see. There we go. He's back. So I think early B copter is also very viable here. You go for your first vehicle being a B copter rather than a tank. For sure. For sure. Oh, let me just uh, fix something real quick. I gotta make sure to update the match. We're in round four. I do not like Profeta going for the city before the airport though. Starflash went for the airport first because he realizes how valuable B copters are on this map. Yes. Yeah. Bottle copters are gonna be crazy. So. Um, you can't block with a lander if the guy's in the map. No, that's the thing. That that's a good point, actually. That is a good point. So, um, you forgot to account for the max power. Oh, we're we're not forget we're not sleeping on max power, guys. We're not we're not sleeping on the max power. See, if Profeta had also captured, he'd have three infantry in the battle copter this turn, which would have been a beautiful start. Also, uh Comtar map, this this is an advantage for Max, wouldn't you say? Uh, I would have, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, because he reaches that thirty power day to day COs. So I guess I guess Max is actually decent without a comm tower because he still has those two hit KOs on cities. Exactly, he doesn't really need the comm towers. Maybe he's actually better for Mel. It's not a big deal. I, comm tower or no comm tower, I don't think it has a huge impact on this matchup. To be perfectly honest, they're just gonna smash their faces together. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're not. Chat's talking about his indirects being nerfed. Yeah, because he's single artillery in this map. I'm, I'm telling you, I'd be surprised if Star Flash deploys an artillery. This, this yeah, map is I, not an artillery map. It's way too open. This is a B copter tank map. B copter tank map. Tank. Yeah. Me. I mean, if you see artillery, it's to lock down a base. I really don't think we're gonna see one. I would be very surprised. Both these players playing really quickly, though. I like to see that. Nope. Hell yeah. I mean, they, like I said, 15 minute, one minute, or uh, increment. Like you gotta. Yeah. Save as much time as possible early on. Absolutely. He's just debating, do I build a tank here? Put up, yep, there you go, tank chain. Yep, he has the tank chain. If, if Profeta wants to strike this back, then uh, he's going to be in trouble. He does attack from the silo, get a first strike, and his tanks are stronger. Much so stronger, yeah, 20%. So, uh, it could happen. We'll see what Profeta I'm, decides. I'm, I'm Profeta, I'm, ooh. He doesn't do it. He doesn't He doesn't go for it. I would have done that, to be perfectly honest. Yep. Um, it's within one base. I mean, they're both within one. This is literally like they're both within one turn of the base. I think maybe I would have gone for it as well, but we'll see. Oh, he did silo on the city. They're gonna have. Profeta does defense. not build a tank from his base here. He builds a battle copter. Also would have had the comp tower one turn earlier, giving him an even harder advantage in this matchup. But you know, I don't know. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this battle copter comes into play here. Star Flash going live. I like an early battle copter. Um, so, yeah, you can put it in the middle, then you can faint going to the left, you can faint going down. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of viability for battle copters on this map. Let me turn you up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Better. Yay. All right. So, um, 
the seat. There we go. And boop. Okay, Profeta is now bringing his tanks. Oh, sorry, Starflash now bring, is bringing his tanks together. This is good positioning by Starflash right here, taking both of the tree star defense tiles. I like that. Yeah, so now he can't do shit because he has no tank down there. He, yeah, he didn't build a tank, so I think maybe he should have. But he wanted that Battlecopter, which I understand. Battlecopters are good. But um, how are you going to... How are you going to get that Battlecopter into play? He's going to have to go in the middle over here. Out of entire range. Like maybe like... Right here. And then... Entire probably go like this way to cut him off. And then you got to shift over here. Like it's you got to zone it out with the entire, Which is not an easy feat. Because like I said, you're going to have a power eventually giving you extra movement bonus. And you can kind of sneak past things. Yeah, yeah, no, it's this this water, this body of water makes makes it easy for the Battlecopter to avoid, and of course... Uh, and the lander's a good blocker. Lander, the again, well. I'm, I'm telling you, this lander is going to come into play at some point during this match. Uh, it will happen. Yeah, I, I wouldn't use it for transport rather than blocking. I think it's a viable blocker. Transport, like... It might be used as transport later on for going yeah, for captures. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, uh, we'll see. Hmm. But Starflash is winning the size. Look at this. He's going to get this property without any problem, basically. I uh, like yeah, I like his positioning here. I like his positioning a and lot. And this one as well. Uh, you can get an interrupt over here, but... Yep. Yes. Yeah, so he moved to the helicopter in the exact spot I would have done it. Um, oh, interesting. He's actually getting a slander. Does he want to transport infantry over here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He might be, he might be doing that. So we'll see. I mean... Um... But this is... So I guess Starflash doesn't really want to attack into this. So I guess he can just plonk his two tanks down here and just keep him. He's kind of... He's denying Profeta the property, though, which is kind of nice. So, he's going to have to retreat, though, because he's what he's going to do is... Profeta's going to attack two tanks. It's going to be a guaranteed two-hit KO and then put in infantry where there used yeah, to be. Yeah, he probably needs to pull back. Yeah, for sure. So Starflash is going to retreat this turn. But Starflash is, is a fine. nice he's income lead right now. He's got a very good, strong capture face. He does, and he's going to get that side property. Yeah, Profeta's not going to get... I mean, Profeta can interrupt it, but... He can interrupt unless the AA gets in the way. No, no they, the they can't. can't get slowed down by the forest. I think this is very deliberate. I think these two are very deliberately placed that way. But... If he withdraw this tank, he's going to withdraw those. Wherever Probably. they go over here, this interrupts over here, you get a free infantry kill. Not free, but, you know, kill them. Yes. Um, so he's going to get a unit in, uh, uh, advantage. Probably, yes. I'm liking Starflash's position so far, but the Battlecopter hasn't really done anything yet. Yeah, but it, it, it depends, though. So the first... You pay the, more up front for it. The first power is going to be huge from Profeta here. Like, his first I, max I force. Agree. If max... He can end the game with that max force if it's a good one. If it's a bad max force, then yeah, that's that's going to be a... That's going to be... Starfire's going to be in a very good position here. Yeah. So... Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what he's going to build now. He's got 9,000 in the bank. Guessing probably a tank to infantry. That's, like, the only thing that really makes... Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. It's 2k in the bank. What did he build this turn? He built, he built, oh, he built two tanks. He built two tanks. Yeah, no, one tank. Sure he built one tank, and he's going to build two more infantry. Yeah, that's what he's going to do, exactly. So, uh, yeah, that, two tanks. yeah, you can build two tanks. One in the top, one in the middle. Yeah. There we go. Day seven rolls in for the Prophet. Let's see what he's going to do. Caps immediately. 15k income. Goes for this. Is Starflash just going to, I guess he's just going to relinquish this property now. I don't think he can, I don't think Prophetic can really. Uh, Starflash has infantry in position, too, so he can, he can do a lot of damage. He's got, Two tanks over here, three tanks over here, excuse me. I think Profeta's not going to be getting this property. You don't think so? I you think Starflash is going to, you think Starflash is going to interrupt this? He has plenty of oh, units in range. Look at this. He moved the tank over here, relinquishing Ooh, it. Ooh, yeah. This... I don't know why he moved this tank over yeah, here. Yeah, Starflash going to get this yeah. regardless, so this doesn't really seem like a good idea. Moving... Oh, Starflash is definitely going to interrupt that cap over there. Profeta now moving his Battlecopter down mm. south here. I don't know what that... I mean, maybe they would have been better to send the Battlecopter over here. I mean, the Empire can pretty much go whichever way, so just... That Battlecopter is... You could have put the Battlecopter, centralize it, move the lander, plop two infantry, block it off. Yeah, that's scary, though. Max tanks... Or, or sorry, uh, tanks over here. But yeah, I could have done that, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if Starflash going to attack this. We'll see. It's scary to brawl with Max. You think he will? He will definitely attack that. Oh, yes, for sure. You start no, flush. No, my mind. no, they're not playing with Fog of War, Chan. They see what we see. Standard. Standard tournament. At the very least, he's going to interrupt with that infantry. Okay, now because that's. I like the wall here, though. That's 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 nice. Good. That's that is good. He he needed to do that, or else he would have attacked from the forest first. Absolutely. But if I'm Star Flash, maybe just prod, do a little attack there, build another tank. 
bring this one over here, then you're gonna have a shit ton of tanks. Yeah, absolutely. Or he could attack with that, but we'll, we'll see what he attacks with first. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling he's not gonna allow him to capture that rock. Oh, okay. Oh. That was wrong. Okay, Starflash shifting did. over to the to the right here. Interesting. He's mm -hmm. going all in on this on this side right here. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, that's the power centralizing. You're able to shift completely over here, faint him out, Prophetus. Well, Prophetus is gonna have a field day with these units. He's got to his thrall. Yeah, Starflash did here. bring one tank over here to cover it though, but still. He, he, he could, yeah, he could lose a, he could lose a lot of infantry here potentially. They're gonna feast. Ooh, Starflash bringing in the lander. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna threaten this property now. I don't no, know. No, he's not gonna do that. Uh, no, okay, he's going he's going down. What is he doing? Like, is he gonna try and capture um, this property? It, 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 more to safety rather than viability. I guess he's so. Yeah. Over the tanks. Evacuating his infantry, so to say. Yeah, well, that's not bad. He did a good job. He, fa he I will say he faked me out. I thought for sure he was gonna stop this. Now, one over here. Suddenly you have four tanks and an anti-air. There's one single tank and a copter. This is looking, yeah, so this that's Starflash piling on the pressure here. That's uh, this is a scary situation for Profeta here. But then again, weakness right here. Yes. Starflash, I mean, it's within the turn of the base, so it's, it's fine, but... He's leaving himself open. Yeah. Max has the guarantee to hit KOs on cities. It's a, such a huge advantage, yeah, absolutely. It really is. Um... I'm liking I'm liking the feistiness of Starflash, but like I said, it's gonna come, if it comes down to powers, we'll see. I'm, I'm, you can't call anything until the powers come into play. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll see what I, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, this uh, this un I really like his entire like his entire makes this battle copter completely useless. I'm thinking Profeta might just pull it back and then wait until Max Force and try to slack a tank with it. Probably That's what the, I'm thinking. Probably he the needs best, to hold it back. Probably the best trade he can do with it. But Starflash has four tanks in this vicinity. This is scary, but yeah. he doesn't really want to attack into a base, though. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think it's less about attacking into the base, more about securing the 6 HP infantry over there, capturing that property. Yes. Uh, getting, the middle, getting the we'll, two sides over here, and there you yes. already have a 2k income advantage. So if you're Profeta here, do you use this infantry to interrupt this camp, you think? Um... Honestly, not a terrible idea, because the next one up is this one over here. It takes three turns to get over there. So, Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so, too. Maybe in that instance, you do interrupt. Because he is outnumbered, and we all know that it's not smart to, you know, become outnumbered. It's a trade-off. It's a trade-off, yeah. It's a trade-off. It gonna... looks like he's being more defensive, though. I think he might pull back. It's a scary force from another coming in there. from, uh, from Starflash Air. Very scary force, indeed, so we'll see. But got to be careful. These central bases, like... If Starflash just yeets everything up here, then Profeta comes in from behind and he can dislodge this base. Exactly, and I think I think Profeta, or uh, Starflash is cognizant of that. I think he's not going to allow that uh, too easily. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, I'm saying this, this is probably one of the more complicated maps to play on. I, I found this map incredibly difficult to play on. It's, uh, there's so many things to take into account, and you're on the clock, and it's mixed base. So it's, and there's CO powers coming in, so there's lots of calculations yeah. that needs to be made on the fly right here. Let's see what Profeta can can pull off here. Mm, 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 mm. Both players playing very quickly. I like to see that. They, uh, Profeta taking a little bit of time right now, but uh, you can see Starflash already has that time advantage. He's, already got, yeah, <laughs> He's so fast, man. He's so fast. It's crazy. And he, he'll, he's, he'll never have any issues with the timer. I think what what Starflash does is he plans out his turns in advance. Um, he's very good at that. That's yeah, that's what you should be doing. You should be waiting while your opponent makes your turn, then you decide what to do. Yeah, then you have to like adjust on the fly. Easier oh, said than done, of course. It's a good, that's a nice roll though, with the infantry against the city. Yeah, got but a high roll. Got a high roll you know, with, with Nell's little luck there, so that's great. I mean, he can pull that back, attack next turn. But I gotta be careful, could lose the city. He's not careful, he wants to, he doesn't want to pull units over here to defend ah, the city. I think that city's a threat. You just move the land, but you can't really bust through with the lander blocking it, you know what I mean? You can only attack from one place. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Eh. It's tricky. Oh, Starflash is now, he's pulling back here in the on the left side. As he should because, yeah, it's a little close. Yeah, he needs to get his infantry out of, I mean, it's not like Profeta has many infantry in the region that can capture, so. He probably will start oh, moving now. Now he's attacking on the south side. I like that. Using the lander to boost. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Getting, getting a little bit of a heads up here. Yeah, Profeta's got to be careful. There's a nice little trickle of infantry coming in here. Uh, Starflash is prodding uh, Profeta where he least expects it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's a lot the of top and the bottom. Oh, oh very funny. Oh, oh what the? It's attacking here. Is he not gonna just get shellacked? Is he gonna build a medium tank? Yes. Oh, nah. hold it. That is yeah. actually really good. Because what is Profeta going to do against that at this point? He needs the medium tank. And he really doesn't want to build medium tanks against now. That's a medium tank base kit, isn't it? Yes. Uh, no. Has he built nope, uh, nope. Oh, no, it's not. Nope. He needs not even, uh, not even down to zero. Wow. Um, I, like I do like Star Flash's idea. Get the sides over here. Secure yeah. the sides. Absolutely. Pull back. Get the top and the bottom. He's like, he's always on the move, keeping Profeta guessing. I can, I can confirm... At this point, Star Flash of old is playing currently. He, he doesn't look rusty right now. He's looking scary. He is looking um, quite scary. I, I love that medium tank. That's, a, that's a great, that's a great move. Profeta, though, he's defending down in the south here, but there's three more Star Flash infantry on the way, and Nell is slightly better than Max in these infantry engagements. That's a uh, yes. slightly better infantry commander. So uh, Star Flash threatening Profeta on multiple fronts and holding the properties early on. That's well played by him denying this property from Profeta right here, keeping the entire here. Ah oh, man, this is uh. We're at day nine. We're almost near the halfway point. Remember, income matters more than usual. It's only days, twenty days. Yep. Before number of captures matters. Whoever's the most captures wins the game. And look at Star Flash's time advantage here. Eighteen minutes almost to Profeta's fourteen. So that, Star Flash never going to go below 10 minutes. No, he's, ne <laughs> he's never going to go. He didn't get a chance. No, no, no. He plays so quickly. I wonder what his solution is. Did he say? He said he had a... Because Star Flash doesn't have electricity right now. Is he, like, like doing, like, a treadmill? Like he might be a, like, a <laughs> library or something for all of He's, like, he's, he's sitting like a treadmill generating power while playing. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He made it work, though. I was impressed. Yeah, because the snowstorm knocked off... Out all, out all of Star Flash's electricity. Basically, Canada as a whole was yeah. destroyed, <laughs> from my understanding. So, uh, that's great. Advanced Force by Web has single player? No, there's no single player. Uh, no AI. But who knows? Maybe this next potential site that's going to come up soon may have single player. Who knows? Okay. I'm Profeta here. Oof. <sighs> I mean, you can't, you can't attack the base unless you get a medium tank out. I mean, if you want some I'm medium... I'm Profeta here. I shipped all my units over here, so attacking Yeah, over take, here. take the... Take Move the, take away the from the medium tank. Go for this property. Go for this property. Realize that you don't fight into medium tanks. You run it away. It looks to be exactly what Profeta is doing right use here. Use your mobility. Six movement, five movement. You use your advantage in mobility... Whereas he has advantage in firepower, you move over here, shift over here. It's going to take way too long for the medium tank. Win all this, kill all these infantry, capture these properties. That's what I would do. Oh, absolutely. Uh, hello. Force the medium tank to slog far away from the base. Don't fight into a medium tank like base. That's just suicide. Yep. So he should be doing that. I expect all of those tanks to shift to the either the bottom or to the left. Probably to the left. Makes more sense. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I mean, this. As soon as this medium tank showed up, there's no more attacking this particular place. Moving yeah, his tanks go. over here. So we'll Maybe he's going to the bottom. He could go to the bottom as well. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh I don't like that move there. What the hell? Uh, sorry, ah, what was that? I'm sorry, like I'm just that. closing some. Don't time. like that. He just... He moved his tank from, like, this forest to there. He could have moved it down here, put pressure here, up here. Oh, I do like the battle copter, though. I, I do like that battle copter, though. That's, uh... uh where did he go? Oh, I'm assuming... Um, here. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely making... Starflash did kind of blunder by putting this in the very far... Yeah, corner. yeah, it's, it should have moved it into the center. It's not like Profeta was going to capture it anyway with these tanks here, so... Exactly. So that was a little bit of an oversight by Starflash, but to be honest, Profeta kind of... Uh, he's being extremely passive, and you cannot be a passive or Starflash. He's going to milk you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's going to be interesting to see what Starflash does now. I mean, he could... Uh, now Profeta actually built a medium tank of his own, so... Um, he has to, like obviously, he has to. Uh, he didn't have to, to be honest. You think he, 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 he could have just danced around it? He could dance around it for at least one more turn. Yeah, because he had to. He has to base skip by. No, he didn't actually. Did he? No, he, he was able to. He did no, here. yeah, he did base skip because he had seven things. Uh, he needed a tank over here because he's going to lose his oh, infantry fight if he doesn't. Yeah, Star Flash is. That's why I would have danced around it one more turn. Yeah, get a tank out there to defend, and also, yeah, Star Flash is going to get this property now. It's going to put him up 18k to Profeta 16. Yep. That's scary. So Profeta is the only thing he's in range Starflash is kind of... It's, it's interesting. Starflash is kind of winning this by not taking any fights. It's very, very well played. Like, he's not... Profeta is basically... Starflash is, like, 
feigning to attack him and Frodo's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, and then you know, Frodo like, pulls back and then Starflash all exerts pressure. All the momentum of Star this is a beautiful. Has not generated any attacks. Yeah, he's always reactionary. You never want to be reactionary in Advanced Wars, much less so in live play. Yeah, Starflash is dictating the pace of the game, and he's gonna win because of that. Unless Profeta. <laughs> you know, can start having some actual threats, like, move this infantry down here, threaten these two, threaten this, like, ah, just... Inkigark says, no just... doubters in shambles. <laughs> uh... I mean, if Starflash was maxed, it might be ugly, that's, that's all I'm saying, you know, it's not just, no, it's, it's the who's playing in that. Oh yeah, oh, I love, Starflash is like, oh, he's such a scary force in the center here, and he's prodding here, he's just yeah. prodding every, now he's pulling back here? Sure, he might lose this property, but he can afford to lose it because he's gonna get this one. Mm -hmm. So he can, he can, he, as well, he can yeah, he can, and, and he, he threatens the comb tower right now if Profeta doesn't divert tanks. And if Profeta now has to divert tanks from the middle down in the south here, then Starflash can suddenly just punch through this this uh, this middle base right here. So Profeta's in a squeeze right now. He's not behind in that much in unit value or income, but he's behind in positioning. So it's, it's going to be... Not, he's not too far from being saved. If he gets a power, strong power, he can immediately take the lead. Oh, yeah. Max Force is a game changer for sure, but... You cannot he... get complacent in Starflash. No. He continues to attack Starflash's infantry, which is... Okay, that's fair enough. He does have the... He does have some... Oh, he is pulling a tank back now. A single tank. Mm -hmm. I doubt he's going to pull back more than one tank. No, he's not. He's got to be. He he's, this would have been is... better if he skipped the medium tank one more turn and bought a tank down here earlier and just like put it here. Yeah. I like how I like how I like how Starflash left a single infantry behind to interrupt this for one turn. Oh, never mind. Tank comes in. <laughs> he can't interrupt this anymore, so this this property is going to be lost. But that's okay. Starflash is still going to be ahead. So um, there we go. Moves in with the tank. Okay. All right. Cool. We'll see what Profeta decides to do with his Battlecopter. Could get a could he get a free hit on the infantry? Nah, he doesn't know. Starflash has guarded his infantry well. Yep. Hey, hey, goes up north instead to go up. Yeah, that kind of shuts down Starflash's aggression up in the north here. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking. I think Profeta. This is a solid turn he's for Profeta. Still he's still doing fine. Yeah, Profeta's kind of stabilized a little bit here. He's, he's stabilized. He. He needs to start having some threats, organic threats, instead of just being reactionary. But yeah, he's got medium tank and two tanks here first. God knows. And imagine using a Nell power with a Calm tower, mm -hmm. two tanks attacking a medium tank. Maybe you kill that thing. Probably kills it. Yeah. So I mean, just uh, look at the look at the damage a Nell tank does against a max tank on planes with Lucky Star, 16 to yeah. 69. <laughs> exactly. That's, and that's scary what as shit. Like around, if like you're 35 on a, to 40. Even if yeah. you're on a city, it's 12 to 53. Average exactly. about 30, 3 HP of damage. Very scary, very scary. You do not want that medium tank anywhere near Max uh, Nell's tanks when that Lucky Star hits. And Starflash is on, oh, artillery. Starflash just built an artillery. I said at the start of this match, I didn't think we were going to see artillery. Oh, yeah, he built that last turn. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't he, even notice. He's looking... Uh, I mean... I think it was just out of convenience, because look at his funds. He only had 800 left, so it was less so about the artillery, more about saving that 1k. Mm. Yeah. What about the tank if he could? For sure. So, I do wonder where Starflash is going to attack next turn. Profeta is playing very defensively. But Starflash has so... He's got to pull back at the bottom here, and he's got to pull back at the top. Well, he's too late. He can't pull back at the top. Yeah, all his troops got, got wiped out. Sh metric shit ton of units. Oh, he's here. going for it. Yeet! Yeah. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating like Buster Keaton. Interesting. What is he... What is he going to follow this up with, though? Bunch of tanks and shit. Yeah, but... Is this really what he wants? He, he, could, he risks running headfirst into a max force here. He does have yeah, but look. he does have infantry okay, so though. Yeah, let's, let's assume this, this kills the medium tank. God forbid, or it turns into two or three. You're gonna have at least three or four infantry to swarm that baby. Yes, and with, with Lucky did. Star. Yeah, so that, that that I think yeah, Starflush is like offering up a tank, and he's like, "Hello, here you go. Uh, exactly. Do you want to face my luck damage on the next turn?" Of course, there's a chance Starflush could just roll crap <laughs> and lose. 
You never that know. A it's a possibility. Oh yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, Star Flash is he's wow. tired of waiting around. Look, Confredo designated tank down here, designated a tank on our copter over here. He realizes he has unit count oh, advantage. Oh, he goes for the base attack! My goodness, Starflash. Hey. What? Oh my goodness. He's gonna get a lucky star next turn. This is so scary. This is so scary for Profeta right here. He might pop his max force this turn, but he's not gonna kill all those tanks. And whatever is left over risks wiping him off the map. And he has the artillery to base lock the base. Next turn. Next turn, Profeta's base yeah. is locked down. He tried to. No, he didn't interrupt. Okay, he had the one HP infantry. He didn't interrupt. And, and Battlecopter. Battlecopter. Literally, and this is say that you you're the, you're in the squeeze. You yeah. need an anti-air, but you can't get an anti-air because he's gonna die. This is what he did to me when I played live against him. He, I was star flash squeeze. This is the star flash star squeeze right here. I'm telling you, reactionary. Remember what I said. Got the sides over here. Profeta's like, oh, I gotta defend the sides. Got the top over here. Now Profeta's like, oh, I gotta bring my tanks. I gotta bring. And now he's going for the original thought he wanted in the first place. He distracted Profeta. He's going in for the kill now. This yeah. is all by design. He yep. didn't give a shit about the top. This is the this is masterful now playing. I gotta say, right? This is. It was it was all about Sun Tzu, some some Sun Tzu bullshit. He scattered him. Scattered him. To look look at how centralized Star Flash. Look how scattered Profeta is. Profeta has units scattered all over the map. Starflash has them in a death ball formation right here. Now, I still think yeah. Profeta's going to send his medium tank in and strike Starflash. I think he has yeah, to. He yeah. has to. He has to. And then he just has to pray that Nell's luck damage is poor. Essentially, or he might actually attack the tank with the medium tank. He could, yeah. Mm, nope. 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 No, he's going medium to medium. He's yep. try he was trying to get a power before. I don't think he's going to get a power. Yeah, I also, I will say, I like how Starflash is shielding most of his tanks with the medium tank. So that even if yeah. the medium tank strikes, there we go, five HP left. This tank can still not roll in and, and, and kill. So, oh, this 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 lucky star is gonna be crazy. It could be crazy. It could also suck. Uh, this yeah. is beautifully played by Star Flash. I love this so much. As a Nell stand, this makes me very happy. I think Profeta's in a world of hurt. <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. Ooh. And Profeta's like, oh, half my turn's over. Is it worse to use the power now? Yeah. He wanted to use the power for the medium tank, but now it's I'm, like... Maybe it would have been better. He's not going to use it. He's not going to use it. Honestly, his units might just be really dead next turn. He really needed to use the power this turn. You know why? The extra 10% defense and the luck. Yeah. Defense really contrasts Lux, and now he's gonna have zero defense, and he's gonna be. And even with like this, this Batacopter and this tank is so useless right now. Even with powers. Oh, oh, nice! Using no, the lander. I like the that. Lander. I like that. That's okay. cute. That's cute. That's cute. And Starflash yeah, okay. has two cities that are hanging here. So we'll see. He has no infantry to capture them though. Uh, he can put it. In, he has it in a lander. That's a tank. Oh, oh, no, no, he has a full no, HP he, infantry. Yeah, he has a full oh, HP okay. infantry I in there. I didn't see that. I put it in. It's okay. a little sneaky, a little sneaky, but he did okay, it. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I thought so he was just going to put that. He has a city that he can potentially get, or come to... Oh, what? 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 Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? He's still being defensive. Ugh. Profeta. What the? <laughs> this city is, like, yours... Oh! What? I think he's panicking, they just... I think he's panicking. I panic too. This is, what is he gonna do? He's gonna combine tanks? No. Oh no. Oh, he okay. need, oh, he needs the empire. Oh, this is this, this next turn from Star Flash is gonna be wild. Oh god. Trofeta. <laughs> Honestly, Just... wait, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. This copter sacks itself into the anti-air. Oh, you're thinking? Oh, you're thinking Lady Luck? Lady Luck. Oh. You don't fuck with Lady Luck. I don't know. I wouldn't put a bat. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. That's, that's risky even for Star Flash. That'd be man. risky, but it'll be Star Flash. I mean, the, the fans love it. You give the fans what they want. Oof. Let's see if he does it. No, nope. no, no, he, he pops, just, he pops he Lucky Star. Lucky Star. Here we go. Decent attack from the Battlecopter. Average raw luck rolls, I'd say. All right. Let's see if he takes the tank. That's going to be the big one. That's going to be the big one. I think he was hoping to get that, honestly. There we go. Oh, infantry. He can use the infantry to clear away this one HP tank. Uh, he, he, he doesn't no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. He's not adder. Oh, he wants to wrap this tank around, but he can't. Oof, good, good, good luck. That's a good luck roll. Oh, he needs to get a oh, on that four tank. HP, he four looks HP. Looks like he might. No. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, he didn't pray for. He didn't pray to casino bot. He didn't pray to casino bot. Uh, 
he's That's going bad. to need to two hit KO that medium tank, which is definitely feasible. Oh, is that near? Is that medium tank on a road? It is. It is oh, wide open. So it is wide open. That's so dead. Yeah. The question is, can he get the can he get the umpire? He's that, gonna he's, at least he's, he's gonna murder go, it. He's gonna go. Oh. Yeah. He, that is so dead. Four HP tank. Kill him without oh. the max power. Guaranteed. Yeah, it's dead. Guaranteed. Oh, there we go. Superpower is ready. Attack but... the medium tank from the base. Oh, the tank. oh, 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 oh no, he wants Ooh. to he wants to go for that. Oh, he was. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Honestly, that doesn't it's not as big a deal as you would think. Maybe not. Now is he, he going to use the tank? He's going to use a tank. Yeah, he gets it. Yep. He gets it. Artillery goes in. R.I.P. Profeta, to be perfectly honest. Honestly, this I is shit. tricky. This is tricky, yeah. Ooh, he has no anti-air to kill the copter. Nope. He... He's dead. He's beautifully yeah. played by Starflash. My goodness. What a, what a master. What a master player. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he... And, uh, he, and he did no it counter play over here. And he did it. I don't know why Profeta didn't land here. Yeah, he didn't put it over here, and then, because he could have at least tried to capture the comm tower. He could have checked the, the, the comm tower. <sighs> but, um... Yeah, and this dead. wasn't even that good a lucky star. It was pretty damn average. He didn't get any, it was like... Average. He didn't get, like, any super high rolls. He got mostly average yeah. luck rolls, so... It was just really he, well he's planned. Gonna, he's gonna even put this he's lander gonna use right the here. Lander to block pop it right the there. Tank. That's amazing. I love that. He can even That's bring funny. in a... He can bring in an infantry if he wants to. Oh, he's combining? Oh, he wants to build something. What is he? Yeah. Are we putting infantry? Put that plop, plop that on the mountain. Yeah, plop it on the mountain. I guess not. Oh, no, he's just gonna, he's just gonna use that. He could have brought, he, I would have brought that infinite, but then again, it's Star Flash monies. Wow, he's already no what a turn! Can, can Max there's Blast no save this? No, there's, there's a, he's so screwed. Oh my god! <laughs> he right. has no threats. Oh my god! He can too damage. passive over here. He, he literally has no threats. <laughs> Star Flash he can builds. That. He can capture There's that, yeah. There's no threat. Wow. He has Max Blast, but uh, what's what's it's it gonna do? Late. It's too late. What I don't is see it? any any scenario. I mean, he can kill the artillery. I don't, know how you, I don't even know how you throw at this point. Yeah, I kill the artillery, but it's not even base locking. The base, he's on the base. <laughs> he's on the base. He can't anymore. even just launch his own base. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is this is uh, I guess he. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goes for the goes for the city. Uh, there is there is no. Hope. Yeah, because Starflash wipes him out next turn. He's he's already wiped out. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> With little he has left. Pop your max blast at least. Come on. <laughs> at least at least punch back before like, you get knocked out, Profeta. Yeah. At least bring it closer in appearances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least yeah. That's important. If you're gonna lose, make sure that you equalize the valley. It's kind of like what Reimer did to you. <laughs> In the yeah, in exactly. Like, he just hit like, you with a lightning strike and then resigned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just didn't like, want it to look too bad when people looked back at the replay. Exactly. Like, <laughs> oh, at least one one and thing. Yeah, like <laughs> he's so dead. I oh okay yeah. This smash and thing is in resign. There's Sma nothing to be. Smash and dash. Smash and dash. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> I better see missiles out of Profeta this turn. Yeah, chat. Chat wants to see missile. And what, what's even funnier is that Starflash has counterattack damage this turn. Like, yeah, one, exactly. One thing, one, th yeah, like if you attack, if you if you attack Nell tanks with your tanks, they can counterattack and deal like five HP of damage back to your units. It's really annoying. Uh, so you got to be very careful about that. Unless you deal a lot of damage to them, you don't really want to take those engagements. <laughs> Chad wants to see Max Artillery. <laughs> Oh, I don't think we're going to... You gonna... can afford a pipe runner if you so choose uh, could That would be a good way to go out, for sure. Absolutely. Now, that being said... Oh, no, no. Star... I, I was like, he took out Starflash on there, but then I realized Starflash has two battle copters, so yeah, that's not going to happen. Starflash has reasserted himself as the favorite. I he really don't... Not yeah. stuff. I'm I think... saw a few of his other live league games, and he had some losses, and I was wondering a little bit. But this, uh, this was domination yeah. every step of the way. Stuff. He's reasserted himself as the favorite of this tournament. I agree. He's he's in, he, he's in his every in his. throughout every stage of the game. Dead FS looked good at Starflash early on, then he just blundered a whole bunch. He did. Starflash was just but a very solid I opener, and then like he just kind of. I can't find anything I would disagree with. To be honest, there was very little. You know, you know, like I said, you watch the game, you have ten extra IQ or whatever the fuck. Like I can't even, you know. 
mm. even in the, the, the passenger seat or the backseat driver. Like I can't even, you know. No, he's playing. He just played this like he's playing it. Perf- he's playing it damn near perfectly, as perfectly as he can play in exactly. a live match. Can't complain. He's the favorite. That's all I'll say. Mm. If I know you get, you should just resign, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And he just with the shade. <laughs> no, he's, you know, he, he, there comes a time and a place. <laughs> you can't, Starflash is impossible to throw. There is no throw at this point. I don't even know how you, Starflash could not build another <laughs> unit the rest of the game. The comment section win. says, Profeta's win condition is extending the game long enough so that Starflash loses his power. His electricity. Yeah, that's literally it. That's the only way I see this happening. <laughs> Literally, like, uh, yeah, yeah, you true, yeah, there you go. GG, that was oh my goodness, it's a yeah, tr- it's a tr- it's a treat to watch Star Flash at the top of this game, man. It is an absolute treat. No HQ on this map, no, there are HQs right here. I'm pointing at it right now, chat. GG, all right, let me kick you off the mouse so you can move your mouse around, and uh, yeah, let's bring up the bracket. So we're done with the uh, first four rounds. We have three games remaining, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, but yeah, I, I do think Star Flash is in a good position to win this tournament. He seems to be in tip-top shape right now. So, so uh, yeah. Can't hate. Hmm? Can't hate. Can't hate. All right, I'll, be re- I'll, I'll link you the game. I'm going to fill up my water. You do that, DJs. Just... Oops. Um, let's see. So round four is Starflash. Uh, there we go. Starflash. <laughs> Tournament spoilers. Yeah, I had the I had the Starflash set preemptively. Let's see. So that means Profeta was knocked out. It means I can read some uh, donations in the meanwhile. There we go. So Starflash gonna go on to meet Poland in the next uh, in the next game. So um... <laughs> versus Starflash, yes, it's gonna be great. And Tordred is gonna meet Dead Fs in uh, in the next game. That is going to be an absolutely wild one. Yes, I will check out the memes. Let's uh, see if we can uh... let's see if we can find the May Mays, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so let's uh, read some memes and uh, do some donations. Alright, so we are now moving into the semifinals, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it's about to heat up in a big way. Spaceman Andrew donated a 10 bucks for Super Chat. Nell Hype! Andro SP donated 55 NS to Super Chat. Rip Grim Guy, yes indeed. Torgers just spams tanks, easy clap. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, ladies and gentlemen. We will see about that. So, um update the price pool. It should be updated. Let me send uh let me send a message to my technician, see if he can uh, um There we go. It should it should update. It should update itself fairly quickly. All right. So chat, let me uh, let me ask you. Tordred versus Deadass. That is going to be a pretty wild matchup. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? I'm gonna ask you guys. Let's see. Who are you rooting for? Tordred, D, Dead Fs. There we go. Bump, bump. All right, we got another donation. Lucas Sloan donated 10 bucks through Supa Chat. Thank you so much. We're going to update the prize pool very soon, guys. Don't worry. So, I think we're just going to... We have the game open, so and we have the COs selected. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to close out the brackets... And then we're going to take a look at the CEO selection of these two. So it's a Rachel Mirror. Oh, DJ's a sweat dream. 
<laughs> oh yes. Live game, Rachel. That's that's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, D just was was excited for this. He loves Rachel so much. Um, so yeah, we have ourselves a Rachel mirror on the map. Double cheeseburger combo. A very strange one for sure. Um, so D just, what do you think about what do you think about this matchup? Who is the Who is the yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least Rachel's not as overpowered in the other games where it's smaller map. This one's a little bit larger, so at least she's a little less overpowered. Yeah. Uh, that being said, it's, it's still a two-base map, so yeah, she's still strong. And there are now, I there are airports there that they go. can capture, but um, they're hard to get. They're very. They're hard really to hard to get. I don't even think it's going to come to that. No. You have to invest a black boat. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a, just a middle grind. Probably. So, who's your favorite to win this one? So, there's a there's a hidden factor that hasn't been addressed. Yep. Time zones. Oh. Remember the first Grandmaster Tour? It was between Sif and Starflash. They're both Eastern Standard Time. Yep. If it goes out, it's late. Mm -hmm. Dead FS is, I don't know, he's in Europe somewhere, Norway, Sweden? Austria. Austria. Yeah. Tordred, he's happy as a clown. I think he's EST. He's yeah. Got, he's, he's ready to eat dinner. Yep. That's the longer this goes on, the more favored our, your United States uh, players are. And Tordred, he's got this, the awake awareness advantage. And so that's something that's been overlooked. I agree. Um, so I agree. just keep that in mind. Not as mentally aware as Tordred, Star Flash, etc. So... Tordred, expect him to make well, I mean, a dead FS. I would consider the favorite normally, but Tordred, you know, he's, he's sharp. Mm -hmm. I would not count him out. Dead FS, he maybe he's getting a little tired. Past bedtime. True. You know, just keep in mind. That's all I'm saying. His hidden thing, but you notice, Victor is always Star Flash, and the finals are usually between Americans. <laughs> true. Just saying. Very true. Uh, all right, uh, yeah. I'll be back in two minutes, uh, DJs. Just uh, right. entertain chat, tell the boon jokes, do right. something. I'll be right back. Don't forget to stretch, ladies and gents. Drink some water. We've been in our chairs for a long ass time. Make sure your blood's flowing. Make sure you, well, you know, your exercise. May not flowing other ways, but you know. Let's read some shit. What's, what's chat saying? I can barely read this shit. I need to pull up a separate tab so I can interact with y'all. I mean, what are y'all doing? How many people are even watching this? And we had 900 eyes. Who are we rooting for? Oh, I can vote myself. I'm, I'm rooting for Torger. I'm rooting for Torger. Let's say it out loud. My second place pick? Ah, uh, man. I. I think that FS still has a slight lead. Like I said, Torch is more like awake at this point, so it's a little closer than you might expect. And Dead FS let Dead FS strong starts, kinda lets the foot off the gas. Maybe has some prepared lines. But I don't know. Tordred uh, we'll, we'll see. Baboonies, I don't know. Baboonies. I'm speaking baboonies right now. I look like a grown up Andy. Does Andy have glasses? And I was like, I don't know where that shit. Rachel's cute in that picture, at least. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, salam alaikum. Am I from Cincy? I'm not from Cincy. I got fans. I need a charger. Cincy. Okay, no, take your time, dude. <laughs> this prize pool is enormous. I think this is bigger than any of the other Grandmaster tours. You got like what, seven hundred bucks now? It's nuts. Yeah, Mangs, Mangs, you got right. you, you one up in me on the costumes. I'll say that. Okay. More like a growing up Jay. <laughs> Dude, I got the I got the earpods in. Blah, blah, blah. We got matching earpods, uh, DJs. I think. They're both. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Chat. Who is Chat's favorite? Toward at fifty-two percent, Dennis at forty-eight percent. That's probably the closest I've ever seen Chat be. That's actually pretty impressive. Um, right. Should I? Uh, you may the tell the deck. players to get ready. Right. Let's go! Let's go! All right. All right. I gave him the uh, 
The yeah. bat signal. <laughs> the bat signal. All right. Let me uh, refresh real quick to what? My plugin broke. Oh, there we go. That's better. Ah, yes. Rachel theme, my favorite. Probably going to mix it up a little bit. I don't want to listen to Rachel's theme for 30 minutes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Waylon's theme. <laughs> Waylon's theme, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. There we go. I'll give you a mouse control back real quick. There we go. And... All right. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. So... Yeah. Ritual mirror match. Can it come down to who gets their missiles first, I guess? Yeah, I'm expecting a center brawl. I'm not... Uh, black boat... Torred Red is not a style to invest in a black boat and forego early clashes. He's gonna... There's a lot of shoals. Yeah. People see this and they're like, oh, there's a lot of shoals. They don't realize shoals are just as good as roads. They might as well be roads. They are, so basically. Recon, they're roads that recon coal are don't quite get. strong here. Yeah, they're, they're roads that coal don't get to fire power points, basically. Exactly. So, yeah, All very people. open map. And, like, if you want the airport, you have to invest in a black boat. I know. And it's two turns to even get over the island. And it's two more turns yes. to capture. It's a huge investment. Later on, if we're going for the capture limit in the end, mm -hmm. maybe it's a play similar to the T-Copter in the first match. But right now... You want to establish control of the middle, and just win that way. Conventional fight. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm expecting to see some recons on this map, to be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> although we're already getting, seeing a tank right now from, uh, from Tordred, I would assume. Wow, Tordred building tanks? Say it so. I know, it's weird. The world <laughs> is changing. He's just deciding which one to build a tank from. Yeah. And... Artillery alert. Artillery alert? Okay. Oh, I... He must be listening. It's like oh, I'm not being predictable this time. <laughs> no, I'm past the tanky Tordred. I'm a new man. Like I don't know. But artillery in this map—is it really any good? I mean, maybe there's a couple cities he can deny with it. He's gonna put it here or some shit, and then like try to two-hit KO that with the infantry next turn or something. Hmm. But Dev is gonna build a tank right here. Hmm. And I, I would have built a tank because now Dev wants to build a tank here because so it can centralize. Yeah. This is the one you want to build tanks from, not this little side little shit. No, I will say. So, Dead is just probably happy. You get a lot more than just an airport from building a black boat. You also get a comm tower. So, I wonder if either player is going to go for it. But the first player will, but the first early. player who builds the bl black boat will open the open it uh, themselves up to aggression. Because that's a tank yeah. they won't have. Exactly. Um, but so they could also do a gentleman's so agreement where both of them just builds a black boat. No, that's how it goes, too. It's like, mm. you, one builds a back boat, and it's like, oh, I guess I'll build a back boat. It's like, you go to school, and someone zips up their backpack. Everyone fucking zips up their backpack to leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, once you know it's cool to do, then everyone's doing it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I'm expecting him to... So the question is, who, early who's, brawl, who's going to be the first one brave enough to build that black boat? Yeah, I mean, maybe not even brave, just... Because you're conceding something when you're doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna set set on random music here. So, there we go. We can get some uh, some some uh, something else than just Rachel theme for 30 minutes, guys. <laughs> don't worry. Aww. It would drive me crazy too. <laughs> Rachel theme to upbeat. <laughs> yeah, we need some more depressing tunes. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Jess theme. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry for eating during stream, guys. I normally don't do this, but it's an eight-hour stream. So. This is like a seven, eight-hour stream, dude. You gotta eat. Man's Big gotta boys eat. gotta eat. Big boys gotta eat. Big dogs gotta eat. Let's go. So, All right. So. I'm probably happy now. He can build a tank chain. This tank can go, you know, over here maybe. Kind of threaten both sides. Build another tank afterward. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, this, this I'm liking dead offenses position early. Dead Fs tend to be strong early on. Let's see if he can uh, keep it up this time around. Exactly. That's that's the deal. I get the um, sense that Dead Fs practice his openers, uh, and that he really like th he, he seems to have a clear game plan in every game he's been in so far. We'll yeah. see. But then it, things fall apart after that. So <laughs> yeah, let's see. And then after day fifteen, he just winks it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know what to do. I, he forgot about his Sasha power last time. He forgot about a whole bunch of stuff. Like, yeah. 
I don't like that artillery though, because you can basically just it's it's gonna be like Toulouse's. Remember that game? It's yeah, 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 yeah. Like, artillery. Oh, he can't be brave enough to go out over here. Yeah. Like, what's he gonna do? Right? Now he can't even cap. Stick. Like if he wants to cap, he has to pull his artillery back. Imagine that was the yeah, tank he has instead. To pull this back. Yeah, it's. He can build a tank out of his base. That's a possibility, but maybe pull this artillery back to the city. Yeah, he can put this artillery right here and put this infantry right there. But then the tank is about to hit this, but then if he builds another tank. See, now, I hate I hate how he chose an artillery. Not only artillery, but also from the weak base. It's not, there's no strong side, weak side per se, but it's just weak because you're like in this little corner over here. Yeah. Whereas the middle is where all the action should be happening. It's just, mm, yeah. don't like it. I agree. Okay. Don't like it. Yeah, he needs to pull the... He used to pull the artillery back. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting so... play. But what is that artillery really guarding, though? I mean, I guess it's not like Dead F's is gonna interrupt that anyway. Yeah, he's not gonna interrupt that anyway. There's a tank right there, so I just don't like it from Tordred. We'll see. Maybe you can make something happen. I mean, artillery does can sometimes. Think about this map is what the artillery can be good at later on is base locking because he attacks this base, puts the artillery here. That can be really good, but. He needs a strong force to make that happen. Okay, Tordred now bringing his tank into the center here. Interesting, Dead FS also building. Ah, okay, I see some viability of artillery. Artillery on the shoal. Ah, yeah, you deny the city, yeah. Block this. Any so there's any some usage there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Check. I don't see it personally. 6K, uh... I mean, every we know every property is very important in this. Like a single property can decide a win or a loss. Yeah. So uh, I, I, yeah. But the, the fact that both players did it probably means that they practiced for it and they see that yeah, okay, single artillery could actually. Yeah, maybe this is something I don't see. Um, I, yeah. I, I don't quite agree with it, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but yeah, Tordred has a. Yes, this, this tank is well positioned here. Okay, Dedev's now bringing... Yeah, he's doing kind of the same thing, kind of using the artillery to block the capture. Don't really think Torger would have interrupted it anyway, but... But we'll see. Now... Although this, this one is open to being hit by this infantry over there, which is a little strange. Yeah, you can build one HP of damage to it, chip it a little bit, maybe two. I had two HP, it's on the shoal. And then you build a... Shift this tank over here. Uh, I don't like how this one's exposed. It could be, yeah. He could definitely do that. Oh, he, he <laughs> second artillery! Easy. What the hell? What are they doing? <laughs> Two artillery out of Dedos right now. We're sitting here crapping on artillery, and these guys just turning them on. <laughs> well, they're rage also. Artillery walls are going to fall apart with the covering fire. Yeah. Like, whatever clump of units you had to protect that shit, they're dead, so. Yep. You're not gonna you're not gonna set up walls in a Rachel mirror. That's you gotta spread your units out. So Alright, Tordred coming in with the tank here. Moving his own artillery in as well. Can form a nice little wall here. He can yeah. I mean that, that artillery is covering both of the cities right now. I mean, if he moves it down here. Maybe Dedefus blundered a bit. He brought his tank over here, mm. wasted time, then went right back. Yeah. It's indecisive in, indecisive time. movement here for sure. Indecisive movement wasting some momentum there. Mm -hmm. um, basically justifying Tordra's er, artillery for him. Yeah. <laughs> Ikigark says artillery haters in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. Oh, of course Ikigark cheering for the artillery fly. You could see a black boat this turn. Um, Link, all it's donations. To lock up. All donations that gets for the stream. Stream levels are super shattered otherwise. It will be donated to the price point. So, every single donation. So, we're up to. Let's see, what are we? We're up to. I think we're almost at 700. So, it's going to be a I nice. I saw over 700. Yeah, so we're going to have a nice little price pool for the winner here. What is it, 75 25? Looks like that, yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. That's, that's significant. All right, day seven rolls in. Combine team kicking into gear. Let's see what that F decides to do here. Let's see what he decides to do. Moves up here. He has both players are churning out the artillery toward getting a recon out. I like that actually. I think recons can be pretty good on this map. Yeah, I, I thought about T1 earlier, but you know it's never too late. Look, look at that range right there. All the shoals, all the roads. Yep, it's wide open. It can go everywhere. Also very good, good at, against artillery. 
Also, keep in mind, since it's just two base, infantry very valuable. So that, that recon can shoot down some infantry. It's going to be very, very important. I mean, yeah, exactly. it can shift over here and drop these caps. It can go down here, threatens here. And your tanks can't be everywhere. Your tanks, uh, so uh, I like, I'm like. i liking this from Perdred a lot. So there's a little bit of viability, I thought about it. Viability with a black boat. Yeah. You build one, get to the island, then you can use it as a missile target later on. Very good point. Yeah, very away. good point, actually. Yeah, the Black Boat's so going to Black missiles. Boat could have some usage, uh, not in just terms of capturing, but also paying for itself in terms of targeting by Rachel recovering fire. So, yeah, the question I would is, throw it out, you know. Yeah, the question is just like, coming. who, which one of them are going to take that first step, you know? Because, exactly. You know, De you Dead Ops Bill. Oh my goodness, we just got 500 all donation. Really? Link to future donated 500 US dollars. Why not add some more money into the Advanced Force by Web community? He says, Jesus Christ. You just raised the stakes for the finale here, dude. Damn, it's over 1,200. <laughs> Starflash yeah. about to go to a vacation. <laughs> Damn, he literally is. You just got a flight to the or some shit. Damn. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so Damn. much, Link. That's great. Thank you. Oh boy! So that means we're all, we're gonna have a thousand dollar prize pool. My goodness, that's actually pretty crazy. Yeah, seven hundred plus five hundred is a thousand. Yeah, that's that's we got a thousand dollar prize pool. Yeah, I about spitballed right. it roughly, DJs. No, I'm just it. joking. I was, you, you siphon the rest. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mention the mangs tax that comes on top of this. You know? Yeah, the mangs tax. <laughs> the yeah, mangs, the, like, the, <laughs> the bolt tax comes on top of it. You know. It go, goes, yeah, you know. To, goes to the Mang's hair fund, you know? Yeah, the ro Rogaine ain't cheap. No, you know? pubic hair is... Those pubic, 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 hair pubic hair is a little bit cheaper, but... <laughs> bit. Depends. If you're getting the pubic hair from a baboon, you can get a good discount price. The, the egg tax, yeah. There is an egg shortage, in case you didn't know. There was a big egg mm -hmm. shortage when a, when a chicken farm burned down in, somewhere in the United States that, like, supplied 80% of the world's eggs or something. So there's, there was actually a big egg, egg shortage. There still is. It's still expensive, man. Yeah. So, well, anyway, back to the match. <laughs> yeah. So, that has Siasis artillery here, the tank. Uh, at, least at least either player... Ooh, mech, interesting. E either player is not going to deal with any like, movement powers, at least, so they don't have to, like, constantly think around their range. So, Torchard's looking like he's going to capture this. He will capture this, unless the tank suicides itself. Dead FS, not quite as much position. He can plop the recon on here, he and the tank, or put an infantry on there. Oh, I would put the infantry because you need to capture this. Maybe this infantry over there. Something go on there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So it looks and like... like we say, yes, there's no comm towers yet as well, so keep that in mind for KOs. Yep, okay, okay Tor Tordred shifting his there. recon over to the right side where it threatens both of these. So this is good because Dedas has a single tank here. He, need, he now needs to pull this north to deal with Tordred's recon, which leaves him open for Tordred to come swoop in here with this artillery and everything. I'm thinking Dedas probably regrets building this artillery right now. This should have been a tank. Yeah, and th this mech doesn't make sense either. A recon would make more sense. Yes. And also, Tordred, build an artillery here, put it here. There's a mountain here, a road here, put this here. You will never really push that. Too late for this artillery over here because it's way out of position. Yes. The artillery here, super good. That mountain is a savior. There is no airports. Let's remind you, there is no airports until no, not yet. God knows how long. I'm... There probably won't be a battle cop for the entire game, because even if you build a black boat now, it's going to be day, I don't know, 13, 14 takes before too, you even capture that. It takes too long. Yeah, it takes way too it long. It takes too long, and they're not building a back boat. They, it's... Torchwood's looking good. Torchwood's got better positioning right now. I like the recon buy. I do not like the mech buy. I would hope Tordred builds an artillery up here now and plops that bad boy. It's only one turn to one, two, three, four, five. That's basically your, yours for the rest of the game. Pretty much. Um, yeah, he's never going to get that. I think looking at the way this map plays now, and I kind of understand why both players open artillery because it is really strong at defending here. It pretty mm -hmm. much shuts down any aggression you want to you pushing into the opponent's base here. The irony is that the so on weak side is the one pushing into the it's, middle base. It's uh, weird. Base, but, but is there really a strong weak side because it's two base? There's so, not. So both sides not, are kind of weak. There's no strong weak side, it's just positioning. But I gotta be, I'm very surprised. I thought both players would rush into the center, but it looks like it's actually the other way around. It's like both players are ignoring center. 
Normally, you'd rush into the center. If, if I have a feeling, if Poland and the Star Flash were playing, it would be. Completely it'd be insane. yeah, it'd be a center brawl for sure. But yeah, it would be a center brawl. There would be a lot of damage to units right now. Has there been a single engagement? Nope, not no. a single engagement. Both not players are really engagement. thinking really hard on this, which I. Again, I advise. I know it's easy to think when you got 15 minutes on the clock, but I, if I were these players, <laughs> yeah, I would not well. spend two minutes thinking of a turn. Like seriously, you're gonna. Torja's gonna gonna be battling an increment if this continues. So I mean, they're actually both tied on time, so they're both thinking equally much. But I, I, okay, I think you it's. Got a tank it doesn't artillery. I would have liked an artillery there. But you you think you think you should have built an artillery here? I do. I think you should have got that base lock, the uh, mm. city lock. Like I said, day 20 is closer than people think. Oh, it is. Yeah, we're on day 8, by the way, chat, in case you're wondering. Oh, Tordra's moving out now. It's coming in. He's decided to move forward. I like that. Maybe follow it up with another tank from his uh, from his right-hand side base. Yes. Tank is coming in now. Tordra is going this hard in. This tank should go right here. I agree. Absolutely. Allow the first strike on this. On this. That's fine. Just delay that. Yeah, it's, ra it's, ra it's racial. One extra HP of repair. Mm, he's being passive. He's not going to do it. Maybe depends. Yeah, Tordor's been playing more defensive in this tournament than I thought. This, but may maybe he's not that comfortable being aggressive uh, outside of fog. Why? Why do you take off the mountain? He should have stayed on the mountain. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared of like something. Said, it's it's the game needs to be seized. Star yes. Flash sees that game from Fredas. Yeah, Flash Star Flash, Flash makes things happen. Hands. He goes in, he takes the, the risk, and it pays off most of the time. Yeah, and you kind of need to do that. You need to be the aggressor. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's especially, and especially when you're playing Rachel, city sitting is so good on, on a Rachel mirror because you get three HP back from a pair. Oh, here we go. That's going in for the. Oh, oh, what the? Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> he's. Oh, he's baiting um, with the artillery because he can strike whoa, with them. This, this, Tank is really out of position. Oh my goodness! What the Shul hell is that tank doing there? Shoalgate. <laughs> Shoalgate. What the fuck? Yeah, why is this over here behind the forest? What the did, hell? did Walker teleport it while we were? <laughs> how is he? Why is it not on this forest? Why is it? Why, yeah, why, why is it what? literally anywhere but the spot? <laughs> how did it end up there? That's so that weird. Wow. Oh, oh Shoalgate coming back too. To rig the game. Literally allowed <laughs> to roll in with his artillery on the road. Yeah, because I was like, it looks like this tank would be able to strike the artillery, but it can't. Look at that. <sighs> and now, if Torgard wants to strike the artillery, the mech will pick him off, and the tank can't even reach the mech. Yeah, the tank can't do jack shit. I commend Dadefs for seeing this like so quickly and going. I yeah. I would have just been like, oh, this tank can strike me, because I wouldn't. Exactly. I assumed it could. Hey, we have to ask Tordred later what he thought. <laughs> I, want, I want to know his thought Super process. Super passive. I want to. I want to know. Wanted, what... I know what he, he wanted to defend it with the artillery. That was his thought process. But it's, oh it's yeah, sure. But right? why though? He's it's not necessary. He's outnumbering that. Yeah, Dedos is seizing on him right now. He's going in for the capture too. Dedos is he's seeing the opening and he's going for. It. Oh, I love that artillery placement. Beautiful artillery placement you from Dedos. Never should have left that city in the first oh, place. Oh, that is. He handed that city over to. Yeah, him. that is Dedos. Saw the opening, went over. for it immediately. I love it. We're dead being way too passive. Yeah, so this is uh, seizing the initiative right here. Builds a... Oh, a medium tank? How did he save up for that? My goodness, he saved up 18k. Build a medium 18K? tank. 18k? What do you mean? Uh, 16k, sorry. I'm, I'm max math and verbally. <laughs> Six, I mean, he's only two bases, so it's 14. Yeah, yeah. But oh, 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 medium tank. I yeah, he built, he built, he built a tanks. medium tank. He built a medium tank. Oh, oh, I was not paying attention. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's scary. So, yeah, what's... Man, what's... Imagine Tordred didn't buy a stupid tank and he had, a, he had a unit on here and he had an artillery here. Yep. And you have one unit... He... Uh, that's how you want to do it. That's how you want to do it. He, he's... I don't know. Tordred's super aggressive normally. Maybe it's, maybe it's the non-fog. I think so, too. I mean, Tordred, like, when he can't see his opponents, he just mashes into the fog and kills whatever comes in front of him. But in standard, he's like, oh, oh, enemies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can That's see the enemy fun. now. It's scary. Uh, yeah. Albaker, done on a 10 bucks. To those who don't understand hashtag Shoalgates, one of the round one matches had an asymmetrical map. The tile difference consisted of a shoal on one side. I did not exist on the other. Yes. Thank you, Albaker, for explaining Shoalgate. 
I will never live Shogun down. Oh, okay. okay. Uh... Torgrid's going in. He's taking the medium tank. I don't know if I like this. I mean, sure, getting rid of the artillery is nice, but he's going to throw away a tank and an infantry for that. I don't know if that's smart. Yeah, he'll have the artillery in range, though. Ooh, yes, indeed. And He'll be he, able to put his infantry block off this tank over here and put this right... Yeah, put, it on, on, put it on the forest. On good, this... good positioning by Torgred right there. Of course, he doesn't get to strike the... Oh, I keep forgetting this stupid tank. He's not in range. Oh, my God, I was like, why does he strike the tank? Well, oh, <laughs> stupid show, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a... That is a massive misplay by Deadass. Can't get over that tank. But solid positioning by Torgred. Yeah, that's smart. And then he should place yeah, the artillery. Oh, uh, so where does he place? Does he put the artillery? If he puts it in the forest, he can't. Yeah, there we go. This tank over here is dead anyway. That's the thing. Like, it's, so yeah. he can't. So this doesn't matter as much. I mean, it'll defend this. So that's fine. But um. Yeah, for sure. He's dead for sure. I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, dead for sure. That's what I always assumed his name meant, but yeah. I like the uh, recon though. Yeah, recon's getting some use. I don't. I mean, he's not gonna put a whole medium tank to kill a recon. I wouldn't think. I would. If he does, I think there's a strong chance the Torger just base locks him. So. That's that's also a significant possibility. Yeah, but Dedef's just gonna take this property from him now. That's a big yeah. pickup. That's a big pickup. Torger got interrupted here. Uh, he'll still get it. Uh, he'll still get it. And let, maybe that one HP artillery will knock it down to four. I don't know. Oh, that's uh, that's that's gonna be a very high. I, we don't know what the HP of this infantry is. It could be, could be forty, could be fifty nine, could be fifty one. If it's fifty one, yeah. then yeah, the one HP will knock it down. So we'll see about that. Cole rhymes with short. He might withdraw the artillery anyway because it's Rachel. After all, it will be repaired much quicker. True. Very true. Superpower still very far away, but when it comes in, the first player to get the superpower is going to have a huge advantage, so... Uh, one player could punish the other, and then the other player could get the they could get the covering fire and just win. So... That's why I hate Olaf mirror matches, for example. Like, like you can you can be ahead and punch your opponent into the ground, and they get Winterfury before you and just win. It's the same thing here. Whoever goes... Evil, too. A lot of mirrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful. So... Deadf's turn rolls in. We're on day nine. It's a nice interrupt off there. Smart. Uh, he does have to deal with this very pesky recon, though. Don't know how he's going to do that. These three properties, by the way, they're all uh, going to fall to Tordred unless... Okay, Tor yeah, Tordred has a medium tank of his own there. Smart. He base that's good. skipped. He base skipped. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's going to... Oh, base skipping on two base stages. I that don't is... like the base skip. He needed... Now Deadfs senses the blood. He's gonna K it with the Oh, with the is he gonna get it? Is, oh, he got a max roll! He got a max luck roll! That's so... That's why you don't be a medium tanks, folks. He base skipped over here. Should have built an artillery, in my opinion. Yeah. Tank over here. This is... This is looking rough for Tordra. It is. Yeah, that is... It's like a shark. It's like a shark. gonna capture this, because this was interrupted, and this one follows up. Tordred has this infantry over here. He's nowhere near to capturing that or this over here. Yeah. Uh, it's it's looking tricky for Tordred. Yeah, Dadoff's is like a shark right now. He's just smelling the blood. It's a nice little shot on the medium. Oh, not using the mech. Interesting. Okay. I thought, yeah, he doesn't want to go into artillery range, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. This might this might be a base trade, maybe. Um, but Dadoff's has nah, actually I a pretty... I think Dadoff's is fine. Yeah, the one the one advantage I, I'd say Torgrid has is this recon, and he'll get this city and possibly this city. And yeah, the, of course, the, uh, Tord, um, yeah, Dedef's probably will send this medium tank north at some point, but we'll see. Torgrid puts on the aggression now. The power bars are going to start creeping up pretty quickly now, so the missiles could be a great game changer here. You look how they, they're very clumped up now, but once the missiles hit, they gotta have to spread out. So we'll see how that goes. The income is just so. Yeah, that is. 3k, it's gonna be 5k. Yeah, that is. That means that us can churn out a medium tank every turn. Exactly. And that is scary in two base. Very scary in two base. You really don't want to be dealing with that. But yeah, that us thinking hard now. He's thinking hard on what to do. Is he gonna get a. Could base skip medium tank? I would not do that if I were him. No, no, no. He needs, he needs a, a good amount of units. Double, I'll build another mech or I'll build another tank. Double tank, I'd say, is probably the, the, the answer here. 
Double tank, maybe an artillery. Yeah. Infantry is going to be a huge issue towards the mid game. It will. With two base, gonna, there's so they're few. They're all going to be weakened from the covering fire, too. Yeah, I like, like pulling back this artillery here. Uh, Torgid might kill it off with an infantry, though. Yeah, but then he sacks an infantry he needs for tapping later. He really does need Yeah, Your infantry are very valuable. Okay, tank artillery. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Day 10 rolls in for Torgid. Let's see what he decides to do. Um, he has a medium tank. Honestly, if I'm dead FS, I'm feeling so good about my position. Next turn, I get a black Yeah, boat. I was thinking, do you think he might go for the black one? When you have an advantage like this... Because keep in mind, DJ, there are two, pro two properties on this island right here. Exactly. You're That's... about to have a 5k income advantage. You want to even make it worse. Yeah. Uh, and that means really you can build you can build black boat, uh double infantry to kind of up your infantry count a little bit, for example. Yeah, Torja does actually suck. I think you just go black boat tank. Yeah. He doesn't even need to oh, yeah, he can afford that. He can afford that, Connie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually can. Torja sack that infantry. Yeah, because he's gonna have he's gonna have twenty one k in the bank next turn. Yeah, he, he'll be fine. So he can go. He can go black boat tank infantry. Yes, yeah, great. We can go black boat tank tank if he combines infantry as well. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So. Oh, that recon is dead next turn. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Torja just yeah. want to get some. Torja just gonna want to get some value out of it while he has it, but he knows. I mean. Don't get me wrong, Tordred has an attack here. It can work, but that is income lead. It's gonna, he's gonna just build a medium tank every turn. And what is Tordred gonna do about that? He can't build a medium tank every turn without base skipping. He needs to get a property. Yeah. And what, like, he's gonna get this property, okay, go up to 17k. That will allow him to build a medium tank and an infantry, but unless he repairs, of course, which he is. So he needs to capture two more properties to reliably build a medium tank every turn, like Dedev says. Um. That FS is getting pretty damn close to winning three hundred dollars minimum. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I, that F definitely has the advantage. But again, Rachel missiles, man. Rachel missiles. That's all I'm gonna say. They are scary and can absolutely. Oh, oh. Okay, Tordred going for it here. He's getting desperate. I think so too. Nice shot on the mech. I agree with that. But uh, his infantry might die. Where, where's he gonna put his artillery, though? Is his artillery safe? Could put it no, on the it's, city, it's maybe? But, uh, the, it's... Oh. The, Ooh. Yeah, I think he's gonna put it on the city. Yeah, okay. Alright, I don't... Safe. That other that tank can strike it. It can. Gets a little bit of defense. It's too bad it's not a tortured city. Otherwise, it probably could've healed up to full. Uh, I think Tordred's boned. <laughs> you, you bring back this medium tank, kill the HP, full HP... Full HP tank attacks, 5 HP tank attacks, comes close to killing that, build another medium tank. How do you get past that? You don't. It's scary, yeah, it's scary. Hi, Mononek. You slept through your alarm, it's okay. You get, you get, you get, you still get the semifinals on the finals. So don't worry, Mononek. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be good. You'll get the, you'll catch the finale. Alright, so, um, hmm. It's gonna be interesting. So yeah, Tordred pulling back a little bit here. That F's gonna get another property. It's so scary. Gonna go up to 19 to 15k. That's that's not good. Then day 10 rolls in for Dead F's. He captures 19k to 15k. This might be the what do you call it? Coup de grace. The coup de grace. The Tordred, coup de grace. Tordred loses another crucial infantry here. Um, I like that Dead F's didn't go for the cap, actually. There's no point. Cap with the healthy one, heal up the 4 HP one. Much better. Exactly. Yeah, makes, yeah. Now, one thing we have to take into account is Rachel Normal Power could come into play here. Um, Rachel Normal Power cool. to kill Tank is a possibility. She gets 40 luck. Um, it's a it's a big gamble, because you're giving up the missiles. Huge gamble. Uh, but it, it can potentially. I mean, the Rachel Normal Power, don't sleep on it, because it can come into play. And it is ready right now. Hmm. If so, for example, if if Dedevs had another tank here, he could have popped Ration Lorma Power, tried to kill it, and put the tank on top. That's it's a possibility. He didn't though. But uh, yeah, Tordred's gonna lose his base, I think. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Uh, he's only got two weakened tanks and an artillery. He just... Tordred does have a full HP tank right here, although yeah. he can be blocked with infantry. Can. Oh. Oh. Artillery is in range. Artillery is in range. Ooh, did that have Splendor? 
Yeah, what is this? Oh, no, he has another artillery. Oh, yeah, he's, okay, he's covering his artillery with another artillery. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. It's not a free hit. Though I still wouldn't have left it exposed anyway. I don't see why he just didn't put the artillery. He could have put an infantry there, yeah, but... Yeah, because uh, he needs to keep this artillery alive. This is the base-locking artillery. It's important. Yeah, if I'm tortured, I still probably would attack it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I would, yeah, definitely. Because then, once you, if you do attack this artillery, this artillery has to shoot, and that keeps it one more turn over here. Yep. Whereas this one's already in position. And, uh, and an already yeah, in position is I very... I, I, I mean, it's a small thing. I think he's still, you know, sitting very pretty. Still, still though, that, that... Like, if the missiles come in... <laughs> oh, if the missiles I mean, come in... He's probably going to get the missiles first. Look, oh, wait. Can he medium tank? Yeah. So no. no I guess he can. I actually see a good play for Tordred here. If Tordred can attack missiles, he wrecks that F's attack. Yeah. Because the the first yeah, two missiles will hit infantry. The first two missiles will hit this infantry blob and the artillery. The second missile will hit down here. The third missile will hit here. Anyway, I mean, the, the, the sloppiness is coming back. Remember from the yeah, first match? Yeah, yeah. Strong in the opener. He then he then he, then he, then he, he teeters, dominating right. Now, then he teeters so. out a little bit. Yeah. If He's Tordred gets to his, show signs of weakness. Yeah. If Tordred gets that missile. He can apps. He can turn this game around. Actually, a good covering fire. Literally, will do. can turn it around. Move these little four shits up here to take the second missile from Dead FS. Yeah. This is, this Kim gets. This is also very strange. I would have attacked both these tanks into the artillery. Yeah, he's, now, he's going to get. Tordred is literally going to get the power first. He is, and it's gonna hurt so badly. No, Mononek, oh, This is round five. There's still two more games after this. Tordred, if I'm Tordred, I'm going to move planner. I'm checking where the missiles can yes, strike. Yes, yes, open up the move planner for sure. Do the you, gotta move, you got nine minutes, I know, but the, the game can literally end in the next one to two turns. Yes, this is, this is, these are crucial turns right here. Very crucial turns. Another medium tank, that probably means two of the missiles are Both missiles there. are down there, though. Both, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, You'd much rather hit over here. I don't know. The thing is, Dead FS, regardless of what happens, he has 4k infantry lead, which is huge. Yeah, it really depends on the it's missiles. It's going to be larger. He's going to capture this. It's going to be five. Yeah, then I honestly think you're you got a point with the black boat. Just get it, get it out, secure those two yeah. properties, and then it doesn't matter. The game can go to day 20, and you'll just win by income. Yeah. So that's like the safe way to win. The safe, the safe pick. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But uh, yeah, it's it really comes down to to, to what Tordra does on this turn. I think I think he has he has potential for a comeback. And uh, even though Dead well, FC's one of the missiles should hit up here because there's yeah, it always the first yeah. missile goes for infantry. The second one missile, right here. the first missile goes Two for down here. yeah, the first missile goes for infantry. The second missile go for HP. The third missile goes for costs. So the third missile will hit the medium tanks 100%. But I think the two first missiles might actually hit here because it's HP. Depends, yeah, if he throws in his own units down there, it will prevent. And the, and the missile, mistake. I think, if traits capping infantry is worth double. So it's um, that is true. So, but there's no caps taking place. This, no this, cappers, yeah, though. so it should be fine. All right, Tordred. Um, he's using the move planner. He's in the move planner right now. Oh yeah, he is. He is definitely. He's definitely. Because he would have capped this property over here already if he wasn't. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, All right, Tordred can cook up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So go all Von Bolt music. <laughs> Old man in a wheelchair. Let's go. So, yeah, he's got he's got the time for it. So I, I think he's in the move planner right now. He's uh, he's scouting out. Still though, those two medium tanks are going to be a difficult thing to get out. Considering even if a missile hits here, it's going to heal up to full. And then what's sort of really going to do? But yeah, I'm surprised that has left this artillery alive. I was very surprised by that too. So. I get, he gets a nice shot on the medium tank, which is... And then he can... Can he... Pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure he just gets covering fire this turn. I, I don't see why he yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, how much he needs? Uh, he needs about 9,000. Yeah, so but one one shot remember, with the artillery. striking first, yeah. you get half, because you do the damage you do, you get half the charge. Yeah. So he has to do 18,000 in damage. Or sack a unit or something. Yeah, Shrug one of his tanks into another tank, maybe. 
He needs oh. to do that twice, though. He does. He does need to do it. Liking the infantry engagements by Tordred down here, though. It's good. Yeah, he wants to get one of the missiles down here to those three, probably. He does, yeah, absolutely. At least four right now. He got four in a row. That, that's one missile right there. Recon can sack itself into a medium tank to give him charge. He could, honestly. It'd be a good way for the recon to go. What else is it going to do at this point? Attack Literally, it, it has it's, Yeah, exactly. I would sack the recon. Oof. And then... Sack the recon attack. Oh, he's going for the tank engagements now. Okay. Oh... Uh... Okay. Interesting. Gets the tank. Gets the tank on the luck damage. But now he can't strike the artillery. He but cannot. I guess he's, he's banking I guess on the he, missiles. He's so. banking on the missiles dealing the damage, because the problem is, can I don't think the missiles can hit an empty space. I think the missile must always be centered on a unit, right? Wombolt that does. I'm not sure about Rachel. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Artillery is gonna take the shot. Right, here, here we go. go. Superpower coming in. Oh, okay. here we go. Two, Two top, missiles. Two missiles on the artillery. One missile. That's that's a strong covering fire. There you go. Artillery goes down. But in return, he expects the missile, so he's going to have two missiles over here, I would assume. That's strong. And one missile down here. These four. No, but that FS is going to kill one of these to make sure that all of them hit up here. Yeah, even killing yeah, the one HP that. infantry. That's nice. What do you get? Yeah. So I would. I guess in either a mech. The recon got struck by a missile. <laughs> Yeah, I would have sacked that shit. <laughs> Missile got. Oh my goodness, the recon actually got hit. That's that's cute. That's very cute. But that's not a bad missile. That's that pretty much shuts down Dedefs' attack on his base. But the question is, it does. But where... he's gonna get blasted to the smithereens. So let's see if Dedefs is gonna pop it right away, or if he's planned out. If he's gonna he's, get rid of some. He's gonna move around first. He's gonna kill some infantry. Yeah, this is eight minutes. Move planner. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, poor recon, poor recon, John. And that artillery still stands strong from Tordred. Still stands yeah. very strong from Tordred. It's it's in a very safe good... for now. Safe for now, yeah. So that's uh, I think Dedas blundered quite a bit by not by not taking it out when he had a chance. So that yeah, artillery is really strong, strong really strong right now. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Day eleven, so we've got nine days left. Both players are still decent on time, but they're starting, they're thinking pretty heavily about this. I get it, I get it. This is an important turn. Yeah, this is, like I said, the next one to two turns is kind of what decides it. Yeah, but... Although it's still favoring Dead FS due to the income. Dead FS has a lead, but it's not as big a lead as I thought he would have at this point. He has definitely... Yeah. Tordred has inched his way back into not like a Tordred's favorable... still in it. He's still in it. It's not calling it for Dead FS yet. He's not completely dead yet. So, uh, yeah. But he is, he is definitely moving around. He he moves away to avoid the... He definitely... One, one, one missile... It's actually a good chance that both missiles will hit Tordred right here. Which could make the attack more viable. But yeah, no, that was just a pullback. Still, though, that income advantage is squarely in his field. And he he'll, he's probably... Actually, Tordred can send a tank to interrupt here. Depending on whether the missiles land uh, here or not. I don't think there's oh. going to be much remnants of a tank. Oop. Yep. There, there go. we go. Covering fire. Two missiles hit the base. The third missile already land here? Yeah, on top of the yep. artillery. Wait, He's did the third missile strike Tordred's own tank? No, it didn't. No, I can kill off and do a little chip damage on that uh, artillery. Do a little chip damage on it for sure, yeah. And look at that, Dead Ups has money for another medium tank. Tordred does not. Exactly. Those couple extra K of income. Egg, exactly. Egg, exactly, as, as, as they say. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that artillery is uh, not on a friendly city. It can't do much. Yeah, that okay. was uh, the missiles. They were they were better for Tordred, but Dedas was in such a solid advantage that I uh, I really don't think the missiles are gonna. But look at all the damage that the missiles has done. <laughs> yeah, awesome. look at the uh, the army. Look at the unit value. Yeah, forty four k to twenty four k. Yeah, that's. He hasn't has, even built all his units yet. He hasn't. He has eleven k. It'll be the a fifty thousand. He'll have double the unit value. Yep. It's rough. So and now, now he's going, he's going back fine. in on the going back in on the offense too. He can even move his artillery forward if he wants to. He could, but well, he's got one he's got one tank over there. He does, and it's gonna get okay, healed up to full HP next turn. So he could yeah. uh, he could put the artillery on the city, just say, hey, so, you want to strike me? Sure. I'll build a tank from the base, put the artillery on the city. Yep. Uh, a seven HP tank will attack the artillery, but it won't be enough. Yep. 
So he, uh, I think he has a solid game plan here. His economy is just better than, than Torgrid, so... It's, it's just what it comes down to. He's had passive income advantage for the past four or five turns. Yeah. There's still two neutral cities on Torgrid's sides. Did Torto just neglect these cities, or what? Was the recon that did he it? He was just scared away by units, I'm not sure. He was being passive over there for some reason. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He's probably going to lose this one over here. Yeah, that's turns. and that's going to be... Two turns, this that's gonna be That's going to be very nasty for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. He moves his the artillery forward. All right, day 12 rolls in. Tordred. Does Tordred uh, have a comeback? He's twice behind twice in the unit value. 16k. Yeah, you gotta build a medium tank at the bottom, I would think? Or, no, art artillery at the bottom, tank at the top. Yes. He's got a bunch of... He can't, he can't afford to build in shambles. There's yeah. a bunch of scraps left, basically. <laughs> this is the to Toad Red. <laughs> yeah, to Toad Red is all that remains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rico's st still, you know, Rico's still yeah, in the same. game though. Still, Rico's still trooping on. But yeah, if uh, that is just gonna clean this up next turn, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, maybe this tank kills this tank. This artillery goes on the city over here. Dead of some night owl. Yep, you could say that. Mm. Missed one minute. Yeah, this I don't is... know how you come back. Well, no, you can still come back. It's just very difficult. Oh yeah, for sure. So we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see. But uh, nah, 25k k value to 50k. It's uh, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one for uh, for Tordor to overcome. But he's thinking, he's thinking hard. Oh, moving his uh, tank down now. Hmm. Yeah, this is out a problem. Range of the other yeah, it's out of yeah, it's barely out of range. It didn't, at least it didn't place it on the shoal. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what he's gonna build. Medium tank, maybe? Nah, tank. Surely it's nah, gonna be a it's tank. Make a double tank up there. Artillery at the bottom to deal with the other medium tank. If I had to guess. Probably. Yeah. See what it decides to do. <laughs> I don't actually control what theme is playing. Why don't I? It's random. But yeah, yeah. One thing is for sure, though. He needs to. He needs to pull back. The, yeah, he is pulling back. He is pulling back. But the problem is, that can mop this up next turn. He's got. Such a yeah. strong force down here. 4 HP. Uh, okay, taking the damage where he can, I guess that's not terrible. Uh, protecting the artillery, I do actually like I, I like that. I like that position from him. Yeah. Like, if Deadass yeah. wants to attack here, he could still do it. Yeah, I mean, he, he probably kills the 4 HP infantry. Yeah. 9 HP medium tank murders that tank without getting hit by the artillery. Yeah. Um. So that's uh, that's gonna be yeah. that's gonna be a rough first position for Torda to be in for sure. Yeah. But do you think he's gonna build on our? Yeah. No infantry. What? He wants the neo tank next turn, perhaps. Oh yeah. I was like, is he gonna build a black boat? I think. Like, <laughs> 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 that would uh, that would not be smart. Move. Desperation black boat. Twenty k in the bank for dead Fs right now. Let's see what it decides to. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going for. Oh yeah. wait, what? Interesting. Uh, okay. Ah, that's that's not terrible. Eh? He wants to go for the tank there, yeah. Yeah, but he could have attacked the tank from the road back down there. Probably would have been smarter years. to do that, yeah, for sure. I think so. But that he's, can... Oh. He's, he's so he's in a commanding position. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He really can. It's very hard for him to blunder out of this one. So uh, he can... Torger's got 25k. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Sinking repair costs from artillery. Yeah, the repairs will eat through your funds, especially when you're low on economy already. It's can be tricky. He's pulling back though, interestingly enough. I guess he doesn't want to overextend. Yeah, yeah, he can he can sit back and just enjoy the money pile in. It's up to Torgrid to make a difference here, so it's good. He, he doesn't want to overextend when he's ahead. Exactly. He can build a back boat this turn if he wants to too. I, I'm hoping we see the black boat, but where's the infantry gonna come from? Though? I guess, yeah. yeah it's too, it's too bad the base is not in. Me. It's too yeah. bad the base is not in range of the infantry. Yeah. Or sorry, the inf the base is not in range of the, so you can't do the perfect. All right, Grim theme starts playing Torgrid. Are you gonna Are you gonna make something happen, Torgrid? You gonna? <laughs> like it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. Here, Neo incoming. A Neo incoming, yeah. No, I think this it's definitely a Neo tank. A Neo tank on this side, I'd say. That's like the only thing I can see him getting back into this game. Uh, but we're on day 13.
Seven days left. Um, can Tordred capture four? He needs to capture three properties, I think. Two to equalize, and then another. But he does have these two properties, though, which are just, like, gray, still. He's yeah, he can get either one of those. He can get. I think I'd go for this one, probably. I'd go for this one, because it's harder for him to get later on. Hmm. Because this one is pretty safe. This one's less safe, and these are both out of position right now, currently. Yeah, so Torture can get some good caps going off here. That, maybe. Um, mm. It's a nice little interrupt. Well, it's not an interrupt. It's already capped, but uh, I guess, why not? Get some repair damage. Oh, okay. Uh, going for the uh, infantry. Uh, Interesting. Is he going to build a Neo oh, here? Maybe, maybe, he's gonna build, maybe he's going to build a Neo here to ward away this force. I really uh, it made more sense at the bottom. Ah, not, there we yeah, go. There it is. It would make less sense because there's an artillery already here. Tordred Neo tank. I do like this Neo. I think it's a good buy. It's the I think the only thing that can get him back into the game. But uh, I, I, but I even I, at the end of his turn, he's going to be behind on unit value. Yes, which is a really bad sign. That is a bad sign. But I do like this Neo. The thing is, Dedevs can build it too. It's twenty five k in the bank. Yeah, he's perfectly fine. So is he going to build a Neo or is he going to build the Black Boat? Either way, I mean, he could just yeah. he could build a black boat and just be 8k ahead of <laughs> Man, He's gonna build a Neo and just yeah, I don't know. Tordred's boomed. Yeah. Bye bye, Riki. Bye, Riki the Recon. You did great, kinda, sort of. I got had a long and eventful journey. Yeah, Tordred's getting a lot of units mopped up in the south here. It's not good. Last chance to look at me, dude. Just oh, the Breaking Bad references. Yeah, sadly, old Grim Guy fans, he did lose to Poland. Oh well. Yeah. Poland's reward? Playing Star Flash. Yep, you get to play Star Flash. But, um. So, here we go. Four minutes. Yeah, four minutes left on the clock. These players have it a little bit easier in terms of time playing on a two base map. It's a little bit more forgiving on the timer. I I'd say, like. Tordred and Nightmare probably had it the roughest being a four base <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a lot <laughs> time of to do. That was, that was a little mean, honestly. A little bit cruel. Ah, yeah, they both, you know, it's not. They both have to deal with it, so it evens out. True. That's very true. It's cruel cool to watch both of them, because, you know, you got to play very quickly. So. But we'll see. Um, oh, so, man, is, yeah, what is that of going to do? I don't know how you. You blundered at this point. It's, it's gotten to the unblunderable territory. <laughs> the unblunder. The unblundered. We'll see. We'll see. Never count them out. Never count dead ups blundering out. Neo tank down here. Yep, for dead there we yet. go. Yeah, I don't see Literally it. Literally, as I said it. Yep. Um, and how do you deal with that? Next turn, I'm expecting a black boat. So next turn, this infantry yep. going down here. I'm saying black so. boat. Yeah. Get that black boat on that it's point. It's happening. At that point, you're putting in. Or even this one over here. Yeah, down, down there, here. get the black points. It's, it's one turn shorter, so it's pretty good on this it's thing. It's an inevitability. Mm -hmm. And then Tordor has to capture, like, what, five properties? <laughs> Mana Knight donated two bucks. You guys did the best. Thanks, Mana. Go. Thanks, Mana. Yep. Uh, good Neo, but again, Deadoffs can... Can Deadoffs build a... Uh, if if Deadoffs base skips, he can build another Neo. <laughs> but again, I think the black boat is the player. Really? Two tanks, kill this, Neo kills that, build another medium tank. Probably. Even if this gets a first strike on the Neo tank, it's on a city, without a comm tower, mm -hmm. from a road or a shoal. Yes. So, and then you build a medium tank and you're fine. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, um, yeah, it's 11,000 in the bank. I'm guessing maybe an artillery would be appropriate. Um, you can get, go and get this property, so... Theoretically, you know, Turner could build a black boat. You could grab these two, get this one. I'm thinking he's going to resign at the end of this turn. Uh, maybe. Like, what do you do? What do you do here? There's literally an <laughs> artillery lock on you. Yeah, it's tricky. If you thought it was bad down here, it's worse up here. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of. He's losing fun. both fronts. He's losing both. He fronts. has no counterplay. Yup. He's base locked Easy now. Boat. Well, He's base locked. He's based like built on infantry. He knows he can't really do anything else. So we'll see. What is he doing building in the other one? 10k. I'm guessing a tank. Ah, oh, artillery, actually. All right. Artillery. So he, he's going to try to do some artillery play, but... Uh, ooh. Yeah, that is just going to have a field day. There we go. Day 14 rolls yeah. in. we got six days left, ladies and gentlemen. 
So uh, look at the unit value difference. He's gonna have double that by the end of the turn. Oh, here we go. Medium tank goes bye bye. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, bye -bye. that sucks. Everything's going bye bye. Everything's going bye bye. There we go. Oh, and the infantry can go in. Yep, there we go. Base is successfully blocked, and there's nothing Torger can do. Save popping lucky last. I wouldn't even put anything on top of it. No, yeah. Just kill everything else. Just like, totally yeah, like, just like Nightmare should have done in the last uh, battle. Oh, yeah. There we go. Lucky last is ready. If he wants to flex, he can. If he wants to flex, he can do two tank attacks on this one from the forest, one yep. from the shoal. Kill that off. He's one. Uh, so, he can do what he wants. He can flex. He does ah, actually block man. the base, interestingly enough. And it doesn't look okay. You can do what he wants. <laughs> yep, it's rough. Do 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 Ripperoo. Dead Fs became live Fs. Tordred became Tord dead. Oh, right. <laughs> Got a dad in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, there's the medium tank. <laughs> there's the, there's the there's medium, medium tank. tank. There's the double income. Torch is going to use his power attack. Yeah, lucky last. Yeah, there we go. Lucky last. This is the resigned lucky last right here. He's going to attack with the Neo and then probably just give up after that. I maybe think so too. The ah, maybe he gets a... Uh, if you look... Okay, roll... Max roll. They can do like thir 3 HP of damage, I think, if he rolls absolute maximum. Yeah, that's what he's going for right here. It's not going to work. That was pretty much as good as it's gonna get, honestly. Well, then, he'll, he'll kill the Neo, I think, now. He will kill the Neo, but then that ass just murders him with missiles next turn. Mm. Look at look at his power bar. <laughs> he's uh he's he's a dead he's dead. He's dead Fs. Toad red. Toad dead. <laughs> Toad red is torn dead. Uh, cute luck rolls, but it's not gonna help him. It actually rolls pretty high. All things considered. Does actually roll you pretty. Get a pipe pretty. runner. <laughs> Let's see. Pipe runner at the free base. <laughs> pipe runner robust. Let's go. <laughs> Show I'm, I'm expecting it. Show us the pipe runner, Torjra. I'm us expecting the pipe. a pipe runner. <laughs> it would be how I would go out. Yeah, no, he just resides. All right, All right. G G. Toad. So, dead F's advancing to the finals, where he will fight the winner of the next match. It's going to be Star Flash versus Polan. Colin, you're in for the fight of your life. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be a good one, I think. All right. So let's bring up the brackets. There we go. Let's bring up the bracket. So, oh, I'm gonna kick you off the mouse so we'll uh, do this so you can move. Oh, that's around. cool. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm telling them uh, about the. Uh... Yep. And of course, um, uh, whoever wins between Poland and Star Flash, you're gonna get a little bit of a break before the finals. Don't worry. We're not gonna make you. We're not gonna make you play two matches like head to head. So you'll you'll get a bit of a, a breather to like chill and relax. I'll go look at some memes and play with chat in the meanwhile. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, uh, but uh, right yeah, yeah, go fill up your water bottle and whatnot. I'll update the bracket in the meanwhile. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna open up another poll. Who are you rooting for between Poland? This is gonna be the semifinals, the final semifinals battle before uh, the finals. Who are you rooting for, Star Flash or Poland? Not gonna lie, Star Flash to clear favorite in this. I don't think anyone disputes that. But upsets have been done before. You never know. So it's gonna be interesting to see, at least. Uh, let's see, let me just update the bracket real quick. So it's now Poland. Poland versus Star Flash. That's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good one for sure. Let's get the filter up. Add the chroma key. There we go. Tordred gets knocked out by dead Fs. No, not Star Flash. 
<laughs> Sorry, we put Star Flash as the base one for all. That's that's why that's why it keeps popping up like this. All right, there we go. Mm -mm. I'm going for Poland. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how you guys are voting, shall we? So it's uh, oh wow, 56% Star Flash, 44% Poland. Like a lot of Poland fans in chat right now. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. That is what I like to see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to head into the semifinals. I'm just waiting for the players to create their matches right now. So there we go. All right, let me read some. Uh, let me read some donations. Uh, Wing of Shoe, don't have a two bucks for Super Chat. Manx is as good as math as Max is good as Indirects. Wow, thank you. That's, uh, that's very kind. <laughs> very, very kind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, so this is, I like this matchup that's coming up right here because Poland and Star Flash's playstyles are very similar. They're both hyper aggressive. Of course, Star Flash is the king of aggression, so how, uh, how uh, Poland is going to go into this one is going to be tricky for sure. So let's uh, bring up the map that they're going to be fighting on. So they're going to be fighting on... This is going to be the Haze of Daimo. Oh, this is a wild map right here. This 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 map right here is going to be insane. This map is actually going to be insane. I am very much looking forward to this one. I played this on stream as well as I did with most of them. And uh, it is... Um this, this is another map that can very easily turn into, like, a base base race right here. So this is round six. This is the, 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 the second to last match of the night. So, yeah, Heist of Deimos, it's, uh, it's, a, it's another mixed base map. Um, a lot of shit can happen on this map. Uh, you can very easily have a base race scenario. There are Comb Towers. It's going to be an aggressive map. Another, another map with a lot of shoals. So shoal gates is gonna be a thing. I know you guys love your shoal gates, so. And yeah, look at that. The Grandmaster Prize Cup is up to eleven hundred and fourteen dollars. So one thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars, ladies and gentlemen. So that's uh that's uh that's a big prize pool for the winner to take home. Big prize pool right here. Of course, after Manx tax, it's gonna be about seven hundred bucks. You know, I do take a forty percent and I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, Mr. Bones, fifty bucks, Star Flash will avenge Grim Guy. Wow. That is crazy. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bucks. I'm sure the winner will appreciate that. I mean, whoever advances to the finals will have, by default, probably won like 300 bucks. So that's, uh, uh, whoever wins of um, the winner here is gonna, it's gonna be in a good position, so. Yeah, a lot of Polish fans in chat here. Sikinotech donated five bucks. Poland Gaming! Uh, yeah, I think there's some Poles watching people uh, celebrating there we go welcome back DJ you got the game link for me let me check do, 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 do. so there we go mr. bones donor oh my god the price pool is so big mr. bones donor 50 bucks star flash all event what guy. the hell is going on why did they start the game already oh tell them to pause what the hell they literally just went on their own. I tell them to like restart then. Maybe they're training. I don't know. <laughs> Did they not? <laughs> Were they not like watching? <laughs> Star Flash from Poland so eager. <laughs> I'm gonna get a what Pepsi. What's going on? There we go. Uh, one on the report. Bringing out the energy drinks. You got you got in touch with them yet, DJ? I asked them to restart, but they're like balls deep in the game. I don't know if they're looking at chat. Um. I don't know why the hell they started. I have no idea <laughs> either. I have no idea. Poland's what... like, yeah, we start the we pause the timer, right? I'm like, yes. 
And then it says good luck, have fun, and they start the game off. <laughs> Try tagging uh, them, maybe? Baboon, or? Well, baboon. Yeah, I have no idea. I Can we get in touch with them somehow? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they just couldn't wait. <laughs> All right, I sent you the link to the live game if we just want to go from there. And Did you get them to pause yet? No, they're just... I, I typed it. They're not listening. They've gone rogue, dude. Uh, what are you doing? Uh... Okay, maybe I'll I'll try sending him a message. Maybe like, uh, I'll I'll try sending Star Flash a message. See if maybe. Okay. Stop playing. Yeah, I don't know why this. That's really weird. Uh, let me try. Let me try Poland. Let me try messaging both of them. See if, see if any of them are paying attention whatsoever. Um. Um, have you tried tagging them on Discord, maybe? I did. Okay. Yeah. I wanted a private little thing. Uh, I think they... I think we just maybe follow. Yeah, yeah, I sent them private things. I sent them in the main thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I guess there's nothing much we can do other than just jump into the game, then, if they're not gonna... Yeah, just jump into the game. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nothing has really happened too much last I checked there. It's still empty. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, guys. We can't. They're not responding. So, um, I guess we'll just. I guess we'll just try and jump into it. See what I. This has never happened before. They must have thought we gave them the. They're definitely not listening to stream. I at never. Least. I guarantee. I said, send me the link and pause, and they just started. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm hurrying up. I'm hurrying up, guys. I'm hurrying up. Uh, yeah, here we go. Starflash must have seen like a snowstorm coming or some shit. I don't know. Maybe maybe Starflash is running out of electricity. Okay, here we go. Outer mirror match, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Outer mirror match. We're just gonna jump straight into it, guys. Sorry about this. They're not listening to us. Uh, they're they've already gone started. Completely rogue. Yeah, they've gone completely rogue. My goodness, what a mess. Um. <laughs> We got an outer mirror match here. Um, let's see, there we go. And boom, let me give you the mouse control back. Okay. Okay, well, I hope they don't see my message now and like cancels the game. Because, yeah, all right. Okay, I'll, I'll just, just, would you mind sending them a message to say, if you see this, just keep playing. So they don't see okay. it and they go like shit and they stop it. Because now, now we might as well. Now we might as well just, just, <laughs> All right, so uh, let's try and jump into the game, shall we? Star Flash versus Poland. They've just begun without our consent. Just decided to go. All right, uh, it's Poland in the the red colors, up in the yep, yeah, and Star Flash in the purple. And uh, we are currently on. Uh, we are currently on day six. So you missed you missed six turns, pretty much. Um, looks like yeah. Wish we had some time to talk so about. It's a four base match again. That's this why we're seeing Adder. Yes, it's a four base map. Um, and it's very wild. These corner bases are pretty exposed. So, usually, at least what happened when I play this game, play this map, is that, yeah, this has happened. Yeah, artillery locks down corner bases. It turns it into kind of my. Look how quickly these players are playing. Holy shit. Yeah. Star Flash is uh, fast. Quick. Poland's pretty quick too. Yeah, no, he's. People say they he kind of reminds them of Star Flash. So. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Hmm. Not gonna lie, Star Flash is the clear favorite. Oh, he definitely. I mean, there was no question about that. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Um, Poland's having the the fight of his life right here, and Star Flash is in shape too. So, he's um, in shape, he's getting a lot of good first strikes, yeah. he's got income advantage. Still hasn't run out of electricity. Poland will equalize, though, in pull, uh, income advantage, though, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's definitely threatening... See, Poland's not threatening this base nearly as much as Starflash. He's got an artillery here, he's got a tank here, he's got infantry. Mm -hmm. um, it's already looking scary. Mm. And there is comm towers for those wondering. 
Wait, is it? Yeah, they're in the mid right Yep. There. Comb Tower's in the center, so we're going to have a situation where it's harder to wall. When they pop their side slip, they get that 20%. Which means that tanks can two hit KO cities, tanks on cities, and infantry on cities. Can attack the artillery Ooh. with the infantry. Oh, nice! Two HP of damage. That's the high roll. Doesn't mm -hmm. invalidate the artillery, but makes it a little bit less scary. Yeah. So. Some... I don't like this. At, well, uh, whatever. Yeah, we're on day uh, seven right now. We missed the first five days, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can't, believe, I can't wait. believe they started without us! I, I've never, I've never, I've never in, seen in three that. little seasons of I've never the seen that happen finals. before. It's so fucking. Yeah, why would they do that? I have no idea. It's not like they lost. It was funny because even in the chat, they're like, uh, yeah, we'll pause it. Mm. I don't know. At least we don't. Know, we know they don't listen to our commentary. <laughs> well, yeah, that is that is confirmed. <laughs> oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we missed, like, the first five turns, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. We're still going to get the game, so. But please, Star Flash, we got to talk to him after the match. Don't do that with Dead, F Dead Fs or, or Poland versus Dead Fs or which, whichever one of them wins. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they, yeah, they'll want the break anyway. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So, Poland... He does not have the RT oh, okay. aggressive. He doesn't have artillery moving in on the side right here. He yeah, he's capping here. I don't think he's gonna get it. Um, I like that he actually took a pot shot on Starflush's artillery. That's actually pretty pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, he does need to get an artillery over on the other side soon. That's the only way you can really beat a base. Tanks is not gonna cut it. You're also gonna need some no. artillery. No, and they can also build a tank to like um, medium tank. I mean just ward away any aggression, so you need that artillery if you want to attack the base. That, art that artillery is extremely yeah. important. And just like that, you have five units against eight units. So uh, Star Wars, like, like I said, he might want to cocoon a little bit, but uh, he doesn't have an artillery at least. No, yeah, that's true. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Uh, so, um, but yeah, um... Sorry, I'm still trying to get an overview of this game. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I know it, it's, it's it's happening fast. And it's it's, it's very hard. Dynamic. It's very hard to jump into a game at day five and like try to get an overview of everything when they're playing so quickly. You know, unless uh, like versus following it from the start. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So equal income so far. Starflash, yeah. oh. I think he. You can check quickly. Check kills the death just because we're coming yeah, a little bit sure. later. Oh yeah. Uh, Dead even. Dead even. So uh, it's still so early. I don't, dead up or uh, pulling sack to infantry to. Oh, he wants to get the tank strike on it. Yep. Enough. That's that's pretty there good. Is. That's pretty good. That is good. That is good. Poland's playing good, pretty good well. Good find there by Poland. Good find. Very good find. Mm. 15k. Tank here. Artillery up here. Yeah. Uh, at least, uh, at least you know, Starflash may be the stronger player, but it's at least not like. One thing about Poland, I don't think he's just going to sit there and let Starflash take the fight to him. Starflash will... Poland will bring the fight to Starflash, and that Poland's may be good. the only way to beat him. He's dropping this cap over here, and he's going to get this I'm cap. Impressed. I'm impressed by Poland so far. He's playing well. Starflash, I don't... I didn't, uh, yeah, Poland's looking good. He is actually... Lie, he's looking, right looking really good. This is what I say about, like, Poland. He's, he's very erratic, you know? Sometimes he just loses against players much weaker than him. But other times he just comes out and like beats Inkubark, <laughs> you know? It's yeah. Really, he, he's Starflash will get the first power. That's worth noting. Yeah, and that could be huge. Um, he's, he's gonna get a well. Poland probably want to pull this tank away, I imagine. Oh, he continues to. Yeah, Starflash is wow, might... he's gonna lose a lot of infantry. Starflash is gonna lose a lot of infantry here. He is. He's gonna lose a lot of infantry. Oh my goodness! I am. Question is, what is he gonna do with that tank? Is he gonna attack the infantry on the city over here? Starflush tank attacking from here with the power. What one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if Poland builds a tank there, he can. Oh my goodness, Poland is actually. He's, he's looking really good. He's looking really he's good, looking and, good, and this is. Moment. I'm very surprised because this is a trick. This is this is probably one of the more, except for the final. This is probably one of the more complicated maps in this tournament. There's so yeah. much to, to, to think about here. 
The one thing Starflash no, does have... I do not like that. I would have liked to tank up. Maybe he still can't. No, he can't. No, it's got one, you, one K left. Would attack this, kill that. Tank can reinforce this tank. He would have to attack from a road onto a city. Even yeah. with a power that's not a great trade. I don't like that tank. Just like him earlier, Poland's games. Where he <laughs> built from a get base is oh, a little I, questionable. You better, you better hope Poland doesn't pop his side slip at the end of his turn again. He's just gonna fucking oh, lose God it. Damn, <laughs> Yeah, but you want you want this tank now probably wants to go on the city maybe. Oh, oh, he can attack from the city. Why didn't he just go attack from this? Yeah, I like. I don't mind this. It's you know, uh, would have been better. It would have been better if he placed in a range of the other tank for sure. Would have been better if he attacked from here, killed that infantry with the tank, or he attacked from here and got a tank over here instead. He did both things wrong. Oh. Here comes it's the not power. A huge deal, but Starflash is going to use his power, and then he's going to get a first strike here, and he's going to build another tank here, and it's going to neutralize that tank. That was kind of dumb. Yeah, Starflash gets the first side slip. Let's see if he can uh, do something uh, to break the pole in here. He's going to get some good engagement over here with the extra movement. Really nice to see, but yeah. Poland's still looking very strong here. That tank's going to be completely how, isolated. How Starflash, yeah, but how Starflash going to dislodge this except for? Two, three, four. Yeah, okay, alright. He's still gonna be able to strike it with a new tank, but still. Yeah. Poland's gonna get this missile silo, though. He's gonna have one tank, one full health tank on here, and then another tank on this missile silo. It's gonna be hard for Starflash to get rid of that. His artillery is kind well, of. Well, it depends where the artillery goes. I oh, he built. Oh, that. he has an, here's another one. Okay, it's two artillery here, actually. Yeah, so he's gonna be able to push Poland off of those cities. Yeah. Yeah. So one over here, so he's not going on that. This one could go oh, right oh, here. Oh, oh. You bring the five down here. You just got. Oh, so, you know. You got. Oh, okay, he's gonna. Be just. We got a BM donation here. Someone just insulted you with by, by donating. What is it? Psychologist. Se Secnotech donated five bucks. I love watching D just try to backseat a game a player that's much high, higher rated than him. <laughs> I expect stuff like that. And I expected a, a <laughs> person in the audience to do it against me. That's fine. <laughs> You do, you suck, but suck yeah, no I, I would have. So yeah. this thing is safe, but it can't really leave the city at this point. No, it's stuck there, and Starflash will have his artillery in position next turn. It's okay, T Sec. You just need to backseat Deejus's backseat gaming. That, yeah, that, that's how you're doing. doing it. You're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this, as I said, this is most likely going to turn into a base train. Uh, but man, Poland is looking fierce in the corner here. Oh, Starflash just going for the attack here. That's a nice roll too. That's what I agree. That's why he needed to build a tank up here. To yeah, so that he could, he could, that side, he could side slip. Yeah, he could side slip. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I didn't like the tank build over here. No, nah, it doesn't really he serve. He this tank over here. He needed to attack the infantry from this. If he was going to attack from here, he needed to build a tank over there. So. Yeah. Hate to see it. He kind of lost a bit of the momentum early on. I mean, because of all the few units. He can't wrap around. That would be beautiful if he could kill this tank and this other tank attacks this on a road. Yeah. But alas, it's blocked by all this little shitty infantry. Yeah, for sure. Now, Poland can strike the artillery, but Starflash has a second artillery to back it up, so yeah. that's going to be tough. But let's see what happens now. I'm pretty sure the side slipper is going to get popped immediately. Yeah, he will. He's Poland. He loves clicking the button. So I'll see what he decides to do. Poland. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's not popping it. He's not popping it immediately. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe he's trying, I mean, trying, to, to, trying to get a little bit of power charge, a little bit of extra power charge. He can make a difference. <laughs> a little bit. He's thinking now, going. Yeah, it's going to cap a lot of properties this turn. He is. This one, this one, this one. He's going to get a lot of them. He's yeah. not popping a side slip. I'm surprised. Hmm. Maybe he's saving it? Is Poland it's showing restraint? He got roasted by you so hard, he just. Traumatized. <laughs> I mean, I would have popped this turn normally, so. Yeah, this seems like a good side slip turn for me, really. Mace Windex donated two bucks. Mace Windex donated two bucks. Shut up, Second Attack. D just is great. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Second Attack. Attack him, crowd. <laughs> yeah, so. You might want to get these infantry in range to cap this, repair this, build a tank, and then. I like this 1 HP using as a blocker. Yeah, it's good. So, um... It's all about unit count. 
two versus God knows how many, eight, nine over here. I like and this recon here. Similarly, two versus whatever amount. The recon's a pest. The recon is a pest. It's it's a great, great utilist. I mean, Star Flash could send the tank down. Another tank has to get rid of some of the momentum going towards the side. Oh, there. oh, going for recon. the artillery. I don't know if I like this. Um, he's gonna need to reposition this other tank to attack. Yeah, but that tank is dead. So uh, okay. Oh, oh, what the? Oh my heck? goodness! Just bye. <laughs> He realizes maybe he's going to lose. If he was going to attack that other one, I wouldn't have. Um, yeah, I would have. I would have tried to keep this tank alive. I would have tried to. Yeah, because Starflash actually he has a one. He's one five HP tank here. So yeah. Poland is he actually didn't a lot. Need tanks from the reinforcements. So he doesn't have any reinforcements. Oh, attacks here. I don't like that, but it's maybe. Yeah, it's a little questionable. A little bit. So hmm. question. Oh, he is moving. He's got a lot of units here, though. I'm gonna put this 1 HP infantry here to gonna shield. Gonna artillery up there, probably? I think he needs artillery. Okay, good. Get some interrupt here. That's great. If he had the side slip, though, he could have killed this and, and start, yeah. started capping this tank. And cap. So I, I really think hole and holding. I, okay, maybe he can get some better use of out of it next turn. So it could, like, I still see a lot of. Honestly, he just, I think Poland might take this. I'm not counting start. I thought so earlier on. But he's kind of blundering at the top over here. He is. He is. But uh, he's, he's gonna lose that. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Um, oh, oh! Star Flash is going for some lucky rolls now. Is he gonna get him? I don't know why he didn't attack with the five HP. Yeah. Why? Why, why no, weaken yeah. your own infantry, man? You need them. Oh, he's gonna get the. He's, he's gonna get a base lock in. now, though, which is nice. But you know that's gonna happen. What? It's, oh. He's literally got one unit over there, so everything's free for the capping. Yep. Pretty much. The question is, what happens after these are both inevitably uh, taken? This one in the corner over here, and this one in the corner over here. Well, if it's going to be anything like the Nightmare Tordred game, then um, whoever has yeah, the most... Yeah, it's always about the contingency plan after yes. the initial attack. You know, everyone knows the base is going to fall, but you need to know... You need to not overcommit. I think this is something both players are at risk of doing right here, because they're so feisty. You know? Yeah. They're just going to keep... Pump. Okay, Starfrod is bringing his tank to kill the Recon, which I think he has to. He had to. Uh, oh, nice. Gets a nice lock, sh lock shot there that allows the, sit the city to be captured. Next turn is very good. If he didn't get that recon, the recon might have brought the infantry down to 1 HP. The 9 HP, and that would have delayed. Yeah. So. Yeah, if he used the power, that recon would have lived. Yeah, Just what I do like about Pola now, he has two consecutive slides, side slips right now. He does, but is it too late? Because this, he's going to be able to use one tank attack here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. He also has the super. I don't think he should pop it, but it is a possibility. If he he might get some angles with the superpower that Star Flash is not expecting. But I generally uh, I speaking, I want to note another thing. Yeah. So okay, first off, this probably is going to be critically important. This one right here. Yeah. Once he takes Star Flash, takes that bullet, takes that. Another thing. These do count. When the labs the do count. Phase. Yes, yes. You want to capture the labs. The labs do count. And the comb towers too. Comb towers, labs, they're tiebreakers. Uh, so when it comes down to day 20, capture the damn maps. Yes. Now, I don't think there's HQs on this map, right? Nope, just labs. So if you capture the lab and then capture them back, do you win? What do you mean? If you capture, because the labs are neutral, right? Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I see the, the labs here. <laughs> yeah, the no. labs are, yeah, exactly. Well, has this, why is he not popping his powers? <gasps> He's popping his super! What? What the literal? What is he planning? This is some. He's popping a super. <laughs> he didn't have to. <laughs> what? Dude. Why? <laughs> what the? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, what? six. Yeah. What? I don't get it. And capture this without it. I mean, it might allow him to reach... It might... Oh, sorry. It might allow him to... He might be able to... Oh, wait. Actually, I think I know why he's doing it. Oh, he wants to take he the base. He wants to take the base. He could have done that anyway, though. Look, this full HP infantry could yeah. have gone down here. The tank could have slid it around to the side over there. Yeah, he wants to take the base. Yeah, but you're he right. He didn't need the superpower to do that. And Starflash like still said, has this... inevitability. He's, he's overcommitting. Yes. There, there was no... 
Yeah, I think the superpower, as fun as it is to see Sidewinder. Oh, maybe. is he going for the calm tap? Is he going for this? He might. Look. Over here. If he stops oh, that, he captures this. Oh, yes. Win. He could just... Is that his goal? That well, would Star be crazy. Well, Star Flash has his normal soon. He has eight. Yeah, actually, there's... He's going. That would be... That would be a real... Like, if he beats Star Flash via HQ cap, that would actually be that real. That would be the last thing Star Flash expects, but I, I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's also... You know why that's smart? This tank... If it stops this, he gets this. Yes. Smart Poland, I like that. Man, Ooh, Poland is good move. Although Parse Star Flash, if he gets a power, he will be able to. So. He will be able to interrupt this. This but. is this is interesting. I this is really off the wall. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, this is this like the wild. I mean, pit the two wild cards up against each other, and this is what you get. Uh, I also kind of like that he's kind of. Putting his tank in front of Starflash here because yeah he's he's blocking he's blocking him so that it takes long because Starflash doesn't have a tank presence here yeah at all he's going to be able to hold on to this base for quite a long time. Wallen is he's looking. If sharp. he had an infantry here, he could have won the game for the cap. He could yeah exactly. Actually, he might have been able to do. No, I think no, there was I, no uh, I would have loved to see someone try and like. I'd have to like check the. Moon I like the surround back. here. That's very good. Surround and then bring the yeah, artillery to kill the tank. That's really cute. Doesn't exactly. actually. I'm actually questioning whether or not he needs this artillery because he's gonna kill it with a he tank. He doesn't. He can bring this artillery. Oh, he is. He is. He is. That. I love it. I love that it. That literally is the play. Holy Pola. shit! Is Poland gonna be able to pull this off? Pola. Holy shit! There would be a massive upset beating Star Flash in a that would be match. A massive upset. That would be a massive. However, upset. there is one thing we gotta keep in mind: Star Flash's time. Star Flash has twice as much time as Poland. Yeah, he, that he is, has that. That is huge. Well, that matter. is huge. From Star Flash, this, I'm, I'm telling you, this tank needs to go over here, kill this, and the artillery needs to need very hard to get that. Yeah, for sure. And because this is, I would have put this in range of that, but. Yeah. I, I don't know. If, Star Flash realizes how much danger he's in. He is, because Poland caps this next turn. Star Flash doesn't have a full HP infantry to cap here with. Even with side slip, this infantry is not going to reach. Exactly. So Star Flash takes three turns to capture the lab. Poland caps this in two turns. Can Star Flash... And that's assuming those two tanks don't even exist, and they do exist. They do exist, so... Um... Another thing to know. I just looked. He's I think, about I think to get Star this Flash property is... as well. He's Star about Flash to get is... this property as well. Starflash is taking a long t I think the pause right now indicates that Starflash knows. He knows. Oh, he knows now. Now he sees see, it. He wouldn't do that with a tank. And now he's going to move his artillery to block. Probably. And let's see. Yeah, he can get... Yeah, he'll get it. He'll, he'll survive. Barely. Barely, yeah. Barely. I was, I was close, though. <laughs> that was now he's close. joining infantry together. He knows. really close. And now, yeah, the artillery is coming in as well, yeah. I think if Poland had popped his normal instead of his super, he could have popped, because if he had his normal power already here, dude, just look at this, yeah, he, he could have gone, gone around, he could have gone around here, interrupted mm. the cap. So, but I do like the artillery. Damn. Although Starflash survives, Poland is going to get this corner, and he he's going to get the center over here. Poland's so. going to have a huge income lead. And Poland is also going to get this good. base quicker than Starflash. That, 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 that is worth something. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, this is... This, this, this is if, there was a, if there's any sacks to get to a power, which there isn't, that would have been nice. He would have won here. He would have won. But he could have won, yeah. Sacks. Absolutely. So yeah, he, re he realizes, but he's taking a lot of cities now, which is great. I'm liking... The only thing he's got working against him is time. But, but Poland's in a great position right now. Starflash really is actually is. on his heels. 920k he to 13k. 20k come! He can't give up this property, though. No, he needs to keep it. Because uh, you did the same thing to him over there. You don't want to allow uh, to equalize again. Because right now, 20k to 13k, ginormous. Yeah, Poland and can it's get... about to get worse. It's Much. about to be 21 to 12. Because he's not giving up this base. He's going to attack the full HP infantry. Crazy. 
and and yeah, I mean this sort this artillery here. I also really like this. It's building more tanks. He can base lock with it, and then suddenly Starflash doesn't have a base anymore. And he's and yeah. look, Starflash taking so long to kill these things. These tanks are gonna hold out for a very long time. For at least two more yeah, turns. They're gonna at least live one more turn. Just yeah. two artillery. He could even combine enough. them together to make them live longer. Or like combine this tank into that and build a new one. So just attacking all the uh Yeah. Wow. I would have maybe actually attacked, combined, and built another tank just to stall him, but maybe maybe it's not a good idea. But yeah, one side slip, if he had slides now, he could have won. I know. It would have been GG. Would have been GG. <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely. I, I can't go back on the move plan right now. I think he still could have done all this stuff. I think there was a way. I am pretty sure there was a way. For I him think to there was a way. He he misses a few things like the HQ cap the last game. Yeah, yeah. He's very... But, but we're playing live. You're not getting A-plus moves. You're getting B minus yeah. Bs. You know, which is good. That's what you need to do in live. You have very limited time. Absolutely. So, but Paul, and if I was him now, I really would pick up the pace here. You don't want to fall too far behind on the timer. You're you're ahead. Don't don't lose some time. That would be such a bad bad, bad way to go against Star Flash. I understand the nerves are probably kicking him hard hard for him right now because he realizes he might win, and that's the worst position to be in when you're in a high stakes game and you feel like I you're know. about to win. That's when you get so nervous. You, oh my god, I'm gonna might beat Star Flash, and then you he's, like the he's he's a few moves away from three hundred dollars. Yes. Day 11 rolls in for Star Flash. What's he gonna do? He's got 15 minutes pulling us six artillery attacks. Those tanks are gonna live for one more turn. Not enough. Not, not enough. enough, not enough. And they're gonna, he's gonna combine the two tanks after this. I would, I would. I absolutely would combine. Yeah. I'm wondering if maybe you, you attack with the infantry and hope for maximum luck rolls. Yeah. That's what he's doing. He, he might get it. He might. He this is. is huge. This is huge. He gets Ooh, it. He gets it. This okay. is huge. This is massive okay. for Star Flash. That, that luck roll bought him, like, a fighting chance here. Yeah. That, that lock hole was massive. He needed that. He needed that. So good Star Flash still fighting in this. This 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 game's gonna be tight. I'm telling you, this game's gonna be tight. This is my favorite game so far, yeah. even though it started, uh... Yeah, even though they started wonky. without us. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. We're so. at day 11 for the viewers who can't see. Yeah, day 11, nine days remaining. Star Flash is way ahead of time. They're equal on value, equal on... Poland has a big unit count lead, big income lead, 19k to 16k. He's going to have more or pretty much equal income and then at the end of turn, which is a bad sign for Star Flash. Very bad, yeah. Poland has a massive unit count of on. He also has a ton of injured units here, which you can see here. All right, day 12 rolls in for Poland. Let's see what it decides to do. He needs to play fast, that's for sure. That's... He can't blow the time. Nope. Do not do not go on borrowed time. Bad things will happen. He needs to make sure he secures his corner property. Maybe get artillery in position, tanks in position. He needs to focus. I don't think he can hold this property, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, he needs... Oh, I he's think his not... win con's going to be this corner one. He decided not to interrupt Star Flash's base cap, and instead went for the artillery. I... Weird decision. I think maybe it would have been better to delay this by a turn. Honestly, there's not too much difference between the two. Maybe not. Uh, the tank's gonna live another turn. Well, unless he pop the, it'll live another turn because it, 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 five uh, HP uh, killer is not gonna kill it. Yeah. Oh, gets a nice okay. shot on Star Flash's okay. tank right there. This artillery is gonna be crucial. He needs to not blunder it. This artillery will allow him to base lock Star Flash when the tank comes to attack the base. He needs to not lose it. He needs to be careful. Yeah, that's why he's taking his time. Capping the lab. One thing Poland also not could necessary. do now, actually one thing he could do is he could just play defensive and just hold on to the properties that he has. Not attack. That, that's what I'm saying. Hold on to the corner property, that is the difference maker. He's, I don't think this is sustainable, this property yeah, right here. Run away, yeah, run away. Hold, hold on, on to that. that, yeah. And just survive for eight more days. Essentially. Try not to spend too much time moving your units. Just put them on defensive properties and end turn. Yeah. Like, let Star Flash come to you. Like, this is... I know we just chastised, like, Profeta for not taking... you, But Poland has already taken the initiative. He's already won. He has. He... 
Like, St Perfetto is being more reactionary. See, Poland is creating threats now. He created that lab threat. Yep. He created all these other threats. He's on the offensive. I also Star like is on the defensive. I also like how he combined his infantry to create a healthy infantry, not just because it's better at tapping, but it's less units to move around. Yeah, that is also true. In live, combine your units, man. You, Especially when you're on the clock. You, less units to move around. That's actually he gonna pretty crucial. Is artillery? Is he going to put it on this forest right there? Looks like he might do that, yeah. Well, Starflash I mean, this Yeah, be careful, though. This... No, I can get actually. No, Starflash might get his... Does Starflash pop this side slip once or twice? Once, I think. No, he twice. Popped it yeah, 25,000. So he's 000. not going to get it. No. He's not going to get his side slip this time. Another tank here. I like that from Poland. That's good. Get the tanks over here. Build another tank here, I would. I'd just go tanks at this point. Just tank, 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 tank. Just build your units and then turn, man. <laughs> don't, 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 don't throw away this game. I, I'm actually, I'm low-key rooting for. I, ev I think everyone's rooting for the underdog. This yeah, time. This and is, no one expected it. No, I thought I, I'm gonna be honest. You just, I thought Starflash would just wall over Poland here, like just mop the floor with him. I did not. I didn't think that would happen, but I think you still win. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. Yes, uh, Chad. Someone asking about the labs. The labs are acting as HQs. So, when they're this really caught me by surprise when I played the Monster Spy Web for the first time and I lost due to a lab cap. Um, when there's no HQs on the map, the labs become the HQs. That means that the player who captures all labs, all enemy labs on the map, they will win. So, in this map, there are four labs: one here, one here, one here, and then one here. So, you, you have to capture all four labs to win. That almost happened earlier. That's how Poland almost won. Because Starflash wasn't hadn't captured his neutral lab yet, so that was pretty huge. It might be worth getting the power so this tank can just sit on the city over here. Yes, and it's exactly. Surrounded by a road and yeah. a shoal. What's Starflash gonna do about that? That's gonna be very difficult. Literally. Thing. Yeah. Now Starflash is actually pulling back. I mean, Colin's looking mighty strong. I don't he is. Up. He is. But he just needs to not. He just needs to be he careful. Needs, he needs to hold one property advantage for yes. eight more days. Get box his units around it and just end turn. Attack. He needs to be cognizant of yeah. this damn thing Oh up yeah, there. careful up here. Yeah, Starflash can very easily snatch a property from him. That would be huge. Yep. That would be absolutely huge. Just build a tank there and just end it though. Make sure he doesn't have any thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, Chad is saying Poland is pulling too slowly. I agree. He should just blaze it up. Don't let Starflash run him on increments, because he's going to make blunders. Massive blunders. Yeah. Um, he, he needs to be playing his turn right now. Yep. Day 13 rolls in. Poland. Six minutes left on the clock. Captures the lab. This is it. This is the crucial part of the endgame for Poland. This is where he needs to perform. Just hold on to what you have. Don't let Starflash yoink properties away from you. Play defensive. I wouldn't even attack here. Don't attack. Just I don't think he has any plans to attack. I think Poland knows his win con. Yeah, I, th I think so too. Be careful with what units you build. Like 21k, I just build a medium tank, honestly. <laughs> At this point, you just want big. Uh, maybe like a tank here. You could build three tanks, honestly. Probably be a good one. Just tank, tank, tank. Mm. So this tank just damage some infantry. From Poland, there is a possibility this 8 HP tank weakens that. Mm. Sack the tank to reduce it's... the cap. It's smart. Yeah, it's. It's a longer play sort of game. Ooh, Starflash got to be careful can, though. This property's hanging. Although he can bring true. his art, he can bring his artillery over here though to block yeah, it. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. But the thing is, Starflash can capture this, then bring down two tanks as blockers, and it's good as his. Yes. That's... Although Poland does bring this one as reinforcement, and he has a power soon. Yep. So it's not you know guaranteed, but. Oh, okay. okay he's attacking. Is he gonna pop he's this gonna power? Pop side slip. Ooh, is he gonna pop a mid-turn side slip? This would be one of the times where you wouldn't chest as I'm afraid, maybe. But I don't know if I like it um, though. It's it's I mean, it'll allow him to send his tank up and he can order to do that. So Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah it's not gonna stop him though. Starflash can bring tanks yeah, down here and kill. Yeah. yeah, I think he needed to attack, attack this infantry. And he uh, he could have if he wanted to pop his power, he should have popped it and then put the tank let me, there's a lot of capture bugs on the map right now. Let me just refresh real quick. Sorry about this chat, but uh, it, it's bothering me. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, get rid of those capture, because there's so many soldiers like capturing right now. There you go. 
Okay. Let's see. I'm also shocked not to see Poland's artillery locking that other property yet. Yeah, it's um. I would have put in that forest. Oh, okay. But... He's going in. I don't. I like that he's attacking here, but I. I don't know. If... I mean, to be fair, Starflash's Comb Tower and cities are hanging now. Yeah, he's gonna have to build a tank there. Or a medium he has tank to. Or he has to. Because Poland doesn't have any artillery up here at the moment. No, he's artillery. He's. He's not locking the base. He's keeping it. That artillery's not really doing too much. I guess it's it's protecting the tanks. Like uh, you know, it's not bad. It's not passive completely. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to be aware. The Star Flash can hit it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's protecting both tanks now. Perfect uh, coverage. Yeah. So good, good, solid artillery positioning right there. I do, I do like it. All right. The Star Flash is going to get that thing at the bottom now, and that's kind of what you. Sorry, I'm not. Hold. I'm not in the mood for Hachi theme right now. <laughs> Yeah, yes, uh, Star, Star, Star Flash gets the city. That's bad. There's nothing Poland yeah. can do to stop him now either. Ah, uh, yeah, Star Flash recognizes this thing, takes it out. Yeah, so that's one city that Poland could have held on to that he lost. That brings it up to 1719k. So, but Star Flash has several properties in the mid section of the map right here, which are dangerously hanging. Um, Star Flash can move his. This is a good spot for the artillery. The shoal right here. Mm. He can even put it here if he wants to to guard this as well. Um, he has many artillery in the area, so Starflash thing is Starflash. He can now afford to really take his time and think. Of course, yeah, he, he's giving Poland time, time to think too. But this is this is That's like, double edged sword. But you can tell Starflash is really churning right now. He's not moving. He's really thinking like, what can I do right now? Because he realizes he's behind. So. This is exciting. Nice right, moving in. Now it's a cat. Ooh, okay. All right, Star Flash. Feisty. Poland's got a lot of troops here. But I like this artillery positioning from. Oop, like this artillery positioning from uh, from Star Flash as well. Yeah, he, he he conceded that one a bit. He conceded both properties a bit. But let's see if he has counterplay first. Mm -hmm. uh, he could sack this six HP infantry to interrupt that and maybe shift this up one more. Yeah, pop pop side slip and then side slip on all. Just slip into the city and. It's possible. Again, Poland. Oh, <laughs> Star Flash joining units together. I like it. Create a bit of a stall match over here. He has artillery. Again, mm -hmm. I, I told this artillery is going to be very important, so I'm very glad he's kept it. But uh, not like don't don't like what he did here. That was. Um, yeah. He's got to be careful about this over here. That's this is hanging. Yes. You pop pop something here. The tank has to go all the way around. He's got two tanks. The artillery not covering it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, Starflash has to move a tank over here now. That's important. Oh, yeah. He's got to build one from the base there, too. He's got to build a tank there. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. I, I just, I'm, fucking, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. This is a, this exci am, this this an exciting is match. This is an exciting match. I am... I'm, I'm so stressed out over Poland's timer, though. I swear to God, dude. Just, like... It would be so... I really don't want him to almost win against Star Flash on some time. That would be... That would be such a bad way to go. I just want him to play faster. Yeah. I just want him to play faster. <laughs> I Use the power here, honestly. Just yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Pop your side slip. Oh, he's not popping it. Oh. Okay. Now Star Flash has his power ready. Now Star Flash has his power ready. Um. Oop. Okay. All right. Mm. Does he, does he want another super? Like, Poland just loves his superpowers. I don't know. I can't question it, dude. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I would have done it differently. Like, he, if he used the power, he could attack from this this forest. Got a really good roll. Have tank backup coming. Maybe even move this artillery. Nah, that artillery's, you know, not, kind of been useless for the most part. It, it didn't even lock this. Yeah. Uh, Star Trek has been useless. It hasn't done shit to be honest. It hasn't it done, but I shot. know, I it's know it's to gonna be here. important at some point. I hope so. Otherwise, I sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, does he go all in on this base, or does he go all in on this one? It looks like he's going all in on this one. Yeah, he's, he's giving these two away. Can Starflash interrupt this. that? I don't think he can. Uh, he can. Oh, I like this. This is actually cool. Unless Poland has a nice wall, which he he's getting. Oh, he's oh, going okay, so in he's here anyway. Uh, I can, mean, oh, I'm scared right now. Starflash counterattack is real. 
Yeah, it's gonna be strong. And he hasn't used his power. Star Flash is going to use his power. He so. is going to pop side slip and he's gonna slip into the center. He's gonna murder Poland, who, who will not have the defense. And then this infantry. <sighs> yes. Can attack. It can go over the there. Infantry can attack from these two squares, so it is interruptible. Oh, yep. he can maybe block, he can this... block it with the one HP. He can block it. Does he see it? If he, no, he can go over here. Never mind. Yeah. Unless no. he puts the he, tank he, here. He has to use the power, and the six HP has to go in the mountain. No, what I'm thinking is he can put this tank here, and I can put this infantry here. But of course, yeah, I guess Starflash can slip around. He can oh. slip around. He he needed to use the power. I think okay. he still should use the yeah. power. Yeah. I really think he should yeah, have side slipped this turn. I don't know. Like Paul, really I think he's have. traumatized by you chastising him for bumping his I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm, oh, okay. the Star Flash counter attack is very oh, real right I, now. I'm starting to see a little hints of a throw. I'm, I don't like it, but yeah. And also he's, he's allowed. He doesn't have a power. Star Flash is about to have a power. He is. Two tanks, two artillery. He's gonna use his power immediately. He's gonna, gonna, yeah, he's gonna 10, pop 10. it. He's definitely gonna pop it. Gonna have the 10 10. He's gonna murder this tank in the corner. He's gonna capture that. He's, yeah. Well, we'll let the, the moves speak for themselves. Poland will have a superpower or two uh, okay, powers in a row. But Advanced Force speaks for itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Alright, yeah. Okay. Oh, Star Flash is not popping his power. He's getting a bit of extra power charge. That's a guaranteed, so he probably wants to get extra charge. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that could that could be. Gets the city. All right, 17 to 19k. If he doesn't get it, then this infantry can't interrupt. That's the thing. He yep. needs the power to interrupt. He does. And then once he interrupts, he just moves his artillery over there. And, and then it's, it's, and then it's gone. Yes, the then, it's, then it's gone for sure. So he's going to use his power unless he uses... That would be his own We're on day 14, chat. Even. We're on day 14. Day 14. So six days left. He's going to use his power. Or he should use his power. That's what we'll say. We'll see, we'll see. He's thinking. He's got the luxury of time on his side, Star Flash. He can really he, he can he can plan out this attack. Which is not Poland a luxury has Poland. Poland oh has to just God, move now. Didn't realize how low Poland's time was. Oh, it's so low. He's one he's gonna be on two minutes next turn. Like he's gonna be playing on increment within Yeah, there we go, here yep, it comes. There you go. Now here comes the side the slip. This could be huge. This could be absolutely massive. This could be absolutely freaking massive. Yeah, Star Flash gonna come in right now. He's gonna start crash the party. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I don't know, man. Was that a bit of an overextension, DJs? What, that, that, that tank right tank there? Down here? Does, does Star Flash really want to. Silo, be though. Yeah, but does he really want to be throwing tanks into the meat grinder? Like, he needs his tanks. I right? would have done that too, to be honest. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, we're we going to see it's, another it, side. You have the extra 10% defense as well. That's true, yeah. It'll have 40% defense on that side. I'm just thinking, like, Poland's got tanks here. They can shift into the center and shellac start. Like. That's true. But, start, yeah, That's this true. is. He, this he basically is... conceded the corner, so. He that did. infantry, is it going to interrupt? And he's going to lock it with the artillery as he should. We'll see. We'll see. He's not, yes, he's not yeah. time to plan out the turn, so I'd be surprised if Starflash doesn't see it, honestly. But uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm thinking Paul and pops the Sidewinder again next turn. <laughs> I think it's good. No, he doesn't. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He what? Do it. Oh my god! He okay, just gave the Poland. property. He just gave Paul the property. That's huge. Hold on to this. Five days. Five days. You can do Either. that. Defense mission. Objective That's... survive. Literally, one minute just. Ugh. Kill all the infantry nearby. Murder this 8 HP infantry. Kill the uh, damage that, like, you can win yeah. just attacking infantry from now on. You can. It is. One, it's in his hands. The ball is in his court. He can, he can, he can win this. He has to, he. Just, I just hope he won't snatch victory away from the. I hope he won't snatch defeat away from the draws of victory, as they say. Yep. Um, this is, he's, he's still, that's a good. Starflash really blundered not attacking here, uh, but yeah, Starflash is still like Poland's still in a really good spot except for that timer. That timer is freaking me out. He just got to move now. Yeah. I'm, I think he's gonna pop his Sidewinder next turn. Get the strike here. He has a strike here. He can get. Is okay, he popping it? Maybe. Is he popping it? Is he popping it? Is he popping it? Yes. Yeah. Sidewinder. Sidewinder! 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 S
I think we're witnessing. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, that's I, a great one. Woodwork. Keep going, Paul. You got two minutes. You have no time to think. Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> <laughs> Run, you fly, you fools. Come on. And then this tank attacks there. Yeah, and then good. This oh, attacks artillery, there. artillery wide open. Artillery hot. wide open. It's hunting season. It's open season. I like Boomba. this. This is not a bad sidewinder. I think it would have been not better. Bad. And this tank, this tank can go over here, attack from the city onto this. Oh my goodness, Poland. Oh, he's capping the I don't, property okay, now. I, one thing I, I don't, I don't agree. Well, okay, this actually I do agree. I take that back. He, he's doing the long term. He's gonna lose this to two tanks. Mm. He's stopping this infantry from capping it anytime soon. Oh yeah. Poland is looking really good. Oh, this is fantastic. Poland is looking really good. I like this turn. This is great. The last one was a little questionable. This is looking very strong. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I didn't like the silo attack though. I would have attacked. Yeah, attack from the from city. There, attack from the city. Attack it from the city. denies him capturing the city, and it weakens his tank. Yep. Who gives a shit about that silo? What's it gonna do? Yep. And your Andy turn. has time to spare. He spent one minute on that. Yeah, turn. that was a good attack. He, beautiful. He's, he's he's not trying. Wow. He has that to... was a great turn. That was a beautiful turn. That was really that good. Was yeah, beautiful. absolutely. Star Flash is in a <laughs> he's in a pickle here. He's, he's in, in a bind. He's here. in a. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna interrupt this. No way. He will get it with he the will. tank. He, he will get it with the tank. He'll get it with the tank. He will get it with the tank. So, but still Damn though, Poland. we're in day fifteen right now, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Day fifteen. Day fifteen. So we got five days left. And Star Flash has to capture so many properties now. Like, how is he gonna do it? These two tanks are useless. This tank is useless. This tank is useless. He's got two artil three artillery in the center, but one of them's on three HP. How is he going to capture this property right here? He has nothing nearby it. His infantry are he not... He has to build an infantry this turn. Yes. Ow. Literally all Poland needs to do is just survive. Just hang out. Don't get timed out. Whatever you do. That's literally it. I think... I, I don't... I'm not seeing a way Poland loses. Except for the timer. Except for the but timer? But he seems aware of it. Because he's playing really fast he's, now. He's, he played a minute last turn. Yep. Perfect to increment. He can even play a minute 30 this turn to be fine. Yep. Just uh, plan it out, kill infantry. That's all you have to do. If you told me that someone would pop two Sidewinders against Starflash and be in a good position, I wouldn't believe you, did you? I know, right? <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by Poland. I'm very impressed by him. He has, he has surprised me. So much. So this is... Uh, in incredible. All right, Poland's turn. He goes Boom straight up. for it. He goes straight for the kill. Very good. Just keep going. Three yeah. infantry kills. Go for the infantry. Yeah, Fine. kill the infantry. The tanks are important to get killed too, but the infantry is what you got to get rid of here. Without yeah, infantry. Go that seven HP infantry. Without infantry. Yeah, the artillery range. Oh yeah. There you go. Smart move. I like it. Scorched earth. Let's go. Good. Kill as many infantry as you can. Just get rid of them. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. That's how you win the game. That's what he's doing. He, oh. he knows it. He, he's well prepared. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He's doing the join cap. He's gonna attack the infantry 1 HP with the 9 HP infantry, blocking it. Damn. Or that. That works too. Oh, that works. Now he's, he's gonna, gonna get, get that, that property's property his. Too. That property's his. That property is his. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow. We might not even get to day 20. I think Starflash might resign. I, I think so too, is... but 50 seconds, 50 seconds. Poland, just go. Just enter, 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 enter. Don't, don't, don't. Fuck those infantry. Don't. Those infantry aren't important. Just like, delete it. Just build a tank. Delete it. Enter. Seriously, just delete that infantry in the bottom. Like, you don't move it. It's not going to arrive in time. He's not going to move it. He, he's going to enter. Yeah, he's, yeah yes, good. He yeah, he's, he's he knows, yeah, he knows. He knows how to play this. That's good. All right, Star Flash. Star Flash is. I think he's pissed right now. <laughs> he knows Star Flash. He's, he's been in two straight finals. Yeah. <laughs> he thought the crown was his. He was like just gonna slap this like beginner around a little bit. Yeah. I think I think he underestimated Poland. So. Greatly. And that's a mistake. It's Poland, man. He can. can man, I am so impressed by this guy. So impressed. But uh, still, that timer is his. But Poland can just play on increment and win now. Like, he doesn't need to play well at all. He literally can, yeah, it's like how... 
Literally, just pull this 1 HP tank out, kill the 8 HP. There's, this needs to capture this. Yes. Like, it, I don't see how Starflash If Starflash had 30 minutes and Poland had playing instrument, I still don't see how Starflash wins this. Exactly, and there's there's four days left. Four days left. We're on day 16, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be on day Starflash 7. will need to capture three properties. Yeah, there comes the medium tank. He's not... And he can't even build an infantry. He has to build a medium tank. <laughs> he right has there. to build a medium tank, yeah. Oh, is he going to... Just only attack infantry. Use your power. Yeah, pop your power. Why not? Yeah, there you go. Why Side not? slip incoming. Extra defense. Kill the infantry. End your turn. Don't even build anything. Build a pipe burner for all I care. There we Attack go. Place the infantry here. Oh, nice. Oh, no, Gets the tank. Beautifully played. Captures the property. 21k to 15k. He can get the comm tower this turn. Yeah, he can get the comm tower. He's gonna get the comm tower. <laughs> He's gonna get the comm tower. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautifully played by Poland. My goodness. Well, just remember the time. Remember, one second. Sometimes you're very unlucky. Yeah, no, like, once that timer hits, like, 10 seconds, just enter. <laughs> just just don't, yeah. don't risk it. Don't risk the lag. Don't risk lagging out and, like, just don't. Don't. Yeah, there you go. Tax full HP. I, I think it's over. I don't see any way now. Unless it's Poland literally drops. just the time. It, the, the timer it, can kill him. It's literally just the time. Star, Starflash can side, Starflash can sidewinder. Sure. I'm calling it right now. Starflash can sidewinder. What else does he have? What other <laughs> option does he he's have? Gonna, he's going to sidewinder as a... It's a sign of respect, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. End turn. End turn, Poland. Don't do it. End turn. Don't do it, Poland. Oh, nice. I like that. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't. End turn. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, there you go. He knows. He knows. He knows. Mm -mm. Yeah, is this a resign? Nope. Side slip. No. Starflash pissed, man. Okay. I can tell you. I can, I can feel his rage. <laughs> He's not liking this one bit. After giving... Profeta the shellacking in the first round. I was, he, uh, yeah, he, he was on there. fire in that round. I've never seen Starflash play so well. I think he underestimated Poland. I think he, I think he really underestimated him. Either that, or Poland just the had the, tower. either that or Poland just had the game of his life. I mean, we didn't see the first five days, so we, do, <laughs> we don't know what yeah, happened. Exactly. It yeah. seemed like they were fairly even, though, in those five days. It seemed like that. So Poland just played really well. There we go, capture. Yeah, okay, that's one you property. Can, you, you can even allow that. Who gives a shit about yeah, that? He needs yeah, to capture three let, properties. Let him take it. Let him have it. Let him take it. Let him take that Honestly, one too. At this point, interrupt this cap and yeah. turn. That's all you need to do. Yeah, interrupt that turn. That's literally all you need to do. Yeah, yeah. Chat says cap and skip. Cap and skip. Cap and skip. Cap and skip. That's literally, yeah. Yeah, it's great on time, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to save him. Starflesh wants to be a really coy now. He can just wait eight minutes and let the clock. <laughs> nah, I can't do that. All right, day eighteen. Two days left for Poland. Just go. He see. He can. He sees the victory. He can smell the victory. Oh, yeah. So close. He wants the uh, comm tower, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why go not? Ahead. Why not? Go for it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get the comm tower. So. Yeah, I don't think uh, Starflash can kill go. the infantry. Eh, no, I don't think he can interrupt it. Because that's one one cap one capture point left on that. So. End your turn, dude. There's no there's no point. There's no point. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 play with fate. There's, there's no point. Do not play with fate. Just attack the infantry. He's gonna get that one property. Or that one property literally doesn't matter. In the yeah, no, he he just interrupts it. Why not? Oh, he's playing so fast he's right now. Super he's quick. He's though. playing so fast right now. He's just. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's a fast player. What's that thing doing? Nothing. End turn. <laughs> He's got 20 seconds. But might want to just... That's true. It's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah, there we go. Day 18. Starflash. Starflash. Another side slip. <laughs> Starflash, I'm telling you. He's pissed. He's pissed. Okay. <laughs> He's pissed. He's not interrupting the uh, comp power. I eat. <laughs> Chat join cap. That's funny. Ooh, yeah, no, he needs, again, he needs to capture three properties. It doesn't matter if he joins here. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive, Cha, yeah. It's impressive by Poland, really impressive. So yeah, Starflash captured this, and this is still not going to be enough. It's going to bring up the 17, Poland up to 18. He can even do a joint cap here if he wants to. Starflash can go up like this. He can be. It doesn't matter. 
I mean, you can't. I don't know. He is. I see no way. He, it was the calm tower too. There, that there are the two you. two days left, ladies and gentlemen. We're on day eighteen. Day eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Two days left. Oh, well, Poland can even interrupt this cap right He can. Now. He can just kill it. He can interrupt. He can... Calm tower, 20%. Yep. Okay, not anymore. Oh, yeah, no, no, ah, he can, he he can slip around. He can slip around. He can slip around. He can still slip around if he wants to, but, like, Starflash needs to think about these two. And okay. <laughs> no, Starflash, that's not going to work. Max, Max Infantry is not going to win. You're not going to get you back into this match, Starflash. R.I.P. <laughs> we are actually going to see a game go to day 20, I think, for the first time in the tournament. I don't think either of these players are going to tap out. I think Starblast is pissed right now. He really wants to fight. He's, he's got to realize that he's screwed, but he might play it out of honor. Maybe. All right, Poland. Pop, pop your shite slips. Don't, 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 don't try anything fancy now. <laughs> uh, he didn't even capture the calm tower. That's how he's... Oh, no, he did. He did. He did now, but he, he waited. I do that all the he time waited. in live games. Holy shit. He's just sucking tanks into Starflash now, I love it. I think these players are messing with each other right now. Yeah, he's he, he end turn. He's, he's yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> no matter what happens, it's day 19. He can literally just click right, and he. turn twice in a row right now, and he'll be okay. Yep, exactly. The game has ended. But Starflash, you wanted to just equalize the property lead a little bit before. I think I think Starflash didn't want to end with 21-15. He was like, I'm going to take a couple properties back. You know, it's the, it's the Rhymer Syndrome, as I'm going to call it now. You know? <laughs> yeah, the ego plays a part in it. He does, he does. <laughs> Starflash angry. <laughs> he's so angry right now, dude. He's like, <laughs> he's, so, he's so pissed. <laughs> he's, yeah, he, he, you can tell because he's fighting these. He wants to see tanks explode. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so happy about it, but I, I just, it, it's, it's <laughs> just, it's happiness. just funny, it's just funny to, to see Paul and pull an upset like that. I, I didn't, I thought Starflash would just dominate this entire tournament and just like mercilessly crush everyone in his path. And it's fun that that didn't happen. Uh, I because expected it's, some more. I expected some more. I expected him to get to the final. Yeah. So, but yeah. Looks like we're we just are immediately in the end turn. Yeah, Starflash either resigns here or Poland immediately ends. Just ends turn and goes to day twenty. Yeah, probably gonna happen. Mm -hmm. All right, Poland, day twenty. He's just gonna end turn. turn. Nope. It's... He's uh, he's he's taking his victory lap. Let's give him his victory lap. I think I think he yeah. deserves he deserves this victory lap right now. I, I I think that's 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 fair. I would take a victory lap too if I was about to beat Starflash. So. That was an absolutely insane match. Oof. Crazy. And now crazy. they need a bit of a break because the next. Oh yeah, no, we definitely have to give Paul a break. We we need to give him at least a ten minute break. So, um, you wanna? Yeah, <laughs> Starflash still gonna play this round. Now. He's pissed. I'm telling you, dude, he's so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he was early to... on the chat. He, he just, just wants to leave, beat up. Resign. He's like, he just that. wants to beat Paul up a little bit. Starflash not happy about this owl. <laughs> and now we get the adder team, yeah, so symbolic, I guess. That's cool. It could also be that both players are so engrossed in the match that they're forgetting about the time limit. I mean, that can happen. I don't nah, think so. Poland has got the time. Oh, oh, you mean the day limit. The the, yeah, they, they may be so focused on the match that they may have forgotten about the 20 day limit. And that can happen sometimes in live that matches. That can happen. I don't think. Maybe Poland has. Starflash has. I know, Starflash is aware. Yeah, but Poland might be so focused on the match that he's just playing. And not thinking. Oh, there you go. That's the, that, that's the resign right there. Yep. Good uh, game. Wow. Absolutely epic match. No, it's by that that's that was the crazy. That was the match of the night. I, we haven't seen the finals yet. That could be better, obviously. Um, but that was definitely. That was definitely yeah. that was, the match that of, was the the night. Banger of the night. That was the banger of the night. That was very unexpected. Very unexpected. Poland, that was... I never in a million years suspected him to beat Starflash. Not after Starflash's performance against Profeta in the first round. I thought Starflash wasn't touch touchable. Poland just came yeah, in. Exactly. And that, was, that was impressive. That was absolutely... That was, yeah, I don't... I've never... Yeah. 
I'm probably gonna go back and like look at this match later, like and some other time in the replay viewer, just look at look at see where Star Flash like because I actually don't know see where if it was possible to win early on in the corner with Poland if he popped a normal power twice in a row. Yeah, capture and, the and also yeah, there might have been another. I'm curious when Poland gained the gained the advantage against Star Flash because I think it may have may have something to do with this artillery getting targeted, uh, but. We missed some early stuff. Let me just go back myself in the move planner and see if there was possibly yeah. some sort of... Uh, but that was absolutely crazy. Uh, you can, if you're in Discord, you can just tell the, um, oh. tell, the, tell, the, tell, um, tell Poland that he's earned a 10-minute break before the finals, at least. So you can go and, like, breathe and be... And so. Yep. So uh, that, was, that was crazy. I, uh, that was an amazing match. So that's what I, that's what I said in the... In the uh, in the trailer, guys. Regardless of whether Star Flash wins or loses, his matches are always exciting. That's great. But that means, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring up the bracket. And uh, we're going to have a meme break. Uh, I'm going to entertain DJs if you want to go take a short break uh, and fill up your water bottle. I can entertain Shadow a little bit, and then I'm going to go take a bathroom break. It's going to be about a 10 minute break until we fi play the finals, because again, Poland definitely needs some time to calm down after that. We don't want him Sounds to go good. in. We don't want him to go in uh, tired, that's for sure. But Break time. Yes, see you later, DJs. See you later. But yes, we're going to have Poland versus Dead Fs in the finals. That is going to be a crazy match for sure. I'm very much looking forward to that one for sure. So let's op update the bracket. Yes, yes, I hope Dead, F Dead Fs, if you're listening, Dead Fs and Poland, please don't start the match early. <laughs> Please don't start the match early. Nope, not Star Flash. That's the upset of the night, I'm I'm pretty sure. That's definitely the upset of the night. I think and no one expected Poland to beat Star Flash like that in live match. That was crazy. That was the practice game? Yeah, there was just a practice game. Maybe it was a practice game. That would have been funny. That would have been funny. That would have been really funny. Oh my goodness. That would have been absolutely insanely funny. Who? Oh. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Poland is the meme slayer. That was an absolutely wild match. I, I can't believe that happened. This tournament is 13-10. Poland Star Flush gives an awesome game. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, let's not do the intense music right now. Let's uh, let's um, let's not do that one either. Let's go look at some memes before the finale, shall we? Let's see if there's some memes available. But we are one match away from the finale, and what a finale it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Dead Fs versus Poland. I legitimately don't know who's going to win that one. Absolutely no clue who's going to win that one. It's going to be a... Yeah, let's get a poll going. Let's get a poll going. Let's get a poll going while we're waiting here. Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for Poland. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. He's my uh, he's, he's my pick. I just use my pick to win the tournament right now. I gotta be honest. But Deadfs is strong. Deadfs is a powerful adversary. So uh, Poland, if he's gonna he's gonna win this tournament, he has a hell of a challenge in front of him for sure. Oh, for sure, it's gonna be absolutely wild. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. Let's go look at some memes, shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I'm biased as fuck. I love Poland now. That, like that match made me a Poland fan. Like how how can you not be a Poland fan after watching that? That's like beating Star Flash in a live game. That's that's. I mean, as a, as a guy who has beaten Star Flash in the live game, it feels good. <laughs> it feels great. It feels great. 
Alright. Well. <laughs> yes! Hair swap between me and DJs. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love that. That's great. D just donated his hair. Bull D just hairy egg. Let's go. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> this is great. We gotta show us the dangerous when it gets back. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We gotta show that to Deejus. That is a fantastic meme. Absolutely. Oh yes, gods, my capture game is ruined. But what if I were to activate Victory March and use Mextacap? Oh, ho, 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 delightfully devilish, Sammy. <laughs> Fucking steamed hams advanced horse meme. <laughs> That's great. Steamed hams, one of my favorite memes. That's, that was a great one. Does Austria get the chance to invade? Oh my god, it's Austria versus Poland. Holy shit, it's Austria versus Poland! Guys. It's Austria versus Poland. This is the grudge match of the century right here. This is actually crazy. It's a lore match! Oh boy. That is, uh, that is actually pretty crazy. Better get some good memes out of this, ladies and gentlemen. Better get some good memes out of this, for sure. <laughs> Divisio, time for the payback. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's see if there's any donations I missed. Sectotank donated a few bucks. Poland Gaming! Uh, Monster Chief donated five bucks. Dicks out for Deejus and Harambe. Oh, Harambe memes. <laughs> Mononike donated five bucks. Okay, gotta go now and we'll enjoy the vault later. Have a great rest of the tourney, guys, and enjoy Egg Cup, everyone. Uh, <laughs> Sekhnotek on a 2 max Poland versus Dead of Slore is accurate. Yes, indeed. Oh, boy. Austrian painter. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Let Dead of play as Hitler. Oh. Can we get a price pool update? Let me, uh, let me text my tech guy and ask him to update it. Do, do, do. I told him to update. I think the price pool is probably close to like 1300 at this point, so should be pretty good. No, the price pool is not up to date. It's uh, it's gonna get updated soon. Don't don't you worry, guys. I think I think we're closing in on 1300 bucks. So it's gonna be it's 75 percent to the first place and 25 percent to the second place. So the first place winner is gonna take home like 800 bucks or something like that. That's crazy. That's that's the biggest price pool we've had in a while. So that is actually kind of crazy. That is absolutely going to be crazy, so. Let's see, oh, I gotta gray out Star Flash over here. Let's see. Do, 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 There we go. What a crazy, what a crazy tournament it's been tonight. Little bit sad that Chordron and Nightmare ended up in a timeout. That was like a, not a great way to start the tournament, honestly. But it was a great match between them. Deadass versus Toulouse was very one-sided. Deadass kind of stomped him, but Polar versus Grim Guy was very exciting. Star Flash versus Profeta was very exciting. Uh, Chordron versus Deadass was also kind of cool. I liked it. And Polar versus Star Flash. That was match of the night. It might we might still have a better match because this next one is going to be on a wild map, Futuristica. We're going to talk more about it soon. But, uh, yeah, Poland, people screaming, Poland, 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 Poland. Chad is really behind Poland right now. Oh, my God, loving the energy, guys. Loving the energy. 81, 76. Okay, no, wait, it's going down. 
73%, 72% rooting for Poland. Oh my goodness. Be careful, guys. By, by the way, if everyone's spamming Poland, be a little careful that the spam filter doesn't ban you. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't spam like tons. I, I love the energy. I love the energy. I, I love the energy, but be careful. YouTube doesn't like YouTube might think you're spam bots. <laughs> careful. <laughs> Who was Grim Guy? Do we really want to reveal Grim Guy's identity? Wouldn't that kill a bit of the mystery? I think he was supposed to reveal this identity on this tournament, but I was like, wouldn't that kind of remove the mystery of Grim Guy? No. <laughs> Poland is the upset king, taking both down both Inkagark and Starflash. Yes, yes indeed. Poland and Grim Guy are the same person. That's why he was able to beat him so easily. This is literally two of the most overpowered Sims in Civ 5 going head to head. Yeah, Poland and Austria are bonkers in Civ 5. They're really strong. Baptized in fire, 40 to 1. Spirits of Spartans, death and glory. Oh yeah. If I I swear to God, guys, if I didn't if it didn't mean that I got copyright striked, I would have put on Sabaton. I would have put on um I would have put on the freaking song. You know which one. So uh I would have absolutely put it on. Doodle doodle doo, doo. Uh, so when will it start? Um, I put on a timer. I said that Poland should get at least a 10 minute break. Um, we've currently been on an 8 minute break right now. They were the Panzer Elite, born to retreat and never retreat. Dude, that's a great song too. I love that one. That's a great one. Uh, Advanced Force Music is not copyrighted, luckily. Not yet, at least. But uh, I can't put on Sabaton, sadly. That would get the whole stream demonetized. <laughs> But, uh, I would if I could. I would if I could. If if there was a royalty-free cover, I could put it on, but I would need to find one. That takes a little while. When the winged two stars arrive! Yeah, I know, right? It's such a good song. I love it. It's a great one. Yeah, if I, if I can find a royalty-free cover, I could play it, but I would need to ensure that it's royalty-free. Some people put royalty-free in the description, and they don't really mean it, so... That's not great. So, uh, yeah. So let's see. Do -do -do. Manx cover. I could play it. Yeah, I do have a guitar actually. I don't know how to play that song though. So I don't. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Legally distinct Sabaton. Yeah, into the fatherland and the Polish arm. Poland is a very cool nation, to be honest. Poland has a really cool history. A lot of really badass. The winged bazaars are amazing. The Giga Chads of history. The song formerly known as Sabaton, where they changed it? Oh, maybe they did. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I don't have time to find the covers, so. <laughs> Play Grimm's theme with random sounds. If someone sends it to me, and they can ensure it's not copyrighted, then I will. But I'm guessing we can take a look at the we can take a look at the map that they're gonna play on. I'm assuming they have the game played. Hi there, Gigi's. What up? What up? Ah. So, uh, yeah, we're about to enter the finals here. I'm gonna take a quick piss break before we do that. I'm just gonna bring up the map. So, um, that match was wild, man. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the match of the day. That was, that was nutty. Uh, that was nutty. Also, Aegis, you do realize that we have Austria versus Poland in the finals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> There you go. That's uh, <laughs> that's that's one hell of a matchup, I gotta say. Oh yeah, you know, U.S. versus China the first time. And yeah. <laughs> All right, let me bring up the maps. I'm guessing they have uh, the players upgraded there. Well, I don't know. No, they haven't. Poland's taking a break. He said he nearly had a heart attack, Alex. I yeah. yeah okay, I'll give him give him a bit more. Give him a bit more. Um, but yeah. Uh, you could entertain the chat a bit, Deej. Yeah, sure. And uh, I'll Deej go take a piss and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Damn, Poland's pulling in 73% for the for the rooting. Damn. I, I mean, he's an underdog, I'm not gonna lie. Should, what, what batter meme did I miss? It thought it was pretty damn good. I hope so. But, uh, man, DeadFS, though, he's well rested. Poland, I love the dude. 
but he's, he's coming off a really hard match, really long match. And right in a row, he deserves, he really deserves like a 10 to 15 minute break. This stuff, your heart's racing, your eyes get strained. Uh, I feel for the dude, but oh, I'm looking forward to this so much. And this is my favorite map of the tournament, Futuristica. I'm looking forward to it the most. Uh, B-Copter's overpowered. Uh, just, oh, uh, looking forward to it a lot. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Dead FS, I, I, I gotta say, is probably the favorite to start this off with, but I still think it'll be a, a good match. But uh, what do I think Missile play? I don't think Missiles are that great on this map, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it takes, it's 12k to even buy one. An initial lock is feasible, but you're also vulnerable in that middle base over there. You build the missiles, you're vulnerable from attack from both sides, and the missiles might just die to tanks at that point. Uh, I, don't, I don't think missiles are very viable on that map, to be perfectly honest. What was the biggest baboon moment of tonight? Uh, honestly, there's been a lot of solid play. I haven't really seen any too many blatant mistakes. Maybe it was the HQ cap from Poland not capping the HQ, but he still won. That's the thing. And I went back on the replay of this last match on my break a little bit. I think he also had another possibility capturing the lab and winning that. So I think twice Poland is mixed in HQ cap. And he still won both games, so it didn't really matter in the end anyway. Yeah, the biggest bad move. Oh, you're right. Not pausing. That was the biggest bad move. I don't know what the hell that shit was. I mean, we missed some early momentum. Uh, but I also learned that Poland practiced that last map extensively. Practice matters a lot in this game. He had some lines set up for that map. He was ready to go, ready to go roll. Um, so he had a lot of contingency plans. He, he practiced well. It comes down to practice, a lot of this is muscle memory. You get ready for the game. You have your first five to six turns planned out. You save a bunch of time afterward. Um, so shit makes you go in the reboot camp. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a close game, but yeah, you can. <laughs> hey! Hey, I heard that. Hey, oh, shit, he hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a certified reboot camp master. Oh, I'll kick Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, reboot camp is coming out soon. That's very true. Are you, you yeah, know, you're one gonna... player versus one player, apparently. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love the, gotta love the, the one versus one online play. <laughs> That's kind of kind of kind of disappointing to be honest, but uh, oh well. All right, so um, yeah, Deejus, we gotta show you a meme. All right, yeah, I'm hearing a lot about this adder meme. You're gonna like it. Okay, that's <laughs> the dedicated to you. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's that nails it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I, he still wouldn't, too. That's the thing, you know? More power to you. If yep. he can pull it off. Oh, you got okay. you got to see this one, too. The hair, they hair swapped us. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, my. Look at that full head of hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be an edited highlights video for this event? Yeah, if I could get my editor to do it, I could, yeah. It'd be, uh, be cool there to do a bit a of a recap. Though, because this is, uh, what are we at, six hours now? We have been streaming for six hours and 47 minutes, so. Jesus this finals, Christ. I'm expecting seven, it seven to take hours. maybe an hour, so yeah, it's gonna be a seven hour stream. Long stream. Seven, seven, seven and a half. But that, but that, that yeah. match right there kind of like, it, it kind of energized me. I'm gonna be complete. It did, it did. I usually am like faded. Yeah, like, I'm usually uh, very uh, dead by the time the finals But that out. one, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Joel, maybe it's also we started an hour earlier than normally did. I'm, yes. I'm feeling Yeah, I, I, that was very deliberate for me, yeah, that we started one hour earlier. That's does mean, you know, we're not to stream. Well, not, I, I, I won't have to stream until the sun's out, at least. So. But, um. I was still in chat, they saved the best map for last. This is my favorite map of the tournament. This one is um, wild. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, try to sing so missiles. Try to sing missiles because there is actually opportunities yeah. for missile airport lock, but it's it's not something you do unless you're greatly ahead. Um, exactly. It's like the Black Boat and the Torch Red vs. Dead FS. It's a big investment. It can help out later, but you lose a lot of momentum. And even worse than a black boat, because it costs 12k rather than 7.5. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not, you're not gonna... You wouldn't see a serious missile on this game. 
If someone's no. ahead and they want to flex, maybe we'll see a missile, but I, I just can't see a missile in this game. Yeah. It just... One thing, as though... As close as the airport is to the, the base. There's some very nasty recon openers on this map. Because mm -hmm. the roads are everywhere. And the yeah, recons can go roads. wild. And I was playing against base dangerously. He's pretty strong. He's surprisingly good in live, too. And uh, he opened up... Like, oh, yeah, two... I watched that game. Yeah, the yeah. one where it's like, oh, he missed the move. Yeah. <laughs> Inkagark was like, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. I was like, Inkagark, what does I see? He's like, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. I was so fucking pissed. I, was, I, sent, I DM'd him after. I was like, what was the move? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I could have base locked him. But I didn't, I didn't see it, so... It's probably not too hard to base lock in the center right there, the center base near the HQ. That's why you cannot afford a missile. Hell, you're trying to survive there in the first place. You put a missile for a turn, you're just asking to get destroyed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, there are also comm towers on this map, but they're locked behind pipes. Can't really see it on this preview right here, but theoretically, if you want to build an artillery and you can get the comm tower, I don't think either player is going to do it. Um, I, would, yeah. I would be surprised. Um... Now, what I can actually do, both players have locked in their COs. Let me just, uh, we can talk about the matchup, actually. So, let me check. E Poland is, uh, let me just go back and see. Uh, okay, so we have, uh, let's see. So, there we go. I gotta find that up. Yeah, so Poland is, uh, he's gonna play, he's gonna play Max. And, uh, Dead Ups wow. is going to play, where is Dead Ups? Find Dead Ups. They go down. Dead ups, dead ups, dead ups, dead ups. There we go. And now? he's gonna play now. So we're gonna we're gonna get Max versus Nell here. So uh Poland is Max. Uh Poland is Max, Dead Ups is now. So that is well, I'd say Poland has a great shot here, honestly. That's what I'm saying the Max, I mean well we saw what happened Star Flash and Profeta, so you can't Yes, so we're gonna yeah, knock him for that. But I love Max on this map. I loved Max on the other map. Yes. There's no artillery in this map. You're never gonna see an artillery, so why not just go Max? Yeah, exactly. So, um, hmm. where is Nell? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. No, it's not on the right hand side. Oh well. Yeah. So we're gonna have Max versus Nell. That's gonna be uh, again. There is, as we saw with Star Flash, Nell can be terrifying in life if you can. Like, Starflash played perfectly as Nell, I'd say, in this match against Profeta. That was exactly yeah. how you're supposed to play now. If he played Max instead of Nell, it would have made a difference. No, yeah. So, uh, so that's, uh... So that's a thing that, you know, can come back to... I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but, um... I, 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 I do actually favor... I do actually favor, um, Poland going into this. Not gonna lie. I... Even though, even he though I... The, uh, the thing is, DeadFS has been well-rested. Yeah, has that's the, the thing. Poland might, Poland might still be... Poland might still be utterly demolished, actually. Like, after he that. He got his 15 minutes, so there's something, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Just link you the game. Okay, cool. Let's go into it. Uh, let's see. No here. You can talk about the map uh, briefly, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just uh, close this map real quick. Yeah, I gotta resize it anyway, so this is fine. Let's see. Where's the map? There we go. Close that. And there's the match. But yeah, I mean, the fact that Poland has only had 15 minutes, that could, could be about 15 minutes should be enough, but it also might not be. Yeah, here we go. It's Snell versus Max. Good thing they didn't yeah. So this this map is absolutely wild, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Oh wait, are they starting? I told them not to. Okay. This is pause. Oh, the infantry just starts there. Okay, I was. I was yeah, yeah, it's the first turn. Uh, yeah, it's the, the yeah. Uh, that's they've done that for the first turn. I was like, holy shit! Don't don't tell me they've started without our permission. <laughs> uh, yeah. Again? Oh, f that. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I think that was. Star Flash and Poland are just like so wild. They just they caught you can't they probably couldn't stop themselves. They're like like oh my god I gotta go I gotta go I gotta play man I gotta play can't wait. There we go. All right. Um. So yeah, Poland definitely. I think we can agree as the CO advantage for sure. Yeah. But um. Dead ups. I mean they're both in the roughly in the same time zone too. So they there's no advantages yeah. there either. But uh, yeah, I do believe we can probably, you can tell them to go. 
Alright, I'll, I'll give him the bat signal. Let's give him the bat. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you may tell them to go. Ladies and gentlemen, right, we are about to, to witness the finals of the Egg Cup. Whoever wins this one will take home, I think, around $800. It's pretty huge. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money on the line right now. A lot of money on the line right now. This is going to be absolutely wild. Let me give you the mouse Oof. mac he just. There we go. I'm wondering if either of them has practiced this match. Poland practice last round paid off. He practiced that last map extensively, from what I understand. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully, the, I mean, it's a little cocky to prepare for the finals because a little bit, a little bit. Do what do you focus on? You know, do you expect to reach the finals? Exactly. Um, so I'm not sure if either of them have prepared for this map, but we'll see. Yeah. Going for the early, look at notice so far, Poland going early for the airport, not yep. going for this early base. It's a risky play, it can, it can pay off. Bottlecopter Shark, crazy strong. I, I like it because, look at that chain right He has there. a good chain there, yeah. And getting Bottlecopters out early is so good on this map. But um, it can also, like, Dead Fs could open Recon and like really pressure this. Uh, there's, there's very the good. It would good be play. too late to reach. Uh, I, I, I don't like the recon pressuring in the middle. Usually, if you want to build a recon, you pressure on the sides of here. Because if you go in the middle, this recon's got to go around here. By that time, you're gonna have a tank. Mm. I'm sure. like pulling starts so far better. Yeah, let me, uh, let me just check the seventy-one percent rooting for Poland. Twenty-one. Yeah, now. Yeah. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. After that match, how could they not? How could they not? How could they not? All right. So, Poland, dead ass. Max versus Nell. It's uh, it's gonna be tough for dead ass to 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 fight. Early recon. Oh, there we go. There we go. Early recon. What can it do? It cannot interrupt that. An early early Honestly, recon on this early recon on this weak side too. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that early recon. In that spot, at least. It's a tricky one. I might have gone for it in this corner over here. Mm. And then stop this, like... Mm. But, you know, we'll see what works. And then we're getting another recon in the middle, so we're getting dueling recon. So, honestly, if you're, if you're both doing it, then it's not that, that bad. Yeah, but that is doing a recon on a strong side, though. So that's, uh... Or, sorry, no, no, they're both doing it on the no, side. No, no, they're, they're mirroring. Yeah, they're mirroring. Damn. I'm both going for the airports early, too. So, uh, it, recons are stronger typically in mixed base because you're going to have less funds and more bases. Yes, um, for sure. Alright. And that, this recon over here can just, just plop itself on this. and. Uh, that's what, yeah. Yeah, that's, I think, yep. That's what he's doing. Oh, that's oh, what he's yeah, doing. Yeah. He's playing this well. The recon is there. It's, uh, it's being very annoying. It's a max recon too, so it hurts. It hurts. Oh, yeah. It does a lot of damage to those infantry. And uh, that us probably will be first. Can he build a tank? Yeah, he can build a tank on the right-hand side and still build infantry. Scott, you'll have... Um, yeah, he can build one right here. Yeah. And then he can capture this without worry, because if he does it, then this recon's going to attack here. There's yeah. the funny part about the tank. Kill. Yeah, here's the funny Put thing right about the, the tank, though. If you look, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. The tank can actually not strike the city from base. It's just three forest tiles here. Yeah. And point. one, two, three, four. Yeah, he can strike this city. But can, it, yeah, exactly. He can strike that. So, but not here. And that's deceptively like that. You'd think that this is within reinforcement range, but it's not. And uh, this is this can really take you off guard. So we'll see what Dev decides to do here. I'm also, oh, probably he can a also, bottom right tank. He'll probably interrupt. I, I will imagine he probably interrupts this. Yeah, that here. seemed a little reckless over there by. Uh, a little bit reckless. Yeah. Poland. I don't know why you want to conserve your infantry. That's just allowing a free hit. Yeah. And a free kill if he wants to use the combination of these two together. I don't I don't like that move by Poland. Yeah, for sure. So that's a, a head scratcher. A little bit, but oh well. <laughs> maybe he's hoping uh, he's oh I don't know. Maybe nah that is the one with luck, so yeah, I don't I don't see this one. This is a weird one. This guy this will just get destroyed now, I think. Exactly, it's it's free, it's free. It's a free, free dude. Yeah, and here comes the tank out of dead Fs as well. So can, the recon can still chill on that one more turn. Yeah, for sure. And it can not. It can it can plop on here if you so choose. Oh, interesting. Dedefs so actually, yeah, Dedefs goes for the cap instead of killing the infantry. I guess that's okay. 
it's kind of it's annoying because it's recon first attack from here then one two three four five six seven will interrupt this as well Ooh, yeah so uh that's Although, not pulling to however a, pulling to get a battle copter, battle copter. yeah battle copter battle it's copter, gonna build a battle copter battle copter tree it's infantry for sure copter. and that's gonna ward away the recon the battle copter i also think one two three four five six well it doesn't reach the city but it can strike anything below it i guess so that's good yeah i think you'll build a battle copter yeah it's a good one right there okay. day five rolls in for poland Took a little shot there, but it's not the end of the world. It's fine. He'll be okay. You might cycle this one out. I would do that. Yeah, send it back. Cap. Send it back to be repaired. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah. And he has the bottle. Yeah. Oh, no, he just, Here comes the bottle just, uh, hmm. Oh, nice. I like this. Okay, this is a cute it. play right here. Using the recon to block the city. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mel cannot afford a copter yet. No, it's actually pretty. I guess that's uh that might be a turn player one advantage, a player two advantage actually. Well, right. Nell did get the first tank. Right, right, right. So there's, there's, you know, it's, a, it's an equal, it's a, a practice to that. But yeah, Poland can spam out. He can continue spamming Bottlecopter three infantry for like for two more turns if he wants to, but until Dedovs gets yeah. the gets the Amtire into the center. And yeah, it's. Uh, or, it's no, he can't now because he's he's only got 10k. So oh, next yeah. turn he's going to be building a tank to him. Yeah, tank to infantry. Yeah. But the turn after that he will. For if sure. He so chooses. Yeah. So I'm guessing that is probably he can't build an empire though unless he wants to base skip. So, so actually kind I... of. Yeah, I don't know. Do, so that's the question: Does Dedos build an empire and base skips an infantry? I would maybe do that. I would maybe do that. These, these max battlecopters are terrifying. They are. So maybe he has no choice but to do that. Actually. So we'll see. We'll see what he decides to do. If he does, then let's recon over here. Oh my god. Free hit on this <laughs> the re right recon there, could right? also just go sit on the airport. It could, <laughs> it yeah. Could go he sit on the airport. You might just attack him here, though. That could also be Stop better. That. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, get the infantry down might be better. Oh, he pulls his... Yeah, he withdrew. Okay, attack kills the... Oh, Poland did not pull his infantry back. Interesting. All right. Okay, so he's Yeah, tank comes that. out. Yeah, he needs the tank. He can't build the Empire. He needs the tank presence. He needs, he needs the tank to ward away the recon. He get he understands that. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So we'll see what this battle corpse has so many directions it can go in right now, which is why it's so scary. Like dead of spilled Empire here, Battle Corpter just goes up here. Bill Santire here, Battle Corpter just goes here. Yeah. So annoying. But um he's gotta be careful here though. Um doesn't want to lose too many infantry. It's it's a tree based map, but you still gotta try and conserve as many infantry as possible. Yeah. Opens some stuff up to be interrupted here, unless he unless he want to bring the battlecopter down. Could put the I... battlecopter here and get the city. Actually, that's a possibility. And he, if he does do that, the, his, his infantry is hanging. Yeah, yeah. He probably needs to bring the battlecopter up here. That forces that up to build an empire here next turn. Which means, oh, oh, <laughs> I like HQ. it. I like it. Right. Yeah. Goes on the Why HQ. Not? That's a cute. There's a cute play. Cute play. I like it. That ups can attack it. It'll. Have some it won't save it from the tank. And but. maybe either a tank from the top right or top left. For sure. Probably from the top left to reinforce his battle copter. I yeah, assume. focus on this. Uh, he needs to, against Nell, he wants to try and like punch early and fast. But Poland, we've seen, he's he, he's not afraid to go on the attack. So that's exactly what he wants to do as Max. So I'm, I think he's playing this. He's opening pretty strongly here to begin with. So I think that's good. Oh, he did go top right. Okay. Yeah, tank in the top right. Here we go. Day seven rolls in for Dedovs. Let's see what he decides to do. He's a recon here. He, needs, he has to build an Antire this turn, surely. Like He does. It's forced. Has to. Antire or Copter, but more likely Antire. Yeah. So, yeah, here comes the interrupt, as I predicted. Of course, Dedovs is going to have a slight edge in these infantry engagements. Not a big one, but a slight one. Um, not big enough to the point where I'd say it has a huge advantage, but it does add up in continued skirmishes. So, um, he has a tank. It's a little bit out of position. Okay, well, goes goes for the goes goes for the recon. I agree. I might, he might actually bring some Regan's recon back to engage in some recon on recon violence right here. Nah, he's probably gonna interrupt that cap. I would assume one of the two caps. Probably a good and idea. Use an anti and then just sack the yeah yeah the entire will ward the recon away so or that we will guard exactly. the recon so that's that's probably what he's gonna do I think. That's what I would expect at least. Yep. Yep, he does. But he got a five. 
Mm. So he can capture it in two turns unless the Poland needs a tank. He can surround the recon if he wants to. <laughs> he might do that, actually. <laughs> but nah, that Fs wants to go for the properties. Makes sense. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, Dedev's doing a good job warding away Poland's early aggression, and he's playing playing this correctly, I'd say. Yeah, pretty even so far. I'm not seeing too many uh, nope. ways to exploit. Yeah, I don't know. I like putting the recon on the HQ. I don't really know how much it accomplished, honestly. Uh, it was a cute move, but it didn't stop this tank from hitting him. I think it, it basically guaranteed this cap over here, though, I guess. Yeah, because this did. one HP infantry... I don't know where it would have gone otherwise. It would have attacked this infantry from the forest. Mm -hmm. Or or sat on the, uh, the the airport, but he didn't build a copter anyway, so that would have been useless. For sure, for sure. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Although if I'm Poland, I'm probably gonna this is gonna stop capping an attack. Bring this to cap. Bring the tank stream in. Yes. Whoever can like. And force... he's gonna have 14k, which is a you know interesting number to have because you want to build. Two tanks and infantry, but you can't that's, afford that. That's the he, dream, yeah. Hell no, he's not buying an artillery, so it might be a sea of base skip. Gotta be careful here, though. Dedef's gonna take a lot of the properties on this side right here. Yeah. So, um, he's got a tank rolling in as well. Paul's gotta be careful so that he... forces at the bottom. Yeah, if Dedef brings an, an, uh, brings an anti up, he can also airport block Poland, which is kind of scary. So you gotta be careful that doesn't happen. All right, Poland's turn rolls in. 14,000 in the bank. Not enough to build two tanks unless he wants the base skip. Um, so, if he attacks the copter here, on the recon, yes, he can. Mm. He can maybe. Well, I don't know how much damage that would do, but there might be a blocking mechanism over here where he can kill the recon and block with this recon. Maybe. And then move an infantry in front of. Uh, although he does have this tank over here. He does have the tank. So right. that's, oh, the tank doesn't reach very far though. It does not actually. So if he can, although if he can kill the recon, he can place. Yeah, does the recon make it, make it, yeah, no, the recon doesn't make it. The recon it, does block, I don't know, it's, it's too, it's probably not worth it. But he, he did do the thing he should have done over here, he did interrupt like I, I recommended, so that's, that's a good move. Yep. And he should start a tank chain going, honestly, I would, I would probably base skip, uh, build a tank here, build a tank here, and then just, yep. oh, he is. Poland goes, oh, he does do it, but it's that, oh, no, he is doing it, he's doing it, he just, yep, he's doing beautiful. it, beautiful, okay. beautiful, that, I think that battle quarter is safe. I, yeah, because of these, uh, because there's cool. forest tiles here. He can't go around. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, he can't. He can't okay. break. He yeah. can't. Yeah, it's a made beautiful it play made by Bolin. and he saw it. Good work. This plays really well. So, well done, great, Greatly well spotted. Done. Mm -mm. Another battle. Build a copter. I don't like that though. I don't like that. Yeah, Dedefs is definitely building on tire here this turn. So, so yes. my, oh, this this battle copter is gonna get zoned out. He's got the perfect amount, too. He's got 16k. That's one anti-air, one tank, one infantry. Yeah. Easy I deal. think maybe a, an... Oh, what? Recon? Huh? <laughs> I mean, uh, sure. Uh, Dedef's, Dedef's I does, honestly don't hate it. Dedef's doesn't actually, want to strike actually, it. Actually, you know what? I like that recon. Yeah? Because it's going to put some pressure on this over here, and it's completely covered by the copter. Yeah. And it, all there is is infantry over here. All there is is infantry over here in a tank. I like the recon. I... <laughs> if he was going to not go two tank, going copter recon is probably the play. Although he's, he ended up base skipping anyway, so like... Yeah, maybe a mech would have been a better play, honestly. I don't know. I don't like mechs on this map, though. No, they're bad, but... I like the recon. Yeah. Okay, Dedef's is gonna get... Um, pull him and interrupt this. He probably will. I would be surprised if Dedef does not build Empire. He has to. He has to build Empire this turn. He has no choice. Question is, where do you build it, though? Because this copter could very easily just go to the right over here and interrupt this cat. Yeah, and then, and then he has to build a third in Empire. <laughs> yeah, that's, exactly. That's so rough. He's, he's making oh. good use of the... Uh... Oh, okay. All right, Dedef's interesting. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess he doesn't have tanks here, so why not? Yeah. No, he definitely needs to build two tanks and then uh, infantry. You think he's gonna build two tanks? I think he's gonna build anti-air tank infantry, probably. We'll see. Another anti-air? Oh, 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 yeah, down here. Down he's, here. He's Otherwise, that copter is just gonna zone out all of his troops. Um, it's tough. Or his own copter. No, um, if he does his own copter, he has the base gift, though. That's the thing. Yep. Uh, MX MXN donated 250 of something. I have no idea if this is a good currency, <laughs> but thank you for the 250 MXN. I have no idea. 
What is this? But thank you. Mm, Best Mexican. of luck for me. It might, might be the Mexican dollar. It's the meme. The Mexican dollar meme. Um, uh, okay. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Clive. Mm -mm. All right, that is thinking. Let's... Second. Yep, he's building a tank. Let's see if the umpire comes out. She's debating which side to build. Yeah, he's, he's really debating should left side or right side. Either whatever side he builds, builds it on is where the copter will go. So he has to decide which side he wants the battle copter on, basically. I'm expecting to see it on the right side because. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, honestly, there's no right answer. It could be either. He does have the umpire here, so if he builds an umpire yeah, here, he can, can kind of. Yeah. But there's a lot of forest and shit. Oh yeah. This is not a good map for Antire whatsoever. You kind of just want to do copters if you can. But he's doing some decent damage to a Poland's uh, infantry. Not quite killing them, but weakening them. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, it was Mexican pesos. <laughs> so it was like th uh -oh, 30 bucks. Well, there's no team there, so. <laughs> I know, right? It's weird. Oh. Why is my name red? I don't know, man. But yeah, Dedos is thinking, thinking hard. It's a big decision. As you should. On tire here or on tire here? He's thinking hard. Maybe you should. Honestly, go. he should have just made up his mind. Now he's ticking down the clock, and we saw how important it can be later on. It can be very tough. This is a tree-based map, so timer is even more important. So we'll see. Poland might be on me. Might have a big advantage over Dedos in the fact that he just plays really quickly. He doesn't play quite as quickly as Star Flash, but I say Poland's the second quickest player. Fastest player in this tournament. Probably. If Star Flash is like 100%, Poland's like 80% <laughs> in terms of like speed. So, that yeah, I can't think of anyone else who, who plays quicker. No, the rest of the players have taken their sweet time. <laughs> so, but we'll see. Man, we'll see. I, I, I don't know if I like that tank because I would have built a copter. This yeah, time. the cap copter might have been much better Protect for this. that up here. Much better, but. Put some thread on this tank. He probably has buyer's regret at this point, right? Buyers I think so too. Yeah, like I think I think you really wanted. Coverage. I think you really wanted that on fire. No, that really that copter, yeah. Okay, shows the uh, the left side, so we can bet your ball sack. This thing is going over here. He's taking a lot of time. I'm oh no, there's the umpire. There's the umpire. Yeah, it's on, it's on the left. That's what I'm saying. On the left. Yeah, that was. He spent a lot of time so thinking on this turn. Is, this, is, this is gonna happen. That that is dead. Yeah, For it is. Sure. It is. Dead it's, he just gave that property away. Yeah. So that battle copter. You're going to see a tank down here. Most likely. This yeah. copter's going to flee over here. Mm -hmm. It's. I'm, oh. or, or maybe he's going to use the recon instead. Well, the entire he can probably go south with the battle copter and take a. Yeah. He could. Yeah. He can. You can get one free hit off on. And this, then just this retreat like, to yeah. the right when the entire begins to chase you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So eat a, eat a free dude. Just retreat with the infantry and eat some free dudes while you can. Yeah. Probably smart, I imagine. No grit theme. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Oh, Only I grit theme. <laughs> ah, no theme. That'll, that'll do. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what Poln's gonna do here. He's he's really good at seeing moves. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this guy. Yeah, I was gonna go for the full HP. If and, the not the only top. that, not only does he eat the free dude, but he also blocks the capture for a turn. Yeah. So, very solid move by Poland right here. I think the early Battlecopter spam is serving him very well here. It is. Um, I like the Battlecopter. I didn't like it at first, but with the recon, it is nice. It yeah, is nice, uh, this recon fire. has free reign. He's taking some shots on the infantry, too. Yeah, keeping the mountain. This this anti is not going to... Yeah, keep not... away from the anti though. Yeah. Whatever, the anti does not don't, don't sack that infantry. To and at least six Poland, what's, what's, what's a huge advantage that Poland has here is that he doesn't have to calculate... He does, he's not up against the movement CEO. He doesn't have to take into account that the Empire will suddenly move one extra. And that's exactly. that's huge for planning. That is so huge for planning. It, it is like whenever you have to move plan around movement powers, it just it makes you it's like you have to think three times as hard. It's like what if? What if I you have to look at their power meter? You have to be like, how likely are they to get their normal power this turn? Will he reach my and if he reaches your your, your battle copter with his Empire, that's really bad. Oh I like this move here from Poland too. Is it not reach? Oh, he does, but he can put his infantry here, I guess. Yeah, he can put his infantry. That's of course, he might want to cap, but it might be better to put it here, honestly. Well, it's too late now. He's got it. Oh, no, he Ooh, does neither of those things. The, um... <laughs> oh, never mind. There we go. Mm. <laughs> he interrupted his own cap. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, that's... I don't know. 
I think uh, he's gonna get this one anyway, though, so it may not. Yeah. Yeah. He has erotic fun plays, this pulling guy. I like him. Yeah, he, he really does. He, he, he Where does. Where's the copter on the left go, though? He might. I think it, it, might, it, it has to retreat behind the woods, I think. I would think it does, because if you go down here, then it's gonna get sandwiched by this. It's gonna go down. This is gonna go up. And then you're gonna have both copters in this downward area. You wanna split them up. Yeah. Yeah, which is exactly what he's doing. He needs to build a tank over there, I would assume. He needs to build a tank to have some... Oh, camping. Interesting. Ballsy. That's ambitious, although if he gets a power, he will be able to... Um, True. ...to hit it. Yeah, the first power could be huge here. Absolutely huge. Could. He could wipe he out some Empire. He could wipe out some Empire. Wipe out some tanks. He could, he could be in a very... I, I'm liking Poland's tank. position quite a lot. I, I'm liking his position as well. He needs to build a tank up here. He needs to build a tank in the middle. He already did that. He needs to build an infantry over here. And he's That's what he's doing. There, yeah. He's doing that exactly. So, you, yeah. That he's was... Fine. He's Perfect. in a really yeah, good speed. Yeah. He's in a good spot right now. And that max Can't. force is... If I'm Poland right now, I'm happy with my position. Yep. Feeling good. Feeling good. So this is and uh, we're at day eight. So still, still a lot of left to go. Both players are equal on time, equal on unit count. Poland's slightly ahead in value. Still very even, but Poland's positioning is definitely superior to the devs at this point. And you will have an income advantage because he's denying this one property over here. Fuck off, Hachi theme. There you go. <laughs> Hachi <laughs> hater alert. <laughs> Not for the finals. <laughs> uh. So yeah, let's we'll see what Dedevs decides to do here. Takes out an infantry. I guess that's kind of a free free hit. Because you see, this tank cannot reach. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can't, well, can't, yeah, he won't get the with, tank. With the power, can it? Oh, no. Oh, I power. don't think so. I don't think so. The thing is, if you bring this anti-air over here, this copter... Whoosh. Yes. Oh, he built a copter though, so he's got perfect coverage. There we go, yeah. There you go. The, the, the copter. I was just about to recommend him building a copter. Smart move. Almost forced, to be perfectly honest. Yes, absolutely. Um, this is a battlecopter dominated map. They're amazing really here. You're right, Olaf's team has not played all stream. You're right about that, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for lucky. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No, no ego theme, that's all I ask. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, Sturm's team played once. So yeah, yeah, Poland is doing a good job, like, warding away this. Of course, the, the Empire will come in this turn. Of course, Dedevs has to be super careful, because one max force, and that Empire can be dead. Wiped it out. And then the Battlecopter has free reign, so Dedevs is in a tricky position here. Really? Where he has to play around. If Poland's a little Poland's smart now. He'll sit on this max force until he gets out something out of it, forcing that to calculate around it. I hate it when people do that. Sometimes it's almost more powerful wow, to sit on your he's power. Being super passive with that thing. Yeah, he's, sc he's scared. He's, I think that is is very scared of max force. A little bit too scared, maybe. Now you can just pull off this tank on this city right here, mm -hmm. and. uh... You can still reach, but a plane's attacking without a comm tower up to a max tank on the city. Ain't gonna be pretty. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So he builds infantry. Infantry. Infantry? Oh, yeah. Battle he built yeah. a copter. Three so. co yeah, three infantry copter. That's, that's reasonably smart. Poland doesn't have any anti So he'll need to get some anti out. Um, his battle copters are not really in position to zone this out, so... Or maybe he just can build another battle battlecopter. Could build another battlecopter. Ah, he's got to be careful here, though. Be careful, though. He's got 18k, which is perfect. Tank, copter. Yeah, but look at Yeah, if but he needs to be careful because one, two, three, four, five, six. This entire is very close to zoning out his airport right now. Dedevs just he won't be able to get it this turn though. The tank not this turn, but Dedevs can push up here now, trying to take out these infantry and then place an entire in range of this airport. So he's got to be careful. Possibility. I don't see it happening because it's super close to the base. I'm expecting a copter to tank double in for this turn. Uh, question is, where is he going to build the tank? Mm. Ooh. Oh, uh. okay. <laughs> Join caps. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Uh, I guess right. the Empire wants to attack the Bottlecopter and 
mean, he's not gonna interrupt it with the infantry unless he brings in the tanks, so that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't agree with that move right there. A little reckless. He's ahead right now, and maybe it's getting into his head. He's ahead, so he can sack a Bottlecopter, but you kind of want to, when you're ahead, you want to get more ahead. <laughs> yeah, the anti can attack from the city over here and have pretty good defense. Yeah. Oh, okay, even goes for the city. Oh, okay, Poland. Getting a little, uh, getting a little feisty for? now, are we? Uh, is he yes. trying to get it? Is he trying to get his max force? That might be it. What is he gonna accomplish with that though? He can't get the umpire, so unless he goes. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he's not gonna get the umpire. That has no. a. No, he's not gonna pop it. I think Poland is just being a little reckless here. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's gotta be careful. Lucky Star might come in next turn too. So uh, if he's not cautious, it's gonna hurt. Okay, he's doing it. Ooh. You see, no, he's not. He's not popping Mac Force this turn. I refuse to believe that. He's gonna bring this tank up here, kill off that, bring this copter up here, maybe. Maybe. Could hmm. be the case. I don't know. I don't. I don't like this last turn by him. He was doing yes, very well. Yeah, he was doing turn. very well. Now he's being a little fight overly feisty against that. I think his nerves may be getting the better of him, possibly. Yeah. But we'll see. It's going to be a crucial turn here. That being said, Deaders can be slightly ahead and still lose due to Max Force. So it's such it's oh, yeah, it's a sure. much better power. It's a much better oh, power. Sure. So it's uh, based movement bonus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's disgusting. It, uh, it, it's almost impossible to beat. Well, we'll see. Deaders is strong, so. But Poland's thinking hard right now. I think he, he these two moves seem very reckless from him. He builds another Bottlecopter as he should. Bottlecopter, infantry, infantry. Is he gonna bait? No. He built oh, bot oh, did he build Bottlecopter tank? Yeah, he's doing two yeah. tanks. He's doing yeah. one tank copter to him. Yeah. The, the typical 18k. It's a good, it's a good, um, yeah, it's a good build order. So I'm curious whether or not that was gonna pop Lucky Star next turn. Is there some good. I don't think maybe Lucky Star wouldn't be that great next turn. He doesn't have that this many. Copter probably gonna go over to the right. I think so. Force too. another anti air. Yeah, and it will be protecting this recon next turn if the yep, recon yep, chooses yep, to. There yep, we go, there we go. go, there we go. Now, the if that is possibly, if if that is Paul Lucky Star, she could potentially kill the Bottlecopter with infantry. That is also true. He will get two infantry hits off on that. Yeah, with 60 luck, average three HP damage. So can potentially, if he's average luck, six HP of damage with the Bottlecopter. If he's unlucky, he could do no <laughs> damage. If he's lucky, he could kill it. So it could go in either which direction. But yeah, I think Poland is anticipating the uh, the lucky star coming in here, so he's falling back. Mm -hmm. So, but he's gonna. I don't actually looking at his position. I don't actually hate this move that much because yeah, it's not that bad anymore. Now, no, seeing what he's doing, yeah, he will kill the copter. But the tank and the anti-air, he has no backup units. He built an infantry last turn, so actually, yes. it's not a bad move. Yeah. I still think this move is dumb, though. I'm this, yeah, he, he could have retreated that tank, sense. I'm pretty sure. That didn't make any sense. He could have absolutely retreated that tank. Shut up, Rachel. There we go. So, um... Okay. That is almost killing the recon. Lucky Star is ready. Don't think he's gonna pop it. I'd be surprised if he pops it. I think he's saving it for the next the turn. But is, Max Force is now ready. This copter. Ooh, yes, plus, yeah. Plus one. That could be good. Well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's not. It's, it's not, not in range. Be... Not max force. If he gets max blast, but he doesn't. He won't get max blast. But um, he could be. actually. Poland will do a bottle copter. He, so he can. He doesn't even. So he can attack the copter here into the tank, and then he can bring this copter over here mm -hmm. as a backup. Yes, he could actually. The thing is, when he when he did this trade off of him in the tank over here. This thing is just gonna be very close to Air Force Lock. Mm -hmm. But he can just build a tank this turn and, and really scare it away. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if Dada shoots down Poland's Bottlecopters, he will actually be dangerously close to Max Blast. <laughs> Which could be. We do know Poland mm -hmm. loves his two moves powers, so. Oh, yeah, we learned that. And that could really. The, the two extra move can be pretty insane on a map like this. That would actually max blasts. One, two, three. No, it wouldn't. It would still not make him reach here. Wouldn't reach the rap helicopter. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't take this. But what it could do, 
If you somehow... No, that Battlecopter's dead. Uh, I was thinking the Battlecopter could go like this, but no. Yeah, that is just taking his time. He's fearing that max force. He knows it's going to come in. Another Battlecopter. Mm -hmm. Both players are just spamming Battlecopters now. <laughs> the question is, will Dedos build an Empire here? Or will he rely on Lucky Star to nah, kill this? Nah, the tank is... Well, I don't know. tank is right over there. It won't reach it in my turn, though. Mm -hmm. But it will have a sweet spot. If he attacks this Battlecopter here, it gets a free hit. Yep. Not necessarily free, though, because there is infantry, and he, he does get Lady Luck, or whatever the hell the second one's called. Lucky Star. Yep. Or I guess it's the other way around. Lucky you know, Star. Lu Lucky power. Star, normal power, Lady Luck, super power, yeah. So, so yeah. I, I would argue he doesn't even need Nanterre. He's got four infantry that, with the possibility that of That is, power yeah, the, the number, that's so much in your favor. You're definitely going to get some luck rolls, unless you're, like, the most unlucky person in the world. Yeah. All right, yeah, as we thought. There goes the Battlecopter, but uh, this Santa is I'm surprised they didn't put it on the city. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't do that. It would have taken, I mean, still would have died, but it would have died a little slower. Yeah, I don't. I didn't like that. And now we can attack with this tank from the city over here. Good positioning. Yeah, that's a good positioning. In, in yeah. range of that, brings the copter behind it. I, I, do, I don't know why he attacked him. Man. It's a small thing, but it adds up. It does, yeah. It adds up quite a bit, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. This, so this Max Forest will be crucial, whether or not Poland pops it or not. But you may have noticed, too, that F's is about to airport lock Poland. Yeah. So he needs to, Poland needs to get a tank out, and fast. He, he, cannot, he, cannot, I, build, I, he cannot build more Battlecopters here. So that's interesting he builds a tank over here. Yeah, chat says the reason he did that is because he didn't want this tank to strike him during Max Forest. I do see that, but he's going to lose it anyway. Exactly. So, He's gonna lose uh, it anyways, it doesn't even matter. Alright. Poland, no. Will they pop the power? Honestly, I don't see too much that it gives you that you wouldn't normally get, so I think he's gonna hold on to it. Yeah, I agree. Good. We oh, finally, there's finally, nothing, Deages, There's nothing finally. that really gives you a unique hit. Your favorite theme, Deages. Oh, god, change <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a penguin dying. It's okay, he might pop his power this turn. <laughs> That'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he will. I'm, yeah, he might hold on to it. No, yeah, well, he, he will not. Why is he not attacking from the city? Oh. Oh, nice one. It's a high roll. Pretty sure that 4 hmm. HP of damage to an Antire. Ah, it's max, I guess, but. Yeah, but he's without a comp tower. That was a high roll. He got a bit lucky. But if he would have finished it off with an infantry, let's not cut ourselves. But, Maybe uh, he wants the tank closer to the center. No, it would have been... He, yeah, that, I have no idea why he didn't do that, honestly. Would have repaired, I, too. I, I can't defend that move. <laughs> Fallen, man. He, he, he does... Fallen does a lot of weird things, but occasionally they really work. It's really funny. Yeah. It's like... It's like he's, he's like, he's like Casino Ball. He just, sometimes he rolls yeah. high, sometimes he rolls low. But this, he has a potential max blast next turn, which could really be scary for Dead Fs if he's not careful. Oh, for sure. And, uh, but Poland, at the same time, has lucky to be aware of the lucky star. Oh, what the? Okay. All right. Um, all right, Poland. One uh, HP infantry. There you go. <gasps> nice. Good. Good find, good find. I like that. Uh, but can, but can't, I don't know yeah, about Conti that. just uses tank. tank is though. literally gonna get him. Yeah, Conti just like, yeah, he can just break this wall with the tank. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, never mind, never mind. Even. Bad move, bad move. <laughs> <laughs> I retract my praise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It was that good was on paper. Good. good on paper. Bad in practice. He's been sacking his copters pretty carefree wise. Yeah. I mean, to, it, it worked out over here. Maybe he's got a similar idea where it's like, hey, I'm within one turn of my base. Maybe I shift this tank over here. Build another copter. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe he's got... He's maybe oh, some, in Inkigark says the reason he didn't strike from the city is because of the battlecopter. He's got his own copter as defense, though, but... You know, yeah, I don't know. I'm not one to, dis to dis dispute Inkigark. You know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe there's a good reason. Yeah, but I, I agree. Though. might be explaining it. It doesn't necessarily mean he agrees. Oh yeah, yeah, that could be the case for sure. Um, but Lady Luck. I mean, so he can take his pick which copter to kill. Okay, well not anymore. He blocked that. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that Lady that Luck, the southern Luck, copter is going down for sure. Yeah. 
We have what a one's going down. Probably the one at the, in the middle bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's moving his tank over. Yep, he knows what's coming. He is, he's allowing this cap, though, so this will cap. This will cap, and this will put them up to 18k. Alright. Will we see? I don't think we'll see Lucky Star this turn. I just don't see the point. There's not enough infantry engagements here. I think Dedefs yeah, wants to get a little he, bit closer. He, okay. he wants to. Ooh, interesting. Alright, he gets that. I, I roll. I like that. Yeah, it's a good roll. That's a good one. Oh, that's a low roll. <laughs> it's a good roll and a low roll. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so Dedefs might get two properties. Nah. Poland's not careful. Yeah. That, that could be good for Dedefs. And he has this one too. Yeah. So, uh, Dedefs might pick up, and he's gonna pick up this property and maybe this one. So it's like. Nah, he's not gonna get that. Nah, other yeah, ones. not this he's one. Not this. He has too many forces here, but still. But man, that Max Blast is on the horizon, and it can be so scary. And to plan around that for live can exactly. be. Exactly. Planning around a Max Blast. Yeah. Good luck. And now their players are starting to enter the five minute mark and they'll soon be forced to play on increments mm. that is not good so we'll see and, uh, this base is very vulnerable yes this base two tanks two tanks bottle copter yeah, pops his yeah he can pop his max blast pops his power pops his superpower that base is is gone free game. absolutely um all right that is tank is over here I think he's kind of. I think that is upset he didn't get that infantry kill. He could have. Uh, that was very unlucky. He's playing the Luxio and he didn't get the high roll. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah. yeah okay. Go. Bye bye, bottom Walker. Max Blast is ready. Think he's gonna pop it next turn? Well, he's got two free first hits right there. Tank, tank. Ooh, that's gonna tank, hurt. Dark, that's gonna hurt. Tire. And then he can build a copter. Yeah, and then he can he can use the two tanks to kill whatever's on this base, and then put the copter on top. Exactly. And what is? I, I would expect that if might pop Lady Luck and system. move these two infantry back to strike the copter. That's the one thing I can see him do. Yeah. That's a hundred um, luck rating. So statistically, two infantry on a battle copter should kill it if he's not terribly unlucky. I don't like this copter going over here. Ooh, yeah. He needed to have one thing back here to defend this base. He's scared of the Max Blast, and rightfully so, but he might just it's need It's not going to gonna reach that far, though. No, no, no. But and He can't build another copter because he's going to one shot. Yeah, it will be. Unless he, well, he can, he can move this back and block. Oh, he can block, but then the tank kills. So it, I don't like that copter move. I think this was a blunder. Yeah, I see some. I see some people in chat defenders. saying that one HP L units will kill with luck damage. No, luck damage is reduced by HP. So for one HP infantry, even if they roll max luck, they're not going to do much. Oh, he, he builds infantry. He's going to die. He realized whatever it was is going to die. Okay, all right. Here we go. So, Poland. Do we see um, the max blast? I think we see the max blast now. Wait, does this reach? He does. No, it doesn't. No, what? Oh, it does. does. Oh, oh my god, that's an even huger blunder than oh. I thought. Oh, he's so fucked. Oh, dead Fs. Oh, oh this is gonna sh Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna suck so hard. All right, dead Fs. Oh this gonna, this my goodness. It's blasting time, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Did this reach the tank? Okay, that does it. Oh, boom. First things first. Oh, is that us even and gonna have, have any units left? She's even gonna have any units left at the end of this. Yeah. Oh. oh boy, that was a huge blunder. It's a massive blunder. That entire this entire now he has nothing at all to defend against this battle copter over here. Oh yeah, this battle copter is God knows what it's doing over there. This one was you know didn't make sense as me had said earlier, but like oh. boom, boom, tank on top. You can't dislodge that. Maybe some lady luck will help you. Yep. But then you also ca start capping this with the infantry. Start moving this forward. Start capping this. Oh, there we Poland go. Poland has got this in the bag. Oh my goodness. And he, go, and he goes for the how bad that Lady Luck is. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the Lady Luck... But the Lady Luck won't do anything if all of his units are dead. Yeah. So, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's a good attack here. This Battlecopter, I wonder what he's going to do with it. If he's going to go right. Probably going to go right, I, I imagine. Yeah, it's got to go right. Got to go right, kill one of those, and then you sit on top yeah, of the base. Yeah, sit on top of the base. There we go. And the HQ could be in danger if he, if if Dedef is not careful here. 
But he has yeah, two infantry yeah. in range, two potential Lady Luck infantry, could blast the base open. I think that's his only chance right now. He could also use his tank to strike. Tank is a lot more likely to kill it. Mm. So I don't know what he would do. I don't know if he would go for the, the tank strike first or the infantry strike first, depending on which units he wants to keep alive. But yeah, this is a powerful turn from Poland right here. Poland's looking really good right now. That was a... That was a Ugly turn by Dead FS and Poland pounced on that immediately. Yeah, that max blasts. So, but it's so easy to go run head first into it in a game like this. Oh, yeah. You can't. You don't have exactly. time to stop and count every tile. You don't like, have time to count the spaces. Nope. You just gotta go on instinct. He probably did like me. He saw the ant air and he was like, "Oh, it doesn't reach down this way with the forest." Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Like, and then he, yeah, away. it's so easy to make that one. So easy to make yeah. that one. That's just a free nine k. They killed a 2 HP recon, that's what all that B-Copter did. Alright, let's see, does he pop, right, let's he pop do. Lady Luck? Does he pop Lady Luck? Yes, he does! Oh, he immediately has to. Oh! Alright, he yeah, dislodges he... the base, that's good. Does he take the Battlecopter at 3 HP? Oh! Oh! Okay. oh his Luck rolls are not with him. Could have killed that Battlecopter, but he didn't. Oh, that's sad. Now he can hope to kill this tank. This attacks this tank. He this can, attacks absolutely. This tank. He's got some good Luck rolls here. He's got some good Luck rolls here. Oh, dead. Good. Yeah. Definitely has to kill Poland's umpire, that's for sure. He's still doing he's still he's still on it. Oh yeah, that is just two not... good two good rolls on this tank, he's right back in it. Yep. Yeah, if he gets max rolls here, this could be very good for Deadfs. Very good. He's also cap he's capping a lot of properties. He's yeah, capping a lot of properties. Oh my okay, god. I thought, medium I thought tank he did Yeah, medium tank. Honestly, he can afford it. And Poland doesn't want to attack him this turn because of the counterattacks. Exactly. So I, it's a strong turn from Poland. Not Dedos has not been terribly lucky yet, but yeah, it will come down to these luck rolls turn here. If he gets high rolls here, it's gonna be, gonna be in a very good it could, spot. It could be a game changer. Okay, he wants it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no! Ooh, <laughs> bad start. Oh, he's got one more. He's got one more. Oh. This one's got to be a good one. Come Knock on. Knock it down to three. Oh, come on. Let's go. Three. Four. Four. Oh. Oh. oh, I would be... Uh, would... painfully average. Very average. Dead Fs did not pray to Casino Bot before this match. Oof. But, despite a very average turn, I still actually don't hate Dead Fs position right now. He's got right the income now. lead. He's got the Let income lead. Forget. He's got a property lead. And he's got good property positioning. Lead. Day 20. Remember, it came down. Yeah, we got eight days I left. Don't know how, who won the most game or won the most fights? Mm -hmm. Who has the most properties? Yep. Oh, didn't build any. Okay. I like oh, the I like the Bottlecopter. I like the Bottlecopter. What's Poland going to do against it? He's going to suicide his copter into that copter, I assume. Maybe. But Dedef still has this copter. So. Dedef's look at Un Dedef's, Dedef's unit count, though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an average Lady Luck, but, oh my god, I thought he was going to attack the Bottlecopter. I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what the, like, what the but does the Poland want to capture this? Probably, like, I don't... Maybe. Uh, he's, he can't capture it now, there's too many tanks and copters. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's still actually a pretty even match, despite a very bad Lady Luck. Um, Poland's going to get this property, but that he's is... He's going to retreat, though. He should. He should capture the property and retreat with everything else, in my opinion. This is not... He doesn't want yeah. to stick around here. Too Dude. scary. You get a reinforcement from the base, you get reinforcements from the uh, airport as well. You got the base... You got the co uh, property, and I just retreat. What is... Whoa, okay. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right. Oh! Oh, he yeah. fires back! 6 HP with the entire... The entire did 6 HP of counterattack damage. That was a max luck roll. Ooh, Damn. that's scary. This entire can still destroy the Bottlecopter. Oh, yeah. It can probably knock off 8 HP. Oof. Scary. That is... Okay, so Deadass didn't get lucky on his turn. But he got lucky on <laughs> Poland's turn. <laughs> oh, Dave. Yeah, that's gonna sting. Okay, I'm suddenly, I'm suddenly, I was very, like, I was like, Poland's gonna win this, but looking at that ups right now, I... Me too. Now it's, look, it's, the game is shifting already. The game is shifting. I think Poland overextended into that of space, and that of, like, just has a very mm. solid counterplay going there. Yeah. This is gonna be very... Oh, yeah. Might come yeah, down to time, honestly. Both players below 55 minutes at this point. 
Like, yeah. I think I think Poland plays better on increment than Adeps does. That's just a hunch I have. I agree with that. So when when they start coming down to the one minute increments, I think Poland is gonna start crushing. And if Dedefs is not careful, you might just win lose on the timeout. Yeah, but Dedefs does have the income advantage when it comes to day, we're at day twelve. We got eight days to go. Yep. Okay, it's so trying. Nah, you can't capture the HQ, Poland. Don't don't even try it. This copter and the other copter, I think. He might, but that copter's gonna destroy his copter on the counter attack with the luck. So... Yeah, he knows that. He wants yep. to do a damage. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Gives him a charge too. It's true. Yeah, but Max, that, that Max Force coming in again. And he's got to withdraw the tank. But uh, too bad about that battle copter. That's gonna take some hefty damage. But uh, Poland's gonna be careful here. That has solid, solid positioning suddenly. So, and that is gonna go up to 19k. So they're gonna be tied on properties actually. Wow, this is an even game actually, much more even than I thought. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Pull, just, pulls back. So That's very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Okay, here we go. Day 13. Seven days left, ladies and gentlemen. Both players are going to be equal on properties right now. Oh, wait, that us. What? He just throwing away another battle copter? He did. I guess. He... No, hang on, hang on, hang on. That oh, thing. there we go. <laughs> there we go. There I go. was like, oh my god, not again. Yep, he found it. Yeah, good play by dead ups right there. Poland's, Poland's in trouble. One battle copter accident blundered it. Now he's got to find a nice tactic. Free Ooh. tank. Ooh, this is scary. Dead ups coming back yeah. strong here. Oh. Coming is coming alive. Oof. Yeah, I feel like Poland's scattered all over the map, whereas that is a lot more constant. Poland has a nice little force here, but but that bottle is gonna problem. take yeah, there we go. That bottle copter taking a lot of damage. Six HP of yeah. damage. Ooh. Oh, using the infantry to finish off weakened vehicles, I like that. Taking advantage of that day-to-day -day luck. So Poland does have his max force. But um, it's not really gonna. I don't think popping it right now would do a, do a lot. Uh, Dedos is doing a good job shielding his battle copters from Poland here. But Honestly, yeah. if you think about it, pretty lucky roll. Yeah. No, no comm towers. Cop True. Plus tank. True. He, he, he could have just as easily failed in that, so he got lucky. Absolutely. Literally got lucky. Okay. Poland's playing now. He's playing fast. He's going for the luck damage. Needs more Battlecopters, I think. Battlecopter, tank, tank. Probably. Oh. Yeah, Dedos don't don't want to let him get this. But Poland is doing well, well on this side. He has the Battlecopter to ward away the tank. He needs a Battlecopter of his own, I think. I think Poland is going to do pretty well down here in the south, actually. Tank Battlecopter here is going to mop up a lot of the forces in the area. Yeah. Dedefs has to back off. Yeah, Dedefs is gonna... Dedefs is winning on the north, Poland is winning in the south. But I'd say Dedefs is winning more in the north than Poland is winning in the south right now. Oh, in the corner right there, if the, if the Yeah, this, this, is, this is scary. This is scary right here. Dedefs can get all these properties right here. Oh, wow, Poland actually... Okay. This is hmm. spicy from Poland right here. I don't know if this is a good idea. Right there. Yeah, I mean... He has to build... Uh, maybe he has to build... Okay, so he's, he built the Bottle Copter. He's not gonna cover. He's got the Bottle Copter here. And he's got the Max Force ready. Dedefs has to build Antire here, which he really doesn't want to do. Oh, oh, okay, Poland. Tank Antire. Ooh. Uh-oh. 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 I think Dedefs is one. Ooh. Yeah, that's... Poland had a really bad turn, man. That was a really bad turn. Yes. The last one. He should have put. I think I would have just put the entire on the city, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be a brutal turn. This is gonna be a brutal turn, yeah. All really right. Really brutal. That up's coming in here. Yup. He saw it immediately. That entire is dead. Yeah. Now the battle copter can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's scary. That's scary. Yeah, from Ooh. Pretty. I. He's he's boned. Join caps together. Yeah, he's gonna lose a lot of properties now. And he should have mm. pulled. He should have pulled that tank back as well. Should have. I don't know why he talked into that. 
Let's try Jeez. It. There we go. Yeah. Infantry coming up from that ass. What else is he gonna build? He's gonna build that Antire. Oh, we'll oh. see. Poland has his max blast almost ready, but I don't know how, how much good it's gonna do him. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do much. It's this is brutal. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that was brutal. Lucky Star is available again, and he's gonna mop up what remains of an offensive over here. Yes, with the luck damage, it's, it's gonna block. be very, very easy for him to finish off those weakened units for sure. Ooh, time to slop uh, swap up there. Yeah. Ooh, mop up oh, he's slopping up the mop with the mop, but he slop pop. Yeah. yeah, that is that and was. Now we look at the. Uh... Yup. More than double. I think there you go, chat. You got your Olaf theme. Think... It's the yeah. shitty dual you got strike. Your Olaf theme just in time for the game to end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it gonna? Oh. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do, buddy. What you gonna do, Poland? Not much. <laughs> you can get a you get a strike Dang. here, I guess. Then he'd need an umpire here, I think. He has a bottlecopter here that doesn't kind of reach. The, what the what? Huh? Okay. All right. I guess he wants to strike this tank. He wants to strike the other tank, and that will block the way. I don't hate um, it. It's a desperation move. It's a desperation move for sure. Yeah, it's a big desperation move. Okay, even attacks with the infantry on the mountain. That's not going to work out for you, Poland. Has to recon. Can mop up some infantry here, I guess. It's not going to do a whole lot, though. You can, He can finish off... Yeah, he can finish off this with the tree HP and then cap, but it's going to get interrupted. No, actually, he can place the unit here. That's actually pretty smart. So he gets he gets one one property away from Deadups, which is kind of nice. Needs to build a tank and a battlecopter, probably. He's probably going to concede just losing space, I think. Like, don't build yeah, anymore. Is. Don't build any more shit there. Yeah, just go for the hit there. Kinda, this is, like... Considering Poland's position, this is probably as good of a turn as he could have gotten in this situation. Um, well, this tank over here is just free meat, so I don't Yeah, know that, that was not great. Oh, attacking Battlecopters now, what the hell? <laughs> he's, he's desperate now, I think. But yeah, that, that tank is, uh, is food for the crows. We're on day 14, ladies and gentlemen, 60, six days left. Dead Fs is about to take two properties from Poland, or one neutral and one other property. Poland is about to take this one from Dead Fs. Um, he needs a tank. He needs a tank, I think. I think we might see a Lucky Star now. Yep, here comes the Lucky Star. This tank is dead for sure, for 100% sure. Ooh, there we go. This umpire is definitely dead. Very dead. Yep, there we go. Honestly, you can even... Yeah, oh, I was about to say the same thing. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it, but he has a backup infantry. It's fine. He does. So he's going to get that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's got that base on lockdowns. A lot of, lot of forces over here, though. I mean... Paul's going to get that. We'll see how... We'll see how the less... Le oh, yeah, that tank is dead. Yeah, there we go. He's going to get that There's property, property too. That's a problem. That is actually a problem. How many properties I, I think that FS has got this in the bag. Yeah, this this property now too is going to come under pressure. There's too many properties falling oh, everywhere. Yeah. One attacks from this over here to that. One attacks from that over there. The other. Yep. This one Let's cap. see if he gets some good yeah. luck rolls now. I would assume so. Yep, there we go. Ah, he's been very unlucky. Oh. He's been very unlucky with his luck rolls all game. And despite that, he's still playing well. He's still gonna get that property regardless. Oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah. Poland's not coming back from this. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, Poland's 100% bonoed. Bo oh, he even gets the interrupt! <laughs> he even gets the interrupt! Oh no, two umpire. Poland doesn't have any tanks. Oh. Exactly. Ooh, there. ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Yeah, this is, uh, this is rough. This is rough from Poland right here. Is he gonna right keep here. fighting or will the resign come in? Is he gonna keep fighting or will the resign come in? For something AM in Poland right now? I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> it's 4 AM, yeah. I don't know if Poland has the same time zone as Norway. I think it's relatively close though, because it's Europe, so. Yeah. Yep. 
but um, still mega impressed with Poland for beating Starflash. Yeah. I mean, that is like... That's still the game of the match. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, like, Deadass is a terrifying opponent, and Poland has still earned himself like three to four hundred bucks here in price money, so he has, he has absolutely yeah, yeah. nothing. Yeah. APC, APC, the APC of Concede right here. Missiles. Yep. Good game. Good game. Hey, yeah. Woo! Congratulations to Dead Fs. You are the winner. I predicted Dead Fs was one of the favorites in this one. He's just so damn strong. Here's the funny thing, though. I have a feeling Star Flash would have taken Dead Fs. But Poland took Star Flash. <laughs> yeah, you never know. I you don't never, know. Yeah, live is wild. Yeah. Live. yeah I'm live, sorry. Yeah. Aust Austria has invaded Poland once again. <laughs> Well done, Deadass. You're the champion of season three. I think it's for yeah. First season was Sif. Second season was Starflash. Third season, Deadass. But Poland, Poland had the upset. He had the upset of the night. Abs he did. He absolutely. Did. Well deserved. It's just 300, 350 bucks. That's still that's a damn good prize in my book. Yeah, I'd be happy that. with Worm. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know if the prize pool has been updated. I'm gonna check in with my tech guy, but. I think that the price money might be somewhere close to fifteen hundred bucks, so it's still gonna be like yeah. it's still gonna be like five hundred bucks for Poland and a thousand, like a grand for Dead F. So that's a that's a good, that's a pretty decent price pool to take home from playing at Monsters right there. So, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, um, okay, if they're memes, we're gonna check memes really fast. I'm not gonna do it like memes. a yeah. What time is it? It's like four a.m. So uh, we could go yeah. for seven hours thirty minutes. It's a long tournament. I'm gonna check memes. And then I'm gonna conk out. No Q and A or drawn out like talk. Um, yeah. So, cause, cause I'm fucking Indeed. tired. <laughs> I think D just is too. <laughs> yeah. This uh, is the longest of three. Yeah. We didn't have any like quick losses this time. <laughs> Usually we have no quick losses. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> meme. That's a good meme. I like that one. That's a great one. <laughs> I'm a little bummed out Poland didn't win. I was rooting for him, but that is, he is he's a worthy champion for sure. Great guy. Yeah. Fantastic player. I mean, he didn't even get lucky as Nell, and he's he just outplayed him. Like, period. Yeah, exactly. He just outplayed him. With, Nell with won both. Nell is two for two. Yep. Bat didn't even have good luck either game. Still won. Still won. Just put, outplayed. So, all right. It's the luck. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, no, like, can't, the can't blame the luck. Can't blame the luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for participating in this amazing tournament. Thank you to all the players. It was amazing to watch you play. Deejus, thank you so much for joining me on Com Commentary. This was uh, cool. probably my favorite cool. tournament so far out of the Grandmasters tournament. No bad games. That was all good. Yep. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're signing out. Have a great day and uh, take care. Bye-bye.